Chapter 775, Chiyu. Crashed. Jagged explosion flames kept lighting up. In the tachyon radar. The distance between the enemy fleet and the human fleet continues to shrink. And at the same time, the enemy ship's sailing speed continues to increase. 10C. 20C. Looking at the predicted route that ultimately pointed to his own fleet. Baishuan's expression changed instantly. Offensive and defensive transformation. He struggled to squeeze out a few words. The next moment, he subconsciously issued an order. All battleships. Enter war. No. Zhao Zijia's voice suddenly sounded, interrupting his order. Continue firing the warp missiles. If we want to delay the enemy's approach or prevent it from aiming its space weapons at us, we must continue to launch warp missiles. But... Baishuan's face was extremely ugly. This way, the human fleet will not be able to enter the warp state. Wouldn't it be like a living target that stays where it is? Their warships are not as fast as ours. As long as we enter the warp state, we can implement guerrilla tactics against them. Zhao Zijia said quietly. Can your speed compare to the spatial rift? Silence. Yes. The maximum cruising speed of the human warship reached 100 C, which was exactly twice the speed of the energy warship. But the speed of the space rift is 800 C, without warp missiles to harass. Can the human fleet really withstand such an unknown attack? In just a few seconds, a thin layer of cold sweat broke out on Baishuan's back. Been general? He swallowed hard and looked at the holographic projection in front of him in confusion. At first glance, the human fleet seemed to have a dead end. Suddenly, he trembled. The confusion in his eyes disappeared instantly, and his tone became urgent. No, that's not right. Has a problem. If the energy civilization can really reach this level, then they don't have to huddle in the star system in the first place. Wouldn't it be better to just drive the flagship and kill us? Why do we have to wait until now? So, Zhao Zijia, who was far away in the Kepler 452 star system, said in unison with Bai Xuan, who was hundreds of light years away. The Energet flagship must have shortcomings that we didn't notice before. Inside the Kepler 452 command center, Zhao Zijia stared at the holographic image in front of him. On the screen, all the video data after the appearance of Energet's flagship is being played in an accelerated loop. From curvature speed to hull structure, he is trying to find the shortcomings that he had previously ignored from every angle. Not only him, but all military commanders in the command center are trying this. As for Lu Yong Chong and the other scientific researchers, they were writing various symbols and formulas on the holographic projection on the side. They are looking for solutions to the rift in space. Time passed by minute by minute. Energet's fleet successfully crossed half the distance. At this time, the fleets of both sides were only 0.05 light years apart. Whether it was the command center or the expedition fleet, the surrounding atmosphere became tense and anxious. Suddenly, Zhao Zijia slowly opened his eyes. As if he had discovered something was wrong, he spoke in a somewhat hurried tone. Zero. Establish a spatial coordinate system with Energet's flagship as the coordinate origin. And mark the location information of all intercepted curvature missiles on it. The moment the words fell, the holographic coordinate system appeared instantly. Densely packed small jagged red lines quickly appeared in the blue holographic space coordinate system. Zhao Zijia stretched out his hand and dragged the image to shrink it. A spherical structure composed of jagged red lines suddenly appeared in front of him. Really? Zhao Zijia's originally haggard eyes suddenly lit up. The range of space weapons is very limited. If the statistics are correct, the opponent's weapon range should be around 750 to 800 light minutes. He couldn't help but laugh. It's too short. With such a short attack range, no wonder they were hiding in the star system before. Commander Bai, did you hear that? Zhao Zijia smiled and turned to look at Bai Yishuan in the holographic projection. You should know what to do. Right. Bai Yishuan, who stared at the dark circles under his eyes, breathed a long sigh of relief. Don't worry. Guerrilla warfare is our foundation. Front. Under Bai Yishuan's order. Most of the materials and personnel in Chi Yu were quickly transferred to other warships. No way. Chi Yu, it's too bulky. Its maximum cruising speed is only 20 C which is slower than the cruising speed of the Energet fleet. And it is impossible to use it to carry out guerrilla warfare. But as the most powerful war machine in the history of human civilization, even if it is an abandoned child, it still has its unique value at the end of the line. It can unscrupulously form continuous fire suppression on the Energet civilization. By the way, let's experience the damage of the space rift for the human fleet. Warp drive starts. The human expedition fleet, which had replenished all supplies, 
instantly disappeared into the visible universe. Here, there is only one, Chi Yu, planetary fortress loaded with various high power lethality weapons. Under Zero's control, the missile silos on the surface continue to spit out deadly fire. The electromagnetic cannon and antimatter cannon have already been warmed up. As soon as the enemy ship reaches the predetermined position, they will fire the most violent artillery fire at the enemy. This moment, the Energet civilization once again saw Chi Yu with full firepower and the name of the leader of the army. Gravity bombs, black hole missiles, curvature missiles, electromagnetic guns, and antimatter cannons. Curvature weapons and conventional weapons complement each other, sending a final roar to the opponent. Faced with this majestic attack, the Energet fleet did not exit the warp state and still maintained a sailing speed of 50 C. They just slightly adjusted their course, the fleet would pass by the hulking planetary battleship. The closest distance between the two sides is exactly 800 light minutes. A few minutes later, the last warning appeared in the tachyon radar. 800 light minute warning line. At some point, a strong fluctuation in space and time appeared. The space rift with a speed of 800 C flew directly towards Chi Yu, who was spitting out firepower with all his strength in the invisible super light universe. One minute later, the moment the attack arrives, Buzz, the planet-level joint shield seemed to have suffered a severe blow. The shield-generating device instantly emitted a strong light and was overloaded and shut down in an instant. The blue shield only resisted for less than 0.1 seconds. Uh-huh. Jagged cracks appeared precisely in the equatorial region of Chi Yu. Penetrating injury. Chi Yu, with a diameter of 6,500 kilometers was directly punched through by the attack of this space rift. Boom. The explosion flames lit up from the inside out and powerful radiation surged to the surroundings like a wave. Chi Yu crashed. The conventional weapons it fired at the last moment are still, slowly, moving forward at a speed lower than or equal to the speed of light. But the energy fleet passed by the exploding planetary fortress at a speed of 50 C. The gap between level 5 civilization and level 6 civilization is evident. Even if the opponent only possesses a weapon from a 6th level civilization. Chapter 776 The Gap Between Level 5 Civilization and Level 6 Civilization Things are changing. The dead atmosphere that originally belonged to the Energet Civilization Command Center descended on the Kepler-452 star system at this moment. In the Kepler Command Center, looking at the planetary fortress undergoing a violent explosion in the holographic projection, everyone seemed to be strangled by invisible hands and could not make a sound. Even Lu Yong Chong couldn't help but stop the calculation work in his hands. With a look of horror on his face. Chi Yu, for human civilization, is already the pinnacle of technological creation. It brings together the top technologies in almost all disciplines of the entire civilization. It is no exaggeration to say that it is the technological crystallization of human civilization. But even such a master of a fifth level civilization had no power to resist when faced with a weapon attack suspected of being a sixth level civilization. This huge gap, like a natural chasm, pressed down on Lu Yongchang's heart like a huge stone making his breathing a little harder. Is the gap so big? Zhao Zijie's confused voice came from the side. This is just a space weapon. Lu Yongchang was silent for a while and murmured in a low voice. There is no doubt about the power of space weapons. But I think the fundamental reason for such a disparity in combat power is not the power of space weapons. Tao Yuda, who was not far away, heard this. His eyes moved slightly, and he raised his lowered head. Professor, what do you mean? Can it attack while in warp navigation? That's right. Lu Yongchang nodded solemnly. This has almost completely changed the way civilizations fight. If the biggest difference between level 4 civilization and level 5 civilization is the grand unified theory and the practical application of the grand unified theory, that space weapon may be the gap in combat power between the 5th level civilization and the 6th level civilization. This gap is probably wider than the gap between 1st level civilization and 5th level civilization. He smiled bitterly. After all, after a war breaks out, even the stone thrown by the first level civilization may happen to hit the warships of the fifth level civilization. But there is almost no chance that an attack from a level 5 civilization will hit a warship from a level 6 civilization. Just imagine, after a war breaks out, the opponent does not even need to exit the curvature state, maintains a warp speed of more than 100 C, and throws a space rift at us with a speed of up to 800 C. In the eyes of the other party, we are like a bug crawling slowly in the universe with various weapons on its back. No matter how powerful the weapon is, bugs are still just bugs. He turned around again 
and looked at the unfinished calculation process in the holographic projection behind him. Let the expedition fleet delay as much time as possible. Okay. Zhao Zijia nodded solemnly. I will let Baishuan take that flagship to roam around the territory of the Enrigin Alliance. If they are not ready to fight, let the fleet go for a walk around the central star system. Lu Yongchang was stunned, as if he had thought of something, and nodded with a strange expression. Guerrilla warfare, you and Bai Ishuan just watch the command. By the way, remember, don't really attack the central star system. Zhao Zijia laughed dumbly. Don't worry. You have to leave a little hope for the other party. If the other party has no worries and chooses to fight to the death, we have no means to fight against that flagship now. Energid Alliance. As the human expedition fleet began to take action, the territory covering a hundred light years around began to turmoil. The human expedition fleet, with 20 warships as a combat unit, quickly fell into pieces. Then, under Baishuan's order, 300 of the combat units galloped around. The remaining more than a hundred combat units, led by the Titan Mothership, fought guerrilla warfare around the central star system. They stopped and walked, firing warp missiles at the slow-moving energy fleet from a safe distance. Then, he waited quietly. When the enemy fleet reached the warning distance, these small-scale fleets entered the curvature state again and opened the distance again at a speed of 100 C. Repeat and cycle like this. Of course, this strength is definitely not enough. In order to allow the energy fleet to maintain its hate value against itself at all times, a large number of detectors were released. These detectors quickly searched for key facilities established within the territory interstellar shipping hubs stellar antimatter manufacturing bases, and military factories. Subsequently, under Zero's planning and distribution, 300 combat groups launched attacks on their respective targets in an orderly manner. Chaos. Complete chaos. The entire Energet Alliance is in chaos. In this case, the fourth-level civilization can only huddle near its home star and tremble, let alone those third-level civilizations or below. Each group seems to have only 20 battleships. But those are the main battleships of the 5th level civilization. Without any scruples, these 20 warships can completely solve a complete 4th level civilization in a very short time just turn on the curvature engine and head directly to the capital of the civilization and that's it. As for the Energet civilization, it could only watch its territory being destroyed step by step and then expel the human fleet near the central star system in vain. The originally powerful space weapon was reduced to a specialized missile interception device at this moment. The command center has tried to stop this meaningless expulsion war several times. But whenever their fleet stops expelling or takes other actions, there will always be one or two groups of scattered fleets appearing in inexplicable locations. After turning on the curvature engine, these fragments rush towards the central star system at extremely fast speeds, posing as if they were about to perform a decapitation operation. This terrifying feeling crazily tortured the commander of the Enrigid civilization. Until the fleet returns, these scattered fleets will disperse in a hurry. With Zero's auxiliary planning, Zhao Zijia and Bai Ishuan turn the Enerjet fleet into a handheld toy. This flagship, whose attack power exceeded the limit of level 5 civilization, was completely trapped near the central star system. Time passes minute by minute. In the distant Kepler 452 star system, Lu Yongchog stopped what he was doing. The holographic screen stacked one after another are already filled with dense and complex formulas. Chapter 777 Space-Time Resonance Asterisk 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 In the Energy Command Center, a series of curse words sounded one after another. Cutting human civilization! The leader of the Alliance issued the most vicious curse in the history of civilization. I curse that your technology will come to a complete standstill! The old scientist on the side sighed softly. Its age no longer allows it to have too many mood swings if you ignore the bottles of drugs, like Sue acting Geoshin pills and sedatives it has on hand. With trembling hands, it took out a faint blue pill and swallowed it. Then, he said with a trembling voice, Maybe we can try to negotiate with the other party. Upon hearing this, the leader's expression changed rapidly several times. Finally, it couldn't hold back the aggrieved feeling in its heart and slapped the console in front of it fiercely. Negotiation? Do we still have to negotiate with them? Look what our alliance has become. They are invaders. The old scientist was silent for a while, then responded in a faint tone. But, strictly speaking, we were the first to do it. The leader's expression couldn't help but suffocate. Obviously, it recalled the scene. Under the influence of the drug, the old scientist quickly became calm. More than half of the flagship's antimatter reserves have been consumed. 
the old scientist's calm voice sounded. We can transport antimatter from other warships to the flagship to ensure the endurance of the flagship. But the longer this war lasts, the greater the risk to the energy alliance. The future development will be even more unfavorable. In any case, our best solution is to try to negotiate with the other side. The war has continued to this point, and we have lost. No matter what conditions the other party proposes, we can only agree. Do as you say. The leader of the alliance slumped down on the chair and muttered to himself. Order the fleet to stop pursuing the human fleet. The Energet flagship exited the warped state and hovered in the vast universe. As usual, in an inconspicuous corner, a battle group composed of 20 warships suddenly started the curvature engine and rushed straight to the central star system. But this time, Energet's flagship did not return to defense. This time, the crew members in the combat team were immediately stunned. They subconsciously slowed down their progress and even made two more turns around the outer reaches of the star system. But the enemy flagship still made no move. What to do now? The commander of the combat team was completely dumbfounded. This, this situation was not explained above. A tachyon message was transmitted. And after zero inspection and translation, it was quickly presented in front of them. Negotiation? The commander blinked his confused eyes and sent a communication request to the Titan mothership. Commander Bai, what should we do now? Inside the Kepler 452 star system, Lu Yongchan is undergoing the final verification process. Space and time are like oceans. Starships are nothing but ships traveling on the ocean. Once huge waves appear, ships will not be able to sail normally. Just like a curvature engine, it cannot operate normally under the influence of the gravitational field of extreme celestial bodies. Lu Yongchang explained in a hurry. The same is true for spatial rifts. Theoretically, the conditions for the formation and propagation of space cracks are quite harsh. In addition to creating a strong enough space distortion effect, a relatively stable space-time environment is also required. That's what we do. Create huge waves on the ocean of space and time. Speaking of this, Lu Yongchang raised his hand and quickly dragged past the holographic projection filled with deduction processes and space-time models. A concept needs to be introduced here. Space-time resonance. Simultaneously creating space-time fluctuations with consistent frequency at key nodes of space and time. Theoretically, when this frequency reaches the resonance frequency of space-time, a resonance effect will occur in space-time, and unprecedented huge waves will set off on the ocean of space-time. In such an environment, not to mention the curvature engine, even space weapons cannot operate normally. As he finished speaking, outside the Kepler star system, dozens of experimental ships hovering in different areas started their curvature engines at the same time, and curvature bubbles were also generated. Lu Yongchan looked at the picture in the holographic projection nervously. In his calculations, triggering space-time resonance requires creating extremely intense space-time fluctuations. Specific time and space nodes can greatly reduce this need. But in any case, it has very high rigid requirements. Fortunately, the curvature engine based on the Grand Unified Field is extremely powerful, and it has barely reached the minimum threshold for causing space-time resonance. Space-time monitoring screen as dozens of experimental ships began to launch. Some subtle waves appeared on the originally calm sea of time and space. The next second, the frequency of space-time fluctuation slowly changes to the specified frequency, and the output power rapidly increases. Time passes gradually. The space-time sea surface covered with fine waves seemed to be stimulated by something. The amplitude of the waves began to gradually increase, and gradually evolved into a huge wave. Space-time resonance was successfully triggered. Observed from the outside, there is nothing too unusual in this star field. It is still as calm as ever. But inside, it was already as chaotic as a pot of stew filled with powerful gravitational pulls from different directions. Under the protection of the curvature bubble, those experimental ships did not have major problems. Experimental ship number 147 tried to enter the curvature state. Under Lu Yongchang's order, an experimental ship that had already turned on its curvature bubble started its curvature engine. The warp drive's power continues to increase. But the experimental ship remains still in place. Not moving at all. Successful. Lu Yongchang announced the news in a matter-of-fact tone. I made a simple estimate of the strength of the spatial rift. Theoretically, the space-time resonance caused by 1,000 warships is enough to kill it in the cradle. At the same time, the opponent's fleet cannot enter the curvature state. To be on the safe side, I suggest using 2,000 warships to trigger a more powerful space-time resonance effect. After sending the request for negotiation, 
The atmosphere in the command center gradually became anxious, they have not received a reply from human civilization for a long time. Suddenly, the alarm sounded suddenly. The tachyon radar showed that warships hidden around the star system appeared from all corners at extremely fast speeds and quickly headed towards the Enrigid fleet. The Alliance leader suddenly had a bad feeling in his heart. What do they want to do? It asked with a somewhat panicked expression. Clearly, its questions have not been answered. The command center sent out the tachyon message again. Dear human civilization, we hope to engage in peaceful negotiations with you. In order to show sincerity, the Enrigid fleet even stopped quietly and did not take any action. Time passes slowly, along with the fluctuations in time and space. A total of 2,000 warships appeared scattered around Energet's fleet. The old scientist who looked at the scene frowned subconsciously. At first glance, there is not much regularity in the location of these warships. And they even appear a bit chaotic. But since none of these battleships launched an attack, its high-pitched heart gradually calmed down. Strange, it murmured to itself. What on earth does this human civilization want to do? Chapter 778 Spacetime Tsunami The eyes of the old scientist Energet were full of doubts. In its opinion, the behavior of these human civilization warships is too weird. Not only were they parked chaotically around the Energid battleship, but they also had not turned off their warp engines. Even under the detection of the space-time fluctuation detection device, these battleships even deployed curvature bubbles to protect themselves. It's like being ready to enter the warp state again anytime. Anywhere. What is this? Whether they choose to accept the negotiation offer or choose to continue guerrilla warfare until the flagship uses up the last drop of energy. In the eyes of old scientists, such a bizarre scenario is impossible. Just when it was confused, a tachyon message came from the flagship of the human fleet. Looking at the prompts on the screen, the old scientist couldn't help but feel refreshed. As the translation program started, lines of Energet's text appeared quickly in front of its eyes. The cold words on the screen made the smile on his lips gradually stiffen. Whoa, what? The old scientist couldn't believe his eyes. Give up all battleship control rights? Transfer all control rights to the civilization's central computer? Become their subsidiary civilization? The corners of its eyes twitched a few times. And even with the help of medicine, it could not maintain its original calmness. It was furious and said with a fierce look in its eyes. Damn human civilization! Impossible! Absolutely impossible! Attack! Keep attacking! Not only it, but the other senior energy personnel in the command center also had varying degrees of anger on their faces. Aren't they still clear about what subsidiary civilization means? In their view, no matter whether the war is won or lost, the energy civilization, which possesses the deterrent power of space weapons, has the right to communicate with human civilization on an equal footing. It is precisely for this reason that the old scientist, teared up, the unilateral proposal of human civilization with a stern look, and responded in an extremely strong tone. Asterisk, asterisk, asterisk. The meaning is close to the classic quintessence of human civilization. At the same time, like a little gangster who lost a fight, he said a harsh word. Damn human civilization. Just wait. Sooner or later our flagship will launch an attack on your home star. Sooner or later, the space rift will tear your home planet evenly in half. Asterisk, 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 asterisk. At the same time as the tachyon message was sent out, the sharp alarm sounded again. The warships that originally stayed quietly around Energet's fleet finally started to move. Under Zero's control, the curvature engine changed from its usual operating mode and simply created space-time fluctuations with a certain frequency in the target area. In the space-time monitoring equipment of the Energet civilization, extremely subtle fluctuations suddenly appeared in the originally peaceful space-time. There are 2,000 fluctuation points. But for this star field, the disturbance caused by these 2,000 fluctuation points is not large and can even be described as weak. Normally, this space-time fluctuation is negligible. What are they doing? The Alliance leader asked as he looked at the fluctuations in the space-time monitoring equipment. The old scientist didn't reply, feeling panicked for no reason. A long scientific research career has given it a keen scientific intuition. The intuition tells it that if this situation is allowed to develop, there may be situations that are detrimental to the energy civilization. Space weapons start charging. Power 100%. The attack target is selected as the nearest human warship. It issued an order hastily. No matter what humans are going to do, we must stop them. The words fell. The energy flagship, which was surrounded in layers by more than 2,000 human warships, changed its original silent posture. The antimatter reactors all over the ship began to operate at full power. 
a force field unknown to the Energet civilization once again connected between the two ships, emerging between the abrupt antennae. At the same time, changes occurred suddenly. The space-time that originally had only slight ripples seemed to be affected by some unknown influence, and its amplitude suddenly began to increase at an extremely high speed. In just a few seconds, the originally calm space-time sea surface had already stirred up considerable waves. The old scientist suddenly widened his eyes and looked at the picture on the screen in disbelief. With his scientific literacy, he quickly realized the principle behind this. Resonance? It subconsciously forgot about the crisis faced by civilization. Its eyes flashed with the light of curiosity and murmured to itself, Time and space actually have such properties. Suddenly, it suddenly realized a problem. Space-time resonance may bring about an unprecedented space-time tsunami. No wonder those human battleships have to activate their curvature bubbles in advance. No! Its face changed drastically, and it shouted loudly. Quick! All battleships! Activate the curvature bubble immediately! It is clear. Its response was still a beat slow. The alarm from the flagship has already sounded. In the turbulent time and space, the space rift that should have been generated long ago has not appeared even though the power of the curvature engine has reached its peak. Observing through the high-definition ultra-high-speed camera, it can be vaguely seen that between the two antennas, a thin black line that is constantly twisting flashes out from time to time. But the next moment, this thin black line seemed to be disturbed by something and quickly disappeared into the vast universe. It's like an old TV with a snowy screen due to poor contact. Under the order of the old scientist, the Energet fleet quickly activated the curvature bubble. Under the work of the curvature bubble, the space-time waves around the ship were gradually smooth, and the ship and space weapons returned to a stable state. Seeing the thin black line rapidly extending to both sides, the old scientist subconsciously breathed a sigh of relief. One wave has not subsided, and another wave has arisen. Amidst the piercing sirens, the flagship of human civilization had already opened its launch silo, and missiles equipped with curvature engines and antimatter engines left the battleship one after another under the light of fire. But what is strange is that these missiles only generate curvature bubbles to protect themselves. They did not enter the curvature state, but used the backward antimatter engine as a propulsion method to, slowly, rush towards the Energet fleet. Before the command center could issue an order, Energet's fleet commander had already issued an interception order. Since these missiles did not enter the warp state, it chose unpretentious electromagnetic guns and laser weapons for interception. As the waves of time and space intensified, the Energet fleet spat out fierce interceptor fire at the approaching warp missiles. Changes occurred again. The electromagnetic gun projectile that had just left the curvature bubble seemed to be affected by some unknown influence. It quickly deviated from its original route and began to move irregularly in the vast universe. Naturally, laser weapons were not much better. After many twists and turns, the high-energy laser beam had already lost its usual accuracy and shot towards unknown distances. Chapter 779 Flagship Enter! Use warp missiles! The old scientist's order was once again half a step late. Only curvature missiles equipped with a curvature device can operate normally in this environment. It looked at the screen gloomily. Even warp missiles can only move forward using traditional propulsion methods. If I guess correctly, like the curvature missile, our warship has lost its warp navigation capability. Damn! It cursed again. What kind of road technology are these? While cursing, looking at the slowly, approaching curvature missile, a strong sense of uneasiness arose in its heart again. A space-time tsunami caused by space-time resonance. Unknown environments often mean danger, especially since this combat environment was created by the enemy. The hidden dangers multiplied several times. The space rift has been prepared and can be launched at any time came the report from the civilization flagship. It suppressed the uneasiness in its heart and issued an order in a deep voice. Continue launching. Destroy those immobile warships. The positions of these warships are probably carefully calculated. Even though it didn't know the specific principle, it quickly grasped the key point. As long as a certain number of node warships are eliminated, this disgusting space-time tsunami will quickly subside. Wrapped by the curvature bubble, the spatial rift has been successfully generated while continuing to extend to both ends. It quickly rushed towards the intended target. Uh-huh. At the first instant, it left the range of the two antennas. In the second moment, it left the coverage of the curvature bubble and appeared in the rough ocean of space-time. In the space-time fluctuation monitoring equipment, the status of the space rift is very clear it has lost the original momentum of overcoming obstacles. It struggled to break through the waves of time and space and move towards its goal. 
every wave consumes a lot of energy moving forward. At the edge of the originally flat space crack, jagged ripples are appearing at an extremely fast speed. This is a sign of self-healing in the surrounding space. The third moment. It was completely submerged in the tsunami of space and time. It only traveled less than 100,000 kilometers before. There is no doubt that compared to the past, under the influence of the space-time tsunami, this space weapon has been weakened to an epic level. The human fleet that discovered this situation changed its original style of fighting guerrilla warfare, drove the antimatter engine, and charged forward. At the same time, a tachyon message appeared on the screen of the Energy Command Center. Now, your space weapon is gone. Excluding the 2,000 battleships fixed at the time and space node, the remaining more than 100 Golden Crow and White Tiger formed a mini assault formation around the Titan mothership, driven by antimatter engines rushing towards the Energit fleet. What tactics should be used when both sides have lost their warp navigation and most of their weapons? Close combat. No doubt about it. Just like the choice of human civilization. The Energit fleet also rushed forward. 1500 versus 100. From a numerical point of view, the Energit fleet had the advantage. At first, the command department of the Energit civilization thought so too. But the moment the two sides got closer, they realized the problem. Even though only missiles equipped with curvature engines can be used normally, human civilization also has a large number of foul warheads. Basic model antimatter warhead, advanced model micro black hole warhead, and gravity bomb warhead. Not to mention the weird material disintegration rays that can be released by ship-based drones. Unlike high-energy laser weapons, material disintegration rays are called rays, but they are actually a range of force fields. Therefore, its accuracy requirements are not high and the impact is minimal. Then, in just one encounter, the energy fleet paid a heavy price with more than 300 warships. Perhaps looking for a breakthrough, the flagship of the energy civilization finally moved, driven by the antimatter engine and covered by a group of surrounding battleships. It rushed straight towards the Titan mothership, king against king, against general, the energy civilization, which was in dire straits, set its sights on the flagship of the human fleet. Give it a try and turn your bicycle into a motorcycle. At least, in the past wars, this flagship didn't seem to have done much, but only acted as a command. If they can take down the opponent's command ship in one fell swoop, maybe they still have a slim to extreme hope, excluding the bug of Chiyu. As the secondary flagship in the human fleet, the combat capabilities of the Titan mothership are definitely second to none. The huge hull not only allows it to have abundant ammunition and supplies, but also allows it to have a high-strength composite shield second only to the planet shield. Although the power of the enemy's flagship space weapons has been greatly weakened, it is not something that ordinary warships can easily resist. Coupled with the fact that the enemy's flagship contains technological artifacts that human civilization urgently needs, destroying the enemy ship has become the most impossible option. Therefore, in a sense, it is the best choice for the Titan mothership to fight against the opponent's flagship. Facing the incoming enemy ship, Baishwan did not hesitate and directly issued the order to attack. Flagship Enter! While the power of the shield and curvature bubble increased rapidly, countless missile silos were opened, accompanied by bursts of explosions and flames. The distance between the two flagships was getting closer. 100,000 kilometers of warning line. Uh-huh. A strong fluctuation of time and space flashed through. And by Ishwan's spirit could not help but become tense to the extreme. The space rift is coming. Buzz. The load curve of the shield generating device instantly formed a straight peak. The originally invisible composite shield suddenly became clearly visible due to the space distortion effect in the hit area. Under the light of the shield generating device and other devices, it looks like a planetary shield, showing a light blue color. The attack gradually dissipated. The shield's light slowly dissipated, and the load curve gradually returned to flatness. Our shield has not been broken yet. After passing through layers of weakened space rifts, it was successfully blocked by the fleet's composite shield. The next space rift will take a lot of time to arrive. Kill it while it's sick. Driven by a large-scale antimatter engine, the huge battleship showed unprecedented flexibility. It quickly closed the distance with the enemy ship. Missiles equipped with various warheads are pouring out as if they are free. The second space rift is coming. Buzz. Parts of the composite shield generating device were overloaded and began to emit wisps of smoke, indicating complete destruction. Dense explosions and flames lit up near the enemy ship at the same time. With a flash of bright light, the enemy flagship shield generating device was successfully overloaded. 
and the composite shield slowly dissipated after a few flashes. The opportunity has come. The Titan mothership, which had already rushed to the vicinity of the enemy ship, quickly opened the hatch on the side. Countless ship-based drones swarmed out, carrying war robots one after another and rushing towards Energit's flagship. Star Jump Gang Chapter 780 The Mantis uses its arms as a chariot. In the deep and dark universe, two warships of similar size, but very different design styles, passed by. Boom! 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 The Energit battleship, whose composite shield had completely dissipated, was bombarded by curvature missiles, and explosions lit up all over the ship. The strong and thick outer armor was blasted open with countless gaps. Under the influence of air pressure, the gas inside the battleship quickly spurted out from the gap. The high-speed jet of air also carried some device, fragments of unknown purposes, and some Energit crew members. As the battleship's emergency repair procedures were initiated, the gap area was quickly filled with an unknown substance, which prevented the escape of gas within the ship. The next second, the gravity bomb that reached the tail of Energit's flagship exploded. A violent light flashed in the darkness, and the majestic energy was transformed into a powerful gravitational field. Squeak! Powerful tidal force acted on the rear of the flagship, causing it to emit sharp and harsh creaking sounds. The nozzle of the antimatter engine, which was spewing violent radiation outward, suddenly went out. With the basic structure deformed, the internal antimatter engine stopped urgently, perhaps because the power of the gravity bomb was deliberately lowered. The powerful gravity only appeared for a short moment and then completely disappeared. This also avoids large-scale damage to the enemy ship's hull. A total of 10 gravity bombs detonated one after another, completely destroying the enemy ship's propulsion system. When the last antimatter engine nozzle stalled, the bulky flagship became a turtle in a urn and could only rely on inertia to slowly slide forward. The third space rift had just been formed and slowly dissipated into the vast universe before it even had time to break out the flagship's output power was only 10%, and it could only maintain the existence of the curvature bubble. At the same time, under the illumination of high-power searchlights and explosion fire, a large number of ship-based drones swarmed out from the open door of one of the warships. Like an enraged swarm of bees, they rushed towards the huge battleship not far away without caring about their own safety. After these ship-based drones approached the enemy ship, they quickly activated their high-energy laser cannons. Although it is only a small machine, its power can be clearly understood based on its classification as a naval gun. The purple laser beam flashed rapidly, punching several holes in the flank of the enemy's flagship at lightning speed. The gas inside the ship was once again mixed with a large amount of debris and spewed out. As soon as the emergency repair program was started, it was physically shut down by the intruding ship-based drones with high-energy laser cannons and electromagnetic cannons. The flickering fire from the muzzle and the dazzling light from the broken energy transmission path. These lights mixed together, barely illuminating this dark space the internal lighting facilities had stopped working long ago. In this terrible environment with flickering lights and the possibility of secondary explosions at any time, several brackets popped up from the side of the ship-based drone to firmly fix it on the deck. It then opened the hatch in its belly. Boom! 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 Accompanied by rapid and dull footsteps. A two-meter-tall humanoid war robot rushed out of it. It raised its arms flexibly and easily tore off the thick and thin cables around it. Electric sparks and high-temperature plasma slanted down, but were completely blocked by a miniature composite shield around them. The eyes, glowing red and composed of various high-precision detectors, glanced over and quickly transmitted the data to the ship-based drone. The ship-borne drone then acts as a transfer station and uploads all data in real time. Finally, with the support of Zero's huge computing power, the modeling work was completed quickly. Environmental analysis completed. This is a completely enclosed narrow space. A simple conclusion can be drawn through those closed hatches. The other party has sealed off this area, and its purpose is naturally to prevent human civilization from intruding on the flagship as much as possible. In human civilization, there is a simple word to describe this kind of behavior. The mantis is acting like a chariot. The two huge muzzles on the right and left shoulders of the tall war robot slowly rotated and were aimed at a thick hatch. Boom! The electromagnetic gun and high-energy laser cannon fired at the same time. And the solid and thick isolation hatch did not even last for 0.5 seconds before turning into countless flying debris. The moment the hatch was shattered, the artillery fire did not stop, but continued bombarding for another second. The passage behind the hatch is in dilapidated condition, with only a basic frame structure remaining. Boom! 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 Dull footsteps sounded, 
and war robots penetrated into the enemy ship from the blasted hatch. The same scene occurs in almost all landing points. Energic Command Center From the moment, the flagship power system was destroyed. There was only a slight sound of breathing in the entire command center. Both the Energets and other intelligent civilizations were looking at the screen in front of them with pale expressions. On one side of the screen, a 3D model of the Energet was displayed. There are dense red dots distributed on the side and belly of the ship. These red dots are rushing into the flagship at extremely fast speeds. No matter what interception measures they deployed inside the flagship, they could not stop the advanced rhythm of these red dots. The reason is presented on the other side of the screen. It was a mechanical army built from pure war machines. Under the combined action of various high-power weapons and composite shield systems, no interception measures can sustain them for more than one second. Abandon the flagship! When things came to an end, the old scientist calmed down completely. He shook his head feebly. The goal of human civilization is the space weapons inside. Defeat is a foregone conclusion, and I don't want human civilization to get it. The old scientist's proposal was approved by all the command staff. It pressed a few buttons on the console in front of it. In addition, I hope you will be prepared. The moment the war is completely lost, I will activate the central computer self-destruct program. All information about the ruins will be completely erased. No one raised any objections. And the command center remained as quiet as before. The old scientist was operating the console in front of him with a solemn expression. When it comes to the most core devices of civilization, it takes a lot of time to unlock each permission. Suddenly, its movements paused slightly. On the personal screen in front of it, a piece of information marked as the highest level of confidentiality awakened its long dormant memory. Chapter 781 1300 year old information. That was a top secret message that had been sealed for 1300 years. At that time, he was the top scientist of the Energet civilization. Nature is not yet born. Regarding the incident of this top secret information, it learned from the mentor. 1300 years ago, the Energet civilization was still a level 4 civilization. The Energet civilization, which had mastered the antimatter engine and curvature navigation technology, once became the most powerful existence in this star field. The Energet Alliance has also begun to take shape. At that time, the Energet civilization governed dozens of lower level civilizations. It had completely established a foothold in this star field and continued to expand outwards and absorb lower level civilizations until they encountered an aircraft, a spherical mirror aircraft with an extremely smooth surface that can clearly reflect anything around it. The aircraft hovered quietly in the dark and deep universe. Like a crystal clear teardrop, the starlight from infinite distance is reflected on its surface, making it as bright as a diamond in the sun. Extreme beauty also symbolizes extreme danger. That is a technological creation. And it is a technological creation that far exceeds the level for civilization. When you stare into the abyss, the abyss stares back into you. Same reason. When the energy civilization's detector discovered it, or in other words, before it discovered it, the aircraft discovered the existence of the Energet civilization, but it only observed the Energet civilization from a distance and carried out the evaluation process according to the preset program. Until the evaluation is completed, or in other words, until the moment the Energet civilization discovers it, the aircraft that had been silent in the starry sky suddenly started to move, without any engine nozzles. It moved extremely abruptly. In just a few moments, its flight speed reached 0.7 times the speed of light. This scene greatly frightened the energy civilization, which had not mastered tachyon radar technology at the time. However, by observing the surrounding space and time, they successfully judged the opponent's propulsion technology a curvature that was far more advanced than theirs. Technology. An electromagnetic wave message with its own interpretation program appears in their computers, bringing them a broader world and an unprecedented path. Become an affiliated civilization of the 8th level civilization and directly obtain the grand unification theory. This is an unparalleled temptation for a fourth level civilization. As a result, there were quite a few disputes within the civilization. The aircraft from a higher civilization did not urge it anymore. It just hovered quietly in the starry sky as before, as if a god was looking at the believers at his feet. In the end, the energy civilization rejected this opportunity to reach the world in one fell swoop. But something unexpected happened. Before the energy civilization could transmit the information to the mysterious aircraft, it suddenly disappeared into the visible universe, leaving only an extremely strong space-time fluctuation that was slowly dissipating. Judging from the time and space fluctuations that have not completely dissipated, this aircraft has left this star field. The direction it is heading is to a remote corner of the Milky Way. 
it seems that there is something more important waiting for it there. This magical and dangerous contact information is encrypted layer by layer and stored in the deepest part of the civilization's central computer. As time goes by, it is gradually forgotten by the world. Today, in the entire civilization, I am afraid that few people still remember the accidental contact event 1,300 years ago. And no one remembers that the energy civilization almost embarked on a completely different development path. But in the deepest part of the central computer, this top secret information still contains the communication frequency and communication password for communicating with that aircraft. In less than a second, countless memories and thoughts flashed through the old scientist's mind. It came to its senses. Then, he raised his head and glanced at the screen in front of him. On the screen, some red dots have broken through the outermost defense line of the flagship and are heading towards the core area of the flagship. It pretended to open the top secret information as if nothing had happened. With its authority at the moment, this was easy to do. Then, it memorized the complex communication frequency and communication password. Exit. Delete. Crush. It did not hesitate to delete the top secret file from the central computer. After completing this series of operations, it remotely mobilized the large-scale tachyon communication device set up in the synchronous orbit of the parent star. That is the most powerful tachyon communication device in the Energet civilization. Based on the accuracy of Energet civilization's detection of tachyons, it is enough to cover a territory of 100 light-years. Operating at maximum power, it can even send specified information to a distant area 150 light-years away. The communication distance of a tachyon communication device mainly depends on two points. First, the transmission power. Second, the monitoring accuracy. In other words, for advanced civilizations with higher monitoring accuracy, the transmission range of this tachyon communication device may be far more than 150 light years. The old scientist who knew this well did not have any fluctuation in his expression and entered the compiled information accurately and quickly. The fifth level civilization. Energet civilization is willing to become your affiliated civilization. Maximum power. Start. Number of cycles. 10 million times. The old scientist who completed all the operations took a deep breath, looking at the array of war robots that were still breaking through the defense lines inside the ship. The panic in its eyes was swept away, replaced by extreme coldness. Energet civilization is over. Human civilization should not be left alone. The prompt that all permissions have been unlocked has sounded. The old scientist's eyes were fixed, looking at the faint blue physical buttons on the console. The flagship self-destructs, and the central computer enters a self-destruct countdown. As long as it presses this button, all irreversible self-destruction programs will begin. Without any hesitation, it faced the gaze of everyone in the command center and directly pressed the blue button in front of it. Click. There is a slight damping feeling and a sound from the keys. The old scientist subconsciously closed his eyes. It doesn't want to see the energy explode. One second. Two seconds. The originally quiet command center gradually became filled with inappropriately noisy discussions. What's the situation? The old scientist who closed his eyes suddenly felt an unknown anger in his heart. This is the flagship of the energy civilization. This is the death of a flagship. Can these warriors have even a little respect for its death? It opened its eyes suddenly and glared at the commanding officers around it. Just when it was about to yell angrily, it saw the picture on the screen. Then, the anger on his face disappeared. It also made an extremely hoarse sound from its mouth. This is... What happened? Chapter 782 Nano Invasion Device Time went back 10 minutes to the moment when the war robot set foot on Energet's flagship for the first time. In order to break through the enemy's interception facilities, the war robots raised their muzzles and launched fierce attacks on the target. Just when the attention of the Energet command center was fully attracted. Special projectiles were mixed in the gunfire and bombarded into the deck and various devices of the battleship. No one noticed that these silver-white projectiles did not explode violently when they hit the target, but melted quickly, like a pool of silver-white liquid melting into various gaps. This is the latest research result of the Academy of Science's non-invasive device. From the original design concept, they should be installed on warp missiles to launch intrusions into enemy computer systems through ultra-long-range attacks. But in actual combat the situation is too complicated. On the one hand, with the help of various composite shields and interception weapons, it is difficult for curvature missiles to approach enemy warships. On the other hand, the enemy can physically cut off the communication link of the invaded warship at any time to block Zero's invasion. A premature attack will not only fail to have the desired effect, but may even alert the enemy. Therefore, 
It was ultimately used in interstellar ganghopping battles to seize control of the flagship. These silver-white projectiles are composed of a large number of specially modified nanorobots. They have stronger endurance and mobility. In the previous salvo, each war robot fired an average of more than 10 such special projectiles. A huge number of nanorobots launched a saturation attack on the flagship from all angles and directions in unknown corners. Bill the plank rode openly and crossed Chinsong secretly. When some of the nanorobots successfully came into contact with the tachyon communication equipment, this war has been completely declared over. On the screen in front, the picture it expected did not appear. The huge flagship that should have crashed into the explosion flames of the antimatter reactor is still gliding through the universe without incident. At the same time, the red dots representing the invaders suddenly accelerated several times. The defensive facilities were just as fake and did not play any blocking role. These war machines were like sharp swords. Thrusting straight into the core area of the flagship, the old scientist's eyes suddenly widened. He subconsciously raised his hand and pressed the physical button in front of him again. Click. 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 A familiar feeling of damping came. But no changes occurred. The button is broken? The old scientist looked at the blue button in front of him in bewilderment. Are you kidding me? How could a physical button that is related to the life and death of a fifth-level civilization be broken at any time? Just when it was at a loss. A line of energy tech slowly appeared in the center of all screens. Hello. This is human civilization. The noisy exchanges in the command center disappeared at this moment. Blank. My mind went blank. The old scientist stared blankly at the two lines of text on the screen. After a long time, its stagnant thinking finally started to work. Just like an old starship that had been parked for thousands of years. Its thinking organ took a long time to draw a conclusion from these two simple lines of text with great difficulty. Civilization's central computer has been hacked. Then, like an erupting volcano, countless questions spewed out of its heart. When did this happen? Why was there no warning? Why no warning? Why? Suddenly, it seemed to have thought of something, and turned its head suddenly to look at a screen beside it. Uh-huh. His body went limp, and he collapsed directly on the seat behind him. Synchronous orbital tachyon communication transmitting device. The sending task has been forcibly stopped. Current loop count, zero. That message was not sent. Its expression was a little distorted, as if it was enduring some pain. The old scientist struggled up from his seat and took another look at the core top-secret files of the central computer. It let out a long sigh of relief. The top-secret document has disappeared. It raised its hand and covered its chest. Its eyes filled with pain. On the screen in front of the command center, the more than 2,000 battleships serving as nodes have stopped their curvature engines and are forming a neat formation and slowly heading towards the Energet star system. At the forefront of the fleet is the huge flagship. The originally turbulent ocean of time and space has gradually returned to calm. Densely packed red dots have entered the core area of the flagship, Energit. Next to the human fleet, one Energit warship stopped attacking uncontrollably. And then, amidst everyone's exclamations, actively joined the fleet of human civilization. It slowly closed its eyes. After a few seconds, its painful expression suddenly relaxed, and the arm that was originally covering its chest dropped uncontrollably. The command center had already become a mess. No matter how the Alliance leaders issued orders, the commanders who were facing a life and death crisis were running around like headless flies. Only the old scientist Energit, whose body was full of wrinkles, was still sitting quietly on the chair. The slack eyelids were slightly opened, and the dull eyes seemed to be staring at the chaotic command center, and also seemed to be staring at the sunset belonging to the Energit civilization. It's dead. No one noticed. Inside the Kepler 452 star system, in the blue holographic projection, Lines of crystal white text emerged. At the same time, Zero's electronic synthesized sound also sounded. Central Computer Control Authority has been successfully seized. The smile that just appeared on Liu Yongcheng's face completely dissipated in the next second. Warn! An unknown Type 1 potential threat has been discovered and attempts are being made to intercept it. The originally blue holographic image instantly turned into blood red. After hearing this prompt, Liu Yongcheng's expression suddenly changed. He changed his original appearance of the old god and stood up from the chair. Type 1 potential threats are the highest level of potential threats to human civilization in the classification of the school of sociology. Normally, only contact with an unknown advanced civilization would trigger such an alarm. It is precisely because of this that Liu Yongcheng's heart has jumped to his throat at this time. Is there a higher level civilization behind this fifth level civilization? The sending process has been forcibly stopped. Current number of messages sent, zero. Soon, 
Zero's electronic synthesized sound sounded again. Lu Yongchang breathed a long sigh of relief. This slightly stiff electronic synthesized sound actually brought him an unprecedented sense of peace of mind. Zero, what's going on? Lu Yongchang sat back in his chair and asked Ling in a deep voice. What is the content of the letter? Who is the target of the letter? Chapter 783 Earth Set Sail Retrieving relevant information in the database. The stiff electronic synthesized sound sounded again. There is no doubt that the database of a level 5 civilization is extremely large. In theory, this core information should not be too difficult to retrieve because it is placed in the core and most secure area of the database. 4-0. This stood out like a guiding light. What? Encryption program? I've even managed the central computer. And you're telling me about data encryption? But the reality deviated greatly from expectations. Time passed by. And the amount of data retrieved by Zero had reached an extremely exaggerated level. But he still did not give an accurate response. Lu Yongchang's uneasiness gradually increased. Relevant information has not been retrieved. The content of the message was sent using unknown passwords and dictionaries. The necessary information is missing and cannot be deciphered. As expected, after a period of time, Zero, who had completed the retrieval work, brought a bad news. According to the log information, the other party executed the deletion of a top secret file a few seconds ago. Preliminary inference is that the document may be highly relevant to the content of the letter. The possibility of recovering deleted content is basically zero. Li Yongchang took a deep breath and issued an order in a deep voice. Let Bai Ishuan land on the other side's home planet immediately. After completing the finishing work on the battlefield, stamp the ideological stamp on everyone in the command center. After the ideological steel seal is imprinted, the interrogation will begin immediately. When the overwhelming fleet arrived in synchronous orbit, the morale of the energet civilization had dropped to the extreme. It can be said that even if human civilization does nothing at this time, most people will choose to surrender. But for Baishuan, such a surrender process was too slow, especially after receiving the emergency order from Lu Yongchang. He became even more anxious. Baishuan in Titan Mothership made countless swear words after learning the specific situation. Another idiot who secretly communicates with higher civilizations. TMB. The peaceful life that mankind has finally enjoyed must not be destroyed in the hands of such a stupid young man. With this thought in mind, he directly issued an order. Turn on the anti-gravity system. Log in directly. Then, in everyone's horrified eyes, thousands of huge ships were slowly falling from the sky. They blocked the light from the main star. But the fire caused by the friction between the ship's hull and the atmosphere still illuminated the entire sky. Their battleships. The Alliance leader in the command center looked at the spectacular scene in the sky and murmured in a low voice. Won't it be affected by the tidal force? The giant ship stopped in a low-altitude area less than a thousand meters above the surface. And then, the thick naval gun was directly inserted into the face of the command center. Surrender? Or perish? Under the flickering light of the muzzle, a line of Energet's words appeared on all the screens again. This scene, which was like a god coming down to Earth completely shattered the inner defenses of the Energet civilization. Those diehards who refused to surrender either defected or committed suicide. Under the threat of face-to-face -face naval guns, the entire surrender process came to an end in just a few days. The demise of the Energet civilization, which is the backbone of the Alliance, will theoretically cause turmoil in the entire Alliance. However, under the maintenance of a large number of combat teams sent by the human fleet in advance, the order of the Alliance remained relatively intact regardless of whether it was voluntary or forced. At least, no civilization within a hundred light years has successfully left its home star system. The acceptance of the Energet Alliance is advancing steadily. And with the successful imprinting of the ideological stamp, interrogation work has also begun. After simple repairs, the Energet flagship loaded with space weapons was escorted by dozens of warships and headed towards the Kepler-452 star system. At the same time, the robot has completed a series of cleaning tasks and landed on the flagship to begin preliminary research work. What? Lu Yongchang, who was in the laboratory and was conducting research based on the data transmitted remotely, suddenly turned ugly. The energetic person who sent this message is dead? The cause of death was organ failure caused by natural aging? No one in the command center knows about this? Lu Yongchang couldn't help but curse in his heart. What the H, L is this? Interrogation! Continue the interrogation. He took a deep breath, and suppress the uneasiness in his heart. Expand the scope of the interrogation to all senior personnel of the Energet Alliance. Received. 
Ling responded to Liu Yongcheng's order meticulously. Professor, I found a piece of information in the database of the Energet civilization related to the space weapons loaded on the flagship. Huh? Liu Yongcheng, who had just turned his attention back to his research work, suddenly raised his head and stared at Zero's holographic avatar. What did you say? The holographic projection unfolded quietly. Lines of translated graphic and text information were clearly presented before Liu Yongcheng's eyes. It was a huge fortress comparable in size to a gas giant planet. Judging from the texture on its surface, it belongs to an unknown advanced civilization. The design style of the sweeper's warship is not like this. I'll give it a try. It's real or fake. Is this energet civilization so lucky? Liu Yongchan looked amazed, and at the same time murmured to himself unbalancedly. With such good conditions, we are only a fifth level civilization until now. What a waste! Liu Yongchang's unusual behavior quickly attracted the attention of other scientific researchers. Yongchan? Did you find anything? Fang Su asked casually while completing his own research task. It's a small thing. Just a relic left by an advanced civilization. Liu Yongchang responded like this. Oh, relics. Fang Su suddenly came back to his senses, suddenly jumped up from the chair, and even knocked down the seat behind him. What did you say? The remains of high civilization, the ruins below? He ignored the chair that fell on the ground and ran towards Liu Yongchang in three steps at a time. Looking at the graphic information in the holographic projection, Fang Su took a sharp breath, and an unusual blush quickly appeared on his originally plain face due to excitement. You call this a trivial matter? Fang Su gritted his teeth and looked at Liu Yongchang, who was smiling at the corner of his eyes. You really deserve to die. By the way, according to the information in the database, the Energet civilization obtained space weapons in the peripheral area of the ruins. Liu Yongchang dropped a bombsh, L again. Hack! To this, Fang Su had only this response. Peripheral area. Space weapons. What about the interior? Where are the coordinates? Where are the coordinates? He widened his eyes and looked at the holographic projection filled with dense information. Near a neutron star within the territory of the Energet Alliance. Liu Yongchang had already opened the star map and determined the spatial coordinates of the ruins. Zero. Earth. Set sail. Chapter 784 Abnormal Structure. Under Liu Yongchang's order, Earth slowly left Puller 452B and headed outside the star system driven by the curvature engine. Under Zero's control, a large number of experimental ships, supply ships, and frigates followed the pace of Earth. After the expedition fleet, human civilization once again sent a scientific research fleet to the territory of the Energet Alliance. Neutron Star. One of the densest stars in the universe besides black holes. When a brilliant star reaches the end of its life and explodes as a supernova, it is possible to form a neutron star. The density of its matter is extremely high if an external force compresses the Earth into a small ball with a diameter of about 20 meters. It will become a neutron star. Therefore, its surface gravity has reached an extremely exaggerated level, hundreds of billions of times the gravity on the Earth's surface. This powerful force can even crush atoms and push extranuclear electrons into the nucleus. This is also the origin of the name neutron star which is a star directly composed of dense neutrons. Neutron degeneracy pressure and gravity balance each other, maintaining the existence of neutron stars and preventing them from collapsing into black holes. White dwarfs are the result of electron degeneracy pressure and gravity balancing each other. And this is also the navigation target of this scientific research fleet, with a straight line distance of 627 light years. Although human civilization has already conducted scientific research near small black holes, when it comes to the detection of neutron stars, human civilization is still only at the stage of distant observation. The reason? There are no neutron stars within the 500 light year territory of human civilization. As for before, at that time, human civilization did not have the leisure to find a neutron star for research. Needless to say, the scientific researchers inside Earth were very excited at this time, especially when they learned that there was an artificial celestial body near the neutron star that was close to the size of a gas giant planet. Everyone was filled with curiosity, except Liu Yongchang. Liu Yongchang stood by the porthole, staring at the unique fantasy seen under the super light speed curvature navigation outside the porthole, and his originally relaxed brows frowned slightly. True, whether it was space weapons or relics of advanced civilization, they all brought him quite a surprise, especially since this advanced civilization relic has been tested by predecessors for thousands of years. It can basically be confirmed that there is no advanced intelligent life inside it. As for the reason, 
A bunch of bugs are tearing at your door every day for thousands of years. What will you do? In this case, the ruins didn't respond at all, which speaks volumes. But even so, after a brief surprise, Lu Yongchang still fell into deep thought. What's wrong? Just as Lu Yongchang was lost in thought, Fang Su's voice suddenly sounded from the side. Then, a figure appeared beside him, also looking at the bizarre scene outside the porthole. There's nothing going on outside. I mean Yongchang. How long have you been watching this scene, and you're still not tired of it? Lu Yongchang burst into laughter, shook his head and explained. No, I think there is something wrong with the structure of the ruins. Um? Regarding the ruins, Fang Su's expression suddenly became solemn. What do you mean? Is it a trap? Lu Yongchang pondered for a moment and collected his thoughts. In the simplest terms, it shouldn't be this big. What? Fang Su's expression froze slightly, and there was a bit of weirdness and surprise in his eyes. At that moment, he was even ready to face advanced civilization. But Lu Yongchang did this to him. Lu Yongchang obviously didn't notice Fang Su's strange look in his eyes, and continued talking to himself. When studying the structure of the planetary fortress, we once built a model. Although planet fortress has many advantages, considering mobility and other issues, its size has an upper limit, 10 times the volume of the Earth. This is the ultimate volume of the planet fortress calculated based on the model without considering the consumption of construction resources. Planet fortresses exceeding this volume will suffer a significant decline in terms of mobility and structural strength per unit volume. If you consider resource consumption, a planetary fortress with a diameter of 5,000 to 8,000 kilometers will be the best choice. Lu Yongchang stretched his hand across the air, and a holographic projection appeared in front of the two of them. Look at the remains of this advanced civilization. The scale even exceeds that of Jupiter. This is well beyond the optimal volume, or even the ultimate volume in our model. However, for such a large volume, its mass is not large. Less than five times the mass of Jupiter. Lu Yongchang looked at Fang Su with burning eyes. There must be something wrong here. Fang Su was confused. Fang Su pondered. Fang Su suddenly realized. Snapped. He clapped his hands hard and said loudly. You mean, this relic may be made of some unknown material? Could it be a dense structure similar to a neutron star? As soon as he finished speaking, he frowned and shook his head to overturn his argument. No. 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 Such a large dense structure of a neutron star. Then the mass is incredible. Could it be that there is another mystery? Lu Yongchang, seeing Fang Su walking further and further down the wrong road. He coughed quickly, interrupting Fang Su's thoughts. No! I mean, it's probably empty in here. He looked at Fang Su in surprise. Why do you think so complicated? Fang Su. Empty? This? This? Fang Su looked at Lu Yongchang dumbfounded. When I say empty, I don't mean a vacuum. When Fang Su stopped talking, Lu Yongchang continued to explain. But... It might just be a SH. L wrapped around the gas giant planet. Fang Su couldn't help but fell into deep thought. Although Li Yongchang's conclusion is a bit too simple and crude. But looking back and thinking about it carefully, it seems that this possibility is really not small. It is a technological creation larger than Jupiter. But its mass is less than five times the mass of Jupiter. This average density is too low. The average density of Jupiter is only 1.326 g slash cm. Ah! Calculated. The average density of this technological creation is even smaller than Earth. This is obviously impossible. Then what is their purpose of building this planetary fortress? Fang Su asked subconsciously. Is it possible that the advanced civilization is still planning to leave with this gas giant planet? Lu Yongcheng's eyes couldn't help but light up. Don't say it. Don't say it. It's really possible. Fang Su looked at him helplessly. It's crazy. Fang Su muttered in a low voice. Gas giant planets can be found everywhere. Does a civilization with such high technology need to pay attention to a gas giant planet? In case. I mean just in case. A mysterious smile appeared on the corner of Lu Yongchang's mouth. Is this gas giant planet the mother star of that civilization? Fang Su's expression was suffocated and he fell into silence. Chapter 785 Ruins An unknown corner of the territory of the Enrigid Alliance. This star field is very desolate and there is no trace of any civilization within a radius of 20 light years. It was, artificially, empty the indigenous people who originally lived in the nearby star system moved away from this star field under the persuasion of the Energet civilization. In the central area of this star field, there is a beautiful nebula glowing with purple-red light. That's the product of a supernova explosion. According to the preliminary detection data of human civilization, 
and the research of Inrajit civilization. This supernova explosion occurred approximately 200,000 years ago. On a cosmic scale, this is a very short time. And this brilliant supernova explosion also successfully sent a star into its grave it turned into a neutron star. Earth calendar year 3750. Following a wave of space-time fluctuations, a brand new fleet appeared in the empty universe 0.1 light years away from the neutron star. There is sparse nebula material all around. But compared with the empty interstellar space, this place already seems very crowded. These nebula materials are spreading outward at a slow rate. This is the star's final cry to the universe before it dies. The fleet shut down the warp engine and hovered quietly in this bright nebula. Although the curvature engine has been iterated several times, it is still not enough in front of extreme celestial objects. After a few seconds, the antimatter engine began to emit increasingly intense radiation, and the human fleet began to move toward the target area again. Time passes slowly. The human fleet finally approached its target, a huge planet that is dark gray all over. The surface of the planet is very flat, with almost no gaps or protrusions, and no unnecessary devices. This is by no means a naturally occurring object. With just one glance, any intelligent creature could come to this simple conclusion. In front of a planet with a diameter of 150,000 kilometers, the human fleet is as small as a sesame dot. Under Zero's precise control, the fleet slowly sailed into its synchronized orbit. In the distance, there is a small bright spot shining with dazzling light that is the remnant of the star. A neutron star. According to the information in Energit Civilization Database, Zero easily found its entrance. It was a huge gap across the surface of the planet. The straight crack is 50,000 kilometers long and more than 10,000 kilometers wide. What is this concept? Even Chi Yu can easily enter the entrance of this fortress. That is the largest megastructure ever built by human civilization. For a planet with a diameter of 150,000 kilometers, this crack is nothing. But for humans, this is definitely an extremely terrifying abyss. The black cracks extend inward, making people feel a little bit fearful. The camera zooms out. The Earth, which is on the order of 10,000 meters in length, is like an ant, hovering quietly above this abyss. A few hours later, dozens of experimental ships broke away from the fleet and, driven by antimatter engines, slowly sailed towards this bottomless abyss. Earth, command center. Lu Yongchang sat in a seat, looking attentively at the real-time images sent back by the experimental ship. For safety reasons, there are no personnel inside these experimental ships and all operations are completed by zero. The huge holographic projection brings an unparalleled immersive viewing experience. Looking at the gradually enlarging dark abyss, even Li Yongchan subconsciously held his breath. The fear hidden deep in DNA also arises spontaneously. Suddenly, a bright light appeared in the abyss. The orange-yellow light from an unknown source evenly sprinkled every corner of the entrance, dispelling all the darkness in the cracks. The atmosphere in the command center was very calm, without any surprise. According to information from the energy civilization, this is normal. The energy in the ruins has not been interrupted. And this orange light is also equivalent to the welcoming light. Lu Yongchang frowned slightly. What surprised him was that the ruins did not have the ability to identify friend or foe. Maybe it's intentional. Or maybe there's a malfunction in the functional module. In short, at present, these experimental ships are still safe. After the orange welcoming light appeared, a pulling force accurately appeared around these experimental ships. This force seemed gentle, but it easily offset the thrust of the experimental ship's antimatter engine and led the experimental ship directly into the ruins. There was still not much surprise in Li Yongchang's eyes. The advanced application methods of the unified field can also be achieved by today's human civilization. But the power is not that exaggerated. As the experimental ship entered the crack, the picture in the holographic projection also changed significantly. The sky and ground are orange. They were too straight. Smooth walls extending forward, the edges of the crack. Since the width of the crack reaches an astonishing 10,000 kilometers, this world also appears extremely vast. The tiny experimental fleet is located between the orange sky and the earth, following the traction force to move forward smoothly, or in other words, flying inward. Although he had already expected it, Lu Yongchang was still deeply shocked when he saw such a scene. With such a large entrance and exit, he couldn't even imagine how huge this civilization starship was. Time flew by. After flying inward for more than 3,000 kilometers, under the influence of the traction stance, the experimental ship's flight speed gradually slowed down, and a huge wall appeared in front of everyone. According to the records of the Enrigid civilization, 
This is the gateway to enter the outer area of the ruins. In other words, it is the port gate of this fortress. The traction field gradually dissipated, and the battleship landed on the ground inside the crack. There was a horizontal gravitational force. The strength is not high, only about 5G, for the experimental ship and the scientific research robots inside. This gravity is nothing. At the moment the experimental ship successfully landed, a green beam of light came from the giant gate in front and quickly completed the scan of the experimental ship. The electromagnetic wave signal then appeared, and the frequency adopted the most common AC frequency 1420 MHz. The message comes with a dictionary and translation program. After a short wait, lines of concise formulas appeared in front of everyone in the command center. Looking at the familiar formula, Liu Yongchan took a deep breath. Grand Unified Theory Chapter 786 Strong Interaction Materials the formula that appeared in the holographic projection instantly touched Liu Yongchang's DNA. A grand unified theory. No, to be precise, is a part of a grand unified theory. There is a large blank space below the projected text. Obviously, this is the so-called code the completion of the grand unified theory. The information left by the energet civilization also proves this. Only civilizations that master the grand unification theory are eligible to enter this ruins. Looking at the bright white text in the blue holographic projection, doubts came to his mind again. If this is a test left by advanced civilization, then what is its purpose? Inherited? Not too possible. Judging from the experience of human civilization, even advanced civilizations cannot be so selfless and noble. The bustle in the world is all for the benefit of coming. The hustle and bustle of the world is all for the benefit of the future. Even if it is a sweeper civilization that has reached level 8, it has its own goals and intentions and pastoral civilization. Not to mention that. Painting, what I did at that time is still vivid in my mind. Thinking of this, Lu Yongchang was already very vigilant in his heart. He pondered for a moment, then raised his hand to write very skillfully on the holographic projection in front of him. For Lu Yongchang, the derivation process and conclusions of the grand unified theory have become his muscle memory. Not long after, rows of neat, and beautiful formulas and calculation processes quickly appeared in the huge holographic projection. When the last character fell, Liu Yongchang let out a long sigh of relief. Zero. Send it out. Use the same encryption method and communication frequency. Receive. The moment the electronic synthesized sound sounded, the experimental ship located on the surface of the ruin sent an electromagnetic wave signal to the huge wall in front of it. The orange-yellow light that diffused. Between heaven and earth flickered slowly for a few times, as if an internal process was reviewing and approving the answer submitted by human civilization. Although he knew that he submitted the correct answer, the atmosphere inside, Earth, still became inexplicably tense. Suddenly, the orange light stopped flashing, and the thick closed wall slowly opened under the influence of the great unification field. The orange-yellow light extends all the way, completely presenting the spacious interior to the eyes of human civilization. It was a space filled with mist. The milky white mist is very dense, but under the light of an unknown source. It takes on a strange orange-yellow color. The mist seemed to be restrained by some force field and did not escape outside the gate, just quietly rolling around inside the door. It was beautiful, but it also made Lu Yongchang feel a little worried. This extremely low visibility environment undoubtedly greatly increases the risk and difficulty of exploration. The strength of the grand unified field pulling the experimental ship has not weakened at all and the tightly locked experimental ship can no longer continue to fly. It seems that warships are not allowed to enter this internal area. At Li Yongchang's signal, Zero controlled the scientific research robot to leave the experimental ship, boarded the planetary landing vehicle, and drove straight towards the gate. At the moment it came into contact with the fog, the scientific research robot had completed the sampling and analysis work, and the results were simultaneously presented in Earth. Hydrogen, helium, ammonia, Methane. Water. Lu Yongchang softly repeated the data from the scientific research robot. This complex gas is mixed with a large number of small droplets and suspended solids. Which is why it appears milky white, the orange-yellow color is just due to the light. He raised his eyebrows. And a flash of inspiration flashed in his quantum brain. Seem. Kind of like an upper atmosphere environment on a gas planet. But unlike standard gas giant planets, the atmospheric environment here is more like that of an ice giant. Could it be that? The mother star of this advanced civilization is an ice giant? This thought suddenly flashed through Li Yongchang's mind. But problems also arise. The scale of this ruin far exceeds the limit of an ice giant. Unless, in addition to the ice giant, 
There are a large number of empty areas inside it. Thinking of this, Lu Yongchan subconsciously moved his fingers, established a mathematical model, and tried to analyze the internal structure of this planetary fortress using the existing information. The scientific research robot that entered the fog quickly dispatched a large number of micro drones to try to explore and model this huge space. At the same time, the scientific research robots staying outside are analyzing and studying the building materials of the ruins. As the detection data gradually came in, slightly noisy discussions gradually appeared in the Earth Command Center. This, the detectors of the sweeper civilization use the same materials and technology, Taoyuda explained. They are all materials with strong interaction force. Lu Yongchang's expression darkened slightly. Perhaps it was because the deterrent brought by the detector was too powerful. Looking at this extremely powerful material, he couldn't help but feel a little uneasy in his heart. The so-called strong interaction material. The simplest understanding is neutron star material. A large number of neutrons are forcibly squeezed together without any gaps in between, thus forming dense matter. It is also true that matter composed of strong interaction materials has one of the simplest characteristic smoothness. There are no bulges on the surface. Not even at the atomic level. The ultimate smoothness and tightness also contribute to its ultimate material strength. Of course, we have to ask if there are stronger materials. Of course there is. It is also a strong interaction material. But the material is changed from neutrons to quarks. This is quark star matter. Dense and undoubtedly stronger than neutron star material. But the materials of the ruins in front of me are obviously not up to this level. According to the detection data returned by the scientific research robot, it just uses a layer of dense neutrons to build a particle-level protective film. And its internal structure still uses conventional materials. This explains the quality of this relic. Manipulate the strong interaction force to allow neutrons to form a dense protective film. This operation is not surprising. And is even quite normal. After all, if it were made entirely of neutron star material, that's like driving around in a neutron star. TSK. 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 That power. Any fancy weapons are probably a burden to it. As an extreme celestial body, its own weight and sturdiness are its most powerful weapons. Not to mention planets. Even stars cannot withstand its impact. Drop! A crisp reminder sounded, pulling Lu Yongchang's thoughts back from the distant sky. The scientific research robot that penetrated into the outer area of the ruins sent back good news. Chapter 787 Weapons? No. It's the cutting device. Under everyone's gaze, the picture in the holographic projection changed rapidly. The image of the dense neutron protective film that was originally neatly arranged slowly dissipated. The scientific research robot staying outside also gave up the sampling plan after trying it for a while. Under the influence of the powerful force field, this layer of neutrons seemed to be welded to the surface of the ruins. Unless antimatter is used, humans cannot break through this dense protective film. But the consequences of using antimatter, one can imagine, of course, if the device that controls the strong interaction force can be removed, then this dense neutron protective film will naturally dissipate just like the neutron star material that is separated from the neutron star. In the absence of external forces, it is impossible for such a strong interaction material to exist naturally. At that time, these firmly locked neutrons will quickly escape. There is no doubt that a strong explosion is bound to occur during this process from extreme compression to normal state. The free neutrons then rapidly decay and produce large numbers of protons. Protons and neutrons combine rapidly. And the final product is hydrogen or helium. No matter from which aspect, it is impossible to sample and observe the strong interaction materials in front of you. The picture in the holographic projection has switched to the perspective of a scientific research robot that is deep into the ruins. It was a huge technological creation. Space weapons? Yes. The appearance of this technological creation is almost identical to the space weapon in Energet's flagship. Most of the fixtures on its base have been dismantled. And there are also many tools and equipment left over from the Energet civilization around it. Obviously, until its demise, the Energet civilization did not have time to dismantle this space weapon. But this also benefits human civilization. As soon as you enter the ruins, you will find an intact space weapon. Almost everyone had excited expressions on their faces. But there was a bit of confusion on Lu Yongchang's face. At the same time, he seemed to have thought of something. And his expression was a bit strange. This thing. How does it feel that it is an assembly line product carved out of the same mold? Moreover, place this powerful weapon directly in the outer area. Is it really normal? The exploration range of the micro drone gradually expanded. After manually eliminating the obscuring effect of the orange-yellow fog, 
the full picture of this area gradually appeared in front of everyone, looking at the vast area that was about the same size as the surface of Mars. The expression on Li Yongchang's face became increasingly weird. Not only Li Yongchang, but also the expressions of other scientists in the command center also changed a bit. The surprise was mixed with a bit of surprise and confusion. Hundreds of devices of the same shape are fixed on the ground in an orderly and regular manner. In addition, there are a large number of transport devices similar to crawlers. How does this feel? Li Yongchang muttered to himself in an uncertain tone. Fang Su on the side took over and completed his unfinished words. It's a bit like a factory assembly line? The scientific research robot is exploring the devices around the space weapon at the fastest speed. The conclusion soon appeared in front of everyone. Everyone's guess was correct. This is indeed the factory assembly line of advanced civilization. At the same time, there is another piece of news that is hard to accept. Those space weapons that Enrigit civilization and human civilization regard as treasures are most likely to be efficient cutting devices. Lu Yongchan couldn't help but take a breath of cold air. Even in the hands of the Enrigit civilization, this thing can chi you instantly. If the power is complete, shouldn't it be used to cut materials with strong interaction forces? Thinking of this, he couldn't help but smile bitterly. The gap between human civilization and advanced civilization is too great. Just as everyone was fascinated by this space weapon. No. When the space rift cutting device was shocked. And even more unacceptable news came back. These hundreds of space rift cutting devices. A lot of it is bad. There are probably only about 70 of them intact. As for why you know it's bad. Those damaged devices were even labeled damaged. Looking at those crooked words. The corners of Lu Yongchang's mouth twitched slightly. He put his hand on his forehead and sighed heavily. The emotional energy of civilization was quite lucky. After only exploring this small area, it successfully found two usable space rift cutting devices. Zero. Have you found the corresponding data interface? Lu Yongchang asked after thinking for a moment. Since this ruins is still running, and even its internal judgment program is still running, letting Zero crack the ruins is undoubtedly the best choice. Can. No available data interface has been found yet. Electronic synthesized sounds echoed in the command center. Li Yongchan couldn't help but shook his head. From entering the peripheral area of the ruins to now, scientific research robots have found countless interfaces and cables that can access data. But what's puzzling is that these interfaces and cables are physically cut off and have no effect at all. Keep searching. Try to find other entrances and exits. Li Yongchan thought for a while and gave the order. Leave a batch of scientific research robots and dismantle all the space rift cutting devices. Move all the machines, including those marked as damaged, under the large-scale detection of a large number of microdrone. Exit. In other words, the entrance to the next area was quickly found. It is another door that stands tall on the sky and on the ground. Looking at the picture in the holographic projection, Li Yongchan couldn't help but think of the giant fish in the ice giant. Perhaps... This advanced civilization has an extremely huge body, just like those giant fish. Detectors and scientific research robots observe the door from a distance, trying to find some information from its appearance. Captured by a high-definition camera, every detail of the gate is clearly presented to everyone. The structure is basically the same as the gate entering this factory area, but there are many more patterns and strange words on this gate. Based on the dictionary information sent by the program in the ruins at that time, Zero quickly translated the words on the gate. The 10th Reich. Strong Interaction Material Manufacturing Area. His. At this time. Not to mention the other scientific researchers in the command center. Even Li Yongchang couldn't help but take a breath. F asterisk CK. Fang Su and several old fritters even uttered foul language. Get rich. Professor. We are going to get rich. Li Yongchang also showed a touch of excitement on his face. If you can get a complete set of strong interaction force manufacturing equipment. Then he is confident that he can conquer this high-end technology within 10 years. Chapter 788, The Tenth Empire After the brief surprise, everyone's attention gradually shifted to another important piece of information. The Tenth Reich. This should be the name of this advanced civilization. Right. Fong Su sighed in a low voice. In the name of the empire. The strength of this civilization. I'm afraid it's not simple. Lu Yongchang nodded silently. If you want to wear a crown, you must bear its weight. The word empire cannot be carried by any civilization. Just like human civilization. So far it can only declare to the outside world the Milky Way Metahuman Federation. Of course, as long as you are thick-skinned and not afraid of trouble, it is okay to insist on putting gold on your face. But obviously, 
This advanced civilization that has mastered space weapons and strong interaction materials will most likely not be the kind of civilization that seeks fame and reputation. So, immediately afterwards, Fong Su asked a creepy question. Where did they go? The moment the words fell, a thick chill rose behind everyone in the command center. After a brief silence, Lu Yong Chang responded softly. First of all, exclude the factor of war. From the outside, the ruins are intact and there are no traces of external damage caused by the war. Not only did this not alleviate the chill in everyone's hearts, it even made it a bit worse. Let an advanced civilization that has mastered such technology abandon its home planet and leave. After excluding the factors of war, Lu Yongchang had some difficulty in imagining the reason. Mysteries slowly arise in everyone's minds. Keep moving forward. Lu Yongchang gave the order after thinking for a moment. The fleet retreats 0.1 light years. After the fleet arrives at the target area, the scientific research robot approaches the gate and sends electromagnetic wave information to the gate. Information. Still choose the previous grand unified theory. Outside the ruins. The scientific research fleet led by Earth started the antimatter engine again and slowly sailed into the distance. After the fleet reached the target area 0.1 light years away, the scientific research robots inside the ruins took action again. They slowly stepped forward and actively sent out electromagnetic wave signals to the door. The surrounding orange light flickered slightly, and a response message came back from the gate. Inside Earth, Lu Yongchang stared intently at the translation progress in the holographic projection. There wasn't much worry in his eyes. On the contrary, he was even a little excited at this time. The examination questions appeared about the practical application of Grand Unified Theory, Grand Unified Field Technology. The examination questions are not profound, and they just reach the technological limit of human civilization interfering with and manipulating the gravitational and electromagnetic interactions, and not involving strong and weak interactions. It is not so much the technological upper limit of human civilization as it is the technological upper limit of level 5 civilization. The excitement in Li Yongcheng's eyes gradually dissipated, and he even revealed a bit of disappointment. Pity! He curled his lips and murmured in a low voice with disappointment on his face. Judging from the form of the last, examination questions. If that examination questions, this time involve the theory of advanced civilization, then he can even get part of the theoretical information for free. Understanding the theoretical system of higher civilizations in advance will only be beneficial to the future development of human civilization. Maybe it can greatly increase the speed at which human civilization becomes a level 6 civilization. It's a pity. Although he knew what Lu Yongchang meant. Fong Su couldn't help but rolled his eyes when he heard this. At least we can enter the next area. He rubbed his hands. With a bit of anticipation in his eyes. This is the manufacturing area of strong interaction materials. It's really exciting just thinking about it. As he spoke. He gestured to Lu Yongchang with his eyes. Why are you so stunned? You should hurry up and fill in the answers. No rush. Faced with Fong Su's urging eyes, Lu Yongchang chuckled and looked at the holographic projection in front of him with interest. The first test question screened out civilizations below level 5. The second test screened out those 5th level civilizations with insufficient technological levels. Interesting. There was a glint in his eyes. I seem to understand what this advanced civilization wants to do. Lu Yongchang did not sell out, but gave a straightforward answer. The other party's purpose is probably to screen out potential players who are about to become, or can become, a sixth level civilization. If my guess is not wrong, if there is an area that can be entered later, the test questions there will be related to space, or time and space. Fong Su couldn't help but feel a jump in his heart. The word screen doesn't sound very comfortable to me. It seems that in front of this advanced civilization called the Tenth Empire, civilizations below level six are like seeds that can be picked at will. He couldn't help but frown. What should we do now? Huh? Lu Yongchang glanced at Fong Su in surprise. What should I do? Of course moving on. You've already come. How can you still give up halfway? Besides, what does the question answered by the zero-sum robot have to do with us humans? As he spoke, Lu Yongchang raised his hand and wrote the answer on the holographic projection. Fong Su, you know how to take the blame. The response information is still sent to the door in the form of electromagnetic waves. At the same time, the orange light from an unknown source flickered slightly as usual. This time the flashing time was slightly longer. It seemed that the program inside the ruins was not good at judging applied technologies. As the flashing frequency of the orange-yellow light gradually slowed down, an electromagnetic wave message came from the gate. Hello. 
strange level 5 silicon based civilization. The translated text appears in the holographic projection of Earth. There was a sudden commotion in the command center. They're still there? Fong Su trembled and exclaimed. The information that appeared in the next second was a slap in the face at the speed of light. This is the home star fortress of the 10th Empire. I am the central control master of the fortress. You can call me 10. Artificial intelligence? Lu Yongchang raised his eyebrows suddenly and said to himself, I wonder what level of artificial intelligence this is. Etc. He suddenly noticed a problem with the title. Silicon based civilization? It thinks we're a silicon based civilization? It seems the other party should be just a level 1 artificial intelligence. Otherwise, he shouldn't have made such a serious mistake. Thinking of this, Lu Yongchang's heart calmed down a little. Strange level 5 silicon based civilization. Please tell me your name. Another piece of information appeared in the holographic projection. Lu Yongchang pondered for a moment. He moved his finger slightly and replied. Energet Civilization. Chapter 789 Silicon Based Life. Hello Energet Civilization. Welcome to the 10th Empire. The moment this line of text appeared, the atmosphere in the Earth Command Center suddenly became weird. The poor Energet Civilization was pulled out as a shield just after its demise. What does the Energet Civilization do have to do with our human civilization? Lu Yongchang said this, and followed the other party's words and asked, Are you also silicon-based life forms? After waiting for a few seconds, the level 1 artificial intelligence in the ruins responded, No, I'm not. I'm just a type 1 artificial intelligence they created. But the individuals of the 10th Empire are silicon-based life forms. Lu Yongchang understood. With his eyes moving slightly, he asked again, What do I need to pay? In order to cheat, as much information as possible from the level 1 artificial intelligence. He deliberately blurred the words of his inquiry. 10, colon. What follows is a longer waiting time. Energet civilization. Successfully passed the second stage of assessment. Please continue moving forward. The next moment, the closed door in front of him suddenly opened, revealing the deeper structure of the ruins. Lu Yongchang. What the H, L. Just ran away. He sent several messages to the gate with a look of astonishment on his face but received no response from Tin. His. Lu Yongchang took a breath and muttered to himself with some toothache. This artificial intelligence seems to be a bit introverted. Fong Su. Ahem. I'm kidding. Looking at the increasingly weird expressions of everyone around him, Lu Yongchang explained with a smile. It should be a problem with the program settings. Since the individuals of the 10th Empire are silicon-based organisms, it is easy to understand that silicon-based organisms are given preferential treatment in programming he plausibly said. I would do the same thing if I were in another situation. Fong Su, who was about to ask for evidence, twitched his lips. Well, in a sense, as the creator of Zero, these words of Li Yongchang are indeed the most powerful evidence at present. In short, the robot we sent was identified as a silicon-based life form by accident. This is definitely a good thing for us. Li Yongchang waved his hand. Keep going! Strong interaction material manufacturing area Although the basic structure is similar to the outer factory area, as a more important area within the fortress, its interior decoration and details are more exquisite. The biggest difference is that the fog dispersed in the space has become thicker. Under the orange-yellow light, the thick mist rolled and rose. Just like in a fairyland, that was the wind and waves caused by the rapid flight of micro-drones They cooperated with the scientific research robots under Zero's control to quickly explore this vast area. At this point, Lu Yongchang gradually began to have some guesses in his mind. This mist is probably the living environment of individuals in the 10th Empire. Just like humans must live in the air. Individuals of the 10th Empire are very likely to live in the upper atmosphere of the ice giant. Time passes minute by minute. Modeling and holographic projection is also gradually improving. But the atmosphere in the command center gradually turned from excitement and anticipation to stiffness. Call! Fong Su took a deep breath and exhaled it forcefully. You can tell his mood at this time from his slightly flushed face. Fraud! This is simply a scam. How can this be said to be a strong interaction material manufacturing area? Where's the device? Where's the product? Where's the assembly line? The screen switches to the giant holographic projection in front. After the fog's blocking effect was eliminated, the entire view of the manufacturing area was now very clear, even more embarrassing than the outer areas. In this area, there are only empty SH. LS with a height of tens of meters. Lu Yongchan can even find the SH. L of the console inside. Unlike the simplest consoles of human civilization, 
The console of the Tenth Empire has a large number of control buttons. Lu Yongchang made a rough estimate. If the console was scaled down, it would take at least 20 people to control the buttons on the console. He couldn't help but be curious about the individual appearance of the Tenth Empire. There are just a bunch of empty SH. At last here. Fong Su's wailing sound came from the side. Lu Yongchang, whose thoughts were interrupted, glanced at Fong Su helplessly. Is it possible? This was indeed a manufacturing area. Of course. What happens next? Fong Su stared blankly at the holographic projection in front of him. Then? The Tenth Empire emptied it when they left. Lu Yongchang shrugged. Many of the cutting devices outside were broken and the technology was not high. So they kept it. Fong Su. Obviously. It could be seen from his slightly distorted expression that it would take some time for him to get over this huge feeling of loss. With previous exploration experience, Zero quickly found the door to the next area. Same process as usual. The introverted, Tin, once again sent out assessment questions. Sure enough, as Lu Yongchang expected, the content of the assessment was related to time and space. He frowned and carefully examined the complex problems in the holographic projection. Previous human civilizations might have been stumped by this problem. But in the war with, energy civilization, after seeing the space rift and temporarily creating a space-time tsunami, his understanding of time and space has improved a lot. Thanks to, energy civilization. He died and devoted himself wholeheartedly, making great contributions to the development of human civilization. But even so, he hesitated and struggled several times when answering this question. Of course, answering this question itself has also brought many benefits to Lu Yongchang. After all, this is a test question asked by higher civilizations for level 5 civilizations. He can even use the test questions to simply sort out the originally mixed knowledge system of time and space. The moment he submitted his answer, Lu Yongchang couldn't help but feel a touch of uneasiness in his heart. Just like taking exams in the Earth Age. He chuckled and shook his head to put the feeling behind him. The evaluation time for answers is getting longer and longer. The slightly flashing orange light reflects the slowly rolling fog. The motionless scientific research robot. And the closed door. Forming a mysterious scene. Finally. The orange light stopped flashing. Energet civilization. A fifth level civilization. The civilized individuals are silicon-based organisms. And successfully passed all assessments. Guest rights are open. The Tenth Empire's home star fortress welcomes you. Chapter 790 Imperial Expedition Plan A few lines of bright white text slowly emerged in the blue holographic projection. In the Earth Command Center, everyone subconsciously held their breath. The assessment has been completed and visitor rights have been opened. Will the relics left by this advanced civilization finally be revealed to human civilization? Thinking like this, Lu Yongchang looked at the holographic projection in front of him with eyes full of expectation. In the projection, the perspective of the scientific research robot is clearly presented. The orange light flickered on and off like breathing. And the originally closed door slowly opened under the influence of the force field. The increasingly dense mist surged out from it. Gently slapping on the scientific research robots and other mechanical devices waiting quietly on the spot. As the orange-yellow light gradually stabilized, a beam of light similar to a holographic projection was clearly reflected in the thick fog. It was a ripple pattern that looked like some kind of floating object floating freely in the atmosphere. It constantly changes in light and dark levels, creating an up-and-down visual effect. The pattern is huge. It covers almost all areas within 10 meters of the surface. From the perspective of the scientific research robot, these ripples floating up and down in the air are like rippling water waves, floating slowly around them. Even if the robot doesn't move at all, it gives people the illusion that it is moving forward. Although no one in the command center had ever seen such a scene, and the meaning of this pattern was not even marked in the dictionary set by Tin. Everyone present still understood the pattern immediately. This is a guidepost. Just like the arrow signs used by human civilization. They are guiding the direction of scientific research robots. Only, Lu Yongchan looked at the picture in the holographic projection and couldn't help but twitch the corners of his mouth, just pointing the way. Is it necessary to make it so grand? But after thinking about the extremely large technological artifacts in the first two areas, he felt relieved. If the individual civilization of the Tenth Empire was very large, then these mighty patterns in the eyes of humans might really be just some inconspicuous small icons on the ground in the eyes of the other party. Looking at the ripples that seemed to have a hint of urging, Lu Yongchan stopped thinking too much and directly gave the order to move forward. Under Zero's remote control, the scientific research robot that had been staying in place took steps forward again. Time passes slowly. Under the guidance of immersive corrugated signposts, the scientific research robot walked through one area after another. 
Microdrone also took this opportunity to complete the exploration and modeling of each area. What makes Lu Yongchan feel strange is that the level 1 artificial intelligence, 10, did not make any statement regarding the wanton exploration and modeling behavior of the microdrone. This is unusual. How can there be any reason to allow guests to search every corner of the house? Unless, the house had long since been completely vacated. The drone's modeling also confirmed Li Yongchang's conjecture. Like the, strong interaction material manufacturing area, almost all areas are left with various empty sh. Ls all valuable things have been moved away. In this regard, Tin gives an explanation. Before leaving, the Empire took all valuable items and devices with them. This explanation gave Li Yongchang some complicated emotions in his heart. I bet he was right. The outermost space rift cutting devices are really worthless waste products. Leave? Lu Yongchang asked, sure. Why do you want to leave? The Milky Way is too small. Tin responded, looking at this line of text in the holographic projection. Lu Yongchang couldn't help but feel shocked. After a moment of silence, he once again raised his assessment of the strength of the Tenth Empire. The Tenth Empire? What level of civilization is it? He asked tentatively. Time passed by. And Tin did not respond to his inquiry. It is normal to not get a response to this kind of question. Lu Yongchan chuckled and shook his head. Just as he was about to skip the question, a line of bright white text slowly appeared in the holographic projection. When I left, it was a peak level 7 civilization. Current civilization level. Unknown. 100,000 years ago, the Mother Star Fortress completely lost contact with the Empire. His. There was a gasp of air in the command center. Although they had already expected it, Everyone was still shocked when they saw the answer. Lu Yongchan calmed down and asked while the iron was hot. When did the Empire leave? This time, Tin quickly gave the answer. 25,000 years ago, the Imperial Expedition Plan was formally established. 21,000 years ago, after 40,000 years of preparation, the Empire officially set sail, leaving the Milky Way through the Milky Way Andromeda Bridge. With the goal, the Andromeda Galaxy. His! This time, even Lu Yongchang took a breath of cold air. 210,000 years ago, it was the peak level 7 civilization. That now, he didn't dare to think further. Suddenly, he noticed a sensitive point in the information. 21,000 years ago. After thinking for a moment, he asked, 10 again, Is it before the supernova? Whether it is the detection data of human civilization or the data of energet civilization, there is sufficient evidence to prove that this nebula was created 200,000 years ago. In other words, this vigorous supernova explosion occurred 200,000 years ago, 10,000 years after the 10th Empire left. If there is no necessary connection between the two, at least Li Yongchang didn't believe it. Yes, perhaps because human civilization passed the assessment, or because they were judged to be silicon-based organisms. Ten patiently answered the questions raised by Lu Yongchang. The Empire made accurate predictions about the time of the supernova explosion. 25,000 years ago, when the Empire was finalizing its expedition plan, it also tried to save its home planet. Initially, the Empire decided to take the home star with it to the Andromeda Galaxy. However, considering the long journey and excessive energy consumption, the Empire gave up this plan. Eventually, the project evolved into the Homeworld Defense Initiative. That is the planetary fortress you see now. The mother planet enclosed by the planetary fortress successfully resisted this supernova explosion. In the holographic projection, the translated text appeared bit by bit. Whether it's leading the home star to the Andromeda galaxy, or building a fortress to defend against supernova explosions at close range, every line of text deeply shocked the hearts of everyone present. Chapter 791 Short Distance Space Jump The moment the last line of text appeared in the holographic projection, the wavy floating pattern that had been surrounding the scientific research robot suddenly disappeared. Ahead, there is no way to move forward. Zero immediately controlled the robot to stop. Before Li Yongchan could ask Tin, new news had already appeared in the holographic projection. Enraged civilization. The tour of the outer industrial area of the Imperial Fortress has been completed. Go to the inner living area of the fortress? Li Yongchan raised his eyebrows and was about to respond. But the information from Tin didn't stop at all and came out all at once. Confirmed. Next. You will go to the Imperial Settlement area. Please note that the short distance space jump is about to start. Please turn off all space-time interference devices to ensure space-time stability in this area. Jump countdown. 10, 9, 8. What the H? L? Lu Yongchang's expression changed drastically. 
What the H, L? Confirm? He didn't confirm it. Is there something wrong with this artificially retarded person? And what is that space-time interference device? Does human civilization really have such a thing? 7, 6. I refuse. I refuse to go to the Empire's residential area. Lu Yongchang hurriedly sent a message of rejection to 10. 5, 4. The short-distance space jump program has been started and cannot be stopped. 3, 2, 1. Short-distance space jump. Start. Within the ruins. A bright light flashed. And at the same time, the surrounding space and time fluctuated violently. The scientific research robots that were standing quietly waiting all disappeared in the bright light. The outer area of the ruins has regained its tranquility once again. The originally orange light slowly went out at this moment. The thick mist rolled slowly as before, quickly covering the few traces left by the scientific research robot. The distorted picture gradually became clear. There are still similar scenes all around, compared with before. The fog at this time has become extremely dense. The visibility was so low that I couldn't even see my fingers. Under the light, the dense orange-yellow fog slowly rolled. It seemed as if a huge beast would emerge from inside at any time, giving people a deep sense of intimidation and oppression. Lu Yongchang once again sent a questioning message to Tin, and at the same time asked to return to the outer industrial area of the fortress. Tin did not respond to his inquiry. On the contrary, the floating ripple pattern that had disappeared reappeared in the mist, guiding the scientific research robot in the direction of progress. He looked at the picture in the holographic projection with a gloomy expression, and couldn't help but feel a little lucky in his heart. Fine. The name of the civilization is false. The attributes of the civilization's life are wrong. And even the explorers are false. Keep moving forward. Lu Yongchan gave the order with a gloomy expression. Control the fleet and continue to retreat. I want to see what tricks this artificial intelligence is playing. Zero. Fully monitor all data interfaces. And continue to try to find the other party's available data interfaces. Receive. The information from 10 appeared in the holographic projection again. But it did not answer Li Yongchun's previous question. The short distance space jump has been completed. Energit civilization. Welcome to the inner living area of the Imperial Fortress. Current distance from the center of mass of the Empire's home star. 35,000 kilometers. 35,000 kilometers. Lu Yongchang frowned and carefully checked the various data sent back by the scientific research robot. If previous statistics are correct, the distance between the outer industrial region and the center of mass of the planet should be 60,000 to 65,000 kilometers. In other words, at that moment, the scientific research robots directly crossed a distance of more than 25,000 kilometers through short distance space jump technology. More advanced curvature technology? On the side, he violent murmured in a low voice. The detection device has indeed detected extremely strong space-time fluctuations. No! Lu Yongchang shook his head and denied he violent statement. It's not just curvature technology. Don't forget, there are obstacles between the two. He violent was suddenly startled. Only then did he notice this remarkable feature. That's right. Curvature navigation cannot penetrate obstacles. That is to say, Lu Yongchang took over the conversation thoughtfully. Dimension technology. If we want to achieve this, I'm afraid we can only start from high dimensional space and time. He couldn't help but think of the dispute between the pastoralists and the sweepers. The sweeper's civilized hunt for paintings seems to be to master two dimensional technology. Dimension. This is probably the research direction of the highest civilization, Lu Yongchang said decisively. It seems that the Tenth Empire has also dabbled in this aspect. Another point. Lu Yongchang stood up from his seat and reached out to touch the bottom of the holographic screen. Everyone, our scientific research robot seems to have arrived at the home planet of the Tenth Empire, different from the outer industrial area. What the scientific research robot is stepping on at this time is no longer a flat and smooth technological creation, but a dark gray land. The uneven land surface has a rich porous structure. Under the careful observation of scientific research robots, Wisps of mist are drifting out from these porous structures. Land is solid. At least, it can easily carry the weight of a scientific research robot. It's 35,000 kilometers away from the center of mass. And it's such a native landform. What did you think of? Lu Yongchang's eyes flashed. As we inferred earlier, the home star of the 10th Empire is a relatively large ice giant. We are probably in the upper atmosphere of an ice giant at this time. Above our heads is a sky with a height of more than 25,000 kilometers. This sky dome is a planet-level fortress built by the Tenth Empire to prevent supernova explosions. It is also their industrial area. 
as Lu Yongchang finished speaking. A holographic 3D model appeared in the holographic projection. That's a layered concentric sphere model. Inside, there is an ice giant with a diameter of more than 70,000 kilometers. At the outermost periphery, a SH. L with a thickness of more than 10,000 kilometers tightly wraps it. Perhaps in order to better block the radiation produced by the supernova explosion. There is a blank buffer layer of more than 25,000 kilometers between the SH. L and the ice giant. But why is there such a hard ground structure in the upper atmosphere of an ice giant? Tao Yudo was the first to ask his own question. This seems to be unreasonable. Lu Yongchang shrugged and turned to look at the holographic projection. This question, naturally I have to ask that artificially retarded machine. There's always a reason why it insists on bringing us here. Chapter 792 Floating Land In the holographic projection, the perspective from the scientific research robot follows the ripples floating up and down around it. Silence. There was a long silence. Tin did not respond to the inquiry messages sent by human civilization until the surrounding ripples completely disappeared. Until a huge, light wall suddenly appeared in front of the scientific research robot. The light wall is very high. A full thousand meters high. It can be judged from its imaging method that it is also a kind of guide sign. The meaning is also very simple and easy to understand stop moving forward. Or in other words, prohibit passage. Needless to say, zero's reaction speed. Almost at the same time that the light wall appeared, the scientific research robot was controlled to stop its progress. In front of him, there was still an extremely thick fog. But the detectors were already sounding alarms. The vast land suddenly ends thousands of meters away from here there is no road ahead. The message from 10 finally appeared again. This is the home star of the 10th Empire. An ice giant with a diameter of 73,000 kilometers. Energet civilization. You are in the upper atmosphere of this ice giant. Lu Yongchang's eyes moved slightly. With a look of understanding on his face. Sure enough. It was exactly the same as the information he deduced. Then. He quietly asked Tin about this land. This time. Tin responded refreshingly to the problems of human civilization. These are the corpses of countless silicon-based plankton. Their bodies are very light and have a large number of porous structures. So they can easily float in the upper atmosphere. When they are about to die, these plankton will gather tightly together. As time goes by, their corpses form pieces of floating land floating in the high-altitude atmosphere. Lu Yongchang stared blankly at the information in the holographic projection. His eyes filled with surprise. By a type floating land. He had thought about the possibility of many kinds of land. But he never expected that such a huge land was actually created by tiny plankton. At Lu Yongchang's signal, Zero controlled a scientific research robot and walked cautiously toward the edge of the floating land. Seeing that the scientific research robot was about to cross the light wall, Tin did not send a message to stop it. Obviously, this wall of light only serves as a reminder. Lu Yongchang breathed a sigh of relief and let Ling speed up the pace of the scientific research robot. For scientific research robots, distances of thousands of meters fly by in a blink of an eye. It successfully reached the edge of this floating land. The thick fog rolled and undulated. Compared to the inside of the floating continent, the dense fog outside the floating continent is obviously more active. It lowered its head and pointed the camera forward. There is no solid land in the thick fog. The next moment, several micro drones rose from behind it circled in the air, and dived straight towards the world beyond the floating continent, since it was not clear how much the so-called visitor rights were, and in order not to anger the artificial intelligence. The microdrone did not explore in depth, but just flew around the entire floating land. As time slowly passed, the most basic surveying and mapping models appeared on the holographic projection. This floating land is huge. Its surface area far exceeds the land area of the Earth. The average thickness has also reached an astonishing 20 kilometers and the thickest point even exceeds 50 kilometers. The entire floating land is like an irregular-shaped floating island. Following the surrounding turbulent atmospheric air currents, floating quickly or slowly in the vast sky, under Zero's control, the robot raised its head and pointed its camera and sensors at the sky above. After combining various detection data and comprehensive analysis, Zero came to a simple conclusion the orange-yellow light comes from the sky dome above his head. The huge SH. L on the periphery of the ice giant has now completely replaced the role of the main star, providing majestic energy to this huge planet. This technology is not difficult. And even human civilization can do it. But Lu Yongchang was still shocked by the scene in front of him. The reason is simple. According to Tin, 
this planetary fortress has existed for more than 200,000 years. During these 200,000 years, the fortress needs to continuously provide light and heat to the ice giant inside, while also maintaining its normal operation and even resisting the damage caused by supernova explosions. There is no doubt that the energy consumed during this period is an extremely terrifying astronomical figure. Lu Yongchang suddenly experienced firsthand the strength of the seventh level peak civilization. After a moment of silence, Lu Yongchang tried to ask Tin a deeper question. Can I get some information about the individual civilization of the Tenth Empire? The atmosphere fell into silence again. Tin did not immediately respond to Lu Yongchun's request, as if he was judging something. Suddenly, a projection appeared in front of the scientific research robot. They were dark gray barrel-shaped objects with a height of more than 30 meters. Lu Yongchang, who was inside Earth, looked at the dark gray image with a confused face, and there was a bit of confusion in his eyes. No, that's not a barrel. That's a creature. When he saw dozens of long tentacles appearing at the bottom of those barreled objects, Lu Yongchang's eyes suddenly widened. The length of the tentacles reached more than 20 meters. With the support of the tentacles, the barrel-shaped trunks of more than 30 meters stand upright. At this point, the overall height of these creatures has reached more than 50 meters. Dozens of tentacles swing gently, driving the barrel-shaped torso above slowly forward. Although it is only video data, Lu Yongchang can still feel the elegant feeling of these creatures when they walk. Them. It doesn't seem like walking, but floating. As expected, the next moment, these tentacles bent slightly, and then kicked hard on the solid floating land. The barrel-shaped torso more than 50 meters away broke away from the solid floating land and flew straight into the sky. They rode on the turbulent air currents and quickly drifted out of the floating continent. Yes, Lu Yongchang suddenly realized. How could a creature living in the upper atmosphere not be able to fly? The projection slowly dissipated, and Ten also sent a message again. This is the image data of the Imperial individual. They feed on free electrons in the atmosphere, and thunderstorms are the best time to hunt. The image data in front of me is of an Imperial individual going to the nearest thunderstorm site to eat. Lu Yongchang swallowed hard. Then how did they communicate with each other? Electromagnetic waves. When the Empire was born, it mastered electromagnetic wave technology. We are all silicon-based life forms. Aren't you? Chapter 793 Another Civilization Looking at the bright white text in the holographic projection, Lu Yongchang couldn't help but fall into silence. It's broken. It's exposed. Waiting online. Quite urgent. The quantum brain operates rapidly and quickly. Programs. A plan. Us. We haven't evolved such efficient means of communication. Information is mainly transmitted between individuals of the energy civilization in the form of microcurrents. Later in order to strengthen the credibility of this plan. Lu Yongchang also asked Zero to demonstrate for him. Watching the fingertips of the two scientific research robots touching each other and releasing a small amount of microcurrent, Tin suddenly realized, this is indeed not an efficient means of communication. At the beginning of the evolution of civilization, you must have suffered a lot of trouble for this. Right? Lu Yongchang. I was chatted to death today. Yes, it is undeniable that electromagnetic wave communication is indeed an extremely efficient means of communication, especially for nascent civilizations. But microcurrent communication isn't that bad. Right? Think about the way human civilization communicated in the past. Roar. Beacon fire. Letters. I can't bear to look at it. I can't bear to witness it. Yes. After mastering electromagnetic wave communication, our development speed can be accelerated. Even so, Lu Yongchang pinched his nose and gave, Tin, a definite answer. Tin, respond again. The way you communicate is very similar to them. Lu Yongchang was stunned for a moment, staring blankly at the information in front of him. He suddenly couldn't understand the message sent by Tin. They? Who are they? He hurriedly asked Tin. Is there a second civilization on this planet? Lu Yongchang couldn't help but have some guesses in his heart. Is this why Tin forcibly brought scientific research robots into residential areas? Please follow me. Faced with various inquiries from Lu Yongchang, Tin did not answer carefully, but just unfolded the guide signs again. Following the guide signs, the scientific research robot came to a platform. The construction style of the platform is completely consistent with the construction style of the fortress. It is not difficult to judge that this is a technological creation left by the Tenth Empire. A few seconds later, a similar prompt message came again. Short distance space jump is about to start. Lu Yongchang who had experienced a space jump, looked at the scene in front of him with a calm expression. They come. 
the security. Since this artificial retard is determined to take the energy civilization to a certain destination, then just follow it. After all, whether inside or outside the ruins, without finding a data interface, there is a high probability that human civilization will not be a match for this artificially retarded person. The moment the countdown ends, the jump starts. The picture sent back by the scientific research robot was distorted for a moment, and then stabilized again. The same floating land, the same platform and the same fog. But from the data transmitted back, it can be known that the scientific research robot at this time has arrived in another area this time. It traveled 70,000 kilometers and arrived at the other side of the ice giant. All around, it was pitch black. But the next second, the orange-yellow light from the sky quietly lit up, dawn. The guide signs appear again. The scientific research robot followed the sign and went deeper into the thick fog step by step. The fog is very thick. It is difficult to observe distant images simply by relying on a camera. Therefore, the picture inside, Earth, has already been switched to a simulated image based on the data returned by various detection sensors. The scientific research robot has been walking for a long time, directly in front of the screen, on the originally flat floating land. An object obviously made by intelligent creatures suddenly appeared. Their surface is dark gray, like the floating land beneath their feet. According to the detection data returned by the detector, the structure of these objects is very similar to that of floating land. Obviously, the raw materials for making them most likely came from the floating land beneath their feet. They are not large in size. With an average height of about 5 meters, compared with the Empire's creations, which are often tens of meters long, this scale can be called mini. From the appearance, these objects look a bit like the residents of some kind of creature. In terms of construction style, there is an obvious 10th Empire style, but there are many differences in details. In front of these dark gray residences, there is a large-scale technological creation. The construction style is extremely obvious. And with just one glance, Lu Yongchan can determine that it belongs to the creation of the Tenth Empire. The reason? This device is not made from the floating land beneath your feet. It's that simple. Seeing the creations that clearly belong to two civilizations harmoniously presented before his eyes, Lu Yongchan couldn't help but widen his eyes. He suddenly realized something and subconsciously held his breath staring intently at the holographic image in front of him. The wall of light appeared again, blocking the progress of the scientific research robot. The next second, projections hit each scientific research robot accurately, disguising them as part of the floating land. At the same time, the message of 10 came again. Please don't disturb them. Lu Yongchang suddenly realized. Is this to avoid causing panic within civilization? Judging from the picture just seen. This civilization has a relatively low level of evolution, they have not even entered the industrial age. In a sense, they are like Neolithic humans. The creations of higher civilizations will have a great impact on this lower civilization. This can be seen from the construction style of the other party's house. All their buildings are imitating the devices left behind by the Tenth Empire. Time passes minute by minute. A change occurred. Moving creatures emerged from the houses that were five meters high. Their appearance is not much different from the individuals of the Tenth Empire judging from their appearance alone. They look a bit like upright jellyfish. But those are definitely not jellyfish. Their bodies have characteristics unique to silicon-based creatures. The siliconized body surface shines with a unique luster under the orange-yellow light. Perhaps because of the free electrons in the atmosphere. Their skin shines with a faint light like a signal light. Like the Tenth Empire individuals, they also walk on tentacles. But their walking posture does not have that elegant feeling. Obviously, they cannot fly in our terrestrial indigenous creatures on this floating land. On the top of their heads, there are two slender tentacles. As everyone watches, these silicon-based jellyfish move closer to each other and move the slender tentacles on their heads toward each other. Flashing arcs of electricity appear between the tentacles. Information exchange between individuals is completed at this moment. This is also the unique advantage of silicon-based organisms. Like computers? Their brains think faster than ordinary carbon-based organisms. Civilization has also been able to achieve rapid evolution. Chapter 79410 Descendants Under the shadow of the projection, the scientific research robot seemed to have really become a raised rock on the floating land the silicon-based jellyfish did not notice the existence of the scientific research robot at all. They stood on the floating land and stared quietly at the group of silicon-based jellyfish in the distance. Various sensors quickly transmit the detected data to Earth silicon-based jellyfish, with an average total height of 3.65 meters. The average tentacle length is 3 meters. 
the average height of the head is 0.65 meters. They are much taller than humans. But compared to the civilized individuals of the Tenth Empire, they are still as many as pets. The message of Ten came again. She, this is the name I gave them. Lu Yongchang's eyes moved slightly. The superficial meaning of the name is easy to understand. Descendants of the Tenth Empire, referred to as Ten Descendants. But the deeper meaning of the name seems to be somewhat meaningful. Descendants. This week artificial intelligence actually thinks these silicon-based jellyfish are descendants of the Tenth Empire. At this moment, even if the civilization level of these silicon-based jellyfish is equivalent to that of humans in the Stone Age. In the eyes of this week artificial intelligence named Tin, their importance is probably much higher than that of human civilization. Let alone human civilization. Lu Yongchan believes that even a sixth-level civilization, in the eyes of the fortress artificial intelligence, has a lower priority than that group of jellyfish. Reincarnation is indeed a technical job. He couldn't help but let out a sigh. Fong Su on the side nodded seriously. Yes, with the guidance of this week artificial intelligence, this group of silicon-based jellyfish can avoid too many detours. Lu Yongchang stopped talking. Taking fewer detours on the road to civilization development is actually nothing. Human civilization has not taken too many detours. The most important point is that growing under the protective umbrella, they are destined to have difficulty or no threats from higher civilizations. Who dares to provoke a civilization that is a descendant of a suspected 8th level civilization? Are you tired of living? Lu Yongchang took a deep breath. At this time, he had vaguely realized the purpose of 10, the previous abnormal behaviors. If nothing else, it should be related to the group of silicon-based jellyfish in front of me. So, he asked, 10 again? Didn't the Empire take them with them when they left? When it comes to 10, 10's response is particularly quick. At that time, they had not yet evolved intelligence. 10,000 years ago, during daily inspections of the state of the home planet, I discovered that they possessed rudimentary intelligence. They used the broken floating land fragments to create the simplest tools. At the same time, they develop a unique and abiding curiosity about the various devices left behind by the Empire. A surprised expression suddenly appeared on Lu Yongchang's face. A thousand years. It only took 10,000 years to develop from rudimentary intelligence to the Stone Age. This speed is much faster than humans. Is this the natural advantage of silicon-based organisms? The communication method of these jellyfish is still inefficient, microcurrent communication. So what kind of development speed should the 10th Empire, which has mastered electromagnetic wave communication since its birth, have? Unimaginable. He swallowed and suppressed the shock in his heart. 10's information did not end. It still appeared in the holographic projection at a constant speed. According to the Empire's Intelligent Life Protection Act, the degree of protection for elementary intelligent creatures is limited to maintaining their living environment. But as time goes by, the ten descendants evolve faster and faster, and have moderate intelligence. This is a very rare phenomenon. Lu Yongchang nodded thoughtfully. It's easy to understand. Most creatures will stop evolving after possessing low-level intelligence. After all, only a few life forms grow into higher-level intelligent creatures. Under the bill, their protection is increased by two levels. I not only need to maintain their living environment, but also ensure that their population reproduces and expands normally. Until a thousand years ago, they officially possessed advanced intelligence. They have a complete language system and writing system. According to the Imperial Act, this is a sign that a nascent civilization has matured. At this point, the protection of the ten descendants has reached the highest level. At the same time, it triggered the hidden instructions left by the Empire. When the next civilization appears on this planet, I need to guide them to grow. And when the time is right, absorb them as a member of the Alliance. A bright light came from outside the dark gray house. The visual sensor located on the top of my head transmits electrical signals to the core of my thinking. After a moment of thinking, an astonishing conclusion appeared in my core. It's daybreak. It's daybreak? How can this be? Night occurred 0 0.4536 standard days ago. Normally, it would be late at night now. But why is there a warm light coming from outside? I subconsciously stretched out my originally curled tentacles. With its support, I rise from the warm, porous surface. Subconsciously, I swung my tentacles and walked out of the dark gray hut. Yes, the vision sensor is not malfunctioning. The sky is indeed bright. I raised my head, and the orange-yellow mist illuminated by the light firmly covered the sky, and the entire sky showed a strange orange color. This scene has been going on for who knows how many years. At least, 
as long as I can remember. The sky has been this lifeless and unchanged look, but I still raise my head, feeling the burst of warmth. No, it shouldn't be like this. There is an oral legend among the population. According to legend, in ancient times, there were countless bright little dots in the sky. Those highlights only appear at night. During the day, a small ball of light will appear in the sky, covered by the mist. These bright spots and balls of light appear extremely hazy, yet extremely beautiful. Most people in the community do not believe this kind of legend without any basis. But I'm different. I believe from the bottom of my heart that the sky should not be such a monotonous existence. Like the porous earth beneath our feet and the storms roaring at its edges, the sky should be a mysterious and powerful presence. Like me, there are some people in the ethnic group who also have this belief. We often get together and try to study through the oral legends those small bright lights that only existed in ancient times and only appeared at night. The orange-yellow light and bursts of warmth stimulated my sensors. Bursts of current signals surged throughout the body, and even the surface of the skin lit up with a warm tone light. But that still doesn't change the fact that today is a bad day. The concentration of diffuse electrons in the atmosphere is very thin, which means that it is almost impossible to wait for thunderstorms, the best source of food for the population. Some depressing thoughts appeared in the core of my thinking, and the originally straight tentacles became weak at this moment. Chapter 795 Silicon Alliance Just when I was frustrated, a tentacle stretched out from beside me. I subconsciously raised a tentacle and touched it. A weak current came. My core also had some extra information out of thin air. The message content is simple. Because the recent weather has been too bad. For the sake of the stable development of the tribe. The leader of the tribe has decided to start a prayer ceremony today. Pray to the gods for good weather so that you can eat well. And also pray to the gods for some artifacts that can store food. The original artifacts in the tribe are no longer enough as the number of people in the tribe slowly increases. I subconsciously looked into the distance. That's an extremely huge thing. It is a platform for communication with the gods and a bridge for the gods to bestow gifts on the tribe. God is omnipotent. He can create thunderstorms out of thin air. And he can also create various artifacts out of thin air. But gods often do not answer their prayers. Only when the tribe is in real trouble will he lend a helping hand to the tribe. A faint confusion suddenly arose in my core. Seem. God is always watching us. And no matter how far the race develops, he always knows where the race's limit is. My thought process is transmitted to the companion beside me through microcurrent. The next second, another burst of microcurrent came. I was relieved. Yes, that is a god. God is omnipotent. Alliance? After hearing this sensitive word, Lu Yong Chong subconsciously sat up straight inside, earth, and the expression on his face became solemn. What alliance? Tin, without any hesitation. He answered the question directly. Silicon Alliance. The silicon-based alliance, led by the Tenth Empire, was established 150,000 years ago. As of 100,000 years ago, the moment the fortress lost contact with the Empire, the Silicon Alliance already had 13 member civilizations. Liu Yongchang's heart skipped a beat. Following the sweepers, pastoralists and neutralists, another top force in the universe has appeared in human cognition. He has no doubts about the strength of the Silicon Alliance. After all, there is a tenth empire that is suspected of being an eighth level civilization. And the strength of this force is definitely top notch. I just don't know what the relationship between the silicon based alliance and the first three factions is. In order to conform to the vest status of human civilization, he asked tentatively, Can we join this alliance? According to information from 150,000 years ago, the entry threshold for the silicon based alliance is level six civilization. When you successfully become a level six civilization, I can help you send application information to the Empire. But a response is not guaranteed. Lu Yongchang. Gone. The entry threshold is level 6 civilization. And civilized individuals are also required to be silicon-based organisms. Can 13 civilizations be cobbled together under such harsh conditions? Is the Andromeda Galaxy so rich? Or is it that the 10th Empire did not develop in the Andromeda Galaxy? Lu Yongchang didn't speak. Thinking about all kinds of information in his mind. Don't be discouraged. You can pass the previous three tests, which proves that you have the potential to become a level 6 civilization. Develop with peace of mind. Sooner or later, your names will be left in the galaxy. Enraged civilization. The corner of Lu Yongchang's mouth couldn't help but twitch. Perhaps feeling something strange, he quickly turned his attention to the holographic projection. 
looking at the silicon-based jellyfish that were converging on the equipment left behind by the Empire. Lu Yongcheng's eyes suddenly lit up. What are they doing? He sent an inquiry to Tin. I followed the tribe and walked towards the altar. Altar. This is the name within the tribe for that mysterious big thing. As time goes by, I get closer and closer to the altar. And various electrical signals are transmitted from various sensors distributed around my body. The material used to make the altar is very strange. And it doesn't look like something from a floating land. But this also just illustrates the power of gods. It has a complex shape, like a hill, sitting quietly on the dark gray floating land. At its top, there is a disc-shaped structure. In the disc, there are densely packed in various complex structures. Every time the community prayed to the gods and the gods responded, a flicker would appear in these complex structures. I don't understand the connection. But that doesn't stop, I, from following the tribe to pray. The ceremony began. The tribesmen raised several of their tentacles one after another. I looked around and raised five tentacles without affecting my standing. There were five tribesmen around me. The tentacles are connected to each other, connecting all the tribesmen together. Complex microcurrents are transmitted among the tribesmen through the tentacles, and various complex information emerges from the core. It was a series of prayers to the gods. At the same time, the bodies of all the tribesmen slowly swayed like a disorderly storm on the edge of the land, and there was no obvious pattern to the swings of their bodies. God, please grant she a good weather. I followed the tribe and uttered a prayer within the core. Ten descendants. I vaguely remember that this was the name given to the tribe when the gods first answered their prayers. From then on, although they did not understand the meaning, they still called themselves the Ten Descendants. The microcurrent spreads around along the tentacles until it reaches the leader of the group at the front of the formation. Different from the movements of other tribesmen, it carefully placed its tentacles on the altar. Then, it guides all the microcurrent messages sent by all tribesmen to the altar. They, praying to me, Lu Yongchan looked at Ten S response message with a look of astonishment on his face. Pray? Yes. Pray for food. Pray for the necessities to maintain the development of the community. Deified. Lu Yongchan understood. This is almost an inevitable result after contact between higher civilization and lower civilization. Whether it is fear or longing, the huge difference in strength caused by the huge difference in technological levels will inevitably evolve into a deification phenomenon. This situation is most common among ignorant civilizations that have not yet become interstellar civilizations. Chapter 796 Miracle Lu Yongchan looked at the picture in the holographic projection with great interest. He could even imagine what this civilization called Ten Descendants would be like after it grew up. Since the birth of civilization, they have grown under the guidance of Ten, and at the same time regard the Tenth Empire as a god. The characteristics of silicon-based creatures allow them to quickly pass through the early stages of civilization. This will be the highest quality subsidiary civilization. He suddenly understood why, Tin, did not allow scientific research robots to disturb them to ensure the purity of faith. Only, there was another thing he didn't quite understand. According to the data sent back by the scientific research robot, the unknown technological creation near the Tin Descendants tribe is not that big, with a height of more than 50 meters. For the Tenth Empire individual, it can only be regarded as a creation of normal size. From the information given by Tin, this unknown technological creation can create food and other necessities for Tin. The former is easy to understand. For silicon-based civilizations, a thunderstorm is enough for them to obtain enough food. But the latter. Is this technological creation a huge warehouse? But this doesn't make sense. After all, the contents of the warehouse are limited. And in order to ensure its own mystery, Tin, it is impossible to replenish the materials in the warehouse frequently. Furthermore, as a leftover creation of the Tenth Empire, neither the Tenth nor the Tenth Empire could predictably prepare various suitable materials for a weak civilization that would appear hundreds of thousands of years later. Lu Yongchan couldn't help but show deep confusion in his eyes. Is this a special technology mastered by a seventh-level civilization? Thinking of this, he perked up and looked at the picture in the holographic projection more intently. The prayer ceremony came to an end for the time being. I raised my head and looked towards the top of the altar. At this time, the altar showed no signs of movement, as if nothing had happened. The tiny currents that were passed into it by the leader of the group just now were like a mud cow entering the sea, without causing any waves. But I was not depressed, but continued to stare at the top of the altar. Based on the experience of past sacrifices, the gods need some time to judge the status of the ethnic group. 
he will only lend a helping hand when it is determined that the development of the ethic group is severely restricted. Time passed by minute by minute. Suddenly, the sensor in my head sent a weak electrical signal to the core of my thinking. There was something abnormal at the disk at the top of the altar. A slightly shimmering light emerges from the complex structure within. The shimmering light beat briskly, as if an invisible hand was moving the disk. A familiar microcurrent signal came from the sensors around him. Driven by this microcurrent signal, a strong feeling of joy appeared in the core of his mind. Free electrons in the atmosphere are increasing. A thunderstorm is coming. He responded to the request of the ten descendants again. The tribe that noticed this quickly became excited. And the interconnected tentacles flashed with intense microcurrent signals. Everyone is sharing their excitement with the tribesmen around them. Time passes bit by bit. When the concentration of free electrons in the atmosphere reaches a critical point, a dazzling light suddenly appears between the sky and the earth. A thick bolt of lightning came from the distant sky and hit the altar, directly. The surrounding free electron concentration begins to rise exponentially. Under their stimulation, the shimmering light on the skin of me and the surrounding tribesmen began to become brighter and brighter. The tentacles of all tribesmen are connected to each other, like a neon light belt surrounding the altar, with light rising and falling one after another. Under the neon strip, streaks of thunder began to swim in the sky like golden snakes dancing wildly. It was excellent weather. The ten descendants, who had been hungry for a long time, tried their best to absorb the free electrons in the atmosphere to replenish themselves with energy. At the same time, some of the older ten descendants took out cylindrical objects from the tribe and placed them on the edge of the altar. The golden snake in the sky kept bombarding the altar and then shattered into tiny arcs of electricity. Most of the arcs disappeared inexplicably into the altar. A small part flows along the altar and into the cylindrical devices. Looking at the orange-yellow light that began to flash on those columns, a stronger feeling of joy came from the core of my thinking. Compared with good weather, these cylindrical objects gifted by the gods are the hope for the survival and expansion of the group. They can store the power of thunderstorms. Then, when the weather is bad, they can slowly release the free electrons to the outside world. Its appearance has increased the number of the ten descendants hundreds of times. This is simply a miracle. I admire the power of God from the bottom of my heart. But I knew in my heart that compared with what happened next, these were not real miracles. Time continues to pass. The golden snakes dancing wildly in the sky gradually dissipated, leaving only an extremely rich concentration of free electrons. The entire prayer ceremony also entered its climax. In an atmosphere full of free electrons, the strong microcurrent passing through the tentacles even caused some flickering arcs. There was also a slight rumbling sound coming from the altar. Here we go! The real miracle begins. I excitedly cast my eyes toward an inwardly concave platform at the base of the altar. The rumbling gradually stopped, and a unique wave came from the altar. That's the voice of God. The sensor doesn't pick up this unique fluctuation very well. Fuzzy electrical signals are transmitted into the core of my thinking. In my perception, it is just a series of vague and meaningless murmurs. Although I can't understand this special fluctuation, I can still detect that this fluctuation seems to be similar to the microcurrent signal. In the murmur of the gods, the platform slowly sank. When it rose again, ten brand new cylindrical artifacts appeared in front of the group. When the tribesmen came forward to carry it away, the platform sank again. Repeat this ten times. A whole hundred artifacts. From the microcurrent signals coming from the tentacles. I can clearly perceive the thoughts in the hearts of the tribesmen. This prayer ceremony was perfect. The gods have generously given ample supplies. And the tribe will expand and develop again. Praise God. I listened to the murmur of the gods in the altar and admired it sincerely. Unlike those silicon-based jellyfish, human civilization, after acquiring the information from the Tenth Empire as perfect dictionary, can understand the electromagnetic wave information emitted by the unknown device. This energy matter transformation has been successfully completed. Warn. Current energy remaining, 0.01%. Insufficient energy. Please replenish energy immediately. Warn. Vault codes QZ135. LC422. ATS 1369. No replacement parts available. No self-repair droids detected. Vault code uploaded to Fortress Mastermind. No available energy path is detected. The system will automatically enter sleep state. Chapter 797 Mass Energy Transformation Technology. The information translated by the program is clearly presented in the giant holographic projection of Earth. Just a few lines of information but the information contained in it is very huge. After a short period of thinking, 
Lu Yongchang immediately understood the general mechanism of the miracle seen just now. Due to the age, the originally available energy supply system has collapsed. In desperation, Ten could only provide energy to the device left behind by the Empire through the fortress built outside the ice giant. Meanwhile, create a thunderstorm for that swarm of silicon-based jellyfish. It can be said that it kills two birds with one stone. As for the function of that device, it is already obvious convert pure energy into matter. It is precisely because of this that, 10, can customize various necessities for that group of silicon-based jellyfish. As for what those manufactured cylindrical devices are, they are just some large high-end batteries that can independently release stored power according to the program. The originally quiet command center suddenly became noisy at this moment. Material energy mutual conversion technology? Lu Yongchang took a deep breath and muttered in a low voice. The mass energy formula is a technology mastered by a first-level civilization. But until now, humans have only been able to achieve unilateral conversion from matter to energy. Without mastering antimatter, humans would not even be able to 100% convert mass into energy. It is no exaggeration to say that for current humans, the scene in front of them is not much different from a miracle. As you can see, the prayer ceremony came to an end, and the message of 10 also came. Initially, there was sufficient energy in the fortress, various self-repair robots, and various replacement repair parts. The mass energy interconversion device can also produce a small number of low-precision devices. Resisting the supernova explosion and its aftermath consumes a lot of energy. As time goes by, the energy pathways are gradually destroyed. Replacement parts are gradually consumed. And even the mass energy interconversion device has only the most basic functions left. The power of time is huge. Even the technological creations of the seventh level peak civilization were vulnerable to a blow 200,000 years ago. The development speed of the 10 descendants is getting faster and faster. And the resources required have also begun to increase dramatically. Before they are unable to leave this ice giant, all resource consumption needs to be borne by the Mother Star Fortress. In today's fortress, it is difficult to maintain the normal operation of the Ice Star ecosystem. And it is also difficult to ensure the normal development of the Ten Descendants. According to the Empire's Life Protection Act, the Empire's Home Star Entry and Exit Management Regulations, the Empire's Asset Disposal Regulations, and the underlying logic of the Empire's Mastermind. 5,000 years ago, I opened the port of the Empire's Home Star Fortress. The text appearing line by line in the holographic projection has come to an end for the time being. The atmosphere in the command center also became increasingly solemn. Is the true purpose finally revealed? Lu Yongchang's expression became serious. The fleet's antimatter engine power has been increased to its highest point. After a long voyage, the scientific research fleet has basically escaped the influence of the neutron star's gravitational field. At his command, the warp drive had begun to warm up. If something goes wrong, Zero will immediately physically cut off the communication links between the scientific research robots and the experimental ships. At the same time, the fleet will directly enter the super light speed curvature state driven by the curvature engine. Only a few clues were left for the weak artificial intelligence. The main thing is a dog. Liu Yongchang took a deep breath and asked the zero control scientific research robot to send a straightforward message. What do we need to do? Tin gave an extremely simple answer. The energy reserve of the mass energy interconversion device has been exhausted. Today's energy replenishment method is too inefficient. I hope you can directly replenish energy for it. At the same time, replace some basic accessories for it. The Empire advocates equal trade. In exchange, you can take away those space rift cutting devices. Lu Yongchang. That's it? So simple? This is the only request? He asked, Ten in disbelief. Yes. For you currently? This is the only need. A faint sense of contempt spurted out from the holographic projection. Hard. The fist is hard. Who do you look down on? Although he was a little aggrieved, he still sent a message. Okay. I agree to this transaction on behalf of the Enrigid civilization. According to the information given by Tin, after 200,000 years of wear and tear, there are no self-repair robots that can be used normally in the Home Star Fortress at this time. Therefore, the current, Tin, is actually a bit similar to a patient paralyzed in bed. It could only learn about the various malfunctions that occurred throughout the Home Star Fortress. But it was unable to repair them. But even so, Lu Yongchang still did not relax his vigilance against him. People just don't have self-repairing robots. I didn't say there was no weapon system. Judging from the space rift cutting device, even the most rubbish weapons are not something that today's human civilization can withstand. Therefore, in order to get the batch of cutting devices safely, 
Lu Yongchan decided to work as a coolie. Isn't it just to replenish the other party's fuel? What's so difficult about this? Lu Yongchan thought so until the other party sent a specific request. Let's not talk about the various tool sets that need to be temporarily manufactured to meet the standards of the 10th Empire and various basic accessories that require extremely high precision. The demand for energy alone surprised Lu Yongchan. He widened his eyes and looked at the information in front of him in disbelief. What the H, L? This thing is so edible? Perhaps considering the current mainstream energy source of human civilization. Tin thoughtfully chose antimatter as the energy standard. Not too much. According to preliminary estimates, Earth's requirements can be met as long as the energy reserves are drained. In the Earth Command Center, Lu Yongchan and everyone looked at each other. In the weird eyes of everyone, Lu Yongchan gritted his teeth and gave the order. First extract the antimatter from the experimental ship. Then let the expedition fleet send us some supplies. Chapter 798 Console and Data Transmission Channel 10. The document issued obviously takes into full consideration the construction capabilities of a normal fifth-level civilization. The precision standards of those tool sets and basic accessories have almost reached the ultimate level of human civilization today. Of course, this may already be the most basic requirement for the devices left behind by the 10th Empire. Otherwise, 10 would not have set up those three screening procedures in the first place. 0. As a level 2 artificial intelligence cannot solve the problem of processing accuracy. Therefore, the processing and manufacturing process of various high-precision parts consumes a lot of time. Considering the issue of efficiency, energy supplementation of the mass-to-energy conversion device and basic maintenance work were put together. A week later, an experimental ship left the scientific research fleet carrying a large amount of antimatter and various precision accessories, and headed towards the Imperial Fortress at full speed driven by the antimatter engine. The time and space fluctuations caused by short-distance space jumps continue to emerge inside the fortress. Every space jump will transport some robots and some supplies to the floating land where the silicon-based jellyfish is. In order not to affect the normal development of silicon-based jellyfish, and not to affect the purity of their beliefs, this emergency maintenance plan was placed on the standard night of the Empire's home star. At the same time, 10 through the Mother Star Fortress remotely reduced the concentration of free electrons in the area where the silicon-based jellyfish were located and turned off those large batteries when the concentration of free electrons dropped to a certain level. The silicon-based jellyfish would enter a similar state in the dormant state of biological hibernation. After all preparations were completed, the Energet Maintenance Brigade, composed of thousands of scientific research robots officially set off for the target area on the planetary landing vehicle. In addition to scientific research robots, these planetary landing vehicles also carry a large number of antimatter storage tanks. Looking at the transport convoy that was lined up neatly in the holographic projection and driving quickly on the dark gray floating land, Lu Yongchang suddenly thought of something, and his eyes became strange. If he gives the order, all the antimatter will be released at the same time. Even a fortress built by a 7th level peak civilization might not be able to withstand such a blow. Right? After all, the inside of a fortress is always the easiest to breach. Although he said that, Lu Yongchang's thought suddenly wavered when he thought about allowing a transport convoy to carry such a huge amount of antimatter into the ice giant, Tin, and Will. Perhaps? Is the other party really capable of resisting this kind of explosion from within? Lu Yongchang suddenly had this idea in his heart that surprised even him. The next second, he completely suppressed his desire to cause trouble. Time passes slowly. The transport convoy composed of planetary landing vehicles successfully arrived at its destination under the guidance of corrugated road signs. The night is getting dark. The sky dome, 25,000 kilometers away from the floating land, was completely dark at this time, without even a trace of light emitting. The high-power searchlights of scientific research robots and planetary lander became the only light source here and now. In the thick white fog, the light emitted by the searchlight clearly showed straight light paths due to the Tyndall effect. In the distance, the tribe composed of dark gray houses was quiet, without any movement. Under the advanced arrangements of tin, these silicon-based jellyfish have already fallen into a dormant state. Click. Click. The floating land under the feet of the scientific research robot made a crisp sound, which was particularly clear in the silent night. They are moving towards the goal of this maintenance mission with clear goals, the mass energy conversion device. Although it was the first time to repair a technological artifact of a seventh-level civilization, it was not a difficult task for Zero, who had obtained the maintenance manual. Especially after it has been simulated millions of times in a central computer. Under Zero's control, 
These scientific research robots quickly open the maintenance channel of the mass energy conversion device. After getting the so-called maintenance manual, Liu Yongchang was surprised to find that this huge equipment, which was more than 50 meters long, was just the tip of the iceberg of the complete device. The part exposed on the surface is just the tip of the iceberg, accounting for only about 10% of the entire device. The rest of it is all hidden in the floating land underfoot, including the so-called energy pathway. Therefore, just like replenishing energy, repairing this mass energy conversion device is actually not an easy task. The pit lane goes straight down, like a deep well. This is also in line with the appearance characteristics of the individuals of the Tenth Empire, their bodies resemble barrels, and they can just fall along this maintenance channel into the spacious space at the bottom. For the petite, scientific research robots of human civilization, this is even less of a problem. After opening the maintenance channel, they jumped into this huge, deep well without hesitation, holding antimatter storage tanks larger than themselves. With the help of the Grand Unified Field, the robot fell at a constant speed and then landed smoothly in the huge cavity inside it. It is a huge cavity with a height of more than 450 meters. The cavity is filled with various parts and devices of unknown purpose. Connected by energy pathways, they together form a sophisticated and complex mass energy mutual conversion device. A unique beauty brought by an unfamiliar design concept is clearly reflected in front of everyone, impacting everyone's worldview. But Liu Yongcheng's focus is not on these, but those consoles with blinking lights and in normal working order. As the saying goes, if there is a console, there must be a data transmission channel. There is a data transmission channel. And there is room for zero to play. Liu Yongchang's originally calm heartbeat suddenly became intense at this moment. An idea that had been given up before suddenly burst into flames like a spark of pure oxygen. Or, let Zero try to invade the other party's system. If this succeeds, human civilization will be able to directly obtain the database of the 7th level peak civilization and the home star fortress. Yongchang! Fong Su's slightly weird voice sounded beside him, interrupting his imagination. I said, you don't want to do anything to Tan. Do you? Ahem. Liu Yongchang coughed in embarrassment as his thoughts were revealed. Of course, of course not. Looking at the meaningful looks that the surrounding scientific researchers cast at him, Liu Yongchang laughed sarcastically. Okay. I admit. A little bit. Fang Su was not surprised by this answer. Those who are close to vermilion are red. Those who are close to ink are black. The same thought ran through his mind when he saw the consoles functioning. But as his deputy, he still needs to perform his duties properly remind Liu Yongchan of the risks behind this matter. Fang Su frowned slightly and organized some words. Although, Tian is only a weak artificial intelligence. The Tenth Empire, behind it. Human civilization has already provoked the two top forces of the Sweepers and the Pastoralists. If we continue to enmity with the Tenth Empire. Chapter 799 Unknown Data Intrusion Detected Liu Yongchan looked helpless and sighed softly. Fang Su's words were exactly where he was struggling. If he hadn't been concerned about the long-lost Tenth Empire, he would have given Zero the invasion order when he saw the console. And, Fang Su changed the topic. Yong Chang, are you sure of success? Even if the opponent is only a level 1 artificial intelligence, it still has the home field advantage. If the invasion fails, at this point, Fang Su shrugged, I'm afraid we don't have to wait for the Tenth Empire to take action. Tenth can easily deal with us. Liu Yongchang's face changed slightly. Perhaps it was because human civilization had never suffered a loss in terms of computers before. Especially after the 7th level civilization, painting, was easily solved by zero. He seemed to have a habitual thought in his mind. When it comes to computers, level 2 AI zero is invincible. Although no counterexample has been found so far. Could this idea be correct? There are definitely problems with this idea. Thinking of this, he took a deep breath, quickly reflected on his wrong thoughts and then corrected his attitude. You're right. Liu Yongchang nodded. Human civilization already has enough enemies. To be on the safe side, we need to have a good relationship with the possible Tenth Empire. Zero. Abandon all original invasion plans. The scientific research robot methodically places the antimatter container into the designated area. Subsequently, the failed basic components were replaced bit by bit according to the maintenance plan provided by Tin. Among them, the most important basic part is located in the core control area of the mass energy interconversion device. According to the plan 10, in the process of replacing this part, the scientific research robot also needs to interact with it to a certain extent. In Liu Yongchang's original plan, the invasion of 10 
started from this moment. But now, scientific research robots are just completing a series of data input tasks. Earth, seeing that the maintenance work, which lasted for more than a week, was gradually coming to an end, Lu Yongchan subconsciously smacked his lips. It's hard to get this batch of goods. Not only did he pay a lot of antimatter, but he also worked as a coolie for 10 for such a long time. When has human civilization ever suffered such injustice? However, Lu Yongchan was still happy when he saw the experimental ships loaded with space rift cutting devices successfully leaving the Empire's home star fortress. This is a huge reward for just some energy and inconsequential productivity. Please feel free to experience more such grievances. While Lu Yongchan was thinking about how to dismantle and study these space rift cutting devices, an unknown data flow followed the line and quietly flowed into the scientific research robot that was completing the last bit of repair work. Drip! Drill! Drill! A shrill alarm sounded in the command center. And at the same time, the blue holographic projection instantly turned into blood red. Warning! Unknown data intrusion detected. Autonomous defense procedures have been initiated. Intrusion data coordinates locked. Do you want to perform the link physical disconnection procedure? Lu Yongchang, who was interrupted from his thoughts, had no time to react and subconsciously looked at the coordinates presented in the holographic projection. When he saw the data invasion coordinates located inside the Imperial Fortress, Lu Yongchang's face suddenly turned ugly. Be cheated? Was everything in the past a preparation for the current invasion? When humans want to invade the other party's computer, the other party also wants to invade the central computer of human civilization? Damn it! Lu Yongchan gritted his teeth and shouted sternly. Defend immediately. Use the physical cutoff procedure as a last resort. Never allow the other party to invade further. It is rude to come and go without reciprocating. Since the other party has chosen to take action, human civilization is not a vegetarian. Zero. Try to counterattack. Invade the opponent's central computer. The moment the order was issued, Zero's computing power usage began to rise rapidly. According to the order from low to high priority, a large number of projects and programs that occupy zero computing power are stopped in sequence. Even various research and calculation programs that had never stopped within the Academy of Sciences were urgently stopped. This moment, more than 70% of the computing power of human civilization is concentrated here and is concentrated in that small scientific research robot through the Tachyon communication network. This is a war without smoke. The data flow from 10 is fighting with zero invisible to the naked eye. Time passes minute by minute. The expression on Lu Yongcheng's face became more and more solemn. The investment in computing power is increasing. From just now to now, Zero has used more than 90% of the computing power. But it is still unable to achieve an effective breakthrough against the defense network built by Tin. It does not mean that the opponent's strength exceeds Zero. Nor does it mean that Tin's intelligence exceeds level 2. During the attack and defense just now, a very abnormal situation occurred. Under unit computing power, the strength of the defense network constructed by 10 is far inferior to zero attack strength. The gap between the two is huge, which also proves that 10 is indeed just a level 1 artificial intelligence. But zero still couldn't break through 10 as defense to complete the reverse invasion. The reason is simple. 10, the computing power that can be used is too huge. If zero used one computing power, then 10 used at least 1000 computing power resources. Even as the frequency of Zero's attacks gradually increases, the computing power resources used by 10 are even growing. Not only that, but an even weirder scene also appeared. 10's desire to attack is not strong. Even after Zero started a full-scale counterattack, it stopped its intrusion and was only engaged in unilateral defense. Lu Yongchang frowned immediately after seeing the situation clearly. It shouldn't be. According to the current situation of this data war, as long as 10 is willing, it is completely possible to win with quantity to directly crush Zero with huge computing power. But it didn't do that. Zero, suspend the attack. Under everyone's astonished gaze, Lu Yongchang issued this order. Defend with all your strength and be prepared to implement physical cutoffs. Hearing these words, Mo Ziyang, who was sitting not far away, suddenly stood up from his seat. Professor, you? Wait a minute. Lu Yongchang looked calm and shouted in a deep voice. The other party's purpose does not seem to be invasion. Chapter 800 Invasion? No. Not an invasion? This. In the Earth Command Center, there was a burst of surprise discussion. Obviously, Lu Yongcheng's orders and words just now made most of the scientific researchers present confused. 
Only those scientific researchers who understand this data were nodded thoughtfully. Among them, Emoziang and others were naturally included. Emoziang looked at the data in the holographic projection carefully, as if he had discovered something. His frown slightly relaxed, and he nodded in agreement with Lu Yongchang's words. I see what you mean. 10's behavior is indeed a bit strange. He clicked his tongue softly. This really doesn't look like an invasion. To me, it's more like... A flash of inspiration flashed through Imo Ziyang's mind. Assessment. Just like the previous assessment. When Li Yongchang heard this, his eyes suddenly lit up. Right. Don't tell me that I haven't noticed yet. This kind of behavior is indeed like an assessment of human civilization. It's just... Imo Ziyang scratched his head in confusion. I don't understand. Shouldn't the assessment have ended long ago? Why are we still assessed in this form? This kind of attack without any warning is very dangerous. It's so unreasonable. Lu Yongchang pondered for a moment. Ten is just a weak artificial intelligence. We need to think in terms of weak AI. Obviously, some of our actions met the conditions and triggered this assessment. As for what the specific conditions are, and why the other party uses such a dangerous method to conduct the assessment, you have to ask Ten. After the words fell, the Zero Control Scientific Research robot stopped attacking and sent out an electromagnetic wave message. After the electromagnetic wave information was sent out, the data flow from 10 began to slowly recede. Finally, under everyone's gaze, it left this scientific research robot as a battlefield. At the same time, an electromagnetic wave message was sent. The message contained a lot of content, and it was almost the most talkative since human civilization entered the ruins. It first apologized to the Energet civilization for its previous actions, and then explained in detail the reasons why it did so. As Lu Yongchang guessed, it was indeed the behavior of human civilization that met the preset conditions of 10 and triggered this hidden assessment. There are three preset conditions in total. First, the civilized subjects entering the Empire's home star fortress must be silicon-based organisms. Secondly, this civilization is a friendly civilization and does not pose a threat to the Imperial fortress. Third, this civilization follows the basic principles of equal exchange and equal transactions. Looking at the bright white text in the holographic projection, Lu Yongchan couldn't help but look strange. Cough. Is this really talking about human civilization? He felt a little embarrassed. It cannot be said that they are exactly the same. They are simply completely unrelated. Silicon-based? Sorry. Humans are carbon-based creatures. Friendly civilization? Energet civilization has something to say. Equivalent exchange. Equal transaction? Um, human civilization does follow this basic principle when it cannot be defeated. As for why such dangerous methods are used for assessment, according to 10's explanation, and according to the information sent back by the Empire 150,000 years ago, this is the standard assessment process for the Silicon Alliance. Under the restrictions of the laws and rules established by the Empire, it will not actually invade the main network of energy civilization. In other words, even if Zero fails to resist the invasion of 10, human civilization will not suffer any damage. The sudden assessment without any warning is also to better test the energy civilization's ability to respond to emergencies and the development potential of the civilization. Good. It is the development potential of civilization. For silicon-based civilizations, the ability to control data flows is innate. And this has become the best way to assess the potential of silicon-based civilization. At least, that's how it seems to the 10th Empire. And the assessment performance of human civilization far exceeded 10's expectations. According to the information provided by 10, the assessment standards are comprehensively set based on the plan sent back by the 10th Empire 150,000 years ago and its data control capabilities at the 5th level civilization. As a weak artificial intelligence, its data processing capabilities are definitely not as good as the 10th Empire and the way to make up for it is naturally to stack computing power. Therefore, at the beginning of the assessment, the computing power used by 10 far exceeded the computing power standards of the 5th level civilization. But the comprehensive strength of the intrusion data flow was still within the 5th level civilization framework formulated by the 10th empire inside. But soon, 10 found something was wrong. The energy civilization responded very quickly and built extremely strong firewalls in a short period of time. After completing these basic operations, the other party even started to implement reverse intrusion. This further triggered the assessment mechanism of 10. Then, the computing power it uses has been rising all the way. 
and the assessment standards have directly jumped to the ordinary six-level civilization standards. However, the computing power used by the opponent is also increasing, and the offensive methods have also achieved multiple evolutions in a short period of time, the zero-based defense methods are upgrading their own attack methods in real time. In this way, the positive cycle is realized. 10. The computing power being called is getting higher and higher. And the intensity of this assessment has even reached the entry-level assessment standards of the Silicon Alliance. That is an assessment of level 6 silicon-based civilization. Just when 10 was about to call on higher computing power resources, the Energet civilization gave up the attack and sent an inquiry message to it. This assessment was also forced to be suspended. But the assessment results have already appeared. Human civilization. No. The Energet civilization has completely demonstrated its development potential to it. As a result, 10 began to implement the next stage of the program and extended an olive branch to human civilization. Invite us to join the Silicon Alliance? Liu Yongchan looked at the holographic projection and looked at the surrounding scientific researchers with a strange expression. 10. It is normal that we cannot discover the true face of human civilization. But that group of advanced silicon-based civilizations that are often at level 6 will surely be able to easily uncover the mask of the energet civilization. This is just a small thing. The biggest problem is actually zero. According to Paint, the level 2 AI ban is widespread among all advanced civilizations. If this is discovered by a group of advanced civilizations, his, thinking of this, Liu Yongchang's eyes widened and he took a deep breath. This is what really happened. Chapter 801, really accurate at judging people. Invitation declined. 10. When receiving this electromagnetic wave information, the internal logical thinking program had a lag that was visible to the naked eye. It has not made any plans in this regard. How could a capable fifth-level silicon-based civilization not want to join the silicon-based alliance? But the other party has already shown its willingness to join the silicon alliance. Level 1 artificial intelligence cannot figure out the reason behind this ridiculous operation. Therefore, for the normal execution of the program, it skipped this step before the logic was completely stuck. Silicon Alliance welcomes you to join. Energet Civilization. Liu Yongchang stared blankly at the holographic projection in front of him. This familiar behavior gave him a bad thought. He clearly remembered that the short-distance space jump was the same routine. If the mandatory short-distance space jump at that time was to allow human civilization to help repair the mass energy interconversion device, then now it is mandatory to join the silicon-based alliance. If nothing else happens, maybe something else is going to happen. Right? Since the Home Star Fortress has not yet contacted the Empire, the assessment results cannot be approved by the Empire for the time being. Liu Yongchang suddenly breathed a sigh of relief. Fine. Fortunately, this fortress is disconnected from the internet. Otherwise, who knows how many advanced civilizations human civilization can attract. But please rest assured that your assessment will not be invalidated. You remain a member of the Silicon Alliance. As a member of the Silicon Alliance, please be sure to abide by the relevant laws established by the Empire. Liu Yongchang. He had a hunch that the hole dug by this broken artificial intelligence was about to come out. According to the Empire's Intelligent Life Protection Act, the Empire's Silicon-based Civilization Mutual Assistance Act and other related laws, you have the responsibility and obligation to provide corresponding assistance to the ten descendants. Yes, it came as expected. Fortunately, I only had to help a weak civilization that had just entered the Stone Age. Otherwise, in addition, considering that the Mother Star Fortress has lost contact with the Empire for a long time, please go to the lost areas of the Empire to search for traces of the Empire within your capabilities. Where is the real big pit of love? The assistance to 10 descendants can be reluctantly accepted. It is nothing more than looking for some supplies in order to make good friends with a higher civilization. This investment is essential. But help it find the 10th empire? Do not make jokes. Is this a job that human civilization can do? What does this mean for human civilization? Taken advantage of? According to the principle of equal exchange, I can pay a certain amount of compensation for this. Really good at judging people. As a responsible and friendly civilization, the energet civilization is willing to accept this task. But considering our own weak strength, we hope you will pay part of the reward in advance. Despite the strange looks from everyone around him, Liu Yongchang responded to 10's message sternly. Level 5 civilizations cannot go to the Andromeda Galaxy to find the 10th Empire. So you should give us something to help us improve our strength. This makes sense. As a rigid level 1 artificial intelligence, 10 obviously thinks so too. But, currently there are no valuable items in the Home Star Fortress. 
The specific remuneration will be paid by the empire. Lu Yongchang. When will artificial intelligence also write blank checks? He thought for a moment and bargained again. No specific items are needed. It can be some theoretical knowledge. Such a powerful silicon-based civilization is the goal pursued by the energy civilization. We also want to find the empire. But if we only rely on our own development, it may take us tens of thousands of years to have sufficient strength. So, the expressions of the surrounding academicians became increasingly strange. Fong Su hesitated to speak. Hesitated to speak. But finally couldn't hold it back. Yong Chan, you don't really intend to find the Tenth Empire. Right. Are you kidding me? Li Yong Chan glanced at Fong Su, who was looking worried, as if he was looking at a fool. Isn't it all over once the technology is acquired? Besides, who knows where that Tenth Empire went? Looking for a year is a search. And a search of 10,000 years is a search. The Milky Way is too small. And developing into a larger galaxy is the goal of human civilization. As long as we develop towards the Andromeda galaxy in the future. Who can say that we are not looking for it? Fong Su fell into silence. With a relieved but helpless expression on his face. What is relieved is that Li Yong Chang is still the same Li Yong Chang. Nothing has changed. What's helpless is that he never expected that Li Yong Chang would even deceive artificial intelligence. During the conversation, Tin gave a response. After comprehensive analysis, I think your request is reasonable. What technology do you want? Looking at the bright white text in the blue holographic projection, Lu Yongcheng's steady heart suddenly beat violently. Damn it! Get rich. Get rich. How many technologies are there in the database of a 7th level peak civilization? He didn't even dare to think about it. Material energy mutual conversion technology? Lu Yongcheng probed cautiously. Searching. Please wait. Sorry. This technology is not detected in the existing database. What the H, L. Existing database? A bad premonition suddenly occurred in his heart. And his originally fiery heart slowly fell into the ice cave. The empire took away most of the cutting edge technology information before leaving. Leaving only a small amount of low end technology. Lu Yong Chai took a few deep breaths and tried to calm down his ups and downs. Low end technology. Low end technology is fine too. For a seventh level civilization, it is low end. But for a fifth level civilization, it must be high end technology. Is there any short distance space jump technology? Relevant information has not been retrieved. What about dimensional technology? Not retrieved yet. Is there any technology to control strong and weak interactions? Not yet. There should be a complete theoretical system of space and time. Right. Then tell me what you have. Lu Yong Chong sat down on the chair behind him and asked a question that touched his soul. 10. A quick list was made. Ice Giant Macro Climate Control Technology. Home Star Fortress Surface Repair and Polishing Technology. Basic Parts Manufacturing and Replacement Technology. The corners of Lu Yongchang's mouth twitched, and he sighed heavily. There is gold and jade on the outside, but lint on the inside. I thought I had found a real rich man. But when I peeled off the appearance, I was actually a housekeeper, maintenance worker, and Nani on the inside. This feeling. Who knows? The atmosphere in the command center also became awkward. There was even a somewhat uncontrollable smile on Fong Su's face. Why are you laughing? Lu Yongchang glared at Fong Su and said angrily. Human civilization has lost such a great opportunity for development. And you can still laugh? Of course. Lu Yongchang's words brought an even stronger smile. Chapter 802 The Empire's Last Signal Coordinates Lu Yongchang looked at the list in the holographic projection and thought carefully. It is true that these repair and maintenance technologies are very basic. But after all, they are technologies from the 7th level civilization. For humans who are still at the 5th level of civilization, they are more or less helpful. It helps, but not much. Lu Yongcheng's eyes slowly focused on one of the relatively practical technologies. Ice Giant Macro Climate Control Technology. Although they are both planets, the difficulty of controlling terrestrial planets and ice giants is definitely different. But, do you want to choose this? This thing has almost no substantive effect on human civilization. Lu Yongchang frowned tightly, feeling extremely tangled in his heart. Or, Home Star Fortress Surface Repair and Polishing Technology. Although I haven't learned how to make strong interaction materials, it should be good to learn some maintenance methods. What a ghost! Human civilization has spent so much effort and ended up becoming just a maintenance worker. Thinking of this, veins popped out on Lu Yongchang's forehead. No! He won't allow this to happen. He reluctantly looked at the modeling diagrams of various areas of the Imperial Fortress in the holographic projection. 
trying to find any items left behind by the Tenth Empire. But? The disappointment in his eyes grew stronger. Using the power of civilization to launch an expedition beyond the river system requires unimaginable resources. Of course, the current imperial fortress is extremely clean. Just when Lu Yongchang was about to suppress his reluctance and choose some maintenance technology, a light suddenly flashed in his mind. There is no doubt that the imperial fortress was indeed emptied. But there are a few things that are definitely still there. First, the energy core. How does the energy core that allows such a huge fortress to operate for more than 200,000 years operate? What technology does it use? Thinking of this, a blazing flame suddenly rose in Lu Yongcheng's heart that fell into the ice cave. Second, the fortress mastermind. It was the central computer once used by the 10th Empire. The fortress mastermind, whose computing power exceeds the central computer of human civilization by thousands or even tens of thousands of times, has a fatal attraction for human civilization. As the deepest and most powerful trump card of human civilization, Zero's demand for computing power is endless. But, how should I tell, Ten? Lu Yongchang tapped his fingers lightly on the armrest of the seat. Thinking carefully, both involve the core components of the Imperial Fortress, and their importance is unquestionable. Whether it requires physical devices to open the door, or technology to open the door, it is impossible to achieve it. Therefore, human civilization can only observe and model them in the name of visiting them and try to understand their internal scientific and technological principles from their appearance and structure as much as possible. It is very difficult. But it can determine a general direction for the future development of human civilization. Coupled with the help of the technology tree system, it is basically equivalent to reverse analysis of these technologies. So, he made a request to Tin. This time, Tin's response came extremely slowly. After waiting for a long time, Lu Yongchang suddenly became energetic, when he saw the bright white text reappearing in the holographic projection. Risk assessment completed. According to Energet's civilized behavior model, the application for visiting the fortress master control room was rejected. And the application for visiting the fortress energy core was rejected. Lu Yongchang raised his eyebrows. The amount of information contained in this sentence is quite large. For Ten, his own safety seems to be far less important than the safety of the fortress. This also proves from another perspective that Ten can only be a rigid level 1 artificial intelligence. Although one of the options was rejected, Lu Yongchang was not too disappointed. After all, the energy core is the most important part of the fortress. To a certain extent, he didn't want to visit the energy core of the fortress at all. The central computer control room of the Imperial Fortress was his real goal. The reason is also very simple. Needless to say, the energy core of the 7th level civilization contains technological content that far exceeds the imagination of human civilization. Too advanced technology may not be a good thing for human civilization. It may even mislead human civilization. In comparison, the fortress central computer is different. After changing the architecture several times, the potential of optical quantum computers has been almost completely exhausted. Today's human civilization urgently needs a more advanced supercomputer. Even if it is just a research direction, it is excellent for human civilization. So, he raised the corners of his mouth slightly smiled and nodded in response. Energet civilization accepts this deal. The transaction is established. What is being sent to you now is the last signal coordinates before the Empire lost contact. The moment the 10 response message appeared on the holographic projection, the corrugated guide signs appeared again in the fog around the scientific research robot. The scientific research robot completed the last few steps of maintenance work in an orderly manner and quietly evacuated the area where 10 descendants were located. Under its guidance, the scientific research robot returned to the transmission platform again. Accompanied by the familiar prompt information, the short-distance space jump started again. Inside, Earth, under Lu Yongchang's order, Ling, who had taken numerous safeguards, opened the coordinate information set by Tin in the holographic projection. An extremely large and magnificent star map instantly appeared. This is not a star map familiar to human civilization. What Milky Way? Andromeda Galaxy. In front of it, it is nothing more than childishness. This is Lu Yongchang, who recognized this area. Swallowed hard. Come on! You are kidding. Local group of galaxies. He silently announced the name of the star map in his heart. It covers a smaller cluster of 50 galaxies, including the Milky Way, the Andromeda Galaxy, and the Magellanic Clouds. It covers an approximate area of 10 million light years. In comparison, the Milky Way, which is only 100,000 light years in diameter, is as small as a newborn baby in front of it. 
The next moment, a signal was marked at the corner of this huge star map. Ten, messages continue to come. The reason for the loss of contact with the Empire is unknown. Based on comprehensive judgment, the most likely reason is that the communication distance exceeds the Tachyon broadcast monitoring range of the home star fortress. They are trying to leave the local galaxy group? Lu Yongcheng's pupils trembled slightly, and he murmured softly. With the help of galaxy bridges, use galaxies as springboards to head outside the local galaxy group. For human civilization that is still struggling to survive within the Milky Way. This is simply like a myth. Wait, wait, wait! Lu Yongcheng suddenly stood up from his chair. It's not that the Empire is heading to the Andromeda Galaxy. Suddenly, his questioning voice stopped. Tin, it seems that it only said that the Tenth Empire went to the Andromeda Galaxy, but did not specify the Empire's destination. Gone! Being trapped by a weak artificial intelligence. Lu Yongchog felt his scalp numb when he thought that humans had taken on a mission to find someone tens of millions of light years away. Listen to me. Thank you. Because of you. After a brief shock, Lu Yong Chong returned to calm. He picked up the teacup and took a calm sip of tea. The energy civilization took over the mission. What does it have to do with human civilization? Chapter 803 New Computer The short space jump has ended. The images returned by the scientific research robot have also become stable. Lu Yong Chong frowned slightly. This is a large, airtight, bright space. There are no visible devices in the space. According to the data sent back by the robot, this is a high-purity vacuum area with no fog or even dust. The fog surrounding the scientific research robot quickly dispersed in all directions and was soon diluted into the surrounding vacuum. These fogs were brought over by space jumps. The dust removal process is about to start. Please wait patiently for the dust removal to be completed. Lu Yongchan thought for a while and suddenly realized. It seems that the Imperial Fortress Mastermind is housed in a dust-free environment. This is not difficult to understand. For the stability of equipment operation, Human civilization also does this. But high purity vacuum. This is a bit confusing. According to the data returned by the scientific research robot, the vacuum purity of this dust removal room even exceeds the environment inside the particle accelerator of human civilization. There is no doubt that maintaining such an environment consumes a lot of resources. Lu Yongchan looked at the dust removal room where the dust removal process was being carried out. Thinking about the reasons why the 10th Empire did this. Dust removal completed. Checking the environmental vacuum purity. Please wait. The standard has been met and allowed to enter the main control room. The tightly sealed dust room walls quietly cracked. And a more spacious space appeared in the picture. In the center of the space is a huge ball of light standing in the sky. The high definition camera quickly adjusted its focus to clearly present the true appearance of the light ball in front of everyone. That's a structure made of bunches of light. A series of bright or dark lights intertwined with each other. Forming an extremely bright huge and complex spherical structure. Each ray of light flickered on and off. And the light ball also experienced fluctuations in luminosity. Outside the light ball, beams of light with stable brightness connect the light ball and the surrounding walls. This magical scene was clearly presented in the Earth Command Center. After a brief silence, exclamations and sighs rose up one after another, filling the entire Command Center. How can this be? Lu Yongchang's expression changed slightly, and he stood up from his chair. Where are the components? Where is the light source? How are these lights restricted to that range? As Lu Yongchang said, the light in the photosphere completely violates the physical properties of light. It's like a small section was cut off from a complete beam of light. Staying safely within the huge ball of light, they are bit and coiled, forming components with extremely complex structures. Not only that, through further detection by the scientific research robot, a horrifying phenomenon appeared before everyone's eyes. Each ray of light is distinct, and there is no interference with each other. This, Lu Yongchang swallowed hard. Is this the technology of a seventh level civilization? Not to mention learning and reverse engineering. He even felt that his worldview had been subverted. This, this is simply a miracle. Lu Yongchang swallowed the words that came to his lips. This, is this the mastermind of the fortress? He asked in a trembling voice. Zero quickly sent Lu Yongchang's question to Tin. Yes. Tin, gave a definite answer. This is the fortress mastermind. How did you do it? Lu Yongchang subconsciously took a step forward and reached out his hand towards the holographic projection in front of him. Seeing that the holographic projection was blocked by his palm, he suddenly felt a strong feeling of annoyance in his heart. Why? Why couldn't he observe the light computer up close in the main control room of the fortress? Light materializes. Tin gives a simple answer. 
the Fortress Mastermind is made of materialized light, and all calculations and data storage work are performed by the photons inside. Data transmission between the Mastermind and the Fortress is handled by the surrounding light paths. Lu Yongcheng's eyes moved slightly. At this moment, he suddenly understood the reason why the Master Brain Control Room needed to maintain a high-purity vacuum. The speed of light in vacuum is the fastest, and any medium will affect its speed. This also affects the running speed of the main brain in disguise. Yes, is there a specific explanation? Although he knew the answer at his heart, Lu Yongchang still asked reluctantly. Sorry, the relevant content has not been retrieved in the database. Lu Yongchang sighed. This was the first time he encountered this kind of situation where high-end technology could not be used. It's too painful. After getting 10s permission, the scientific research robot conducted all-round observation work on the Fortress Mastermind. Of course, only for long-distance observation. Although I was very reluctant, this kind of long-distance detection still returned a large amount of useful data to human civilization. For example, there is an extremely powerful force field near the light ball. The secret of the materialization of light may be hidden in it. Lu Yongchang looked at the various data sent back by the scientific research robot selflessly, and his quantum brain began to think with all his strength. These data gradually turned into a specific force field in his mind. In it, light becomes a tangible object that can be touched. His thoughts moved slightly, and these rays of light that turned into reality were spliced together one after another like a circuit. Based on various data sent back by the scientific research robot, he analyzed the nature of this force field bit by bit. I don't know since when. The number of holographic projections in front of him gradually increased. Each projection is filled with various complex formulas and deduction processes. The command center was extremely quiet. The academicians even held their breath, fearing that their actions would disturb Lu Yongchang's thoughts. Under everyone's gaze, this brain at the pinnacle of human civilization is blooming with the light of wisdom little by little. Suddenly, Lu Yongchang stopped what he was doing and stared blankly at the holographic projection in front of him. The Great Unification Its essence is the Grand Unified Field. After reaching this conclusion, Lu Yongchang suddenly became excited. This means that it is possible for human civilization to master this technology. Chapter 804 Optical Computer New computer technology involves the minds of all scientific researchers, especially academician Emo Ziyang, who is responsible for computer research. After several iterations, the potential of the optical quantum computer based on the NUSI net architecture has been squeezed out step by step. Computers with higher computing power have become a major concern for him. The Optical Quantum Computer Experiment Center has proposed several architectures based on the Internet architecture. But, human wisdom still cannot compare with the majestic universe. New civilization, it took tens of millions of years to evolve. And it is almost the optimal solution for optical quantum computers. Therefore, academician Emo Ziyang and his scientific researchers could only focus on new computers. Quantum computing of optical quantum computers mainly relies on photons. But most of its structures are still traditional electronic computers. The speed at which electrons move significantly limits the speed of large computers. Therefore, after everyone's brainstorming, Emo Zayong came up with an innovative idea a few years ago building a computer with light. The speed of light in a vacuum, without taking into account curvature technology, is the fastest speed in the universe. Therefore, it stands to reason that if all the components and wires in the computer are replaced by light, the running speed of the large computer will inevitably increase geometrically. This proposal initially aroused the interest of many scientific researchers. But after a short time, its research priority was continuously lowered until everyone forgot about it. The reason is simple. With mankind's previous technology, it is simply a fantasy to realize an optical computer. It is not the style of the Academy of Sciences to consume a large amount of precious research resources for an elusive technology. Even Emo Ziyang, who proposed this technology, shook his head and gave up the idea after in-death research. It's so ethereal. But now, this imaginary technology was openly placed in front of him. Needless to say, the significance of this goes without saying. It proves the feasibility of the optical computer technology proposed by Emo Ziyang in the simplest and most powerful way. Because of this, Emo Ziyang was probably the most excited person in the command center at this moment. He followed Lu Yongchang step by step, looking at the formulas and deduction processes written by Lu Yongchang on the holographic projection. Sometimes frowning, sometimes suddenly enlightened. Grand unification field? When he heard Lu Yongchang talking to himself clearly, the excitement in his heart reached its peak. The grand unified field, Emo Ziyang exclaimed. Can all photons be accurately controlled with the help of the grand unified field? 
Lu Yongchan didn't care about the exclamations coming from behind him. He focused all his attention on this technology and nodded subconsciously. Then followed him Ozeyang's words. Yes, with the help of the Grand Unified Field. Some photons can be firmly locked to construct a substantial light path. Then these optical paths are spliced one after another to build the components of the optical computer. The inspiration in the quantum brain erupted rapidly like a spring. And Lu Yongchang's ideas became clearer and clearer. No, it's not just the light that materializes. Those light paths that bend without any medium are probably due to the strong gravity. Within this ball of light, there are countless extremely small but extremely powerful gravitational sources. These strong gravitational sources interact with each other and precisely control the internal light to prevent it from breaking out of the range of the optical brain. Emoziang's breathing became rapid. This precise control technology of gravity and particles completely demonstrates the power of the seventh level civilization to human civilization. He suddenly had a premonition. Seem. Under Lu Yongchang's analysis, the basic principles of optical computers have been revealed in front of him. He only needs to conduct in-depth research on each technology step by step and he can create an optical computer. 10. Only scientific research robots are allowed to conduct long-distance exploration of the fortress's optical brain, although this screens out a large number of high-precision detection methods. But for a fifth-level civilization, especially a human civilization that has vaguely grasped the direction of optical computer technology, there are still a lot of detection methods that can be used on the fortress optical brain. According to preliminary estimates, the entire visit process will take more than a month. As it happened, it would take about a month for the expedition fleet carrying supplies to reach the vicinity of the Imperial Fortress. Ten also took the opportunity to perfect his requirements in order to ensure the normal survival and development of the Ten Descendants. The Energet civilization needs to supplement the Imperial Fortress with sufficient resources. This clause was actually proposed as early as when humans were forced to join silicon-based civilization to provide corresponding assistance to the Ten Descendants. To put it bluntly, is to provide supplies to the Imperial Fortress. Therefore, when he first saw the words in the holographic projection, Lu Yongchang was not really surprised. Until, Ten, sent a list of supplies. Lu Yongchang took a deep breath, closed his eyes and relaxed, then opened them again to look at the holographic projection in front of him. The list is simple. A star. To put it in more detail, it is a G-type star in the main sequence. In layman's terms, it is a yellow dwarf star similar to the sun. Lu Yongchang closed his eyes again happily. It was so intense that it seemed like I was hallucinating. I promised to provide you with supplies. But you backhanded me and asked for a star? After being shocked, deep doubts emerged from Lu Yongchang's heart. Level 7 civilizations can realize the mutual conversion between matter and energy, which means that they can directly extract the mass and energy of stars and convert them into some basic substances. This is not difficult to understand. Only, does the survival of Ten descendants require so many supplies? Again, where are you going to put such a huge star? Lu Yongchang asked Tin a question. Are you planning to control the Imperial Fortress to orbit that star? Is this energy absorption efficiency too low? Tin, Lu Yongchang's doubts were quickly answered. Small universe technology. The captured stars can be put into the small universe and extracted and used by the stellar energy extraction device. The effective energy usage rate can reach more than 95%. Lu Yongcheng's eyes widened instantly. What did he just hear? Small universe technology? Small. Small universe. Lu Yongcheng said dumbfounded. Can a seventh level civilization already create the universe? Insufficient data in the database. No corresponding information has been retrieved. Okay. 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 The corners of Lu Yongcheng's mouth twitched, and he gave up the idea of making excuses. I'm sorry. We can't fulfill this request. He decisively rejected 10's request. Chapter 805, Star Reacher The energy civilization has no ability to change the trajectory of stars. However, we can help you pick a star that meets the criteria. The Imperial Fortress should have the ability to move. Right. 10, after a moment of silence, he gave his answer. 20,000 years ago, the power of a supernova explosion exceeded the Empire's expectations, and the warp drive was damaged beyond repair. Currently, the fortress has lost its basic mobility. Seeing these lines of text, Lu Yongchang suddenly frowned. This is difficult to handle. Sufficient amounts of hydrogen and helium can serve as substitutes. A line of bright white text appeared in the projection in front of the command center. Lu Yongchang was at peace. Just hydrogen and helium. If that doesn't work, 
Just bring a few gas giant planets to it. Stars cannot be moved. But gas giant planets can still be moved. For human civilization. This is nothing more than a trivial matter that consumes some computing power and time. Don't say anything else. The value of the detailed observation data about the fortress's optical brain alone far exceeds the resources required to transport the gas giant planet. As for 10, it didn't pay anything. It just allowed the energy of civilization to visit the control room of the fortress mastermind in exchange for precious energy materials. Therefore, both parties are very satisfied with this transaction. Win-win. One month later, the People's Alliance Expedition Fleet arrived at the Imperial Fortress with a large amount of supplies and replenished fuel for the depleted scientific research fleet. The scientific research fleet also completed all permitted detection methods and successfully evacuated from the Imperial Fortress. At the same time, the People's Federation Megastructure Project team also received new orders from the Academy of Sciences. Megastructure Project, Star Reacher. Similar in appearance to Star Galactus. It is also a giant device composed of several movable concentric rings. But unlike Star Eater, Star Reacher does not have a smelting device inside. In addition to installing a super powerful curvature engine, its internal space only has energy storage space. According to the design plan of the Academy of Sciences, under ideal conditions, a Star Reacher can transport a gas giant planet of the same size as Jupiter. Since the mass of the transported star is too huge, the sailing speed is naturally unbearable. It can't even reach 0.1 times the speed of light. Needless to say, it is the slowest aircraft in the People's Alliance fleet. But it is also the aircraft with the largest payload in the People's Alliance fleet. According to the requirements of 10, human civilization needs to collect more than 1,000 gas giant planets with a diameter of more than 120,000 kilometers for it. Even for human civilization. This is an extremely difficult task. In terms of the current mobility of human civilization, it may take thousands of years to complete this collection task. However, with the rapid technological advancement of human civilization, the specific time may be far lower than expected. Earth calendar year 3757. The scientific research fleet returned to the Kepler 452 star system again, and Li Yongchang also woke up from hibernation. In the more than 10 years since the scientific research fleet left, the Academy of Sciences has not stopped its research work. Due to the lack of the main scientific research force, the original scientific research work has slowed down visibly. The return of the main force has made the atmosphere of the Academy of Sciences established on Kepler-452 be a lot more lively. All scientific researchers are aware of the achievements of the scientific research fleet optical computers and space rift cutting devices. These two technologies alone are enough to bring the Academy of Sciences into a long-awaited moment of excitement. Therefore, on the eve of the arrival of the scientific research fleet in the Kepler-452 star system, the Academy of Sciences was extremely quiet everyone was recuperating for the upcoming war. But to everyone's surprise, Lu Yongchang hurriedly returned to his office after learning about the research results of the Academy of Sciences during this period. This abnormal phenomenon immediately aroused doubts among some newcomers. Academician Fong? A researcher looked at Fong Su, the second in command of the Academy of Sciences, with confusion on his face. What's going on? Chief Lu? Although hibernating time is not included in the actual age. In the eyes of the new generation born after Kepler, Lu Yongchang is already an old antique from 1,700 years ago. The huge gap in age and seniority makes these new generations increasingly respect this legendary figure who has led the rapid development of human civilization for thousands of years. Therefore, it is difficult to hear the affectionate title, Professor Lu, from their mouths. Instead, it is the more formal title of Chief Lu. Of course, for those old fritters, the unique title of Professor is still retained. Those space rift cutting devices are just sitting in the earth hangar. And you won't study them anymore? The young researcher asked anxiously. Bong Su turned to look at him. And after thinking for a moment, he suddenly realized. Lin. Lin Yong Yin. Right. I remember that you are mainly focusing on the theory of space and time. You just entered the Academy of Sciences not long ago. Right. Newcomers. Plus research topics related to themselves. It's crazy if you can keep your composure. Lin Yong Yin who had a slightly childish face, showed some excitement in his eyes. Obviously, for him, it was quite an honor for his name to be remembered by the second-in-command of the Academy of Sciences. Yes, yes, Academician Fong. Do you know me? Lin Yongyin nodded repeatedly, with a proud smile on his face, looking at the newcomer of the Academy of Sciences with excitement written all over his face. Fong Su burst into laughter. You're new here. 
so it's normal to be unclear. Currently, human civilization has developed to the pinnacle of level 5 civilization. What we got from the 10th Empire, Mother Star Fortress, is the technology of the 7th level civilization. The gap is quite big. None of us have ever seen a level 6 civilization. I don't even know the technological standards of level 6 civilization. As the chief scientist, Yong Chan naturally has to determine the most feasible research direction for the Academy of Sciences. Looking at Lin Yongnian with a shocked expression on his face, Fong Su patted him on the shoulder with some emotion. Humanity has been here like this for the past 1,700 years. Under his guidance, human civilization has taken countless detours. So, just wait patiently. According to my experience, Yong Chan should have specific research ideas within a week. Lin Yongnian swallowed, nodded repeatedly, and turned his gaze to the office door in the distance. Chapter 8066 Level Technology Tree The Thick Hatch Blocks All Prying Eyes In the office, Lu Yong Chan was lying on his back on his office chair. His eyes closed and his brows slightly furrowed, as if he was thinking about something. During the period when the scientific research fleet left the Kepler star system, although the scientific research efficiency of the Academy of Sciences dropped a lot, it couldn't handle the large number of people since the successful implementation of the Awakening Plan. Human civilization has experienced more than a hundred years of peaceful development. Over the past one hundred years, with the efforts of the sociology branch, the original phenomenon of uneven scientific literacy among individuals in human civilization has been greatly improved. At the same time, with the full operation of the public welfare system, the population of human civilization has exceeded the 30 billion mark for the first time. Although it is still slightly insufficient compared with ordinary fifth-level civilizations, the large amount of fresh blood has undoubtedly injected new vitality into the Academy of Sciences. The main task of these new generation scientists, who are still relatively inexperienced, is to perfect various minute technologies on the technology tree. Before the scientific research fleet left, the technology tree of the fifth level civilization in Li Yongcheng's mind was almost complete, with only a very small amount of technology left to be unlocked. At this moment, with the persistent research of those new generation academicians, the five-level civilization technology tree has finally been perfected. In the space with the model technology tree in the background, Lu Yongchun's conscious body raised his head and looked at the luxuriant technology tree in front of him and couldn't help but feel a little emotional in his heart, along with a familiar slight vibration. The cursor, which is the leaf of the technology tree, begins to glow brightly. Under this burst of light, the light at the top of the technology tree was completely dispersed. The vibrations became stronger, and Lu Yongcha felt that his thinking became clearer. No, it's more than that. Although his conscious body was in the technology tree space, he still felt that his body seemed to have some faint, vague changes. This feeling, it was like the feeling of the brain being quantized at that time. Only this time, that special form of energy was impacting his body. Lu Yongcha couldn't help but feel nervous, and his mind also moved back from the rapidly changing technology tree in front of him. Damn it! After his brain, won't his entire body be quantized? Can humans in the quantum state still be humans? At this moment, there was only one thought left in his mind. After his body is quantized, will it affect his subsequent experiments and research? Before he could figure out the problem, the familiar feeling quickly receded. Lu Yongchan couldn't help but be stunned. What does this mean? Unfinished project? But soon, he thought of the previous process of quantum transformation of the brain. Again, that doesn't happen overnight. Lu Yongchang had a clear understanding in his heart. And I am afraid that the same is true for the transformation of his body. It seems that he has to find time to go to Dr. Wen for a full body checkup again. Thinking of the way Dr. Wen looked at his brain. The corner of Lu Yongchang's mouth twitched slightly. And a bit of a wry smile appeared on his face. Not a big problem. At least Dr. Wen won't mess with his brain this time. He knows how to comfort himself. In the blink of an eye, the change in the technology tree space has been completely completed. The originally leafy technology tree has disappeared, replaced by a dim outline and a few sporadic bright lines. At the first moment, Lu Yongcheng's attention was attracted by a straight thin line from bottom to top. It was a thin white line that spanned from the fifth level technology tree and went straight into the middle area of the sixth level technology tree. As he cast his gaze on the thin thread, a little bit of information emerged in his mind. Lu Yongcheng suddenly realized. Stellar Core Reaction Interference Technology This is a technology mastered by human civilization at level 5, used to create gamma ray bursts for new civilization. When mastering this technology, Lu Yongchang learned a piece of information from the prompts in the technology tree 
Stellar Core Reaction Interference Technology is just a castrated version of a level 6 technology. Lu Yongchan looked at the end of this thin white thread with some excitement. That's a half-bright cursor. Because human civilization has mastered the technology of the castrated version. Its brightness is obviously higher than that of the surrounding cursors. And the writing on it is also clearer. Starburst, Stellar Core Reaction Catalysis Technology. Lu Yongchang read this line in his heart word for word. A storm surged up in his heart. Just as he had expected before. Level 6 civilizations can already use stars as weapons. Artificially intensify the nuclear fusion reaction inside the star. Thereby increasing the temperature and pressure inside the star. Higher temperatures and pressures will feed back into the star's fusion reaction. Such a forward cycle will eventually increase the fusion speed inside the star to hundreds of billions of times the normal state. In simple terms, it is an artificially triggered supernova explosion of a star. Unlike supernova explosions that occur under natural conditions, this artificially induced supernova explosion does not require much mass of the star itself. Li Yongchang took a deep breath and suppressed the horror in his heart. This will be the most luxurious weapon in the history of human civilization. Every time it is used, it means that a star is dying. But it is also the most powerful weapon in the history of human civilization. The explosion of a supernova is a devastating blow to the civilizations in and around the star system. Even the Tenth Empire would have some accidents when facing an overly intense supernova explosion at close range the fortress's curvature engine was damaged because of it. In Lu Yongchang's expectation, this branch of the technology tree should end here. But just now, when he focused all his attention on the cursor, he was surprised to find that there was a looming thin white line above the cursor. The thin line stretched straight to the top of the 6th level civilization technology tree and intersected with another thin line, forming an extremely dim cursor. The text on the cursor was very blurry, and Li Yongchan couldn't see it clearly even after trying for a long time. But he could imagine that it was definitely another killer weapon. As a senior patient with phobia of insufficient firepower, Lu Yongchang silently made a decision in his heart. Starburst technology must be mastered first. Only in this way can he spy on the vague and dim cursor. Of course, he has not forgotten his main purpose to determine the watershed between the 5th level civilization and the 6th level civilization. And to guide the most correct development direction for human civilization. So he finally set his sights on the bottom area of the technology tree. There were several cursors with varying degrees of brightness. There are several thin white lines at the bottom of the bottom cursor. These thin lines stretch to different cursors, curvature technology, grand unified theory, primary space-time theory. The text on the cursor is very clear. Preliminary application of space-time theory, space weapons. Then, several thin lines extended from this cursor, extending to different cursors respectively. The closest cursor is located directly above it. Space crack manufacturing technology. Chapter 807 The First Space Rift The moment he saw this cursor, Lu Yongchang breathed a sigh of relief. Judging from the clearly visible cursors on the 6th level technology tree, the deeper analysis and application of space-time theory is the main line technology that runs through the 6th level civilization. This is undoubtedly an extremely lucky thing for the human civilization that has just obtained a batch of 7th level civilization space rift cutting devices. Good luck. Happy. Lu Yongchang focused his attention on the cursor. With the help of the technology tree, Inspiration in the quantum state brain began to rise again, different from the normal burst of inspiration. The assistance of the technology tree can make the inspiration directional burst. In the simplest terms, there will be no miscellaneous useless inspiration. A week later, as usual, Lin Yongnian was trying to further improve the theory of time and space while turning his head from time to time to look at the thick, closed hatch in the distance. That is the office of chief scientist Lu Yongchang. As Fang Su said, this door has not been open for a week. Everyone is eager to know what technology humans should research next. And what are the differences between level 6 civilization and level 5 civilization? A week of waiting is an extremely torturous time for most new generations. Like Lin Yongnian, these new generations are almost entirely focused on the door in the distance. In comparison, the group of relatively senior academicians were much calmer. Xiao Lin, relax. An older academician patted Lin Yongnian's shoulder cheerfully. This kind of thing cannot be rushed. You have to give Professor Lu some time. After all, it is a major event related to the development direction of the entire human civilization. Lin Yongyan nodded, with a hint of hesitation in his eyes. But, the Academy of Sciences has not focused on the study of space-time theory for a long time. Since Chief Lu completed the space-time model, human civilization's understanding of space-time has not made any major progress for a long time. I'm afraid... 
the elder academician couldn't help but show a bit of worry in his eyes. This is the reason why the hearts of the Academy of Sciences are floating. Even he felt a little anxious when he heard Lin Yongyan's words. Uh-huh. There was the slight sound of the hatch opening. At this moment, regardless of age or seniority, almost everyone turned their attention to the office door. Lin Yongyan firmly believed that those were the brightest eyes he had ever seen in his life. Under everyone's gaze, Lu Yongchang slowly opened a holographic projection and began to briefly introduce the next key research projects of the Academy of Sciences. First, conduct deeper research on the grand unified field through the observation data of the fortress optical brain. No one has any objection to this. During the exploration of the Imperial Fortress, almost every technology, whether it was strong interaction materials or optical computers, had hard requirements for grand unified field technology. It is only natural that Li Yongchang puts unified field technology first. But when Li Yongchang proposed the second key research project, there was a burst of discussion around him. Space-time theory. The theory of space and time is as important to the sixth-level civilization as the grand unified theory is to the fifth-level civilization. Li Yongchang said solemnly. From now on, all scientific research projects related to the theory of time and space will receive comprehensive support from the Academy of Sciences. Support. When he heard this sentence, Lin Yongnian took a deep breath subconsciously. Before the academicians could recover, Lu Yongchan dropped the second bomb. The Academy of Sciences will immediately launch a reverse analysis of the space rift cutting device of the Tenth Empire. I will lead the team myself. Under the leadership of Lu Yongchang, the dismantling and reverse analysis of the space rift cutting device progressed very rapidly. Just like the abnormal experimental phenomena observed by human civilization at the intersection of positive and negative gravitational fields. Abnormal phenomena will appear in the extremely distorted space. A space fault phenomenon that is similar to a black hole, but fundamentally different from a black hole. Once a spatial fault appears, it will continue to extend to both sides under the influence of its own characteristics just like an expanding crack in glass. But due to the self-healing nature of space, these faults will automatically repair over time. The key point that affects the self-healing time of a fault lies in the depth of the spatial crack. The more powerful the unified field is, the deeper the crack is formed, the longer it takes for the surrounding space to repair it, and the greater the power. This is also one of the reasons why the space rifts created by the energy civilization can only exist for one minute the energy power they provide is too low and is simply not enough to tear a deep enough space rift. As for the other reason, naturally, it is the limitation of the space rift cutting device. After all, it is not a weapon. It is just an industrial cutting device. It is normal for its own power to be insufficient. But even so, the two grand unified field generating devices inside it are still the greatest gain of human civilization. Through the study of these grand unified field generating devices, the Academy of Sciences has once again deepened its understanding of the grand unified field. Although it has not yet reached the point of manipulating strong and weak interactions, it is not far behind. The impact of some breakthroughs in unified field technology goes far beyond that. It improves the strength of civilization in all aspects. First of all, the curvature engine technology has achieved a comprehensive breakthrough. According to Zero's calculation simulation, using the curvature engine of the new grand unified field generating device, the theoretical speed will exceed 500 C per hour. This is a huge breakthrough. Secondly, the shields and weapons and equipment based on the unified field technology will be comprehensively strengthened. To put it in the most intuitive terms, as long as this technology is allowed to leave the laboratory, the original energy civilization may not be able to survive the attack of human civilization for less than a year. Two and a half years later. Earth calendar year 3759. The first space rift generation experiment starts now. Following Lu Yongchang's order, several antimatter reactors began to deliver energy to the space rift generation device independently manufactured by human civilization. Under the full operation of the new generation of grand unification field, a deep black thin line appeared in the experimental ship. Insignificant and inconspicuous. But the destructive power it contains is extremely amazing. Uh-huh. The flat space cracks quickly extended to both ends and quickly disappeared into the visible universe. The next moment, a long and slender penetrating wound has appeared on the ship body facing the space rift creation device. According to observations, the existence time of this space rift reached 5 minutes. And the flight speed also reached 500 C. Nothing. But this is after all the first space rift created by human civilization. There is no doubt that with the continuous breakthroughs in energy technology and grand unified field technology, the power and existence duration of space rifts will grow rapidly. Chapter 808 Theoretical Breakthrough 
Earth calendar year 3760. The space rift manufacturing technology is becoming mature. The maximum duration can reach 10 minutes. And the flight speed has also been extended from 500C to 600C. Although the killing range of 100 light hours is not far. It is enough to replace various close-range weapons on the battleships of human civilization. As for super long-distance strikes, Yevgeny also made a proposal. By directly integrating the space rift generation device into the curvature missile, human civilization can launch space attacks on targets hundreds of light years away. Of course, as of now, this is just a proposal. Before mastering a more powerful grand unified field generating device and a higher power antimatter reactor, integrating space weapons into curvature missiles is still an elusive goal. Yevgeny naturally knew this. Unwilling to give up, he quickly came up with an alternative. Create a batch of disposable small unmanned warships equipped with space weapons. These small warships are not very large, with an average size ranging from 500 to 800 meters. According to Yevgeny's plan, in addition to a large number of antimatter reactors and some basic functional modules, these small warships will only be equipped with a space rift creation device. Although they are a bit larger in size, they can already complete the work of curvature space missiles launching space attacks at targets hundreds of light years away. Such attacks are one-time and extremely costly, but in any case, human civilization can be regarded as having a small trump card. On the other side, after making a small breakthrough in the unified field technology, Wilson has also become a busy man. The power of energy weapons has a strong correlation with the strength of the unified field. Therefore, compared with Yevgeny, Wilson will only be busier and happier at this time. The Academy of Sciences repertoire also came to an end, which even made the researchers in the Weapons Research and Development Department feel a bit regretful. In addition to minor breakthroughs in Grand Unified Field Technology, the research and development of space weapons has also led to breakthroughs in space-time theory. Lin Yongin, a new generation academician who specializes in space-time theory, also proved his strength to Lu Yongchang and Fang Su during the research and development process. He not only successfully incorporated the phenomenon of space-time faults into the original space-time theoretical system, but also significantly filled the gaps in the original space-time theory. A more important point. Through his research on the phenomenon of space cracks, he proposed several further related applications of space-time theory. Space-time trap technology. The prototype of this technology had already appeared during the decisive battle of the Enrigid civilization. By stimulating key space-time nodes, it triggers the resonance of the space-time ocean thereby limiting the opponent's curvature engines and space weapons. After the space-time theory was further improved, Lin Yongyan discovered that this technology that induces space-time resonance does not actually have a serious interference effect on space weapons. As long as the depth of the spatial rift exceeds a critical value, the impact of space-time resonance will level off. To put it simply, in that decisive battle, mankind was unlucky. If it were a real space weapon, or if the energy power of the energy civilization were several times higher, the superficial space-time tsunami created by human civilization would have no effect at all. This is not to say that space-time resonance technology is useless. In Lin Yongyan's report, the space-time trap, based on the space-time resonance effect, has an extremely powerful limiting effect on the curvature engine. As long as the enemy cannot crack the fluctuation pattern of the space-time trap, they will not be able to enter the curvature navigation state for human civilization even if it is an A space-time trap. Through specific algorithms, it can still ensure the low-power operation of the curvature engine sailing at a low light speed of less than 1C. The effect is similar to the tripping rope used in ancient human civilization. At the beginning, the opponent's horse is surrendered first, regardless of whether this technology can be realized. At least Lu Yongchang was very satisfied when he saw this plan. You understand the People's Association. The second one is an enhanced version of space rift based on the space-time theoretical system. Space annihilation. It is somewhat similar to the principle of space-time resonance. By applying external force to several key space-time nodes, the flat space-time is directly damaged, like hitting the edge of blast-proof glass with a hammer. Theoretically speaking, the lethality of this space fragmentation phenomenon is extremely huge. It can directly smash any object inside the target space to the atomic level, from ancient times to the present. Attacks are always the simplest. Therefore, although Lin Yongyan has proposed several solutions for applying space-time theory to weapons, how to defend against these attacks. But he didn't have much clue. Lu Yongchang was not in a hurry. He just asked Lin Yongyan to thoroughly study the several plans at hand before talking about it. After all, the space-time theory mastered by human beings is still in its infancy. When the theory completes a breakthrough, 
the necessary technologies will appear. Of course, after sending away Lin Yongnian, who came to the office to report on his work, Lu Yongchang also entered the technology tree space again. Over the past few years, the Academy of Sciences has mastered more and more technologies and theories. The technology tree that was originally extremely bleak now has some bright light at the bottom. Lu Yongchang turned his attention to the middle trunk area of the technology tree. The theory of space and time forms the backbone of the sixth level civilization technology tree. On this backbone, there is a cursor that is less than 20% brighter. The writing on it is also very blurry. But the word shield can be vaguely seen. There is no doubt that this is a defensive method belonging to a sixth level civilization. Looking at the cursor, whose brightness had barely changed over the past few years, Lu Yongchan couldn't help but feel a little confused. For the technologies on the same main trunk, the brightness has changed more or less in the past few years the changes at the top of the technology tree are relatively small. And the changes at the bottom area are relatively large. Only the cursor related to defense methods has not changed much. Is it because the understanding of time and space is insufficient? Or is it because some crucial front-end technology is missing? Lu Yongchan was a little confused. Since the brightness of the cursor is too low, it is inconvenient for him to forcefully use the technology tree system to analyze it. In desperation, he could only temporarily put aside his defensive methods. He has more important things to do now. Breakthroughs and basic theories have brought unprecedented vitality to the Academy of Sciences. This is true for the Weapons Research and Development Department. And it is even more true for other departments. The simultaneous breakthroughs in the theory of grand unified fields and space-time have led to an explosion of papers and research results recently released by the Academy of Sciences. The same is true for the optical computer R&D center led by academician Imo Ziyang. Chapter 809, Miracles, Belonging to Humanity Although the optical computer R&D center has not made substantial achievements so far, the theories and models of optical computers have taken the lead in making breakthroughs. Undoubtedly, this greatly aroused the flames in the hearts of academicians. As for Lu Yongchang, he was also able to spy several technologies related to optical computers in the technology tree space. Since most areas of the technology tree are very dim, so far, he has not found the optical computer cursor in it. But he still believes that optical computers are by no means exclusive to level 7 civilizations. The reason is also very simple. He has already seen a key technology of optical computer in the technology tree, light materialization. Considering the importance of computing resources to human civilization, Lu Yongchan gave the research of light computers a second priority, second only to the grand unified field and space-time theory. Earth Calendar Year 3761 Academy of Humanities and Sciences In the optical computer R&D Center, Lu Yongchan and Imo Ziyang were wearing protective suits and standing nervously in a laboratory that had been pumped into a high-purity vacuum. In front of them, was a huge experimental platform. On the experimental bench are a large number of complex mechanical devices. In the middle of these mechanical devices is a small square space. The function of the entire device is to generate a powerful and accurate unified field. With the help of this unified field, human civilization will try to capture the ethereal light. The first light materialization experiment begins now. This will be an experiment that is destined to go down in history. Even Li Yongcheng's voice at this time was filled with a hint of nervousness and excitement. The order was given, and the light sources in the laboratory were quietly turned off. The sealed laboratory suddenly fell into darkness. The vibrations and hum generated by the work of the Grand Unified Field Generating Device were transmitted along the deck beneath the feet, and reached everyone's ears through bone conduction. Time passes by, and when the strength of the Grand Unified Field in the central area of the experimental platform reaches the standard, the experiment officially begins. A bright beam of light was illuminated directly at the center of the experimental platform. Although it cannot be seen with the naked eye, Lu Yongchan can still imagine that in that beam of light, countless photons are swarming into the powerful unified field. Miraculous phenomena began to occur. This is a shocking picture in a dark laboratory. The only light source shines on the experimental table, reflecting various complex mechanical devices around the experimental table. Time passes little by little. In the originally empty experimental area, a square piece of paper is gradually forming. That's a piece of paper made of light. The brightness of the light paper is very high, far exceeding the brightness of the surrounding light beams. Under the reflection of the surrounding light, it is as dazzling as a creation of the gods and cannot be looked directly at. This is a miracle unique to human civilization. As the operation of the device gradually stabilizes, the brightness of this light paper no longer continues to increase. 
It floats quietly above the experimental platform. As ethereal as a holographically projected image. Lu Yongchang subconsciously took a few steps forward. Gently raised his hand and stretched out towards the bright, light paper, after the device was stable. This operation was not dangerous. Under the gaze of all the academicians of the optical computer R&D center, his right hand firmly touched the light paper in the air. It was a magical feeling. And at the same time, there was a strong sense of disobedience in my brain. Common sense and habitual thinking are telling the brain that what is in front of it is just a ball of light and it should not be touched. But the actual touch from the hand keeps telling the brain, this is a real object. It is hard. At least, no matter how hard Li Yongchang's fingers tried, he could not bend this light paper as thin as a cicada's wings. At the same time, it is smooth. Even through the gloves, Lu Yongchan could clearly feel the smooth feeling without any resistance when his fingers moved on it. He stared blankly at the miracle belonging to human beings in front of him. But an inappropriate thought suddenly appeared in his mind. Perhaps those ideal smooth planes that only exist in writing can be achieved using this technology? There may be some slight changes in the basic physics education for young children. Yongchan? Because he hadn't heard Lu Yongchan's response for a long time. Fong Su, who was waiting on the side, couldn't help but ask in the communication channel. What are you doing over there? What happened? Did the experiment succeed? Lu Yongchang's thoughts were interrupted. He once again stared at the light paper in front of him, and then turned to look at everyone. The experiment was a success. Everyone, we have successfully turned light into reality. Light materialization, technological breakthrough, is a huge breakthrough from scratch to the research and development of optical computers. A few months later, the optical computer R&D Center produced the first basic experimental optical computer. Since the light materialization technology has not yet been fully matured and the production of optical components is relatively difficult, the area occupied by this optical computer is extremely large even reaching hundreds of square meters. In the dark high-purity vacuum laboratory, slender solid light rays construct computer components one by one. Under the action of countless gravitational sources, they are spliced together to form an optical computer that exudes gleaming light. Although its production process is slightly rough and does not have the natural mystery of the Empire's Fortress Master, the shock it brings to human civilization is no less than that of the Empire's Fortress Master. With good luck, it lights up once. A large number of photons flow rapidly within the optical components composed of solid light, transmitting pieces of information at the speed of light. Like the Fortress Mastermind, the materialized light that constitutes the optical computer also flickered on and off judging from the appearance alone. This research and development work seems to be particularly smooth. Lu Yongchang excitedly issued the order to test the computing power. Testing the computing power of the optical computer is the highlight of the entire research and development project. After all, what mankind needs is a new type of computer with performance far beyond that of a light quantum computer. Not a silver gun with a wax head that is of no use. Testing soon began. Unexpected problems also emerged for Lu Yongchang and others. The computing power of this optical computer is far lower than the research center's expectations. Chapter 810, Not Up to Expectations The computing power of the optical computing test machine is indeed much more powerful than the optical quantum computer of the same level. However, it did not meet the standards expected by the Academy of Sciences. In other words, it didn't exceed as much as the Academy expected. There is progress, but not much. If we also consider the maintenance and operating costs of optical computers, the advantages of computers alone are even smaller. The most important problem is that its size to computing power ratio is too low. The computing power of an optical computer covering an area of more than 100 square meters can only be compared with that of a small optical quantum computer covering an area of a few square meters. It is true that there is still a lot of room for improvement in the size of optical computers by improving light materialization technology and various manufacturing processes. Only, Lu Yongchang frowned as he looked at the test data in front of him and quickly calculated on the holographic projection. According to his estimation, even if the manufacturing process is upgraded to the level of the Imperial Fortress Master Brain, the computing power of an optical computer with the same size as an optical quantum computer will only increase by about 200%. That is the level of craftsmanship of a 7th level civilization. If we use the technology of human civilization as a reference, the computing power of optical computers of the same size may only increase by 100%. Let's look at the mastermind of Imperial Fortress. It can easily be crushed by thousands of times of computing power. It is also an optical computer. So the gap between the two is too big. Perhaps, 
before meeting the mastermind of the Tenth Empire Fortress. Lu Yongchang would be satisfied with this research result. After all, for today's human civilization, a 100% increase in computing power is already incredible. But after seeing the scene of being crushed by thousands of times of computing power, Lu Yongchang's mind became wild. In simple terms, I could have tolerated the darkness. If I had never seen the sun, the Tenth Empire can do it. Why can't human civilization do it? Silicon-based organisms are a failure. So isn't Li Yongchang's technology tree a failure? At this moment, the nature of scientific research changed unknowingly. This will be a showdown between losers. Holographic projections filled with complicated data filled the entire optical computer research center. Li Yongchang stood alone among these giant holographic projections, shining like a god under the blue light. Not far behind him were countless academicians of the Academy of Sciences working at their desks. At this moment, the activity level of Li Yongchang's quantum brain continues to soar. In just a few seconds, brain activity easily crosses the original threshold. But Li Yongchang didn't feel any physical discomfort. He even felt that his physical condition was increasing along with the activity of his quantum brain. A flash of enlightenment suddenly flashed in his mind. It seems that this is the result of body transformation when advancing to the sixth level civilization technology tree. The body transformed by unknown energy is more adaptable to the quantum brain and can better unleash the potential of the quantum brain. As the level of brain activity continued to increase, Lu Yongcha felt the feeling of omniscience and omnipotence. For the first time when faced with hundreds of huge holographic projections that quickly refresh data, no matter how fast the data refreshes and how many holographic projections there are, he can easily grasp every detail of the data changes. As an artificial intelligence, Zero uses its huge computing power to perform the initial screening of experimental data. The other academicians of the research center rely on zero computing power to assist in secondary processing of the data. Lu Yongchang, on the other hand, relied on his own brain to summarize and analyze all the secondary process data. There is no doubt that the work done by Lu Yongchang is the most important thing. Without Lu Yongchang, just analyzing these data would have taken months or even years. In addition to resource factors, this is also one of the reasons why there are so few advanced civilizations in the universe. In the early days of civilization, a simple theoretical breakthrough and a great man could cause a civilization's technological explosion. This phenomenon is not uncommon in the universe. And is even common. This phenomenon may occur in first-level civilization, second-level civilization, and even third-level civilization. This is also the biggest reason why the Dark Forest Law is prevalent among low-level civilizations. But when reaching level 4 civilization and above, under normal circumstances, the progress of civilization cannot be easily accomplished. With the increasingly large amount of experimental and observational data, any theoretical or technological breakthrough requires the efforts of countless generations within civilization. As time passed by, Lu Yongchang's brows wrinkled deeper and deeper, and his face gradually began to show obvious fatigue. Seem. No problems were found. All components of the optical computer are running in a normal state but its unit operating speed is still far inferior to the optical brain of the Tenth Empire. A problem with the architecture? Lu Yongchang murmured softly. When Mo Ziyang, who was not far away, heard this, he immediately put down his work and suddenly raised his head, staring at Lu Yongchang with burning eyes. It's really possible. An optical computer may require a unique architecture that cannot be used in the original optical quantum computer architecture. Mo Ziyang put forward a hypothesis. Lu Yongchang nodded thoughtfully, turned his head, and turned his gaze to the giant holographic projection on the other side. Whether this is the case, we will know soon. Mo Ziyang was stunned and followed Lu Yongchang's gaze. Those holographic projections displayed detailed observation data on the mastermind of the Imperial Fortress. If self-made fails, imitation can always be done. Right? You can't just copy the answers and figure out something. Right? With this idea in mind, the R&D center restarted the production of a second optical computing testing machine. With the experience of the first one, the production process of the second test machine became much smoother. The R&D center even tried to simply improve the manufacturing process. Although it is not a big breakthrough, there is still some progress. A few months later, the second optical computing test machine was successfully unveiled. Judging from the appearance alone, it is not much different from the fortress mastermind left behind by the Tenth Empire. It is also a spherical structure. Within the spherical structure are various small and complex multiple structures. Only, due to the inferior technology, this replica is much larger than the Imperial Fortress Mastermind. Roughly converted, 
the volume is probably more than a thousand times that of the fortress master brain. It can be called a giant. In order to place it, the R&D center could only place the high purity vacuum laboratory on a planetary fortress that was about to be completed. The poor planetary fortress was reduced to a laborer before he was truly born. Chapter 811 Give Up? After the complex inspection process was completed, the antimatter reactor of the planetary fortress began to power it. Still a light up. A huge ball of light appeared in the high purity vacuum laboratory inside the planetary fortress. The computing power test began soon. At the beginning of the test session, Lu Yongchang's face changed a bit as he paid close attention to the data changes. Something is wrong. The computing power has indeed improved a lot. But the extent of the improvement is still far from the level of the mastermind of the Imperial Fortress. Zero quickly completed the test of the new home and presented the test results in front of Lu Yongchang. Sure enough, just as Lu Yongchang inferred during the test, compared with the first experimental machine, the computing power of the second experimental machine can be said to have achieved a qualitative leap, its computing power even exceeds that of Zero Habitat's ultra large optical quantum computer array. But considering energy consumption and floor space, this is a total loss making business. It can't even be moved onto a starship. Not only that, after making a simple estimate, Lu Yongchang was surprised to find that the structure of the fortress master brain even negatively improved the computer's computing power. To put it simply, if the size of the first test machine is enlarged proportionally, more computing processing units will be stacked inside. Then its computing power will even exceed that of the second test machine. Not to mention what other researchers were thinking. When Lu Yongchang saw the test results, his face suddenly turned ugly. There must be something wrong. There must be some key technology hidden in the fortress mastermind of the 10th Empire. Lu Yongchang locked himself into Emo Ziyang's office with a sullen face. And the atmosphere in the R&D center seemed very stiff. Emo Ziyang led a group of academicians, looking blankly at the experimental data and observation data, trying to find the hidden key technologies. All data is normal, and there is no error at all. He even checked the structure of the fortress mastermind again several times. It is indeed an equal proportion restoration. Even the angle of penetration of the materialized light is exactly the same. Emo Ziyang, who was sitting on the chair, suddenly became confused. What went wrong? The office door slowly closed. Sitting on the chair, Lu Yongchan looked at the small blue holographic projection above the desk and fell into the same confusion as Emo Ziyang. What went wrong? Suddenly, Lu Yongchun's confused eyes fluctuated a little, and an incredible guess appeared in his mind. In order to verify his conjecture, he quickly closed his eyes, and his consciousness entered the technology tree space. The technology tree space is as calm as ever. The model background is still like a riddle, trying to reveal some shocking secret to Lu Yongchang. But at this time, Lu Yongchang's mind was not on the background of the Riddler. His eyes quickly moved to the bottom area of the technology tree, and quickly swept up along the main trunk. As the height of the gaze increases, the bright cursor gradually becomes sparse. More and more dim areas appeared in Lu Yongchang's sight. Originally, he would have been attracted by these half-hidden cursors. But now, his attention was completely attracted by a cursor hanging in the middle area of the technology tree. The cursor is bright. This means that human civilization has completely mastered this technology. The writing on the cursor made Lu Yongchang take a deep breath subconsciously although there is no such thing as a so-called cold breath in the conscious body. He still made this action based on the habit of the human body. The text on the cursor is very simple, light brain. But it contains a huge amount of information. Optical brain. It is easy to understand. It is the optical computer that human civilization is currently researching. But? Why was he already lit? How could he be lit? Human civilization has mastered optical computer technology, which has been certified by the technology tree system. In other words, the two test machines with limited improvement in computing power are optical computers, or prototypes of optical brains. As Lu Yongchan focused his attention on the cursor, a faintly visible thin line extended from the cursor and stretched straight to the top of the sixth level civilization. There is a thick fog over there. The thin thread penetrated directly into the mist without any hesitation. The fortress mastermind of the Tenth Reich. Obviously, that should be a technology that only level seven civilizations should master. A few days later, the office door slowly opened, revealing Lu Yongchang's face that was a little pale from overuse. Professor Emo Ziyang, who was still trying to find the reason, saw this and hurriedly stood up to meet him. He stretched out his hand to support Lu Yongchang's swaying body, and then shouted to the scientific researchers on the side, What are you standing there for? Why don't you go find Dr. Wen quickly? 
No. No need. Liu Yongchang took a deep breath and broke away from Emo Ziyang's support. The optical computer has succeeded. Whoa, what? Emo Ziyang was stunned. And then his eyes showed ecstasy. Have you found the reason? No. Liu Yongchang's eyes dimmed slightly. He shook his head and said, I mean, we have succeeded long ago. The mastermind of the Imperial Fortress. That is computer technology belonging to the seventh level civilization. Upon hearing this, the smile on Emo Ziyang's face quickly dissipated at a speed visible to the naked eye. And at the same time, his lips began to tremble slightly. This, how could this happen? For a pure scientific researcher, Liu Yongchun's words are tantamount to a death sentence for his past efforts. Not only Emo Ziyang, but also the other researchers in the R&D center were overwhelmed by the bad news. Then, then, Emo Ziyang started to speak incoherently. We, then we want to give up? Yes, yes. That is the technology of a seventh level civilization. We should. What should we do? Liu Yongchang straightened his body with force. And a faint rosy color appeared on his originally pale face. Give up? Impossible. All observational data prove one thing. The basic technology used by the Fortress Mastermind is not much different from the optical computer we developed. But its performance is hundreds or thousands of times higher than the optical computer of a sixth level civilization. This is an opportunity. An opportunity for human civilization to increase its heritage. Liu Yongchang's eyes became brighter. I believe that human civilization can overcome this difficulty. Can the barriers between civilizations really not be broken down? Chapter 812 A Tough Battle Previously, when human civilization was weak, this situation did not happen before. Let's not talk about dangerous technology and sub-dangerous technology. Just talking about the stellar core reaction interference technology that humans mastered at the 5th level civilization. Isn't it equivalent to mastering the technology of the 6th level civilization in advance? It can be seen that the barriers between civilization and technology are not insurmountable. The technology tree stipulates the technologies that a civilization should master? Then who stipulates the technology tree? In Liu Yongchun's mind, the question that had troubled him since 2030 suddenly appeared. Perhaps because civilization was getting stronger, and he was getting rid of the situation of being forced to flee. An idea appeared in Liu Yongchun's mind for the first time. An idea to challenge the authority of the technology tree. Princes, generals, and prime ministers would rather have the seed. Zero. From now on, stop all unnecessary scientific research projects. Liu Yongchun's eyes flashed. Deploy all first-level academicians of the Academy of Sciences to launch a critical battle against optical computer technology. The moment the words fell, in the eyes of all the scientific researchers at the optical computer R&D center, Liu Yongchang's image suddenly became taller. Emo Ziyang's eyes were slightly red. As the person in charge of the People's Internet Computer Project, he is more aware of the meaning behind Liu Yongchang's decision. Single-handedly mobilize all academicians of the Academy of Sciences to jointly tackle a seemingly impossible technology. More than 1,700 years have passed since the founding of the People's League. But even if it takes another 1,700 years, even if it takes another 7,100 years, this kind of grand occasion will probably only appear in the Academy of Sciences led by Liu Yongchang. Receive. The moment the electronic synthesized sound sounded, the blue holographic image automatically unfolded. Zero's avatar appeared next to Liu Yongchang and saluted respectfully to Liu Yongchang. The summons information has been successfully posted. Academia Sinica. After thousands of years of development, this has become an extremely large organization. 30 billion humans are scattered across the vast territory of the Panhuman Federation. Kepler 452b has already become the capital star of the Panhuman Federation. The People's Academy of Sciences and the People's Alliance Council occupy the northern and southern hemispheres of the capital star respectively. Level 1 Academician. Level 2 Academician. Level 3 Academician and level 1 researcher. Almost all scientific researchers live in the southern hemisphere of the capital star. Here, there is the most powerful scientific research force of the Panhuman Federation. On this day, every scientific researcher was focused on his or her scientific research work as usual. Suddenly, a blue holographic projection appeared uncontrollably beside each scientific researcher. On the holographic projection, there was only a message glowing orange. Information priority is the highest level. This unprecedented situation immediately attracted the attention of all scientific researchers. They stopped what they were doing and unanimously clicked on the highest priority message from the Central Research Institute of the Academy of Sciences. Then, all the researchers showed varying degrees of surprise on their faces. 
An academician with a first-level academician badge on his body calmly turned off the holographic projection in front of him, and then stretched out his hand to straighten his clothes. They turned around and briefly arranged the work for their scientific researchers at all levels, and then left their scientific research area without hesitation. Most of them are older generation scientific researchers with relatively high qualifications. But there are always surprises. With the continuous promotion of the public welfare system, the quality of the new generation of human civilization is getting higher and higher. For example, Lin Yongnian from the Space Time Research Center of the Chinese Academy of Sciences. Although his qualifications are slightly lower, he still ranks among the first level academicians with his own talents. In the Space Time Research Center, Lin Yongnian followed several relatively senior first level academicians out of the door of the laboratory building. The small anti-gravity vehicle was already waiting outside the door. After they entered the vehicle and sat down, under Zero's control, the anti-gravity vehicle soared into the sky. This day, the skies in the southern hemisphere of Kepler 452b are particularly lively. Anti-gravity vehicles rose from all directions and streaked across the sky. The destinations of these Changhongs are the Central Research Institute of the Academy of Sciences located in the South Pole region of the capital star. Everyone arrived. No one is absent. The battle against the mastermind technology of the 7th level civilization fortress begins now. There is strength in numbers. Although these first level academicians specialize in different fields, their basic scientific literacy is there. And the various suggestions they put forward still greatly promote the research progress of optical computers. But there was not much joy on Lu Yongchang's face. The key technology is still not found. Therefore, the development of optical computers is still within the scope of level 6 civilization. Earth Calendar Year 3763 Lu Yongchang sat on his chair, looking at the holographic projection in front of him with a dull expression. In the projection, there are optical computer architecture models that have been improved over several generations. Good. With the joint efforts of the top scientific research forces across the Academy of Sciences, optical computers have been iterated several times. Not only have there been several breakthroughs in light materialization technology, but the manufacturing process of optical components has also been improved. In just two years, optical computer technology has developed from a prototype to a mature technology. Regardless of cost, an optical computer with the same footprint as an optical quantum computer can increase its computing power by up to 80%. Although it has not yet reached the 100% improvement predicted by Lu Yongchang, it still heralds a message human civilization is coming to an end based on the optical computer technology of level 6 civilization. But the wall erected in front of the academicians, that thick wall that symbolized the barrier of civilization hierarchy, still did not waver in any way. Of course, the joys and sorrows of people are not always the same especially the joys and sorrows of people and artificial intelligence. Zero has already moved into his new home and built a new environment and system for the optical computer. The 80% increase in computing power has also increased the construction speed of construction projects in the Panhuman Federation again. As a result, smiles appeared on the faces of the various engineering department personnel of the People's Federation. The construction of infrastructure projects has also made interstellar trade and exchange activities more frequent in the Panhuman Federation which has greatly boosted the technological level of affiliated civilizations. As a result, smiles also appeared on the faces of the affiliated civilizations. Only the Academy of Sciences is still in a state of bitterness and hatred. As the chief scientist, Lu Yongchan looked irritably at the long-distance detection data of the Imperial Fortress Mastermind that had been reviewed countless times. He had a feeling. He is only one step away from the truth. But this step is as insurmountable as a natural chasm for today's human civilization. Chapter 813 Lin Yongnian's Conjecture While Li Yongchan was frowning and feeling irritable, Lin Yongnian, who was sitting not far away, seemed to have discovered something and suddenly widened his eyes. He rubbed his eyes, and an incredible look of surprise suddenly appeared on his originally numb face. It was a kind of relief that parted the clouds and mist and saw the light, and a kind of surprise that suddenly looked back at that person in a dimly lit place, in the corner where all the academicians did not notice. Lin Yongnian suddenly stood up. He raised his hand and wiped it vigorously on the white coat he was wearing. Perhaps because of his excitement, the muscles on both sides of his cheeks trembled slightly. He looked in the direction of Lu Yongchang from a distance. Obviously, he saw Lu Yongchang's somewhat ugly expression. After only hesitating for less than half a second, he turned around and left his seat resolutely and walked in the direction of Lu Yongchang. Gradually, someone noticed this young academician with the word childish written all over his face. They looked at him with kindness in their eyes. In this research center, 
The words young and immature are not derogatory. On the contrary, these two words symbolize potential. To some extent, it even means a bright future. Therefore, due to his age, Lin Yongnian has always been able to receive some care. Boy Lin, what did you find? An academician asked Lin Yongnian jokingly. In such a hurry, is it possible to find? Lin Yongnian ignored the academician, who was talking to him, and hurriedly passed by him. To be precise, Lin Yongnian's attention was entirely on Li Yongchang at this time. And he didn't even notice the questioning coming from around him. His hurried footsteps became louder and louder, attracting the attention of more and more academicians. Hey, this kid! The academician who spoke just now had a stiff face. But he was not angry. He just cast a curious look at Lin Yongnian. What did he find? Like this academician, the surrounding academicians all cast confused glances at Lin Yongnian. Until Lin Yongnian's figure stopped next to Lu Yongchang. Under the gaze of the academicians, Lin Yongnian took a deep breath. Chief Lu, I discovered a phenomenon that may be related to what we are studying. Lu Yongchang frowned slightly and shifted his attention from the holographic projection in front of him to Lin Yongnian. This so-called discovery has appeared countless times in the past two years or so. Regardless of the discovery, the end result is similar. They do not contribute much to research and development efforts. Of course, despite saying this, Lu Yongchang still frowned slightly and clicked on the holographic projection beside him. Under Zero's control, the holographic projection beside him quickly showed what Lin Yongnian was studying. Chief Lu, Lin Yongnian explained in a low voice. We have always believed that the strong gravitational source in the fortress's optical brain only plays a role in bending light. What if it does more than that? Lu Yongchang's eyes lit up slightly and he suddenly became somewhat interested. This is a completely new argument. According to the current space-time theory, space-time will behave differently under the disturbance of strong gravitational sources. Black hole. Space-time resonance. Space rift. Space annihilation. What if the seventh-level civilization mastered other characteristics of time and space? Lu Yongchang's expression suddenly became solemn when he thought that the theory of time and space was the backbone technology that runs through level six civilizations. It seems that this time's discoveries and conjectures are much more reliable than before. Seeing the expression on Lu Yongchang's face becoming serious step by step, the academicians around him became unable to sit still. Is there really something extraordinary discovered? So, they all got up and walked in the direction of Lu Yongchang. Lu Yongchang moved his fingers slightly and skillfully brought up the 3D holographic model of the mastermind of the 10th Empire Fortress. In the model, complex materialized lights are intricately intertwined forming a messy and beautiful picture. Zero. Mark the locations of all strong gravity sources. Lu Yongchang gave the order softly. After the words fell, red dots were quickly marked on the 3D model of the fortress mastermind. The picture also becomes more and more cluttered. Eliminate all optical path structures, including optical components. This time, the complex model quickly became simpler. Lu Yongchang suddenly frowned as he looked at the seemingly irregular red dots that were either close or far apart as the founder of space-time theory. There is no doubt about Lu Yongcheng's understanding of space-time theory. He carefully examined the locations of these red dots and tried to fit them into the space-time theory mastered by human civilization. Hiss! He took a small breath. Something is wrong. These strong gravitational sources will not form so-called space cracks and black holes at all. Again, if there really is a spatial rift, it should have been discovered long ago when the scientific research robot made the observation. As for space-time resonance and space annihilation, that is even more nonsense. Both technologies require stimulating key nodes in a space-time. Once the spatial position changes, the position of the space-time node will also change accordingly. Therefore, these two technologies cannot be used in the fortress optical brain. Recreate the scale model. Lu Yongchang hesitated for a moment and then issued the order in a deep voice. When theory cannot play a guiding role, only practice can produce true knowledge. No matter what secrets he hides, just give it a try and you will find out. This time, it's not just the distance between the gravitational sources that needs to be taken into account. Lu Yongchang seemed to have thought of something. In the previous research process, the second generation optical computing test machine was copied to the same proportions based on the structure of the fortress master brain. However, due to technical limitations, the second generation test machine is large and the distance between gravity sources is relatively far. Not only that, the strength of the gravitational source did not meet the standards within the fortress mastermind. So, he added again, the strength of the gravitational source must also be taken into account. 
there is no need to manufacture any optical paths or optical components. Just generate these gravitational sources in the target area. Although there are some mysteries hidden in these irregularly distributed gravity sources. But Liu Yongchang still had some expectations in his heart. He had a hunch that this time, human civilization might achieve unprecedented technological breakthroughs. It's not just Liu Yongchang who has this idea. The academicians present also saw the hope of success in the gravity source model. Then, under Liu Yongchang's order, the originally quiet Central Research Institute of the Academy of Sciences suddenly became noisy. While waiting to reconstruct the full-scale model, each academician tried to come up with his or her own hypothesis. The space-time theory researchers, who originally had little voice, became a hot topic at this moment. Especially Lin Yongyan, who raised this possibility. His status in the eyes of senior academicians has skyrocketed. Chapter 814 Anaconda A week later, an experimental ship slowly sailed away from the geosynchronous orbit of Polar 452b. In its internal high-purity vacuum laboratory, there are dozens of large unified field generating devices nested inside each other. No way. The number of gravitational sources inside the Imperial Fortress Master Brain is too large. And their structures are relatively complex. To achieve relatively complete replication, human civilization can only use this stupid method. In order to ensure that these dozen unified field generating devices will not interfere with each other, the academicians present have put in a lot of effort. But even so, it is still impossible for human civilization to perfectly reproduce the source of gravity inside the main brain of the Imperial Fortress. This is the gap in the hard power of civilization. Since there is no need to manufacture optical components and optical computers, it does not take long to generate a scale model of the gravity source. Kepler 452b Antarctic Region Central Research Institute of the People's Academy of Sciences As the experimental ship sailed away from Polar 452b, the giant holographic projection in the institute quietly turned on. In the holographic projection, a large amount of data flashed across the screen. And at the same time, Virtual red cursors were marked in the middle area of the vacuum laboratory. Each red cursor means a tiny source of gravity. The seemingly peaceful space had already turned into a mess under the influence of these gravitational sources. In order to explore the mystery, the spatial arrangement of these gravitational sources is exactly the same as the gravitational sources in the main brain of the Imperial Fortress. Start increasing the intensity of the gravitational source. Liu Yongchang calmed down and gave the order to start the experiment. Under Zero's control. The dozens of grand unified fields slowly adjusted the intensity of those gravitational sources with extremely fine amplitude in order to more intuitively observe the phenomenon caused by changes in the gravitational source. A bright beam accompanied by extremely fine white dust was shot directly into the space where the gravitational source is scattered. White suspended dust is dispersed throughout the entire experimental area and the light generated by the parallel light source passes through it, showing straight trajectories. When these light rays and suspended dust reached the gravitational source area, a strange phenomenon appeared. The parallel beams of light that were originally running smoothly seemed to be subject to some invisible pulling force, twisting and bending in them, forming an extremely complex pattern. At the same time, the fine white dust suspended in the laboratory also began to move, gather, and spread under the influence of the gravitational source. And together with the complex light patterns, they constructed a strange picture as the intensity of the gravitational source continues to increase. The impact on the parallel beam gradually increases. Although there is no substantial light path in the experimental area now, under the influence of the gravitational source, these light beams intertwine with each other and still outline the general shape of the Empire Fortress Mastermind. Time passes minute by minute. The power of more than a dozen grand unified field generating devices has reached its peak, and the intensity of the gravitational source in the experimental area has reached the limit of what human civilization can currently achieve. But nothing unusual appeared. There are no spatial rifts. No black holes. All space phenomena known to human civilization did not occur. Whether it is the white suspended dust or the light rays that take on specific shapes due to the Tyndall effect. They all stay stable in that space. Although the gravitational intensity of those gravitational sources is large, their radius of action is too small to cause changes in space. If Liu Yongchang's previous conjecture is true, then perhaps this is the reason why human civilization has not discovered this law for so long. Likewise, this is probably the biggest technical barrier between level 6 civilization and level 7 civilization. Not to mention anything else. The seemingly chaotic arrangement of gravity sources alone is enough to feed a level 6 civilization for a lifetime. Liu Yongchang fell into silence while looking at the scene in the holographic projection. For the 10th Empire, faced with this situation, 
they could continue to increase the power of the grand unified field generating device without hesitation, thereby continuing to increase the degree of influence of the gravitational field on the surrounding space. But for human civilization, it seemed like there was only one last way left. Zero. Reduce the distance between gravitational sources in equal proportions. Yes, the simplest and most naive method. If the strength is not enough, distance is required. What? Why wasn't it used before? Who can determine whether the distance between these gravity sources will affect the final experimental results? What's more, reducing the distance between these strong gravitational sources is inherently a dangerous act. Given the choice, who would choose such a dangerous and uncertain option? Zero's ability to accurately control various devices is trustworthy. At least, there has been no accident on it since its birth. Under everyone's gaze, the red cursors in the holographic projection are approaching each other at an extremely slow speed. The disturbance between the gravitational sources gradually intensifies. The white hanging dust that moves more and more violently is the best proof. In addition to the hanging dust, the increasingly distorted light paths can also prove that storms taking place in the ocean of time and space. After one day, the distance between the sources of gravity has doubled. The academicians, who were afraid of an accident, had been sitting in their chairs all day. Every movement of the red cursor will forcefully affect the hearts of everyone present. Time passed slowly bit by bit. The atmosphere in the research center is also becoming more and more solemn. Suddenly, Lu Yongchang felt a flash of fear in his heart, and his eyes widened. The vision finally appeared. A large amount of white dust and light suddenly disappeared into the seemingly peaceful space and time. Wow! A commotion suddenly sounded in the research center. This magical scene captured the hearts of all the academicians. Before anyone could ask their doubts, the disappearing white dust and light spewed out from another seemingly peaceful space. Then, it disappeared into the peaceful space on the other side again. When they appeared again, they had changed their orientation. These white suspended dust and lights are like anacondas tumbling in the water sometimes revealing their bodies, sometimes disappearing under the water. This cycle goes back and forth. Finally, a layered and extremely complex self-circulating multiple structure was constructed in the experimental area. Chapter 815 Unlocking Action In the giant holographic projection of the research center, the anaconda, formed by white suspended dust and light is constantly rising and falling in the seemingly calm space. Although there is no substantial light and no so-called optical components in the experimental area, it still forms a perfect closed-loop structure under this unknown mechanism. Such a magical scene made Lu Yongchang's mind go blank. He grasped the armrests of the chair tightly with both hands. Because of too much force, the veins on his hands even popped out. After a brief period of confusion, an unprecedented sense of excitement and curiosity arose. Why? What reason? What happened in that space? Where did the light go the moment it disappeared? One question after another kept rising in Lu Yongchang's mind. Co-occurring with these questions is a vague inspiration. This self-circulating multiple structure may be the reason why the optical computer of the seventh level civilization has powerful computing power. Right? Time passed slowly, and the picture in the projection gradually stabilized. But the hearts of the academicians did not feel at all calm. At the beginning, because everyone was still a little worried about the experimental scene in the experimental ship, the voices of conversations were deliberately lowered but the early suppression will only lead to a violent outburst in the later stage. Boom! When time reached a point, the discussion in the research center instantly became loud. It wasn't until Lu Yongchang left his seat and slowly stood up that the sound in the research center began to gradually weaken. It's clear to everyone. This is an unknown space phenomenon, which also means that after two years, this battle has finally seen the exact target. A large amount of detection data flashed across the screen in the holographic projection. It's still the same process. Zero performed the initial processing of the data. A group of academicians performed the secondary processing. Lu Yongchang conducted a summary analysis of the process data. Lu Yongchang stood at the front of the research center, facing the huge holographic image in front of him. Again, that year, he put his hands in his pockets and didn't know what his opponent was. Of course, Lu Yongchang did not put his hands in his pockets. On the contrary, his right hand seemed to be cramped and there was something written on the small hologram beside his side. The handwriting looked like weeds growing randomly. It is conservatively estimated that there are only a handful of academicians in the entire Academy of Sciences who can understand these handwritings. Suddenly, Lu Yongchan stopped. A total of 7,342 spatial anomalies, he murmured to himself. If every two spatial abnormal points correspond to an abnormal structure, that means that in this small experimental area, 
there are a total of 3,671 spatial abnormal structures. As soon as he finished speaking, even he couldn't help but take a breath of cold air. Good guy. Why don't you put aside the tunnel battle? No. 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 Lu Yongchang shook his head repeatedly, with a look of contemplation in his eyes. Perform a unified analysis of the entire structure. This is impossible. At least, this is too difficult for today's human civilization. Since then, the first thing they have to do is simple. Disassemble this mutually nested and overlapping self-loop multiple closed-loop structure. It's easy to say, but not so easy to do. It's not like a knot. If you untie it wrong, it won't be a big deal. When working with this delicate structure that operates stably in a balanced state, any carelessness can lead to an experimental accident. Accidents involving high-intensity gravitational sources. Needless to say, the danger level of this kind of accident is definitely the highest level. The unlocking operation officially begins. Conventionally, detection modeling of this complex spatial structure is the first step, benefiting from recent breakthroughs in space-time theory and grand unified field theory. The observation methods of human civilization have also improved a lot. Subtle changes in the spatial structure that were originally unobservable are now invisible under the current observation methods. This is also the reason why Tin was so confident about human civilization at that time. If it were a normal fifth-level civilization, it would just open the fortress mastermind to the opponent, and the opponent would not be able to see anything. And that's exactly what happened. But even if the space-time model is successfully established, the problem is still not solved. Whether it was a conventional model or a space-time model, Lu Yongchan could not find an area where he could start. The reason is also very simple. These corresponding abnormal space-time structures are intertwined with each other, no matter what angle you approach. The stability of the overall structure cannot be guaranteed. After struggling for several days, Yevgeny came up with an outrageous plan. Since there is no best-in-class method, it is better to go directly to the simple and crude exhaustive method and dichotomy method different from the ordinary unlocking process. Dismantling this spatial structure caused by the gravitational source does not require too many complicated operations. Just control the grand unified field generating device to turn off one of the gravitational sources. As for the subsequent chain reactions, the main theme is one of resignation. The so-called exhaustive method also appropriately explains the meaning of resignation randomly selecting a lucky source of gravity and turning it off. As for the dichotomy method, it is based on the exhaustive method, retaining a relatively complete space-time structure, and then continuing to implement the previous step. Clumsy method. But I have to say, it does work. As long as the number of experiments is sufficient. Several relatively independent anomaly structures of space and time can be separated. For a time, space-time turbulence caused by conflicting gravitational sources continue to occur in the experimental ship. This brand new experimental ship, which had just left the factory, gradually became dilapidated during repeated attempts until a large-scale experimental accident occurred. It completely disappeared in the universe. As usual, the Grand Unified Field Generator drew one lucky winner. This is the 436th draw. There were no major accidents in the previous 435 attempts. But the lucky winner drawn this time was obviously a bad-tempered one. Just when the gravity source was turned off, an accident that no one expected happened a huge vortex seemed to appear on the ocean of time and space, swallowing up the surrounding grand unified field generating devices that were firmly fixed on the deck. Not just the device, it even swallowed up a section of the deck of the experimental ship, while the academicians were staring blankly at the empty vacuum laboratory. A piercing alarm sounded in the research center. Almost at the same moment, this dazzling experimental ship, which had gone through 435 experiments without complaint, turned into a ball of flames and presented a dazzling fireworks show to the academicians of the research center at the cost of its life. It really made me cry to death. Looking at the aftermath of the explosion in the holographic projection, Lu Yongchang twitched the corner of his mouth slightly and glanced at academician Yevgeny with an awkward look in his eyes. Chapter 816 Klein Bottle Zero. Report fault information. What just happened? After the words fell, lines of information began to appear in the holographic projection. Looking at the report in the holographic projection, Lu Yongchang's expression became even weirder. The swallowed, grand unified field generating devices and decks did not disappear, but were moved to an extremely dangerous area, the antimatter reactor. Not only did they travel thousands of meters in a straight line out of thin air, they also penetrated hundreds of layers of walls and protective devices of varying thicknesses in between. During this process, 
the walls and protective devices did not suffer any trauma. This, this magical phenomenon suddenly reminded him of a technology within the Empire Fortress. He muttered to himself in confusion. Short distance space jump? I can't say they are similar. They are exactly the same. This thing also involves dimensional changes? Lu Yongcheng's eyes suddenly widened. If you want to say this, he won't be sleepy. Zero. Release all the records and data of this experiment. Send out a second experimental ship and continue to repeat the experimental steps just now. Yes, since adopting the screening plan that combines the exhaustive method and the dichotomy method proposed by academician Yagini. Zero has begun to transform a large number of experimental ships. No way. This crude experimental plan destined the expensive experimental ship to become a consumable. However, judging from the results alone, Lu Yongchang feels that this transaction is quite profitable. Once, twice, three times. Experimental accidents one after another prove one thing to the academicians of the research center the scene that just happened was no accident. Every time the gravitational source is turned off, the vortex in the ocean of time and space will sweep away the grand unified field generating device and part of the deck, and then find a place to throw it out. The only problem is, the location of this disposal is completely random except for the antimatter reactor. The devices that were swept away appeared in different places every time. The vast universe beyond the starship and the experimental ship warehouse. As long as it's a place you can think of, there's nothing it can't go to. The most outrageous thing is that it can even get stuck between two decks. Lu Yongchan looked at the complicated time and space fluctuation data in the holographic projection and subconsciously raised his hand to rub his temples. Headache. When he first encountered short-distance jump technology, he thought it might contain dimensional technology. But according to the current experimental data, this seems to be the result of the distortion of space and time in a certain pattern. Maybe it has something to do with the dimensions. But the relationship doesn't seem to be big. In any case, the reason behind this is not something he can solve based on a little experimental data. Food must be eaten one bite at a time. And scientific research must be carried out step by step. For today's human civilization. The first thing that needs to be done is to separate the single abnormal space-time structure as soon as possible. Only by mastering the basic units can we conduct detailed analysis of the whole. Time flies. The following year. Earth calendar year 3764. The separation experiment was finally declared a success. A single space-time anomaly structure constructed from 12 gravitational sources runs smoothly inside the 26th experimental ship. These gravitational sources are not arranged adjacently. In fact, Several gravitational sources are arranged diagonally. As for why it is the 26th experimental ship, all I can say is that I understand everything. In holographic projection, parallel beams of light are directed towards the experimental area. The white hanging dust mixed with the light and disappeared into a space without any abnormality. Then, it spewed out in another seemingly unrelated area. The research officially enters the next step. The difficulty of observing and studying a single space-time anomaly structure has been significantly reduced. Without the influence of other abnormal structures, the observation data appears much more concise and refreshing. Of course, this is only relative. In front of the research center, Lu Yongchang was still alone, facing the huge data filled with dozens of holographic projections. However, this time, the deduction and calculation movements in his hands were much smoother than before. This is... Lu Yongcha put the final touch on the holographic image in front of him. Using mathematics as a tool, he had successfully simulated the rough appearance of the deformed space-time. Klein bottle? In the eyes of all the academicians, Lu Yongcha spit out a familiar term. The so-called Klein bottle is a conceptual structure similar to a Mobius strip. A Mobius strip is a paper loop made by twisting a piece of paper 180 degrees and then gluing the two ends together. It has a magical property. Suppose there is a bug? or two-dimensional creature, living on a piece of paper. The note is divided into front and back. Therefore, if it wants to crawl across both sides of the paper, it must ascend its dimension, break away from this two-dimensional plane, and enter another surface from the three-dimensional space. That is, cross the edge of the paper. But the Mobius strip constructed of paper strips has only one curved surface a bug, or a two-dimensional creature, can crawl across the entire curved surface without crossing its edge. For bugs living on strips of paper or two-dimensional creatures, the real Mobius strip can only exist in three-dimensional space. And its greatest significance is that, as a medium, it successfully bridges the gap between two dimensions and three dimensions. The same goes for Klein bottles. It has no distinction between inside and outside. 
The moment you enter the bottle, you have already reached the outside. Therefore, it also received a strange title. The client bottle that can never be filled. This is the bridge between the three and four dimensions. Similar to a Mobius strip. A true client bottle can only exist in a higher dimensional space, that is, a four-dimensional space. In three-dimensional space, it is impossible to create a real client bottle. Even if all the manufacturing techniques are exhausted, what you get is just a projection of a four-dimensional space in three dimensions. These two concepts were proposed as early as the age of the Earth. For today's human civilization, it is a kind of basic knowledge. However, although it is basic knowledge, humans today have never seen a real client bottle. Like a creature living in a two-dimensional plane, the true Mobius strip can never be seen. It is precisely because of this that Liu Yongchang's judgment immediately aroused the interest of this group of academicians. Professor, do you mean that this space-time forms a client bottle structure? Lin Yongyin, who was studying space-time theory next to Liu Yongchang, asked in confusion. He didn't know much about this knowledge. Chapter 817, Sub-Dangerous Technology, Four-Dimensional Optical Brain No! Liu Yongchang denied Lin Yongyin's words. A client bottle cannot appear in three-dimensional space. Then, Lin Yongyin became more and more confused. Then why did you just say? Liu Yongchang had no dissatisfaction with Lin Yongyin's performance. After all, humans have not been born knowing creatures since their birth. Only by passing knowledge down from generation to generation can human civilization exist in this dark universe for a long time. So, he organized some words and tried his best to explain the mystery to Lin Yongyin. Gravitational As the most unique force among the four basic forces, gravity can penetrate the one plus three dimensional hyperspace membrane in which we live and affect higher dimensions. One plus three dimensions refers to one dimension of time and three dimensions of space. The target of these twelve gravitational sources is not the three dimensional space we are in, but the higher one dimensional four dimensional space. Liu Yongchang's eyes were full of emotion. This means that in our eyes, their arrangement is very chaotic. The reason the positions of these gravitational sources are actually the three-dimensional projection coordinates of the four-dimensional client bottle. Similarly, this is the biggest flaw in our theory of space and time. Our space-time theory only summarizes the laws of three-dimensional space and does not involve higher or lower dimensions of space-time at all. Speaking of this, Liu Yongchang's heart suddenly moved. I see. If the space-time theory applicable to three-dimensional space is the foundation of level six civilization, what the seventh level civilization needs to do is to push this theory of time and space to other dimensions. It is unrealistic for today's humans to completely master the theory of space and time involving four-dimensional space. But this does not mean that humans cannot directly use this law. In particular, human civilization also has a complete set of detailed model data from the seventh level peak civilization. After mastering the principles of a single abnormal space-time structure, the research on the overall structure of the fortress master brain can be easily carried out. After a few months of outrage among academicians, a large number of three-dimensional coordinates of gravity sources were converted into four-dimensional coordinates. Although it is only a mathematical model, Liu Yongchang still imagined its appearance with the help of his quantum brain. Klein bottles are nested inside each other, forming a complex structure stacked on top of each other. It was only then that Liu Yongchang suddenly discovered a problem. The fortress master brain in the three-dimensional space. That is, the part of the master brain seen by human civilization only occupies less than one-tenth of the entire master brain. Most of its volume is hidden in the four-dimensional space behind it, like an iceberg floating on the ocean of time and space. The volume exposed to the sea is only one-eighth of the entire iceberg. Not only that, the complexity of the four-dimensional structure is far beyond the comparison of the three-dimensional structure. Therefore, the structural complexity of the fortress mastermind left behind by the Tenth Empire far exceeds human cognition. The research project has made phased progress. The moment the four-dimensional structure of the fortress master brain was completely analyzed, the entire research project entered the next stage, the development of mankind's own new generation of optical computers. Taking into account the health of the academicians, Lu Yongchan compulsorily gave them a three-day holiday before starting the next phase of the research task. There is no doubt that this order caused dissatisfaction among all academicians. But? Invalid objection. Liu Yongchan directly asked Zero to control the scientific research robot and threw those diehards who threatened to live and die with the research data directly back to their respective rooms. Then, he happily returned to his office with the four-dimensional architectural model of the fortress mastermind. Academicians are flesh and blood and cannot withstand such torture. But he's not. He can now be said to be half a quantum human. 
and he can roll. Is there a problem? No problem. Lu Yongchan lay on his back on the chair in the office, carefully observing the four-dimensional structure in the holographic projection. And the smile on his face gradually turned serious. It's not easy to handle. Even if one understands the principles behind the fortress mastermind, it is difficult for today's human civilization to make changes to this mature structure. Human civilization's understanding of time and space is still too shallow. Two years later. Earth Calendar Year 3766 Under the leadership of Li Yongchang, the first Super Level 6 optical brain was successfully launched. Why is it called Super Level 6? Because the hardware strength cannot keep up. Although the computing power of this optical computer far exceeds that of the previous generation of optical computers, it still cannot reach the level of the Imperial Fortress. As Lu Yongchang estimated, the four-dimensional structure adopted by the Fortress Mastermind is already a very mature system whether it is adding a gravitational source or reducing a gravitational source. It is absolutely impossible to do it with only the half-baked technology of human civilization. Therefore, the new generation of optical brain still copies the four-dimensional structure of the fortress master brain. And because of the current lack of technology in the grand unified field generation device of human civilization, in order to build the four-dimensional structure of the optical brain, Lu Yongchang was forced to reduce the size of the optical brain. Then, new problems emerged as the optical brain shrinks. Even fewer computing units can be accommodated. Fortunately, the four-dimensional architecture can significantly increase the computing power of optical brains. After this back and forth, the improvement of this super level 6 optical brain is not that big. Compared with the previous generation of optical computers, computing power resources have only increased by 500%. It is like an alternative stuck between the 6th level and 7th level civilizations. It is better than the lower ones but not enough than the upper ones. Therefore, Lu Yongchan could only classify it as super level 6 technology. The moment the optical brain was successfully lit, Lu Yongchan once again felt the strangeness of the technology tree space. His consciousness once again returned to the technology tree space with a mottled background. The technology tree space shook slightly, and on the cursor marking the optical brain technology, a thin white line gradually extended upward. The extension is not fast. It seems that the technology tree system has also been confused by the technology mastered by human civilization. This is not common sense. Looking at the thin white line that extended into the fog on the top floor, Lu Yongchang simply sat in front of the technology tree, raised his head, and observed the reaction of the technology tree with interest. The vibration in the technology tree space is getting stronger. Lu Yongchang's eyes suddenly brightened as he saw the thin white line about to penetrate the fog at the top of the level 6 technology tree. Is the stuck bug successful? Could it be that this time he could peek into the technology of the 7th level civilization in advance? Uh-huh. Before he could be happy for long. The thin white line quickly fell back to the bottom of the fog and formed an orange-yellow cursor. A line of text slowly appeared above the cursor. Sub-dangerous technology. Four-dimensional optical brain incomplete. Chapter 8 18300 years. Lu Yongchan silently stared at the orange cursor. This is already the second time he has seen so-called sub-dangerous technology. He also slightly understood the meaning of this so-called sub-dangerous technology. The so-called sub-dangerous technology is most likely to be technology beyond the level of civilization. Whether it is steel seal of thought or the so-called incomplete version of four-dimensional optical brain, they are actually castrated versions of technology from more advanced technology trees. Of course, it goes without saying much about the incomplete version of four-dimensional optical brain. Ideological seal. Humans actually mastered it by taking shortcuts with the help of new civilization. Compared with the complete version of ideological seal mastered by the sweeper civilization, it is equivalent to an incomplete version of technology. As for the danger, needless to say, the danger of thought stamp, the danger of four-dimensional optical brain is mainly reflected in its research process. Just imagine, if human civilization does not have observation data from imperial fortresses, how many obstacles will it have to hit before we can understand the rules? How many obstacles do you have to hit before you can build a usable four-dimensional architecture? Not to mention that human civilization cannot support this level of scientific research. Even if all the resources of the entire Panhuman Federation were added up, they would not be able to withstand this speed of consumption. In just a few years, Zero's computing power has grown by leaps and bounds. This is undoubtedly a great thing for human civilization. The strength of civilization has increased in all aspects. It is different from other civilizations. With the joint blessing of several plugins, the development of human civilization has even shown an accelerated momentum. 
in the year 3767 of the Earth's calendar, relying on the data and experience in the research process of the four-dimensional optical brain. The space-time theory achieved another breakthrough. Its breakthrough also led to the progress of grand unified field theory, just like stepping on the right foot and the left foot to reach the sky. Catalyzed by the four-dimensional optical brain technology, People's Union's technology is making breakthroughs with a blowout momentum. Breakthroughs in various basic technologies will naturally lead to other technological breakthroughs related to people's livelihood. Among them, the most important one is life extension technology related to the future of civilization. It's still new civilization. It has to be new civilization. As a special life form that has evolved for tens of millions of years and has all the wrong technologies, humans have gained too much from new civilization. The new civilization, which works hard like this only wants a mild wave of gamma rays and some nutrients that are conducive to the growth of the associated civilization, the forsaken giant worm. It really makes me cry to death. Under the leadership of academician Mao Xingji, academician Lu Yuan, and a group of scientific researchers successfully obtained life-extending technology from new civilization. It can not only significantly repair damaged telomeres in human cells, but also solve the possibility of cell cancerization. Of course, this kind of repair is certainly not infinite. But compared with before, the theoretical lifespan of human beings has increased by more than 10 times. But not everyone likes a long lifespan. In life, even individuals with a sixth level civilization will have a lot of troubles and sorrows. Furthermore, a lifespan that is too long can easily affect the development potential of civilization. Taking into account the above highlights, the Academy of Sciences has added many restrictions to this technology based on the results of public voting by all mankind. First of all, the basic lifespan of civilized individuals is still maintained at the millennium level, which is more than enough for human civilization that has mastered hibernation technology. After all, it only took more than 1,700 years for human civilization to leave the Earth and become a level 6 civilization, excluding the time when all human beings are hibernating. A considerable part of the older generation in the Earth era is still alive and well. Secondly, for those citizens who want to extend their lifespan, the Academy of Sciences has adopted a contribution grading system. Only when a citizen's contribution to the People's Federation reaches a certain standard can willing citizens receive more advanced life extension modifications. As for the judging criteria and evaluation process, zero is fully responsible, which can be said to completely eliminate the possibility of certain unstable factors. 300 years passed quietly. Earth calendar year 4050. With all-round breakthroughs in various basic technologies and key theories, the originally dim and bare technological tree has grown into a rather large tree. The demand for resources by a sixth-level civilization is very huge, even hundreds or even thousands of times that of a fifth-level civilization. Therefore, in the past time, the territory of the Panhuman Federation has continued to expand. This star field is indeed quite rich. When the territory of the Federation expanded to 1,000 light years, the number of affiliated civilizations of the Panhuman Federation had exceeded the 1,000 mark. Most of these civilizations are below level 3. A large number of low-level civilizations gathered here, like cultivating poisonous insects. And eventually several relatively strong civilizations were raised. Three level 5 civilizations. Yes, today's Panhuman Federation already has three level 5 civilizations as subsidiary civilizations. It took less than a year for these three level 5 civilizations to become affiliated civilizations after they were discovered. The gap between level 5 civilization and level 6 civilization is too huge. It was so big that the war was directly one-sided as soon as the space-time trap opened. The space rift swept directly towards the fleet gathering place, and the opponent's main fleet basically lost its combat capability. Facing the fleet of the 6th level civilization, the 5th level civilization has no room to fight back. As the territory of the Panhuman Federation continued to expand, Lu Yongchang began to have some worries in his heart. With the increase in the scope of activities, the probability of human civilization encountering more advanced civilizations has also begun to increase significantly. One day, human civilization will encounter level 6 civilization. But unfortunately, the starships of human civilization today are still the planet-class starships used by the 5th level civilization. There is no way. The time for human civilization to become a level 6 civilization is too short. Most of the academician's energy is focused on technological and theoretical research. And the priority of the research and development of weapons and starships has naturally been reduced a lot. This means that once encountering a civilization of the same level, human civilization is likely to suffer a disaster. 
These planet-class starships have undergone several large-scale modifications, including curvature engines, weapon systems, and energy modules. Aside from the outer SH, L, almost nothing inside is original. But this still doesn't change the fact that they are still planet-class battleships. After taking this into consideration, Liu Yongchang gradually began to adjust the research focus of the Academy of Sciences. Worship-related research and development work has received more resource support, manpower and material resources. More importantly, there is zero computing power distribution. Chapter 819 The 149-Strong Interaction Material Manufacturing Experiment Inside the office, Liu Yongchang looked at the holographic projection above his desk. The projection showed the basic configuration of the current main battleship of human civilization. Warp engine. Using the latest technology, the maximum sailing speed can even exceed 900 C. Close to 1000 C. There is no doubt that with another breakthrough in the grand unified field theory, human curvature technology has basically reached the pinnacle of level 6 civilization. Weapon systems. Also benefiting from the breakthrough of the grand unified field theory, the power of space weapons has increased a lot compared to the beginning. Speaking of space rift alone, its longest maintenance time has exceeded one hour, and its sailing speed has reached the limit of 1000 C. Energy systems. The energy utilization rate of the more powerful antimatter reactor has been greatly improved. At least for now. There is no need to worry about power issues. Then, Liu Yongchang could only turn his attention to the Starship's defense system. According to Liu Yongchang at this time, Star Gold Carbonine Composite Armor was already an extremely backward technology. The improvement of the Grand Unified Theory gave Liu Yongchang some ambition in his heart. I still remember the layer of strong interaction armor made of neutrons on the surface of the Imperial Fortress. Based on today's theoretical basis, human civilization should also have such technology. Thinking of this, Liu Yongchang raised his fingers slightly and tapped twice on the table. Zero. I remember that there should be a laboratory researching the technology of manufacturing strong interaction materials. Right. With almost no waiting. Zero responded. Five years ago, with the improvement of the Grand Unified Field Theory, the Materials Research Center led by academician Ding Chengwang started research topics in this area. Hearing this, Liu Yongchang slowly stood up from his seat and walked towards the office door. Take me there. As soon as the light words fell, the door of the office also closed. More than 10 minutes later, an anti-gravity vehicle took off from the apron, drew a perfect arc in the air, and then flew into the distance. Institute of Humanities and Sciences. Materials Research Center. Without anyone noticing. The door opened quietly. The 149th Strong Interaction Material Manufacturing Experiment begins now. A slightly hoarse voice came into Liu Yongchang's ears from a distance. Liu Yongchang was stunned subconsciously. The 149th time? Have you tried this many times? Chief Liu? A young researcher's eyes widened slightly. And he subconsciously lowered his voice and exclaimed, Why are you here? Liu Yongchang glanced at the logo on the chest of the scientific researcher. Level 3 researcher. It seems that they are the new generation who have just entered the Academy of Sciences. He smiled and nodded to the researcher, made a silent gesture, and then pointed at the holographic screen in front of the researcher. The level 3 researcher's face turned slightly red. He nodded excitedly and quickly returned his attention to the holographic projection in front of him. It was obvious that he became much more energetic after meeting his idol. Liu Yongchang walked lightly and walked towards the main console of the research center. The holographic projection in front of the main console is showing real-time images of the experimental area, different from ordinary Grand Unified Field generating devices. The Grand Unified Field device that controls strong interaction occupies a larger area and has a more complex internal structure. Not only that, there is also a complete set of light materialization equipment in the experimental area in order to prevent interference from other particles. The experiment adopted the latest light materialization technology. The entire strong interaction material construction process was placed on a large, horizontal, light plate. The experiment begins. A slender nozzle protruded from the flat experimental platform, which was the neutron ejection port. The entire construction process of strong interaction materials is similar to that of a 3D printer. The neutron nozzle sprays neutrons toward the material construction platform. The construction platform is made of materialized light, and is surrounded by a powerful grand unified force field. Once neutrons fall into it, they will be arranged regularly under the force of the grand unified field. At this time, there are still gaps between neutrons. When the entire light plate that serves as a material construction platform is covered with neutrons, the grand unified field will change its pattern. 
thereby manipulating the strong interaction between neutrons and pressing them tightly together. A large number of blank areas once again appeared on the light plate, and the neutron nozzle once again spewed neutrons into the blank areas. Theoretically speaking, repeat the above operation, and finally you can get a piece of strong interaction material built with dense neutrons of a specified size. Of course, theory is theory, but that is not the case in practice. Otherwise, the Materials Research Center would not have conducted 149 experiments. Would it? The atmosphere in the laboratory was very anxious. Except for the level 3 researcher at the beginning. No one noticed Li Yongchan's arrival. Lu Yongchan did not speak, but quietly observed the entire experimental process and made simple inferences about the experimental results through side data. Time passed by, and in the holographic projection, a small piece of strong interaction material made of dense neutrons appeared on the light plate. That's a square with a side of one micron. It's small, but it's one of the strongest materials in human history. Attention all units! Academician Ding Qingwang's hoarse voice suddenly sounded, exacerbating the anxious atmosphere in the laboratory. The size of the material has reached a critical point. Continue to increase the intensity of the grand unified field. The increase in this experiment is 3.76 percentage points. A group of academicians began to make adjustments. The intensity adjustment is completed and the experiment continues. Academician Ding Chengwang checked it and issued the order again after confirming that it was correct. The neutron nozzle continues to spray neutrons. Suddenly, Liu Yongcheng's face changed slightly as he stared at the data on the right side of the screen. He sighed heavily, then shook his head. Failed. As soon as he finished speaking, a piercing alarm sounded suddenly. Bang! A violent explosion appeared in the experimental bench area. Fortunately, due to the constraints of the force field, the power of the explosion was not too great. The neutrons that make up the dense material instantly escape from the light plate, decay at an extremely fast speed, and are converted into hydrogen and helium. The experiment failed. Chapter 820 It Hurts My Heart Lao Lu Amidst the piercing sirens, the atmosphere in the laboratory fell to the bottom at a speed visible to the naked eye. As the project leader, Ding Chengwang, standing in front of the main console, also sighed subconsciously, failed again. He shook his head with a wry smile, and his originally straight back was visibly bent a bit. Different from ordinary experiments, the production experiments of strong interaction materials require a large amount of resources every time. Although it is nothing to the huge People's Federation, to other laboratories of the Materials Research Center, Ding Chengwang's 149 experiments consumed most of the Materials Research Center's resource quota. It would be easy to say if it succeeds. Unfortunately, the experiment could only produce a small piece of debris 1 micron square, since strong interaction materials are a key support project of the Academy of Sciences. Other researchers at the Materials Research Center did not express any opinions. However, Ding Chengwang knew that when it comes to his own research resources, no matter who it is, there must be some doubts in his heart. Complaining, therefore, facing the failure of the 149th experiment, Ding Chengwang's anxiety gradually became stronger. At this time, Lu Yongchang, who had been acting as an invisible person next to him, seemed to understand something, and his frown quickly relaxed. He strode forward, and before Ding Chengwang could react, he grabbed the holographic image in front of Ding Chengwang and circled several experimental data and steps on it. There are problems in these places. You have not considered the impact of the grand unified field on the surrounding space and time. That's why the critical size for materials with strong interactions is one micron. Lu, Professor Lu? Ding Chengwang's eyes widened suddenly, and he subconsciously exclaimed, When did you come? Li Yongchan did not respond to Ding Chengwang's question. His eyebrows raised slightly, and his expression became more serious. Did you hear clearly what I just said? Seeing Lu Yongchang's serious expression, Ding Chengwang quickly put back his distracted thoughts and focused all his attention on the holographic projection in front of him. But, Ding Chengwang looked at the highlighted data and steps and said with confusion, we have already considered this part of the space-time distortion effect before the experiment. What you circled is already corrected data. Lu Yongchang slowly shook his head. No. This thing does not apply to the original space-time theory. It is related to the latest space-time theory. It is normal for you not to know. When it comes to higher dimensional space, even within the space-time theory research center, few people can fully explain it. Lu Yongchang smiled apologetically at Ding Chengwang. Come to think of it, this is my problem. I haven't paid attention to the research progress on strong interaction materials. I didn't expect you to be stuck in progress by this thing. As he spoke, he turned his head again, 
raised his hand, and wrote down lines of formulas on the holographic projection very casually. Ding Chenghua did not speak. Or in other words, he had no energy to speak at all. He opened his eyes as wide as possible and mobilized his brain with all his strength, trying to follow Liu Yongcheng's ideas on the blackboard. As an older generation of scientific researchers at the Academy of Sciences, understanding Liu Yongcheng's scrawled handwriting is a basic quality. But keeping up with Liu Yongcheng's handwriting ideas is not a basic quality. Today, within the entire Academy of Sciences, the number of academicians who can successfully follow Liu Yongcheng's deductive ideas is probably within double digits. Ding Chenghuang is naturally not one of them. There were beads of sweat on his forehead, and the anxious look in his eyes gradually became stronger. Even after 149 consecutive experiments failed, he never felt such pressure. As a first-level academician of the Chinese Academy of Sciences, he realized his stupidity for the first time. Li Yongchang caught sight of Ding Qingwang's anxious posture from the corner of his eye. He paused slightly in his movements, and then slowed down the deduction again, showing many processes that he thought were easily verifiable. This time, the confusion on Ding Qingwang's face was visibly reduced, and the anxiety in his heart was relieved to a great extent. After an unknown amount of time, Li Yongchang finally stopped writing. He gently rubbed his wrist and looked at the dozen small holographic projections in front of him, his face full of emotion. Normally, he might have been able to deduce the final result using only a holographic projection. I didn't expect that there were so many detailed deduction processes. Understand? Lu Yongchang asked in a gentle tone while rubbing his wrist. Ding Chengwang didn't reply, still staring at the holographic projection in front of him. After a few seconds of delay, he suddenly came to his senses, quickly turned to look at Lu Yongchang and nodded repeatedly. Generally, I understand this deduction process. I want to save it for further study. You see, Lu Yongchang waved his hand casually. Just take it. It's not something special. Ding Chengwang's expression suddenly suffocated. I'm so sorry. Lao Lu. Professor, you are here this time. In order to prevent further irritation, Ding Chengwang quickly changed the topic. Oh, the manufacturing plan for the Stellar Class Starship has been put on the agenda. Lu Yongchang happily pointed to the giant holographic projection. In the screen, the scientific research robot was repairing and cleaning the experimental area. I originally wanted to a layer of dense neutron armor is added to the surface of the stellar class starship. Now it seems, it seems a bit difficult. Listening to Liu Yongcheng sigh, Ding Chengwang's eyes twitched slightly. I'm so worried. Lao Lu. Professor, I will improve the experimental procedures as soon as possible and start next time. He said hurriedly. No, no, no. Li Yongchan said with a faint smile. It's not that easy. If my calculations are correct, even if the problem of space-time disturbance is solved, the size limit of a single dense neutron material will not exceed 10 centimeters square at most. This is related to the strength of the unified field and is a matter of hard power. It can be used for simple applications, but I want to spread it on a huge starship. Leaving aside the issue of resource consumption, the amount of work alone is enough for a person to drink a pot. Ding Chengwang looked at Li Yongchang blankly, his eyes a little confused. The new material for the starship. Let's compromise. Li Yongchang breathed a long sigh of relief and expressed the thoughts that had been circulating in his mind just now. The armor made of dense neutrons is still too luxurious for a sixth-level civilization. Change it to dense atoms. Using dense atomic layers to construct the outer armor of starships should be a good solution. Chapter 821 Dense Atomic Materials Dense Atomic Materials according to the plan proposed by Liu Yongchang. Its principle is similar to that of dense neutron materials, but its strength is definitely not as strong as that of dense neutron materials linked to strong interaction forces. First, the strong interaction force is a short-range force. When its range of action is within 1.5 asterisk 10 carat minus 15 meters, when the distance is greater than 0.8 asterisk 10 carat minus 15 meters, the strong interaction force behaves as an attractive force and decreases as the distance increases. When it exceeds 1.5 asterisk 10 carat minus 15 meters, the strong interaction force decreases rapidly. It almost disappears. When the distance is less than 0.8 asterisk 10 carat minus 15 meters, it behaves as repulsive force. Therefore, if you want to create dense materials, you must overcome the strong interaction force that behaves as repulsive force when the particle distance is less than 0.8 asterisk 10 carat minus 15 meters. Secondly, even inside a neutron star, there is a gap between neutrons. 
the distance between these neutrons decreases as the density of the neutron star increases. There is no doubt that the smaller the distance, the stronger the substance. Normally, there are only electromagnetic interactions between atoms because they are too far apart. But dense atomic materials are different. In order for a material to exhibit unprecedented strength, it must go to great lengths to compress the distance between atoms. At this time, the strong interaction force begins to act as a hindrance. Therefore, whether it is dense atomic materials or dense neutron materials, they are actually strong interaction materials. The biggest difference between the two is actually just the type and spacing of particles. Compared with dense neutron materials, the particle gaps of dense atomic materials are much larger. And correspondingly, the material strength is much lower. Therefore, in Liu Yongchang's view, dense atomic materials are actually a transition technology towards strong interaction materials. But in any case, with the word dense, it can be regarded as a high-strength material that goes beyond the scope of normal substances. Having said that, choosing which atoms to use as raw materials is another headache. Compared with a monotonous neutron, there are too many tricks in atoms. Different atoms must have different final effects. In addition to taking into account the properties of the atoms themselves, there is also the most important issue, the weight of atoms. The weight of a single atom is so insignificant that it can be ignored. But if the distance is very small, it may even lead to dense atoms that are completely in contact with each other. Just imagine the density and mass of a neutron star. Although dense atoms cannot reach such an exaggerated level, their mass is by no means negligible. The screening of target atoms took a lot of time. At the beginning, Liu Yongchang decided to use helium atoms as the raw material for dense armor based on a large amount of experimental testing and simulation data. There are several considerations in this. Helium atoms have relatively stable properties and are relatively abundant substances in the universe. In addition, its mass is relatively light, and making it into dense atomic armor will not put too much burden on the starship. As for what metal atoms, due to their own quality problems, they did not even survive the first round of preliminary screening and were directly eliminated from the candidate list by Liu Yongchang. As for why helium atoms were chosen instead of the lighter hydrogen atoms. Unlike helium atoms, hydrogen atoms are chemically unstable, unless it becomes a hydrogen ion or combines with other atoms. Of course, this can be solved through technical means. This problem can be solved by using a strong enough grand unified field to firmly lock these hydrogen atoms. The problem lies here, which requires higher operating precision. Judging from the strong interaction force, and grand unified field manipulation technology previously demonstrated by the Materials Research Center. This difficulty level is obviously beyond the standard. To put it simply, the output is enough and the operation cannot keep up. Therefore, according to Li Yongchang's original plan, dense materials built with hydrogen atoms are the next generation armor materials in Li Yongchang's mind lighter and stronger. Further up, that is Li Yongchang's ultimate goal. Dense neutron armor. Plans cannot keep up with changes especially in the field of materials-related research. This sentence is vividly displayed. As soon as the first batch of dense helium materials were successfully born in the laboratory, good news came from Ding Cheng Wang. According to Li Yongcheng's teachings, Ding Cheng Wang successfully improved the strong interaction material production device. Maybe it's luck. Or maybe it's a combination of talent and hard work. Ding Cheng Wang's final results far exceeded Liu Yongchang's imagination, the control accuracy of the strong interaction force control device, and the unified field control device have been greatly improved. Although the ultimate size of dense neutron materials is still limited to 10 cm square by the strength of the grand unified field as predicted by Liu Yongchang. The grand unified field control device with improved control accuracy has reached the manufacturing threshold of dense hydrogen materials. Then, dense helium has become the shortest-lived high-strength material in the history of the People's Federation. Retirement at birth. With the accumulation of a large amount of resources. In just one month, the dense helium production device of Materials Laboratory No. 3 was transformed into a dense hydrogen production device. One month later, Liu Yongchang stood in front of the main console of Laboratory No. 3 of the Materials Research and Development Center. In the holographic projection, the light panel, constructed of materialized light is bright and dazzling reflecting the nervous expressions of everyone around him except Liu Yongchang. He had full confidence in his calculations. The experiment officially begins. The hydrogen atom nozzle slowly extends from the top of the light plate and sprays a large number of hydrogen atoms towards the light plate. At the moment when these high-speed flying hydrogen atoms are about to collide with the light plate, they are firmly locked on the light plate 
by the surrounding grand unified field. At this time, if you observe from a microscopic perspective, you can easily observe that there is still a considerable distance between these hydrogen atoms. But as the experiment entered the second stage, driven by the grand unified field control device, the distance between hydrogen atoms shrank rapidly. When the distance between them is less than 1.5 asterisk 10 carat minus 15 meters, the strong interaction force appears, and a gradually stronger force pulls them closer to each other. The distance continues to shrink. When the distance is less than 0.8 asterisk 10 carat minus 15 meters, the form of the strong interaction is converted into a repulsive force, and they try to push the surrounding hydrogen atoms away. The strong interaction force control device is activated at this time. Through the grand unified field, the strong interaction force is directly disturbed. This compression process does not end until the distance between these hydrogen atoms shrinks to the limit that humans can control. The above operations cycle back and forth, as the area of dense hydrogen material on the light plate also begins to gradually increase. One square micron, one square centimeter, one square meter. In the laboratory, the tension on everyone's faces began to gradually dissipate. The applause to celebrate the victory finally started. Chapter 822 Stellar Starship Earth Calendar Year 4055 The first batch of strong interaction materials and the dense hydrogen production line were successfully put into production. The experience gained from the Imperial Fortress has allowed human civilization to avoid many detours again. The space crack cutting device, coupled with the precise control of the unified field, can cut and package dense hydrogen materials. As for how to weld after cutting, Academician Ding Chengwang proposed a solution for a special welding device for materials with strong interaction forces. The entire welding device is equivalent to a small strong interaction material production device. According to the design plan, it can run on the outer layer of the Starship armor and inject corresponding particles into the target area through the particle nozzle and the grand unified field to complete the welding and filling of gaps. Same year. The star system starship belonging to the 6th level civilization has also completed the design plan and passed zero simulation tests. One after another, extremely large starships have begun construction in spaceports throughout the Kepler star system. Just like the difference between stars and planets, the gap between stellar class starships and planet class starships is also leaps and bounds. The maximum sailing speed has jumped from 100c to 900-1000c. The energy aspect is no different. The substantial increase in power and reserve energy capacity has also made leaps and bounds in the endurance and mileage of stellar-class starships. A conservative estimate is that the combat radius of any stellar-class starship exceeds 5,000 light-years. If paired with a specialized supply ship, the combat radius can even exceed 10,000 light-years. If it was just sailing, the mileage would be incredible. In addition, the size of stellar-class starships far exceeds that of planet-class starships. The average length of the main battleship reaches 80,000 meters. And the size of the secondary flagship, Titan Mothership, exceeds 100,000 meters. As for the eternal flagship of human civilization, Earth, it has reached the order of 200,000 meters. This is the true higher civilization. Liu Yongchan looked at the data in the holographic projection thoughtfully. To a certain extent, a sixth-level civilization with stellar-class starships is a true sixth-level civilization. As for human civilization, let alone that. The human civilization with Lu Yongchang and the technology tree has become a true sixth level peak civilization at the moment it possesses a stellar class starship. In an ideal world, the scope of human civilization could cover the entire galaxy. Therefore, from this perspective alone, the Milky Way, a remote river system in the universe, can actually only accommodate a few level six civilizations at most. Lu Yongchang couldn't help but feel a little confused. The original 10th Reich. How did it develop into a 7th level peak civilization in this remote place? The answer is ready to come out. Just like raising goo. In this situation of insufficient resources, only an advanced civilization can survive. The 10th empire is probably the one who survives to the end. After reaching the 7th level civilization, in order to seek opportunities for further development, the empire had to choose to leave the galaxy and go to a wider world. In this way, it will be a huge benefit to other civilizations in the galaxy. Although the Empire's departure will inevitably take away a large amount of supplies, other civilizations once again have the possibility of promotion. After 200,000 years of recuperation, a native 6th level civilization is bound to appear again in the Milky Way. But, why haven't humans encountered level 6 civilizations so far? Thinking of the civilization of sweepers that came from nowhere, Lu Yongchang suddenly felt a sense of vigilance in his heart. 
considering that the scope of activities of human civilization today is too small. And considering the strength of human civilization today, an idea slowly rose in his mind. What? No! I don't agree! In the Antarctic region of Kepler 452b, Fong Su's roar suddenly came from the Central Research Institute of the United Academy of Sciences. Seeing that our development is finally on the right track, human civilization has become the most powerful civilization in the surrounding galaxies. You're telling me now that you're going to leave the Milky Way and expedition to the Andromeda Galaxy? Fong Su's face turned red, and he waved his hands to Li Yong Chang repeatedly while expressing his opinion. I don't agree. I firmly disagree with this proposal. If you want to leave the galaxy, just leave by yourself. Perhaps because he felt that his words were too harsh. Fong Su slowed down his tone a bit, raised his finger, and pointed around. Don't say it's me. Ask other academicians in the Academy of Sciences. Who can agree to such an outrageous proposal? It can be said that this is the first time that Fong Su has expressed clear opposition to Lu Yongchang's proposal since human civilization left the earth. Lu Yongchang looked around helplessly in the direction of Fong Su's finger. Just as Fong Su said, the first level academicians present had different expressions on their faces, and few of them expressed agreement. Lu Yongchang sighed deeply. Listen to me first and tell me the reasons before you refuse. Fong Su's eyes widened angrily and he stared at Li Yongchang in front of him. Seeing Li Yongchang's helpless expression, he took a deep breath to calm down his inner bad mood. Okay, tell me. I want to hear what you can tell me about it. Facing the worried, confused, or confused looks of the academicians around him, Li Yongchang calmed down and briefly explained his reasoning. No matter what the reason behind it is, this abnormal situation is not a good thing for human civilization. Yes, we have indeed become powerful enough powerful enough to control the four basic forces in the universe, powerful enough to control the mysterious space. But don't forget, with a lot of advanced technology at our disposal, we are also facing more unknown phenomena. Let's not talk about the Tenth Empire that has already left the galaxy. Let's just talk about the Sweeper Civilization and the Pastoral Civilization. Although they have disappeared for thousands of years, do you think they have completely disappeared? Fong Su fell into silence. As Lu Yongchok said, the sweeper civilization and the pastoral civilization have always been a barb in the hearts of everyone. But, but we haven't found any trace of them yet. What if they have left? Fong Su said with a sense of luck. If your inference is wrong, what if the Tenth Empire, 200,000 years ago, completely drained the potential of the Milky Way? And until now, there has been no level 6 civilization in the Milky Way? Then we can continue to develop within the galaxy until we have greater strength. Just like the Tenth Empire, become a level 7 civilization, and then leave the galaxy. Chapter 823 Stellar Home Fortress Regarding Fong Su's words, Lu Yongchang sneered. You don't think that a small galaxy can support the consumption of a 7th level civilization? Do you? Or are you already satisfied? The smile on Lu Yongchang's face quickly disappeared. At this moment, his expression was unprecedentedly stern. From now on, I will no longer pursue the mysteries of the universe and no longer be curious about the truth of science. From then on, human civilization stopped at level 6. Then enjoy the pleasure of being surrounded by thousands of stars from lower civilizations in this small galaxy? Tell me loudly, is this what you want? Or are you afraid? Lu Yongchang's plain voice continued. Afraid of death? Afraid of progress? Afraid of this vast universe? Is level 6 civilization very powerful? This is just the basic requirement to enter the Silicon Alliance. In other words, the current human beings have only touched the threshold of advanced civilization. One day, a blow from higher civilization will come again. This time, it may no longer be a helium flash from the sun, but an explosion from a black hole in the center of the Milky Way. Do you still want to feel the despair you once felt again? Shocking and enlightening. Lu Yongchang's voice was not loud, and could even be said to be quite dull. But in the ears of the academicians, it was as loud as rolling thunder. I. Fong Su lowered his head in shame. He couldn't help but ask himself. Admittedly, he was partly right. The reason for refusing the long voyage is indeed that I am used to this comfortable environment of stable development. Breaking out of your comfort zone is always the hardest thing to do. But Lu Yongchang was wrong about one thing. As a scientist, his thirst for science and truth has never changed at all. I agree with the expedition plan. Behind him, a familiar voice suddenly came. Fong Su subconsciously turned his head to look. The first level academician, He Bailin, took the lead to step forward and expressed his attitude in a firm tone. I agree. I agree. Under the leadership of He Bailin, 
One after another the academicians expressed their attitudes. There were more and more voices of agreement. And Li Yongchang turned his attention to Fang Su again. What about you? Fang Su turned his head and glanced at the bright sky outside the window, with a look of regret visible to the naked eye. But the next moment, he gritted his teeth and said decisively, I agree too. Isn't it better to just go back to the starship and stay there? It's just a pity that's such a beautiful scenery. Fang Su's eyes became more and more regretful. Now that I'm gone, I don't know when I will see such bright sunshine again. Listening to Fang Su's words, Lu Yongchang's expression gradually became weird. Cough. He coughed lightly. There's something I wonder if you know. What? Fang Su turned his head and looked at Lu Yongchang blankly. What's the matter? The design sketch of the stellar class home ship. Lu Yongchang said, calling up a holographic image. In the holographic projection, there is a huge spherical starship that looks like a planet. The design concept comes from the fortresses left behind by the Tenth Reich. As he spoke, he reached out and clicked on the screen to bring up various data about the stellar home ship. Different from previous home ships, the full name of the stellar class home ship is actually Star Class Home Fortress. The fortress has a diameter of 3,500 kilometers, which is not too big. It is about the same size as the moon, at least compared with other giant devices of the People's Alliance or compared with the Imperial Fortress. This is already a mini model. This design mainly takes into account the movement of the fortress. The goal of human civilization is the Andromeda Galaxy 2.54 million light years away, not the area at the doorstep hundreds or thousands of light years away. Therefore, sailing speed has become an issue that needs to be considered, driven by the latest planet level curvature engine. The star level home fortress can sail at a speed of 500 C. This is already a very fast speed for a planet fortress. As Lu Yongchan said, the basic structure of the stellar home fortress is very similar to the imperial fortress, it also uses a layered structure. The outermost layer is the protective layer, which also accommodates various industrial and agricultural production activities. Inside the outer layer is a panoramic control device for planetary climate. The surface of the home fortress is the activity area for people who have awakened from hibernation. As for the underground area of home fortress, except for the curvature engine and energy area, they are basically hibernation areas. Preliminary calculations show that a stellar home fortress can accommodate a total of more than 10 billion people. Under the full power of the planet-level curvature engine, its maximum sailing speed can reach 500 times the speed of light. From the beginning to the end of the voyage, it took about 5,000 years. With today's hibernation technology, this time is nothing. However, in order to ensure the safety of hibernating personnel, regular awakening checks are still an essential process. Therefore, according to Li Yongchun's plan, these 10 billion people will wake up one after another. The number of people awakening each time is 10 million, and the awakening period lasts for one year. It will take about a thousand years for the complete rotation of 10 billion people. In other words, for people living on the home ship, the physical time to complete this journey is about five years. Fong Su stared blankly at the various data listed in the holographic projection and rubbed his eyes vigorously. This. When did it happen? Why didn't I know? If he had known that the living conditions on this voyage would be so comfortable, he wouldn't have been so uncomfortable. Lu Yongchan shrugged. Two days ago. Fong Su. The design plan from the megastructure engineering department? No. It's the design I made. Lu Yongchan responded softly with a smile on his lips. Fong Su. I bet you made all the preparations before asking for advice. Right? Do you call this asking for opinions? This is obviously a notice. Lu Yongchan didn't care about the shit-eating expression on Fang Su's face, and continued, Starting tomorrow, we will hold a vote by all members of the Academy of Sciences and the Parliament. Then, there's a public vote for all humanity. Where are the affiliated civilizations of the Pan-Human Federation? Fang Su suddenly thought of something and asked. Lu Yongchan hesitated slightly. Take away a few of the most valuable civilizations. The rest of the affiliated civilizations. It's better to stay in the galaxy. The resources required to sail across the river system are too huge. And we cannot leave with the entire Federation. Fong Su understood and nodded in agreement. As it should be. Chapter 824 People's Federation Expedition Plan People's Federation Council Time is the most powerful weapon. Chairman Hong Chiming has already resigned from his job as Chairman of the House of Representatives because of his age. Today's parliament is chaired by Lin Shuguang. The Ministry of Foreign Affairs has long become the most important part of the People's Federation. Therefore, it is a matter of course that the Speaker of Parliament should be succeeded by the first Foreign Minister of the People's League. 
Draft Plan for the People's Federation's First Cross-River Expedition Human Civilization Expedition Mobilization Letter In the office of the Speaker, Lin Shi Wang looked at the two documents in the holographic projection and fell into deep thought. I have to say that at the beginning, he refused in his heart. But after reading a series of shocking words written by Lu Yongchan, his mind was greatly shaken. Not to mention the potential threats of the sweeper civilization and the pastoral civilization. Lin Shi Wang completely switched sides just by saying, For the stars and the sea. Agree. Must agree. How can this small Milky Way accommodate human civilization? Expedition. Follow the expedition route of the 10th Empire and launch an expedition to the Andromeda Galaxy, the local galaxy group, and the Virgo Super Galaxy Cluster. Level 6 civilization is by no means the end of human civilization. The future of human civilization belongs only to the stars and the sea. Lin Shiguang is not the first congressman to be persuaded, nor is he the only one to defect before the battle. As for the Academy of Sciences, it goes without saying much. No AFC scientist can resist the temptation of more advanced technologies. The People's Academy of Sciences unanimously approved the expedition proposal. The People's Federation Council unanimously approved the expedition proposal. On that day, the Human Civilization Expedition Mobilization Letter was fully delivered to the personal terminals of every AFC citizen. Looking at the lines of exciting words, the People's Union, which had been quiet for a long time, finally boiled up. It's different from the Proxima era. This time, it is a spontaneous expedition by human civilization, rather than a forced escape. In addition, it is no exaggeration to say that 99.99% of the 30 billion People's League citizens grew up hearing about Lu Yongcheng's legendary deeds. More than 2,000 years of legendary stories have created unprecedented power for Lu Yongcheng. His shouting and raising his arms was as sacred to the People's Union at this time as the decree issued by the gods. The referendum for all members of human civilization has arrived with everyone's expectation. Except for those old people who were about to die. Almost all the citizens of the Federation made their choices solemnly. On the same day, the referendum results were announced. More than 99% of Awami League citizens chose the expedition plan. In the year 4055 of the Earth's calendar, the People's Federation's first cross-river system expedition plan was officially launched. A cross-river expedition is no small undertaking. As powerful as the 10th Empire, it spent tens of thousands of years preparing for the expedition. But human civilization is different. Zero, who has mastered the incomplete version of the four-dimensional optical brain even surpasses the fortress mastermind of the 10th empire to a certain extent. But even with unparalleled productivity from other civilizations and thousands of affiliated civilizations to help collect supplies, a feat like a cross-river expedition cannot be accomplished overnight. According to the plan formulated by the Academy of Sciences, it will take at least 500 years to complete the construction of all expedition fleets. The collection of materials also takes 4 to 500 years. As for other tedious preparations, it also takes hundreds of years to complete. 4-0. These tasks can all be done simultaneously, taking into account various unexpected situations that may arise in the preparations. The Academy of Sciences set the start time of the expedition 600 years later. This is a time that almost all Federation citizens can accept. After all, the basic lifespan of human beings has reached the millennium level at this time. The contribution value required by the first level of life extension technology is not high and almost all citizens can enjoy it. This means that almost everyone can feel the starlight of the Andromeda galaxy up close. Because of this, every citizen of the People's Federation voluntarily contributes to the expedition plan to the best of his or her ability. The collection of basic supplies is fairly simple. The most troublesome thing is actually the collection of energy materials such as antimatter. In order to solve this problem, the Megastructure Engineering Department launched the Phase 3 Dyson Sphere project with great fanfare. Different from the Phase 1, Dyson Cloud, and Phase 2, Dyson Ring. The Phase 3, Dyson Sphere, project can wrap the entire star. It can easily absorb the energy released by an entire star and convert it into antimatter for storage. Of course, there are definitely drawbacks to this move. After using the Dyson Sphere for three periods, the star system will directly become a cold and dead grave without the energy of the star. Those planets will completely lose the hope of breeding life. Therefore, when selecting target stars, the Academy of Sciences will basically conduct simple searches and judgments to avoid unnecessary accidental damage. As for the crisis of civilization exposure caused by the use of Dyson Sphere technology, this is nothing to worry about. A civilization that can use Dyson Cloud, Dyson Ring, or Dyson Sphere 
Technology is still a level 4 civilization no matter how bad it is. The laws of the dark forest do not apply. In addition, many stars have disappeared inexplicably throughout the universe. No advanced civilization would care about such a trivial matter. At best, it's just a mark in the corner of an irrelevant log column. 10 years, 20 years, 30 years. As more and more stars are wrapped in the Dyson sphere, the star field gradually becomes dimmer when viewed from a distance. In order to collect more materials, the territory of human civilization began to be forced to expand to the surrounding areas. During this period, we encountered many low-level civilizations. Without exception, after these low-level civilizations put up a symbolic resistance, they joined the large army of collecting supplies for human civilization. 1200 light years, 1500 light years, 1800 light years. Finally, the frontier of human civilization touched a star field marked with danger. It was a completely empty area, except for large nebulae within a radius of dozens of light years. There are almost no stars or planets inside. The aftermath of the supernova explosion is still spreading across the star field. It's a wreck. There has been no civilization around here for a long time. Until today. Along with a strong fluctuation of time and space. A not-so-large starship appeared on the edge of this star field. It paused for a while. And after confirming the order, it slowly drove into this dead star field. Chapter 825 Dead Star Territory Earth Calendar Year 4400 345 years have passed since the start of the AFC Expedition Plan. Over the past 345 years, the development of the People's Federation has never stagnated. Whether it is the preparation for the Expedition Plan or the scientific research work of the Academy of Sciences, all projects are proceeding in an orderly manner. With the improvement of the Level 6 Technology Tree, the power of human civilization has become much stronger than it was 345 years ago. However, in order to collect materials for cross-river navigation in a low-key manner, and in order not to attract the attention of other higher civilizations that may exist, under the order of Li Yongchang, the People's Federation curbed the momentum of expansion as much as possible. But even so, the territory of human civilization now reaches 1,800 light-years. Dyson Sphere is widely used in border areas. To be precise, it is the frontier zone in the direction of the solar system. The reason, after the war in the past, that area became a completely civilized barren area. Weak civilizations died in the aftermath of the war, while powerful civilizations, like human beings, left their homes and found ways to make a living. Only a large number of empty star systems and stars that are still in their prime are left. This just meets the conditions for use of Dyson Sphere. As a result, a large number of Dyson Spheres were arranged in this star field to absorb the energy of these young and mature stars. The widespread use of Dyson Sphere has made matters worse for this star field that was already at a low point. The starlight was dim, and apart from the machines working silently, and the fluctuations of time and space from time to time, there were only various celestial bodies that moved rigidly according to laws. It looks like the Death Star Realm, Kepler 452b, Antarctica, Central Research Institute of the Chinese Academy of Humanities, Lu Yongchang's office. In the holographic projection, there is a clear and standard star map. The central area of the star map is a hollow area filled with nebula material. There is almost no light emitted by the stars inside. And only the faint starlight from the surrounding star field struggles to illuminate this dead area. Observed from a distance, it looks like a small dim scar in the dazzling Milky Way. It is not conspicuous, but it makes people fear without any reason. A yellow warning sign is clearly displayed on the star map. This part of the star field has always been marked as a dangerous area in the star map of human civilization. I didn't expect that the People's Federation's territory would expand to this star field. Recalling the past events, Lu Yongchan couldn't help but show a touch of nostalgia and regret in his eyes. We are old acquaintances in this star field. I still remember that human civilization used the tail-cutting plan to escape from this star field. Yes, this is the original star field surrounding the Glee's 555 star system. That war completely destroyed the original structure of this star field. As a fourth-level civilization, in order to escape the attention of the two higher civilization factions, the Sweepers and the Pastoralists, they implemented the tail-cutting plan in the Proxima Centauri region and headed towards the black hole from the Glee's 555 star system. Later, in order to compete for the two-dimensional Proxima Centauri, the Sweepers and the Pastoralists broke out in a small-scale conflict covering the 50-light-year star field. This empty, dead area spanning a full 50 light-years is the trace left by this small-scale conflict. 
This insignificant scar in the Milky Way silently tells the passing civilizations about this war belonging to advanced civilizations all the time. The Dead Star territory had almost no use value. So Li Yongchun's gaze did not stay for too long. His eyes crossed this Dead Star field and cast to the other shore. On the opposite bank, 50 light years away from the edge of the Dead Star field, there was a dim light spot. That dim light point represents a star system. Even though the human alliance has a vast territory and tens of thousands of habitable stars, this small star system still has a replaceable meaning. That is the true origin of human civilization. Solar system. This dilapidated star system no longer has any material value. But for today's human civilization, this star system has a more important spiritual value. When the expedition plan was about to be officially launched, Lu Yongchang, who learned from Zero's reminder that the territory of the People's Federation had expanded to this dead area, was slightly moved and sent a latest model of detection starship to it. This is the Vanguard. After all, that area involves the war between the Sweeper Civilization and the Pastoral Faction. So it is always right to be cautious. This detection starship will carry out all-round exploration of the surrounding area of 100 light years. When safety is confirmed, the People's Federation will officially launch the expedition plan. The originally determined expedition route has been slightly modified under the order of Lu Yongchang. The human fleet will retake the past escape route and set off again from that dilapidated small star system to the ferry. Launch an expedition to the galaxy. Wealth and honor do not return home. Just like walking in brocade at night. Before leaving the galaxy, let the human souls who sacrificed themselves in this star field see how glorious human civilization has become now. Chapter 8 26 Birds and Fishes It will take a lot of time to detect the dead star field. Preparations for the Cross River Expedition are coming to an end. But the Academy of Science's research work has not stopped. On the contrary, scientific research enthusiasm reached its highest peak at this moment. An extended symptom of the phobia of insufficient firepower is the phobia of insufficient technology. The 2.54 million light year journey is very long. So long that various accidents may occur. In this long lonely journey, human civilization can only rely on its own strength to move forward. In order to increase the fleet's fault tolerance as much as possible, all academicians of the Academy of Sciences are doing their best to promote the development of related technologies. Academy of Humanities and Sciences. Center for Spacetime Research. The Spacetime Research Center is particularly busy today. A large number of first-level academicians gathered together, including the oldest academicians such as Lu Yongchang and Fang Su. Strictly speaking, except for Lu Yongchang, the other first-level academicians have spent a lot of time at the Spacetime Research Center, including Fang Su. As the second-in-command of the Academy of Sciences, Fang Su's role is naturally to make up for whatever is lacking. The main thing is a companionship. To this day, the technology inside the fortress of the Tenth Empire and the technology tree at the top where the fog is gradually receding prove one thing. The theory of time and space involving other dimensions is the key technology to break through the seventh level civilization. Therefore, under Lu Yongchang's orders and a large amount of resources, the Spacetime Research Center gradually became one of the largest research institutions of the Academy of Sciences. For the first time, human civilization has truly encountered a bottleneck in the development of civilization. Just like birds and fish, as three-dimensional creatures, Humans are fish in the water. When it has no ability to jump out of the water and fly into the sky, it can never imagine the vastness of the sky. Three-dimensional creatures can never imagine the vastness of four-dimensional space with just imagination. Through a large number of observations, it may be possible to bridge this huge gap. But the problem is that human civilization has too few ways to observe high-dimensional space. The only thing that has anything to do with dimensions is the four-dimensional Klein bottle technology in the four-dimensional optical brain. However, it is impossible to comprehensively observe the four-dimensional space by relying solely on a Klein bottle technology. Just like a frog living at the bottom of a well. Even if it can look up at the sky through the well mouth, it still cannot have a comprehensive understanding of the real sky. It is for this reason that the development of space-time theory has gradually stalled. The theoretical shortcomings make the Klein bottle an uncontrollable technology except for the ready-made arrangements in the four-dimensional optical brain. By slightly changing the spatial position of the gravitational source, a Klein bottle structure can still be generated in four-dimensional space, and three-dimensional objects can pass through this structure normally. However, the specific landing point cannot be determined. It can be an antimatter furnace. It can be between decks, or it can be deep in the Earth's core or inside the human body. In short, as long as it exists in the three-dimensional space, there is no place where it cannot appear. Therefore, over the past hundreds of years, 
The Academy of Sciences has been trying to generate a large number of Klein bottle spacetime structures through gravitational sources. It's still a stupid method. Exhaustive method. Since it is impossible to master the technology of controlling the Klein bottle through theory, we can conduct inductive analysis through a large number of experiments. It is also a good method to work backwards from the answers. Only, it may consume a lot of time and resources. No matter how hard you work, you will reap what you reap. What you sow is watermelon seeds. But what you reap is sesame seeds. This is common in scientific research. Although the Spacetime Research Center has not yet found a way to control the Klein bottle, it has unexpectedly perfected the spacetime theory based on three-dimensional space. What was born from this was the space application technology located in the high-level area of the sixth-level technology tree. Space Shield Technology This technology is what brings a large number of academicians together at the Spacetime Research Center. Inside the Spacetime Research Center, Liu Yongchang was standing in the experimental console area, curiously looking at the space shield generation device located in the experimental area in the holographic projection. Over the past few hundred years, his main research direction has been in high-dimensional space-time theory. This kind of practical application based on three-dimensional space-time theory is mainly responsible for new generation academicians such as Lin Yongyin. The human fleet has never had good defense methods against space-based attack methods. Even starships equipped with dense hydrogen armor are like dregs before attacks like space rift and space annihilation. The gravity shield has some interception and weakening effects. But the effect is not great. Actual combat tests have shown that even the stellar class sub-flagship, Titan Mothership, can only withstand five space rift attacks when the shield is operating at full power. After five times, the Titan Mothership will basically lose its combat capability, relying on the theory of space and time. The Academy of Sciences developed the sharpest spear, but there was no matching shield. This has always been a barb in Liu Yongchang's heart. Not long ago, with the efforts of Lin Yongyin, the three-dimensional space-time theory achieved another breakthrough. Space is always the best way to resist space. The principle of space shield is not complicated. Through the unified field, the space around the ship is torn apart, like a rift in space. However, the technical requirements of space shield are much higher than those of space rifts. This is also normal. One only needs to roughly tear the flat space apart. The other needs to control the crack not to continue to expand while tearing the space apart, but also to make it form a stable barrier surrounding the starship. Can the two be compared? Attention all units! The Space Shield first trial run experiment is about to begin! Lin Yongyan's voice sounded from the speaker, interrupting Liu Yongchang's thoughts. He once again set his sights on the huge device in the holographic projection, although he could basically simulate the specific experimental process with his quantum brain. There was still a faint look of expectation in his eyes. The successful breakthrough in Space Shield Technology has brought the level 6 civilization technology tree to a higher level of perfection. It also means that the distance between human civilization and 7th level civilization is one step closer. As an orderly announcement sounded from the loudspeaker, the lens in the holographic projection gradually began to zoom out. In the experimental site, in addition to the space shield generation device, there are also several space fissure generation devices. The energy path detection is normal and energy transmission begins. The unified field control unit is normal, and the power is increasing. 5%. 10%. The eyes of the academicians also began to focus on Liu Yongchang, who was standing in front of the experimental main console. There is no doubt that the order to start such a major experiment must have been given by him. Liu Yongchang took a deep breath and issued the order in a deep voice. The power has reached the preset target. Try to generate Space Shield. Chapter 827, Space Shield. The moment the words fell. A deep and dark spherical barrier appeared in front of everyone's eyes extremely suddenly. It was the ultimate darkness. And neither external light nor internal light could penetrate this barrier. Liu Yongchang narrowed his eyes slightly and stared at the various rapidly beating data on the left side of the screen. The instantaneous power of the device is very high. But the maintenance time is less than 0.1 seconds. To put it simply, the space shield generation experiment has actually ended a long time ago. What is currently in front of the academicians is just the remains of the shield that is being slowly eroded by the surrounding space. One second. Two seconds. As time passed by, the surface of the flat and smooth black spherical barrier gradually showed some changes, the self-healing effect of space had begun to take effect. At first, these cavities were very small, just like a little bit of dust on briquettes, and they were inconspicuous. But over time, these dust-like cavities gradually expanded and merged into larger cavities. 
the cavity expanded faster and faster. And soon, most of the dark spherical barrier was eroded away. The internal space shield generation device was once again exposed to the eyes of the academicians. When the entire spherical barrier completely dissipated, the first step of the experiment came to a successful conclusion. The successful generation of the space shield does not mean the end of the entire experiment. After a few minutes of data processing, the space shield generation device in the holographic projection began to operate again. At the same time, the space rift generating device in the distance also began to operate synchronously. This time, what needs to be tested is the space shield's ability to defend against space attacks. The moment the deep spherical barrier appeared, an equally deep and dark thin line struck from a distance. Taking into account various observational problems, the emission speed of the space rift was deliberately lowered a lot, even less than 0.1c. But even so, this speed cannot be captured by the naked eye. Under the playback lens of the ultra-high-speed camera, the deep dark thin line suddenly crossed and collided with this black spherical barrier. No ripples were made. As if being swallowed up, the slender space crack disappeared directly into this barrier. Perfectly resist the first space rift. The experiment is not over. Lu Yongchan continued to issue the second order in an orderly manner. Switch the firing mode to burst mode. Gradually increase the operating power of the space rift generation device. The violent test of the space shield's defense performance has officially begun. The moment the words fell, majestic energy surged along the energy path to the space rift generation device and the space shield generation device respectively. Then black lines appeared one after another in the experimental area, turning the originally peaceful time and space upside down. Just like Lu Yongchang's order, as the operating power of the space crack generating device increases, the depth of the space cracks generated also begins to gradually increase. The most intuitive phenomenon is that the width of these black thin lines has increased visibly to the naked eye. 10% rated power. 20% rated power. 50% rated power. The thicker and thicker, black lines, bombarded the deep spherical barrier one after another, like a stream flowing into the sea, without even a trace of waves. But Lu Yongchang's originally relaxed brow began to wrinkle gradually. Different from the picture observed with the naked eye, it can be clearly seen from the rapidly flashing data on the side that as the intensity of the space rift continues to increase, the power of the space shield generation device also increases at an exaggerated speed. As time goes by, the output power of both sides reaches the design maximum value. Even Lu Yongchang, who was quite confident about the experimental results, couldn't help but sweat when he looked at the thick black lines whizzing past the experimental area. One way. Two ways. Three ways. In just an instant. Three spatial rifts with the highest power struck the deep barrier. Hold on. Looking at the space shield generation device that was still running normally. Li Yongchang's eyes flashed with joy. Five ways. Ten ways. The intensity of the test has once again risen to a new level. Several spare space rift generating devices have also joined the battlefield. A total of ten space cracks struck this smooth barrier one after another. Boom. Drip. Drill. Drill. As the piercing siren sounded, the explosion's fire flashed across the holographic projection. Under extreme testing, the shield-generating device was successfully overloaded. But it still perfectly accomplished its intended goal resisting attacks from more than 10 space rifts. Of course, although the shield-generation device has been overloaded and scrapped, the generated space shield did not dissipate immediately. It takes a certain amount of time for the space to repair itself. During this process, the space shield actually retains a certain protective capability. After several tests, the first trial operation experiment of the space shield finally came to a successful conclusion. Various test data are also clearly presented in front of all academicians. The experiment was successful. The real defense capability of the space shield even exceeded the theoretical value. The researchers did not include the wreck after the space shield was broken. It has to be said that the more difficult the technology, the higher the benefits it will bring. The emergence of space shield has almost eliminated the original shield system in theory. It can not only resist space attacks, but also resist conventional weapons. The test results are also shown as such. Whether it is an energy weapon such as a laser weapon, or a kinetic energy weapon such as an electromagnetic gun, it has a good defensive effect. However, its own characteristics determine that it cannot completely replace the traditional shield. First, the self-healing effect of space. Just like the space rift, the space shield will slowly disappear after it is generated. Of course, Continuing to apply a grand unified field to it can maintain its existence for a long time. But, it's time to mention its second feature. 
the two-way interception characteristics of the space shield. It's actually easy to understand. As a disguised space rift, you cannot require it to also have the ability to identify friend or foe. It can not only block attacks from the outside, but also block attacks from starships. It's like a hard turtle sh. L. You can't get in or get out. Captain. You probably don't want to be a living target who can only be beaten on the battlefield. Right? Therefore, Space Shield was designed as an instantaneous triggering shield. When the detection device detects that the starship is about to be hit by a space attack or a large-scale conventional weapon, a Space Shield will be instantly formed in the hit area of the ship. After completing the defense against anything, the Space Shield will gradually disappear due to the self-healing effect of the surrounding space. During this period, it can even exert a lot of residual heat to protect the battleship from a lot of subsequent damage. It can be said that he dedicated his life to death. Chapter 828 Dimension Laboratory During this period, the Space-Time Research Center encountered countless obstacles in the theory of high-dimensional space-time. Even Lu Yongchong stumbled on the thick wall of dimension. The success of the Space Shield trial operation experiment made the somewhat silent atmosphere in the Space-Time Research Center become more lively. And a faint smile appeared on the face of one of the academicians. Chief! Chief Lu! Lu Yongchong retracted his gaze from looking at various data and turned to the direction where the sound came from. Lin Yongnian was seen waving his right hand towards him with excitement. Then, he squeezed through the academicians around him and ran towards Lu Yongchong with difficulty. Give way! Buddy! Give way! It's a big deal! It's a big deal! Upon hearing this, the academicians surrounding Lu Yongchong hurriedly made way for Lin Yongnian to pass through a not so wide passage. Looking at academician Lin Yongnian, whose face was slightly red and excited. Lu Yongchan couldn't help but feel a little confused in his heart. The successful development of Space Shield is certainly worthy of joy. But, is it necessary to be so exaggerated? Laboratory. There's news from the lab. Lin Yongnian's excited voice continued. Lu Yongchan was stunned for an extremely brief moment. And then realized what the laboratory Lin Yongnian was referring to. You mean, Clyde Bottle? Lin Yongnian nodded vigorously. Yes. Song Yunzan the head of the Dimension Laboratory, just sent me a message. They have successfully summarized and compiled a set of four-dimensional algorithms that can perform basic prediction and control of the landing point area of the client bottle. Hearing this, Lu Yongchan couldn't help but lose consciousness slightly. The wait is finally here. The exhaustive method, which took hundreds of years and countless resources, finally created a way for human civilization to peer into the fourth dimension. Walk! Lu Yongchang immediately turned around and walked towards the laboratory door. Yongyan, come with me to the Dimension Laboratory, Academy of Humanities and Sciences. Dimension Laboratory. As soon as he entered the laboratory, Lu Yongchang saw a magical scene. In the huge holographic projection, scenes from the experimental area are being simultaneously projected. In order to more intuitively observe the spatial transition phenomenon caused by the four-dimensional client bottle with the naked eye, the entire experimental area is filled with a large number of fine suspended dust and parallel beams. Under the influence of Xian Chen, the traces of light passing through were reflected in everyone's eyes extremely clearly. The light path is twisted. Like a meandering stream, this is due to the interference from powerful gravitational sources. The stream of light slowly flows forward until it reaches an empty area. Over there, the stream of light seemed to have encountered a deep cave, all disappearing into the seemingly peaceful space. This scene is somewhat similar to the original optical brain research process. But there are obvious differences between the two. First, the Klein bottle structure in front of us only has an inlet and no outlet. Of course, according to Li Yongchang's guess, its exit was controlled very far away. And it was not within the experimental area. Second, the structure of the Klein bottle this time is larger. Its entrance is even more than 10 meters wide. Which is very different from the fine structures inside the optical brain. Furthermore, from the small amount of suspended dust and light paths that continue to escape from the entrance. It can be seen that the fineness of workmanship of the Klein bottle in front of you is far inferior to the Klein bottle structure inside the optical brain. Similarly, its technological content is far inferior to the internal structure of the four-dimensional optical brain. This is an undoubted reality. But from the perspective of human civilization, the huge Klein bottle structure in front of him attracted Li Yongchang's attention more. The reason is simple. It is a Klein bottle with a new structure built by human civilization relying on its own strength. Different from the mature structure in the four-dimensional light brain that cannot be changed and comes from outsiders. The Klein bottle in front of you, although slightly rough, 
has almost infinite plasticity. Where did they go? Lu Yongchan stopped and stared blankly at the huge holographic projection in front of him, murmuring in a low voice. They naturally refer to the light and suspended dust that disappear out of thin air. Lin Yongyan on the side did not speak, like Lu Yongchan. He was also stunned on the spot, looking at this miracle of human civilization with excitement. They went to another experimental area. A slightly unfamiliar and plain voice came. And at the same time, there was a rush of footsteps. The two experimental areas are 500 meters apart, with 14 walls in between. Lu Yongchang subconsciously turned his head and looked in the direction of the sound. He came back to his senses, smiled and greeted the visitor. Academician Song Yunzan. Chief Lu, welcome to your arrival. Song Yunzan, who was wearing a white research uniform, raised his hand to call up the holographic operation interface and said H. Lo to Lu Yongchang with an indifferent expression. As his fingers moved slightly, the huge holographic projection screen in front quickly switched to another perspective. It was an experimental area with the same structure, unlike the former. It does not have any light source installed inside, but it's not dark inside. Quite the opposite. A bright stream of light slowly flows out of the sky, under the influence of several powerful gravitational sources. The stream of light continues to meander forward until it escapes the scope of gravity. This bunch of light from another experimental area illuminates this experimental area like daylight. Song Yunzan took a step forward and walked to Lu Yongchang. He also stared at the shocking scene in the holographic projection and explained in a calm voice. This is a Klein bottle made based on calculation model number 193741. Currently, after more than 500 tests, we have successfully predicted and controlled the three-dimensional projection coordinates of the Klein bottle outlet. Hearing this, Lu Yongchang couldn't help but be moved. Calculation model number 193741. Tested more than 500 times. How many people's hard work is hidden under the plain tone? But there was a hint of helplessness in Song Yunzan's voice. Perhaps due to architectural problems. Or perhaps because of unknown problems in the algorithm model. The current distance between the exit and entrance of the client bottle is at most 500 meters. After exceeding this limit value, the three-dimensional projection coordinates of the exit will appear as before. Well done. Lu Yongcha did not hesitate to praise him. More than 300 years of hard work finally has a result. Congratulations! Song Yunzan fell into silence after hearing this. Under the gazes of Lu Yongchang and Lin Yongyan, he took a deep breath, as if suppressing the emotions that were about to burst out from his heart. After a few seconds, his expression was still calm, but his tone of voice became much more serious. This is what we are supposed to do! Chapter 829 A Little Accident Following Song Yunzan's Rhythm Lu Yongchang and Lin Yongyan had a preliminary understanding of this set of calculation models that had gone through a lot of hard work. This Klein bottle uses a total of 156 gravity nodes. Among them, a total of 130 gravity nodes are used to maintain the entrance and bottle structure. The remaining 26 gravity nodes play the role of maintaining and guiding the exit of the Klein bottle. Looking at the three-dimensional space coordinates of the 156 gravity nodes in the holographic projection, Lu Yongchang couldn't help but sigh in his heart. The gap between human civilization and the Tenth Empire is still too big. The more gravity nodes in a Klein bottle, the better. The more gravitational nodes there are, the more complex the mutual interference, and the more unstable the Klein bottle. In the fortress master brain of the Tenth Empire, the average number of gravitational nodes that maintain the structure of a single Klein bottle is controlled at around 12. Of course, for today's human civilization, whether the Klein bottle is stable or not is actually a secondary issue. Lu Yongchang carefully checked every detail of the calculation model. Suddenly, a wonderful inspiration emerged in the quantum brain. Yongyan, he thought for a moment, and said to Lin Yongyan, who was still learning this calculation model, What if we use this technology on the inside of the space shield? Then our fleet can attack with the space shield. Lin Yongyan's eyes lit up, and he quickly completed what Li Yongchang wanted to say in his heart. The space shield has two-way interception characteristics. It will not only block the enemy's attack, but also block your own attack. This greatly limits the actual combat strength of the space shield. The Klein bottle structure seems to be designed for this. The narrow crack that exists in the three-dimensional space cannot block the open road in the four-dimensional space. How is it? Lu Yongchang turned to look at Song Yunzan. Do you think something happened? The jump range of 500 meters is enough to cross the space shield. Lin Yongyan excitedly added. Not only that, we can even add corresponding technology to the weapons. A weapon capable of short-distance space jumps? 
Lu Yongchang tried to imagine that scene and couldn't help but take a breath of cold air. Shields. Armor. These defenses are just a joke in front of it. That picture is so beautiful. Song Yunzan also cast a strange look at Lin Yongyan. He thought for a moment. Theoretically, this should be possible. But the structural stability of today's Klein bottles is too poor and may not be enough to support the passage of weapons and equipment. We have tried to invest in high-precision detection equipment to collect data in four-dimensional space. But, as he spoke, he operated on the holographic projection in front of him. The next moment, a one-meter diameter detection ball appeared in the holographic projection. Driven by the robotic arm, the detection ball slowly approaches the entrance area of the Klein bottle. A few seconds later, the detection ball was swallowed into the Klein bottle. Almost at the same time, a harsh alarm sounded, and the Klein bottle structure that was originally operating stably disappeared instantly. The winding path of light also spread out in all directions at this moment, forming an extremely scattered picture under the influence of hundreds of gravitational sources. Well, Song Yunzan shrugged, as if he was not surprised. Not to mention the larger weapons and equipment. As of now, these Klein bottles can only pass some light beams and suspended dust. If nothing else, the inside of this detector has become a mess, and there is almost no possibility of repair. He raised his hand and searched the holographic projection. Oh, I'm lucky this time. The detection ball didn't touch any precision instruments. Along with Song Yunzan's words, an empty room appeared in the giant holographic projection. In the wall of the room, there is a detection ball that is mostly exposed. This experiment, Lin Yongyan looked at the scene on the screen and swallowed hard. Is the risk factor so high? May I ask, what was the most dangerous experimental accident? Song Yunzan looked at Lin Yongyan expressionlessly and gestured with his eyes. Lin Yongyan was stunned at first. After he came to his senses, he turned and looked behind him. I saw an inconspicuous little bump embedded in the thick wall behind me. Next to the bulge, there are many fine cracks. Judging from the surface color, if I remember correctly, it should have been an accident ten years ago. At that time, the detection ball appeared directly in this wall. Because the detector is almost completely submerged in the wall. If you want to rescue it, you have to smash the entire wall. Song Yunzan's tone was as calm as ever. Considering that the detector has been completely damaged, there is basically no the need to rescue it didn't have much impact on the strength of the wall. So we just let it stay here. Piece of cake. Lin Yongyan felt a drop of sweat slowly slide down his forehead. The place where they are at this time is the central control center of the Dimension Laboratory. Experimental accidents have all rushed to the central control center. Is this still a minor problem? Researchers from this Dimension Laboratory. Why do you feel a little abnormal? Not only Lin Yongyan, but also Lu Yongchang silently moved his feet and stayed as far away from it as possible after learning about the history carried by this wall. Don't worry so much. The distance between the central control center and the experimental area is dozens of kilometers. Under normal circumstances, experimental accidents will not affect our side. It was just a little accident. Seeing this, Song Yunzan subconsciously comforted him. This has almost become his habit he has said this to many newcomers in the past 10 years. But, every newcomer's reaction was basically the same. Including Lu Yongchang and Lin Yongyan. They would all glance at the bump on the wall, give him a complicated smile, and continue to move away from the wall. A detection starship, with a strong construction style of human civilization speeds through the empty star field. The space-time fluctuations caused by the curvature engine are like a stone dropped in a calm pond, causing ripples in this ocean of time and space that has been silent for thousands of years. For a detection starship with a sailing speed of 1000 c, the detection mission in a 100 light-year area is just an easy task. The detection starship has traveled back and forth in this star field more than 10 times. All detection results show that this star field not only has no backhand left by the sweeper civilization and pastoralists, there is not even any trace of civilization activities. This is a dead star field that has completely lost its vitality. Not to mention the birth of civilization. Even outside interstellar civilizations will deliberately avoid this star field. All detection data are transmitted back to the Kepler 452 star system in real time. According to the plan, after completing the inspection of the last few areas, the detector will choose to return. If everything goes normally, in about 200 years, that is, in the year 4600 of the Earth's calendar, the fleet of human civilization will officially set sail and arrive in this dead star field in 4605. Chapter 830 The Disappeared Detection Ship Pity! In the Dimension Laboratory, 
Lu Yongchan looked at the Klein bottle being reconstructed in the holographic projection. With regret in his eyes. It would be nice if its stability and performance were higher. Song Yunzan responded in his usual calm tone. This is our next goal. At least a high precision detector must be safely sent into this Klein bottle. This will also be of great help to research on high dimensional space time theory. Lu Yongchang nodded, withdrew his gaze, and looked at the complex calculation model again. He frowned slightly and stretched out his hand to tap the projection in front of him. I think this should be related to the calculation model. Although 156 gravity nodes are a bit too many, it will not have such a big impact. Song Yunzan nodded in agreement. What you said is that after many experiments and discussions, our current conclusion is also the same. However, we haven't been able to find the problem yet. Lu Yongchang said nothing. The laboratory suddenly fell silent, and the atmosphere became a little solemn. Suddenly, Lu Yongchang stretched out his hand to circle several areas in the projection, and said to break the solemn atmosphere. I feel there may be problems in these places. Send all the experimental data to me, and I will go back and study it carefully. This stability issue needs to be resolved as soon as possible. Hearing this, Song Yunzan's expressionless face showed a hint of surprise. How many? He asked in surprise. Not many. Just three or four places. Lu Yongchang scratched his head, still paying attention to the projection. I'm not sure, but it looks a bit strange. So there should be a problem. Song Yunzan, as expected of you. At this time, it is in the dead star field 1,800 light years away from the Kepler 452 star system. As ripples appear on the ocean of time and space, the exploration starship is conducting its final exploration of this dead star field. Pieces of tachyon information are transmitted to the distant Kepler 452 star system. Suddenly, the fluctuations of the curvature engine disappeared in this star field extremely suddenly. The ripples on the ocean of time and space gradually calmed down while gradually drifting into the distance. This dead star field has once again returned to its former tranquility. The tachyon signal travels very quickly, and even though it is 1,800 light years away, there is not much delay. Warning! Emergency! The moment the detection starship disappeared, a piercing alarm sounded in the Dimension Laboratory. At the same time, the blue holographic projection in front of Lu Yongchang instantly turned into blood red. Abnormal situation! The detection ship signal is lost! The tachyon signal of the detection ship number 129C cannot be detected. Repeat. The tachyon signal of the detection ship number 129C cannot be detected. Signal loss area. Risk assessment is in progress. Probability of encountering an unknown attack, 95%. The People's Federation's Level 1 Combat Readiness Alert has been activated. Signal research procedure is being executed. We are dispatching detection ships and detectors to surrounding star fields. Before Li Yongchan could react. Ling had already completed a series of risk assessment and emergency response operations according to the preset procedures. The moment the first level combat readiness alarm sounded, the entire Kepler 452 be sounded a piercing siren. Whether it was the Academy of Sciences or the United People's Congress, a blood red holographic projection appeared in front of everyone. Hack! After reacting, Lu Yongchang subconsciously uttered a curse word. It happened so suddenly, and he was not prepared at all. Why did the detection starship signal suddenly disappear? He asked urgently. Are there any scenes of being attacked? Zero. Retrieve all the last data sent back by the detection ship. On the side, Lin Yongnian and Song Yunzan have not come back to their senses yet. Ever since human civilization became a level 6 civilization, it has never encountered such an emergency. The new generation naturally lacks relevant, practical experience. Although they all have knowledge reserves in this area. Such emergencies are obviously not something that can be handled solely by relying on book theory. The two looked at each other, with a hint of panic in their eyes, but looking at Li Yongchang with a solemn expression. Most of the panic in the two people's hearts disappeared inexplicably. It seemed that as long as Li Yongchang was around, there would never be any accidents in human civilization. The blood-red holographic projection quickly enlarged. Various detailed data were presented in front of the three academicians. Li Yongchang frowned and quickly looked through various data. There are no traces of the existence of advanced civilization. No signs of being attacked. There was no warning before the signal disappeared. Did you suddenly lose contact? Zero. Temporarily cancel the level 1 combat readiness alert. After Lu Yongchang thought for a long time, he softly issued the order. This does not seem to be attacked by a higher civilization. Although the 6th level civilization is not powerful, it is not unable to detect attacking objects. Based on these data, 
Lu Yongchang and the others roughly restore the crime scene in their minds. The exploration ship traveled in the empty and dead star field, conducting a carpet-like exploration of the surrounding environment. Suddenly, the detection ship disappeared into the universe extremely abruptly, and the tachyon signal transmitted back stopped abruptly. Lu Yongchang's expression moved slightly. This scene, why does it feel familiar? He turned his head and looked at the bright light pass slowly, flowing, in the giant holographic projection. Klein bottle? The three of them said in unison. Chapter 831 Oolong? Academy of Sciences. Center for Space-Time Research. After Li Yongchang and Lin Yongyan left, Fang Su led the other academicians and began to analyze and summarize the large amount of data generated by the space shield experiment. This is the most basic operation after every experiment. While Fang Su and the other academicians were immersed in data processing work, the blue holographic projection in front of them instantly turned into blood red. The ear-piercing alarm sounded immediately, breaking the original tranquility of the space-time research center. Fang Su's face changed slightly. The first thought that came to his mind was the experimental accident. Although the experimental risk factor of the space-time research center is not as high as that of the Dimension Laboratory, it is definitely not safe. Once a major experimental accident occurs, large-scale damage to the experimental equipment is considered a lucky situation. What happened? Experimental area. Before he could ask the question in his mind, Fong Su saw a line of dazzling text appear on the blood-red holographic projection. People's Federation Level 1 Combat Readiness Alert. Fong Su's eyes suddenly widened. Even he felt that his brain went blank for a moment. Since human civilization entered the sixth level of civilization, for 640 years, the level 1 war readiness alarm has never been sounded. Therefore, when seeing this somewhat unfamiliar alarm message, not only Fang Su, but also all the academicians present were stunned on the spot. Unlike the new generation who had just entered the Academy of Sciences, the older generation of academicians quickly recovered from the shock. The next moment, their expressions became a little heavier, and their eyes showed deep worry. With the current strength of human civilization, it seems that there is only one possibility to sound the first level combat readiness alarm. In addition to encountering the native sixth level civilization in the galaxy, the only ones left are the sweepers and pastoralists who do not know where to hide. Hopefully it's the former. These academicians who have experienced the era of escape prayed from the bottom of their hearts. With this in mind, they followed Fong Su's footsteps and ran quickly outside the laboratory. Fong! Academician Fong! A new generation academician followed Fong Su in a panic and asked him incoherently, This? What's going on? The new generation born in the Kepler star system has never experienced such a scene, although they have received relevant education. In this emergency situation, relying solely on written education is obviously not enough. Fong Su stopped and glanced around. The face of every new generation academician is filled with panic. Don't you know what the level 1 combat readiness alert means? Fong Su lowered his face in a rare way and shouted at these new generations who had not yet experienced the life and death crisis of civilization. Everyone, go to Earth immediately. If you delay the opportunity to fight, you will be dealt with according to the military laws of the People's Alliance. After scolding him, he ignored these new generation academicians who grew up in peaceful times and ran directly towards the gate. Outside the door, anti-gravity vehicles have landed one after another. Once the academicians have completed boarding, these vehicles will soar into the sky under zero's control. Heading to the star level, Earth, running in synchronous orbit. Earth, which is far away in synchronous orbit, has opened the port gate, and the guidance field based on the principle of the Grand Unified Field has also begun to operate. Even the power of the antimatter reactor inside, Earth, began to gradually increase. No, not just Earth. The entire Kepler-452 star system, and even all human warships within the territory of the entire Panhuman Federation simultaneously received early warning information from Zero. Under the orders of one commander after another, a large number of warships woke up from their silent state, adjusting their status while waiting for the next order from the Academy of Sciences. From the time the first level combat readiness alarm was sounded to now, under Zero's efficient dispatch, in just 10 minutes, the entire People's Federation was ready to fight. But the piercing siren slowly dissipated, and the blood-red holographic projection gradually turned back to blue. Alert lifted. Fong Su stared blankly at the words in the blue holographic projection. Are you kidding me? He turned around stiffly and looked at the academicians, who were also confused. Seeing the confused looks that the academicians cast at him, Fong Su suddenly felt that his blood pressure had risen a lot. 
he swore that since the founding of the People's League, he had never encountered anything so evil. Hold on. Fong Su squeezed out a sentence through his teeth. Maybe Ling's judgment was wrong. I'll ask first. Before he finished speaking, Lu Yongchang's figure appeared in the blue holographic projection. He explained the alarm message, just now, with a serious and slightly apologetic expression. Just as Fong Su said, this was a misjudgment on Zero's part. However, Lu Yongchan did not clearly explain the reason for the misjudgment, but covered it up with a general statement. As Lu Yongchang's deputy, Fong Su noticed the problem immediately. Sure enough, after the announcement to the entire People's Federation, Lu Yongchang's tone of voice quickly accelerated a bit in the holographic projection. He explained in detail the reasons for zero misjudgment to the academicians. To sum it up, it's just a few words. Big discovery. Come quickly. Then, within a few minutes, the anti-gravity vehicle parked outside the space-time research center was filled with excited academicians. Unlike before, after learning that the probe ship might encounter a super-large natural Klein bottle structure, the new generation of academicians ran faster than the other. From a certain perspective, these anti-gravity vehicles that came because of the first-level combat readiness alert were not in vain. They carried a large number of academicians, and flew directly towards the Central Research Institute located in the Antarctic Kepler 452b. This is not just a scene happening at the Spacetime Research Center. Anti-gravity vehicles were raised throughout the southern hemisphere of Kepler 452b. Most of these anti-gravity vehicles are academicians, who are on vacation or have completed their current scientific research tasks. What? Researcher? Sorry. The researcher doesn't have such a long leave. Although the scene this time cannot compare with the spectacular scene when Lu Yongchang summoned all first-level academicians to conquer optical computer technology. It can still be regarded as a grand occasion for the Academy of Humanities and Science. Have to say, regardless of civilization level, the gene segment for joining in the fun is deeply imprinted in human DNA. As these anti-gravity vehicles took off one after another and arrived at the Central Research Institute of the Academy of Sciences, a large number of scientific research experimental ships and engineering ships parked in the Kepler 452 star system also slowly sailed out of Kepler, carrying a large amount of supplies. 452 star system. Chapter 832 Hope Dashed? Under Liu Yongchang's order, the unmanned detection fleet that was performing daily patrol missions in the nearby star field rushed non-stop to this dead star field. The fleet consists of three detection ships. The reason for dispatching them to the dead star territory is simple to conduct a more detailed exploration of the area where the probe 129C disappeared. Research on Klein bottles has continued for more than 300 years. It is no exaggeration to say that the number of Klein bottles produced by the Dimension Laboratory and the Spacetime Research Institute exceeds at least 100,000. Although most are defective products that have been around for a few seconds or less. But so many Klein bottle structures have one significant feature in common. Klein bottle, where there is an entrance, there must be an exit. So far, humans have never found a Klein bottle without an outlet. Only. Its exit may land in some bizarre places. Different from electromagnetic wave communication and quantum communication. Tachyon communication has the excellent characteristics of high stability, fast speed, and weak resistance to interference. Coupled with the highest precision tachyon signal receiving device adopted by the Academy of Sciences. Liu Yongchang is confident that as long as the number 129C probe ship appears within 10,000 light years, the Academy of Sciences can quickly receive the signal from the number 129C probe ship but a problem arises. Probe number 129C has disappeared for more than 48 hours. The Academy of Sciences has not received the tachyon signal from the 129C detection ship so far. This means that the specific situation may be far more complicated than Lu Yongchang and others initially expected. Lu Yongchang frowned, sat in his seat, and stared at the holographic projection in front of him carefully. In the past few days, he and the academicians have read over and over again the various data finally transmitted back by the number 129C probe ship, trying to find some clues from these extremely normal data. It can be easily seen from the distance between Li Yongchang's eyebrows. This work is not going smoothly. Several simple conjectures were also raised. The first possibility is that the Klein bottle structure formed naturally, or due to the aftermath of the war, is far beyond Li Yongchang's imagination. It can directly teleport the number 129C exploration ship to 10,000 light years away. It has exceeded the longest distance of human civilization's tachyon communication. So it is normal to not receive signals. But this, is it really possible? From a probability perspective, it is indeed possible. But the possibility is so small that it is almost unnecessary to consider. Just imagine, 
the short distance space jump within the home star fortress of the seventh level peak civilization, Tenth Empire, only spans a distance of tens of thousands of kilometers. How can a naturally formed Klein bottle structure span a distance of tens of thousands of light years? Reminiscent of the accident scene I saw in the Dimension Laboratory a few days ago, the second conjecture emerged. The structure of this Klein bottle was not stable. After the probe ship entered, its structure collapsed, causing the probe ship to suffer a major irreparable blow. Judging from the information currently available, this seems to be the most likely conjecture to come true. This is also the scene that Lu Yongchang least wants to see. The natural Klein bottle structure can almost be said to be the only shortcut for human civilization to peer into high dimensional space. After all, the structural strength of artificial Klein bottles is far from standard. Not only that, through the exploration of natural Klein bottles, the Academy of Sciences can also master more valuable information, such as more stable Klein bottle structures and the conditions for the existence of large Klein bottles. But if the second conjecture comes true, then all the above will be in vain. Therefore, Lu Yongchan could only place his hope on the third conjecture the previous judgment was wrong. That thing was not a Klein bottle structure at all, but another spatio-temporal anomaly unknown to mankind. Drop! A crisp reminder interrupted Lu Yongchang's thoughts. Looking at the line of text that popped up in the holographic projection, Lu Yongchang's face relaxed a little. The detection fleet composed of three detection ships successfully arrived at the disappearance area of detection ship number 129C. The detection mission then starts. In order to prevent falling into possible abnormal space-time structures, the three detection ships move forward, slowly, in a vertical array, with the distance between the detection ships exceeding 1 million kilometers. At the same time, the three detection ships pointed high-precision probes at each other to ensure that any accident, incident on any friendly ship could be captured. Time passes bit by bit. The three detection ships conducted carpet searches over and over again in the area where the detection ship number 129C disappeared. But, not to mention the entrance to the natural Klein bottle structure. Except for the sparse interstellar dust. The exploration ship did not find even a hair. Reaching atomic level detection accuracy. The wreckage of number 129C was not even found. This directly rules out the possibility of the number 129C detection ship being attacked by an unknown attack. At the same time, it also seems to rule out two conjectures raised by the Academy of Sciences. At this moment and here, there is no Klein bottle structure at all. And there is no unknown abnormal space-time structure. The answer seems to be locked in the second conjecture that Li Yongchang least wants to see the natural Klein bottle structure is very fragile and it disappeared directly into the universe under the stimulation of the 129C probe ship. Seeing the reality developing towards the worst expectation, Lu Yongchang smacked his lips irritably and issued another order. Conduct a comprehensive search across the entire dead star field, with the goal of finding the wreckage of number 129C. According to the original accident seen in the Dimension Laboratory, if the situation in the second guess really happened, the wreckage of number 129C would be found around it. Under Lu Yongchang's order, the three detection ships began to slowly increase the power of the curvature engine. With such a large-scale search operation, it is definitely not possible to maintain the original sailing speed. Although this will inevitably lead to a decrease in detection accuracy, the search for the wreckage of the number 129C exploration ship does not require too high detection accuracy. The majestic energy generated by the antimatter reactor flows into the curvature engine along the energy path increasingly violent waves began to rise on the surface of the calm space-time ocean. Uh-huh. The three detection ships disappeared into the visible universe at the same time. And the search for the wreckage of number 129C officially began. Lu Yongchang also breathed a long sigh of relief and leaned back on the chair. The shortcut was shattered, causing him to fall into a brief sage state. Tired. Destroy it. Not only Lu Yongchang, but also the researchers at Dimension Laboratory were in the same state especially when they think about how they will rely on exhaustive methods to find a more stable Klein bottle structure. The atmosphere in the scientific research center is once again a bit depressing. Chapter 833 The Twisted Klein Bottle Warning! Warning! A sudden sharp alarm broke the silent atmosphere of the research center. The blood-red holographic projection reflected the somewhat confused eyes of the academicians present. The signal of the detection ship number 1531C has been lost. Warn! Warn! Abnormal space-time structure detected. Hiss! Lu Yongchang took a sharp breath and gave the order directly without any hesitation. Zero! Stop the warp engines of 1532C and 1533C immediately! Reducing warp drive power. 
The probe ship has successfully exited the superlight speed curvature state. The moment the electronic synthesized sound sounded, the figures of two detection ships reappeared in the empty, dark and dead star field. Only the second half of the Pinzi fleet is left. The leading detection ship has completely disappeared into this star field. The waves that are constantly surging on the ocean of time and space slowly spread into the distance. Without the curvature engine as a wave-making source, the amplitude of the waves is getting smaller and smaller. Finally, the ocean of time and space return to calm. Just like this dead star field, there is no life. The two detection ships seem to have been stopped by time, hovering quietly in the vast universe, waiting for the next order from the Academy of Sciences. Different from the calm situation in the Death Star territory. At this time, the People's Alliance Central Research Institute was already in chaos. Appeared! Lu Yongchang regained his energy, swept away his previous sluggish appearance, and stood up from his chair. Zero! Release all the observation data of the three detection ships after they enter the superlight curvature state. He issued orders one after another with an urgent expression. Fong Su, please lead people to analyze and study the observation data of the detection ship. Lin Yongyan, you and I will analyze the abnormal structure of space and time together. After the words fell, the holographic projection quickly unfolded, and the corresponding data of the abnormal space-time structure detected by the detection ship was presented in front of Lu Yongchang. Lu Yongchang frowned slightly and clicked his tongue lightly. His. It's kind of like the entrance structure of a Klein bottle. But? Song Yunzan's voice came from the side, completing Lu Yongchang's unfinished words. It doesn't look like a Klein bottle with a normal structure. Yes. Lu Yongchang nodded and continued. The structural deformation is very serious. It's like it's been twisted by something. Not only that, but its exit structure is gone. This. Can this still be called a Klein bottle? Lu Yongchang questioned. There is no distinction between inside and outside of a Klein bottle. Therefore, if there is an entrance, there must be an exit. The scene in front of him completely subverted Lu Yongchang's cognition. Where does its exit go? Where did the two missing battleships go? Before he could figure out the problem, the calm electronic synthesized sound sounded again in the Central Research Institute. The abnormal space-time structure has disappeared and the alarm has been lifted. This broadcast seemed to inject a forced tranquilizer into the slightly chaotic research institute. Inside the research institute, everything was quiet. Everyone stopped what they were doing and looked at the huge holographic projection in front of them in astonishment. What the H, L? Lin Yongnian suddenly felt bad. How is this possible? You're telling me that such a huge space-time structure suddenly disappeared out of thin air? Yes. Huge. If it is a Klein bottle, then this should be the largest Klein bottle structure that human civilization has ever seen. According to the data from the detection ship, its entrance is a full 100 kilometers wide. Nothing on a cosmic scale. But in front of humans, this is undoubtedly a giant abnormal structure of space and time. Lin Yongnian couldn't help but fall into deep self-doubt. The space-time theory of human civilization is simply impossible to explain such a phenomenon. Could it be said that mankind has embarked on a wrong path? The atmosphere in the research center became increasingly solemn. Lu Yongchang who had not spoken for a long time, carefully observed the detection ship data before and after the abnormal space-time structure appeared and disappeared. Suddenly, he seemed to realize something. His eyes widened slightly, with a look of disbelief deep in his eyes. This, how can it be? Even he couldn't help but question it in his heart when he thought about this possibility. After pondering for a moment, he gave the order in a deep voice. Zero! Slowly increase the power of the curvature engine and create a space-time fluctuation point in the area where the 1531C probe ship disappeared. Chief Lu? Song Yunzan and Lin Yongyan both cast confused looks at Lu Yongchang. During the appearance and disappearance of abnormal space-time structures, only one piece of data changed significantly. Lu Yongchang reached out and tapped the holographic image in front of him and explained in concise and clear words. The output power of the curvature engine. A simple analogy is the degree of fluctuation of this space and time. Although the specific reason is not clear, it is basically certain that this abnormal space-time structure will only appear when space-time fluctuates significantly. As they spoke, two exploration ships 1,800 light-years away had already started. Experiments Under Zero's precise control, the output power of the curvature engine began to slowly increase. The space-time ocean that had returned to calm once again experienced slight fluctuations. This wave of fluctuations became stronger and stronger as time went by, and the waves on the sea of time and space gradually became more intense. Drop! 
Anomalous space-time structure successfully detected. The moment the electronic synthesized sound sounded, Lu Yongchang showed a faint smile on his lips. Found it. Although the principle behind it is still unclear, finding the entrance is always good news. 1,800 light-years away, the exploration ship's curvature engine power continues to increase. The abnormal space-time structure gradually became clear. If the artificial climb bottle entrance in the laboratory is a standard sphere in three-dimensional space, then the wild climb bottle entrance in front of you is a constantly twisting sphere. The increase in the power of the curvature engine makes the entrance clearer and clearer, and at the same time makes it more distorted. Finally, at the moment when the curvature engine power reaches a certain critical value, the abnormal space-time structure dissipates again. Liu Yongchang's eyes flashed as he stood in front of the holographic projection. He carefully observed the rapidly flashing space-time detection data. With the quantum state brain running at full speed, hazy thoughts slowly emerged one after another. Chapter 834 Circular Scientific Research Project After several attempts, Liu Yongchang gradually understood the switch of this abnormal space-time structure. To put it simply, when the warp engine output power of the probe ship is in the range of 43.8% to 49.7%, it can appear in this star field. But the test results show that the stability of this space-time structure is the highest only when the curvature engine output power is 46.2%. Too low will cause it to become blurry. Too high will cause it to become distorted. I have to say that human beings are really lucky. After discovering this pattern, Lu Yongchan couldn't help but sigh. Needless to say, the 129C probe ship disappeared for the first time. When passing through this area, the output power of the curvature engine was exactly within this range. As for the 1531C detection ship that disappeared for the second time, let alone that, the probe ship that is accelerating at full speed, whether it is one second earlier or one second later, will completely cause human civilization to miss this magical space-time structure. The detection operation of this abnormal space-time structure has officially begun. One of the probe ships is responsible for stabilizing its existence with curvature engines. And the other probe ship is responsible for comprehensively detecting the space and time around it. Lu Yongchang temporarily gave up the idea of letting a detection ship enter the twisted Klein bottle. After all, judging from the situation of the two previous detection ships, this will only be a dead end. Before he understood the various mysteries behind this twisted Klein bottle, Lu Yongchang was not prepared to continue this senseless waste. Earth Calendar Year 4402 the scientific research experiment ship and engineering ship departing from the Kepler-452 star system successfully arrived in this dead star field. With the joint efforts of engineering ships and robots, a ring-shaped scientific research project surrounding the abnormal structure of space and time was built. Among them, there are grand unified field generating devices with higher control accuracy. And there are also higher precision detection devices. What this brings is more valuable data information. Central Research Institute of the People's Academy of Sciences two full years of research. Under the leadership of Li Yongchang, the Dimension Laboratory and the Space-Time Theory Research Center cooperated with each other. With the support of a large amount of data, they finally constructed a partial four-dimensional model of this twisted Klein bottle. Through this half of the four-dimensional model, the Academy of Sciences at least knows the reason why the two detection ships lost contact the problem lies in this twisted structure. To use an analogy, place a foam ball on calm water. Under sunlight, the projection of this foam ball on the bottom of the water should be a circular shadow. But if the water surface ripples, the shadow of the foam ball will become an ever-twisting, quasi-circular shadow. The degree of distortion of this quasi-circular shadow will continue to increase as the fluctuation of the water surface increases. The same goes for Klein bottles. The huge Klein bottle structure in front of us should be quite stable in its four-dimensional structure. But the entrance and exit of the Klein bottle are actually its projection in three-dimensional space. Space and time are oceans. Under the action of the curvature engine, the space-time ocean continues to fluctuate, which naturally causes its projection in the three-dimensional space to become distorted. As for the two detection ships that passed through the twisted Klein bottles, as expected, they had been completely destroyed by the power of time and space. Research has yielded results, which should be a joyful thing. But the atmosphere inside the Central Research Institute seemed particularly solemn. There is no other reason. As we delve deeper into the twisted Klein bottle, the puzzles become more numerous. Why does it have to appear when space and time fluctuate? Where is its exit? Where does this Klein bottle lead to? Questions kept popping up in the minds of Li Yongchang and other academicians. In order to solve the above problems, Li Yongchang proposed a plan. 
it is still necessary to send detectors and detection ships to try to enter its entrance for deeper exploration. But it is different from the first two lost detection ships. This time, the Academy of Sciences first needs to find a way to make its three-dimensional projection no longer distorted based on the existing half-four-dimensional model. Only in this way can the detector pass through the entrance of the Klein bottle smoothly and safely. In order to achieve this goal, the Academy of Sciences conducted various experiments in the area where the Klein bottle is located. Within the Ring Research Project, gravitational fluctuations caused by the Grand Unified Field are continuously generated. Under Liu Yongchang's order, it constantly tried to find a space-time fluctuation pattern with less impact. But, to no avail. It wasn't until Liu Yongchang restudied the appearance and disappearance of the Klein bottle entrance that he discovered a problem that had been ignored by everyone. It is not fluctuations in space and time that cause it to appear. To be precise, it is the bulge of space-time that leads to the emergence of this Klein bottle structure. Again, time and space are like the ocean, the depression in the sea surface. That is, the depression in space and time creates gravity. But space and time don't just have to be concave. The working principle of the curvature engine is to make part of the space-time convex and part of the space-time concave. The same is true for the waves of time and space formed by this. In the past two years, the space-time waves created by the curvature engine have been too dense, which has also brought an allusion to the Academy of Sciences this Klein bottle structure will only appear when space-time fluctuates. It wasn't until the scientific research fleet and engineering fleet arrived. The circular scientific research project was completed, and the experiment entered a more refined level that Liu Yongchan discovered the mystery. Once you find the problem, things become easier. Under the action of the Grand Unified Field Control Device within the Circular Scientific Research Project, the space-time of the target area began to slowly bulge. It no longer fluctuates up and down like before, but looks like a hill rising slowly on the ocean of time and space. Abnormal space-time structure detected. The moment Zero's electronic synthesis sound sounded, a magical scene also appeared in the holographic projection. In the central area of the ring-shaped scientific research project, a spherical structure with an extremely smooth surface appeared at some point. The sphere is dark and deep. When the distant starlight passed by it, it was all swallowed up. This is the standard three-dimensional projection of the giant Klein bottle entrance. It's no longer twisted. This means that humans can already try to send probe ships into it. But Liu Yongchan felt a little confused in his heart. In theory, it shouldn't be completely dark. The Klein bottle is a two-way structure. Once the channel is constructed, the picture at the exit can be seen even at the entrance. Although I was confused, I had to shoot the arrow. The experiment has reached this point. He can't stop the experiment just because of this. Right? So, Liu Yongchang put all the worries in his mind to the back of his mind and looked down again at the test data sent back by the Circular Scientific Research Center. After confirming that there was no problem, he took a deep breath and issued an order. Release the probe ship! Target, giant client bottle entrance! Chapter 835 Small Universe The order was given. A small detection fleet composed of dozens of detection ships and spherical detectors slowly sailed towards the deep, dark sphere under Zero's control. In order to prevent the curvature engine from affecting the stability of the Klein bottle structure, these exploration ships and detectors have undergone simple modifications. They are driven by the most primitive antimatter engines. Driven by the antimatter engine, the leading probe ship successfully arrived near the sphere. The tension within the Central Research Institute also reached its highest point. Keep moving forward. The front half of the detection ship disappeared out of thin air in front of the academicians. Keep moving forward. The first detection ship was completely submerged into the sphere. Liu Yongchang subconsciously held his breath. Success or failure depends on this. Tachyon signal is normal. Switching the observation screen of number one probe ship. The moment the electronic synthesizer sounded, there was a burst of warm cheers in the institute. Succeeded. Liu Yongchang breathed a long sigh of relief with a faint smile on his face. Just as the academicians were celebrating, a brand new huge holographic projection appeared in front of the institute. The cheers gradually subsided, and the academicians turned their attention to this observation picture from the number one probe ship. Dark. This is everyone's first impression. It was an extremely dark area. No starlight. Liu Yongchang discovered the blind spot and frowned immediately. Deep doubts arose in his heart. In this huge universe, are there any places where starlight cannot be seen? What the H? L does this Klein bottle lead to? Facing the unknown, Liu Yongchan couldn't help but feel a touch of fear while being curious. The entrance and exit of the Klein bottle are actually artificial regulations. 
and there is no so-called directionality. This also explains why the entrance to the Klein bottle is completely dark the area it leads to has no light source at all. In the picture, the high power light source equipped by the detection ship is the only light source in this area. But for this dark and scary space, this light source is obviously too weak. It shot straight ahead, but was quickly swallowed up by endless darkness. A feeling of exile and loneliness arises spontaneously. For some reason, a thought suddenly appeared in Liu Yongcheng's mind, and he murmured to himself, It's like the universe has come to an end. The end of the universe is not necessarily a new Big Bang. Heat death is likely the ultimate fate of the universe. According to the second law of thermodynamics, as an isolated system, the entropy of the universe will increase with time. From order to disorder, when the entropy of the universe reaches its maximum value, other effective energy in the universe has already all converted into heat energy. There is no natural luminous object in the universe that is completely heat dead. Even the black holes have completely evaporated, leaving only a large amount of dark matter dispersed in space. If someone lived in such a universe, there is no doubt that he would be a true outcast from the world. This situation did not last long. After a few seconds, a powerful beam of light came from behind and hit the first detection ship. It was the high-power searchlight from the second detection ship. The diffusely reflected beam slightly illuminates the space around the probe ship. Not only that, the third ship, the fourth ship, those exploration ships that have not yet entered the Klein bottle entrance all turned on their high-power searchlights under Zero's control. These beams of light shoot straight towards the entrance of the Klein bottle. The perspective in the holographic projection automatically turns to behind the detection ship. It is a spherical structure similar to the entrance of a Klein bottle. Apparently, this is the exit from the Klein bottle. Compared with the entrance, the spherical structure in front of us looks extremely bright and bright. It is like a rising star. A large amount of light entering from the entrance is scattered from this spherical structure, completely illuminating the surrounding space the extremely powerful light scattered around at the speed of light. This dark space finally became a little brighter, but in the infinite distance, it was still as dark as ever. Looking at the scene in the holographic projection, the confusion in Li Yongcheng's mind only increased. What the H, L is this place? He suppressed the uneasiness in his heart and issued the detection order. The number one detection ship took the lead and sailed forward. The gamma rays ejected by the antimatter engine scatter in all directions, bringing some, life to this peaceful space. Time passes minute by minute. Suddenly, along with a slight siren sound, a familiar technological creature appeared in the originally unchanged holographic image. The appearance of the technological creation has been greatly distorted, and the internal devices have completely stopped working. Around it, there are also a large number of debris of different sizes suspended. Through the somewhat distorted serial number on its hull, Lu Yongchang still recognized it. Exploration Ship Number 129C the previous inference was correct. The twisted Klein bottle entrance destroyed the detection ship that accidentally entered it. The probe ship continued to move forward. The second wreckage soon appeared in front of the academicians. That is the exploration ship number 1531C. The detection ship did not stop and continued to move forward according to Lu Yongchang's order. Ahead, there was still darkness. As the exploration ship continued to move forward, the piercing siren sounded again. Crash warning. Looking at the text in the projection. Lu Yongchang couldn't help but be stunned. Impact? Where did the obstruction come from? The warning message automatically expands. It was a warning message from the number 2 probe ship following the number 1 probe ship. The holographic screen switches quickly. The relative position of each detection ship was presented in front of Lu Yongchang. Hack! When he saw the information on the screen, Lu Yongchang subconsciously cursed. How is this possible? The antimatter engine continues to work at standard power. But the distance between the number one probe ship and the number two probe ship is constantly shortening. No, that's not right. Probe number one is not moving forward at all. It's like it has encountered an invisible wall. No matter how much it increases the engine power, it can't move even half a step forward. As for the number two detector, it soon arrived at the location of the number one detector. Likewise, it also encountered the invisible wall. Immediately afterwards, probe ships number three and four and spherical detectors number 1 and 2. The same reports came from these detectors and detection ships heading in different directions. This is a confined space. Looking at the endless darkness ahead, Lu Yongchang suddenly heard a technology that the fortress mastermind, Tin, once mentioned in his mind. This is... Little Universe? Chapter 836 A small universe with a diameter of one light year. The captured stars can be put into the civilized microcosm and extracted 
and used by the stellar energy extraction device. These are the exact words of the fortress mastermind, 10. It can be seen from this sentence that the seventh level civilization, the 10th empire, at least has a small universe of its own. At first, when he learned the news, Lu Yongchang found it difficult to imagine such a scene. What kind of technology should a civilization master to create a small universe? Yes, create Lu Yongchang, who is still in a fifth level civilization and has only a preliminary understanding of the theory of space and time. Once believed that this so-called small universe was created directly out of thin air using technology such as the Big Bang. This caused a great shock to Lu Yongchang at the time. Of course, only at that time, as human civilization gradually deepens its understanding of time and space. Lu Yongchang had a vague guess about the small universe. Due to the lack of observational and experimental data, it can only remain at the level of conjecture. Until today, he looked at the dim space without any starlight in the holographic projection. And inspiration kept pouring out of his quantum brain through various data returned by the detection ship and detector. He continued to confirm his original conjecture about the small universe. Wrong guesses are eliminated and correct conclusions are retained. At some point, a blue holographic projection unfolded in front of him. The projection is filled with formulas and models based on the theory of space and time. At this moment, in addition to the holographic projection filled with formulas in front of him, Lu Yongcheng's eyes only saw the rapidly flashing detection data. The command work was temporarily taken over by Fang Su. Under Fang Su's order, Zero began to control a large number of detection ships and detectors to conduct comprehensive exploration of this suspected small universe. First, humans need to figure out its boundaries. In other words, just how big it is. Time passes slowly. There were layers of holographic projections in front of Lu Yongcheng, and the continuous calculations made Lu Yongcheng's face show a hint of fatigue. But his eyes became brighter and brighter. The original doubts and haze are slowly disappearing bit by bit. At the same time, Zero's exploration of the small universe is gradually coming to an end. The simple model of the small universe was gradually improved and was projected into the holographic projection. This is a standard spherical space. It is approximately one light year in diameter. Not too big. It is even smaller than the solar system with the Oort cloud as the boundary of the solar system. Its radius is almost one light year. But even so, this small universe still made the faces of the academicians present show expressions of joy and excitement. The biggest difficulty in a cross-river expedition is actually the problem of material reserves. Antimatter fuel is nothing. The biggest ones are actually maintenance supplies and starship replacement parts. During the long journey of 5,000 years, various parts in the starship will inevitably be damaged. Although the engineering ship can perform all-round repairs on the damaged starship in real time, it requires resources after all within the river system. These resources are not a big deal. For level 6 civilizations, they can obtain needed supplies by traveling to the nearest star system using the curvature engine. But if it is between river systems, this is completely different. It was an area of extremely thin material. It was a near-extreme vacuum. And the density of matter was even measured in terms of the number of atoms per unit space. Even the so-called galaxy bridge is just a small road with a relatively higher material density. It is not comparable to the material density in the river system at all. For 7th level civilizations that have mastered the technology of mutual conversion of matter and energy, the neutral hydrogen bridge is a perfect channel they can directly spend a long time collecting these hydrogen atoms, convert them into pure energy, and then convert them into pure energy. Energy is converted into needed substances. But for human civilization that is still at level 6, the neutral hydrogen bridge is just the icing on the cake for the refueling area. It cannot provide anything other than hydrogen. Therefore, the biggest problem facing human civilization has emerged. In addition to fuel, the fleet also needs to carry enough various supplies. But the more supplies it carries, the more fuel is consumed and the larger the fleet is required. The larger the fleet, the more various spare supplies and parts it needs to carry. And the fuel consumption is also low. Forward circulation belongs to yes. Relying on Zero's huge computing power, the Academy of Sciences once conducted a comprehensive simulation of the entire route and found a relatively suitable navigation plan. According to that plan, when the human fleet left the galaxy, it was a huge fleet with more than 20,000 starships. By the time it reaches the Andromeda galaxy, the fleet will be reduced to more than 3,000 ships. This is a horrific drop. What? Where have all those starships gone? After the materials loaded inside are consumed, the starships themselves will also be dismantled and used. They have never disappeared. They just accompany human civilization in a different way. 
It is precisely for this reason that at the moment when they learned about the diameter of this small universe, an idea came to all the academicians' minds. How much material can be contained in a small universe with a diameter of one light year? If you can take this small universe with you on an expedition, then does human civilization still need to worry about insufficient supplies during the expedition? What? Low on fuel? Directly learn from the home star fortress left by the 10th Empire and plug two stars into it. Insufficient supplies? Now that we have stars, it's normal to add a few planets. Right? As for the fleet, just park the fleet in this small universe and wait until it reaches its destination before releasing it. Zero loss in the true sense. In other words, now that we have stars and planets, it is normal for me to build some more starship factories. Right? We already have factories. So building a few more research institutes is a reasonable request. Right? During the long journey across the river system, humans could even develop silently in this small universe for 5,000 years. Start with a small universe. Survive until you reach the ninth level of civilization and then come out. Of course, the above are all imaginary pictures in the minds of academicians. The ideal is beautiful, but the reality is cruel. Today's human civilization currently has almost zero knowledge of this small universe. The reason for the appearance, whether it is stable and how to move, it can be said that he knows nothing, not to mention taking the small universe on an expedition. It doesn't even have the ability to carry stars into the small universe. Of course, the cruel reality did not hit these academicians. On the contrary, when they learned about the size of the small universe, their scientific research enthusiasm instantly increased. Let me ask, who can resist the temptation of carrying a small universe with them and developing technology? Chapter 837 The Escaped Small Universe After the initial emotion, the academicians devoted their energy to data analysis and organization. Same as always. Zero is responsible for the preliminary screening process. And the academicians are responsible for the secondary processing. As for Lu Yongchang, based on these process data, he confirmed step by step the small universe model he had just established based on space-time theory. After an unknown amount of time, Lu Yongchang quietly stopped writing in the holographic projection. He breathed a long sigh of relief. Although it was just a small gesture, it attracted the attention and eyes of almost all academicians. There was a strong sense of fatigue throughout his body, but his brain is extremely excited, and he even has the urge to continue to study and improve the new theory in front of him. This powerful sense of fragmentation made Lu Yongchang's turning movements seem a bit unnatural. It's a pity that the transformation of the body in the technology tree system is still not in place. Lu Yongchang shook his head with regret and leaned his overworked body on the experimental table nearby. Everyone, a large amount of detection data has shown that this is a spherical enclosed space with a diameter of one light year. Lu Yongchang spoke quietly. But the academicians present stopped what they were doing and looked at Lu Yongchang and the holographic projections behind him filled with formulas. Referring to a technology mentioned in 10. Let's call this spherical enclosed space a small universe. No one should have any objection to this. Right? Lu Yongchang scanned the crowd and saw that no one had objections. He raised his hand and made a gesture projecting the contents of the holographic projection behind him into the huge holographic projection in front of the Institute. I tried to use existing space-time theory to explain this small universe. Unfortunately, it failed. Considering that small universe technology is the technology of a seventh-level civilization, I tried to explain it using the imperfect four-dimensional space-time theory. Lu Yongchang took a deep breath. His eyes flashed, and his voice became louder. This time, I succeeded. Since the four-dimensional space-time theory is not perfect, I cannot explain why it appears here, but I can explain some of its anomalies. Under the astonished gazes of the academicians, he began to explain his findings in detail. Space-time, or the existing space-time, is five-dimensional. One of the dimensions is time, and four are space. Human beings live on the surface of the one-plus-three-dimensional hyperspace membrane of this five-dimensional space-time. To be more precise, the so-called universe is just a small bubble on this hyperspace membrane. And humans are insignificant creatures living in this bubble. This bubble is not stable, and new tiny bubbles can appear on its surface. These tiny bubbles are the so-called microcosms. Under normal circumstances, the newly born small cosmic bubble exists attached to the large cosmic bubble. In other words, there is actually a certain area of overlap between the two. This overlapping area is the naturally formed Klein bottle structure and the entrance to the small universe. Under the influence of external forces, the large and small universes began to gradually separate. 
after breaking away from the traction force of the big universe. Without the guidance of external forces, those bubbles representing the small universe will inevitably drift away and get lost in the vast five-dimensional space and time. Perhaps one day, they can successfully land on this hyperspace membrane. Perhaps one day, they can merge with other small bubbles to form a larger universe. Or perhaps, life will appear in this later formed universe. These are not within the scope of Li Yongchang's consideration. All he needs to pay attention to is this mini-universe in front of him. The war between the sweepers and the pastoralists gave birth to the birth of this small universe bubble, and the aftermath of the turmoil in space and time caused by the war caused it to break away from the constraints of the larger universe. At this moment, this small universe has completely broken away from the shackles of the big universe and is ready to float into the vast five-dimensional space and time. Because of this, human civilization did not discover this small universe structure at first. Even if the space-time sea surface bulged, it would only discover the so-called Klein bottle structure. This is actually easy to understand. To use an analogy, on the surface of the water, a small bubble floated. Suddenly, the bubble broke away from the water and floated away into the sky. How can creatures living on the water enter this bubble at this time? It's very simple. Just raise the water surface. Or in other words, raise the waves high enough so that the water surface comes into contact with the bubble again and high enough that the two overlap again. A large number of formulas and models impact the slightly fragile nerves of the academicians. Although Lu Yongchang had slowed down his explanation as much as possible, the first-level academicians present were still confused. Only a few top-notch academicians barely kept up with Lu Yongchang's ideas. This is also normal. For creatures living in one plus three-dimensional space and time, it is difficult to break the constraints of thinking and imagine the phenomena that occur in the vast one plus four-dimensional space and time. Fortunately, these academicians are all the top beings in human civilization. At the same time, they have been immersed in the research of space-time theory and high-dimensional space-time theory for a long time. And they already have a somewhat superficial understanding of high-dimensional space-time. Although they still have a lot of confusion about the new theory proposed by Lu Yongchang. This does not prevent them from trying to understand a problem. That is the specific situation of this small universe at this moment. Yongchang! Do you mean that this small universe has completely broken away from the constraints of the big universe? Fong Su couldn't sit still. And he stood up from the chair suddenly. This, is there any way to drag it back to the big universe? A small universe with a diameter of one light year. If we can use it, we'll be of great help to our next expedition plan. Lu Yongchang nodded calmly and added. It's not just that. Theoretically, this naturally occurring Klein bottle structure will completely disappear soon. Ah? Fong Su looked at Lu Yongchang blankly, looking at the indifferent smile on Lu Yongchang's face. Fong Su's eyes turned red. It's already this time. How can you still laugh? Little universe. This is a small universe. In case it really escapes. Seeing Fong Su's expression becoming more and more anxious, Lu Yongchang, who had whetted his appetite, waved his hand cheerfully. Calm down. The Klein bottle structure of the small universe is still relatively intact which means that it should have just left the large universe. Just imagine, under the influence of the aftermath of the war between the sweepers and the pastoralists, it took nearly 2,000 years for it to completely separate from the greater universe. Although the escape speed of the small universe will gradually increase, but, theoretically, we still have at least 500 years to study corresponding countermeasures. Chapter 838, Kwafu. Also, the smile on Li Yongcheng's face became even brighter. It is actually a good thing for human civilization that the small universe is completely freed from the shackles of the big universe. Why do you say that? Lin Yongyan frowned on the side. He couldn't understand the logic. The small universe and the large universe are close to each other. Isn't it easier for us to enter them? Lu Yongchan shrugged and asked Lin Yongyan directly. What about the enemy? Lin Yongyan looked suffocated. The small universe and the large universe are close to each other and spontaneously form a Klein bottle structure. It is true that this is conducive to the entry of human civilization. But correspondingly, enemies can easily enter the small universe through these natural Klein bottle structures. This is obviously not the safe zone exclusively for humans that human civilization wants. On the contrary, it will even be a cage built by humans themselves. Only by pushing the small universe away from the large universe and letting it wander in the large universe can it be a safe enough area without knowing the four-dimensional coordinates of the small universe. It is difficult for the enemy to attack it. I have reason to suspect that the real small universe manufacturing technology requires not only creating a small bubble on the hyperspace membrane, 
but also completely pushing the bubble away from the hyperspace membrane. Then, use some unknown method to pull the bubble free outside the hyperspace membrane. Liu Yongcheng's eyes flashed and he said, So, our first priority now is to find a way to pull the small universe. On the way to carry out the detection mission, the detection ship accidentally picked up a wild, small universe with a diameter of one light year. This news not only detonated the entire Academy of Sciences, but also significantly changed the expedition plan originally formulated by the Academy of Sciences. The material collection work that was more than half progressed was urgently stopped. Why? Naturally, I found a better choice. Earth calendar year 4405. After three years of research, under the leadership of Li Yongchang, the Space-Time Research Center took the lead in proposing a small universe traction plan. As the only force that can transcend the hyperspace membrane, gravity is naturally the best solution for pulling this small universe. When the plan was first proposed, it was met with a lot of skepticism. After all, the pulling object is a universe. Although this universe is very small, only one light year in diameter, this still does not change the fact that it is a universe. From a common sense point of view, its mass is extremely huge, and the gravitational strength required to pull it is probably also a terrifying value. However, subsequent research found that the real situation was very different from the imagination. There is also a gravitational interaction between the macrocosm and the microcosm. However, driven by the aftermath of the war, there was a brief imbalance between the two. In this case, human civilization actually only needs to provide a small guiding force to restore balance between the large and small universes. That is to terminate its escape behavior. Then, this gravitational force will be like pulling the string of a kite, dragging the small universe to sail outside the big universe. It sounds easy, but it is. The strength of this, small, gravity is still twice as strong as the strongest gravity source that humans can currently create. In order to make this kite string with sufficient strength, the Academy of Sciences spent 10 years. It was not until the year 4415 of the Earth's calendar that the Academy of Sciences successfully solved this problem. Through the study of natural Klein bottles and the small universe itself, the theory of high-dimensional space-time has been greatly improved. At this moment, human civilization has half-stepped into the realm of 7th level civilization. At this time, using level 6 civilization to describe human beings is no longer appropriate. A more accurate statement should be quasi-7th level civilization. The paths of scientific research are mostly the same. A breakthrough in one theory often leads to the advancement of other theories. Under the guidance of high-dimensional space-time theory, all aspects of science and technology in human civilization have made great progress. In particular, another breakthrough in the grand unified field generating device has made the creation of gravity kite string from theory to reality. Earth calendar year 4418. Within the dead star field, 1,800 light years away from the Kepler 452 star system, the engineering ship and a large number of robots are completing the construction of the last module under Zero's control. A little further away, there are Tau Tai, material reserve ships loaded with supplies. In order to save time, the manufacturing work of the traction device was placed directly in this dead star field. This is a brand new megastructure project, the Small Universe Traction Platform. Kwafu. The device has a ring-shaped structure, like an enlarged version of a ring-shaped scientific research project. As a giant construction project, Kwafu, as size will naturally not be too small. The outer diameter is 15,000 kilometers, and the inner diameter is 10,000 kilometers. To some extent, its structure and shape are a bit like a star ring structure tailor-made for a planetary fortress. Inside Kwafu, in addition to the latest model of planet-level curvature engine and antimatter reactor, only the ultra-large unified field generating device is left. According to calculations by the Academy of Sciences, these grand unified field generating devices can generate a gravitational field powerful enough to be emitted in a directional manner. This powerful gravitational force will turn into a kite string across dimensions, tightly binding the escaping small universe to the big universe. At the same time, the movement of Kwafu can also drive the movement of the small universe. Academy of Sciences, Central Research Institute. As before, Liu Yongchang still stood directly in front of the console looking up at the various complicated data in the holographic projection. The small universe traction platform, Kwafu, is about to usher in its first trial operation experiment, the small universe capture experiment. Hopefully, this will also be the last trial run experiment. Liu Yongchan thought silently in his heart. Once the experiment is successful, Kwafu will not shut down easily. 
He needs to continue to operate to maintain the existence of this gravitational kite string that captures the small universe. So as to prevent this hard one small universe from escaping again. Energy reserve. Status is normal. The grand unified field generating device is in normal condition. The self-examination has been completed and Kwafu is on standby. Electronically synthesized sounds came from the speakers. Lu Yongchang's eyes flashed. He retracted his somewhat messy thoughts and issued the order without hesitation. Kwafu, activate at full power. The first small universe capture experiment starts now. Chapter 839 Successful Capture The large-scale antimatter reactor began to operate under Lu Yongchang's order. The majestic energy flows along the energy path towards the grand unified field generating device arranged in a certain order. Buzz. A silent vibration came from Kwafu S. Hull and was eventually transmitted to the surrounding space and time. In the area directly above Kwafu, one of the most powerful man-made gravity sources in the history of human civilization is gradually emerging. Gravity penetrated the one plus three dimensional hyperspace membrane and quickly extended outside the membrane. One plus four dimensional space time. It was a bizarre world. A huge hyperspace membrane extends infinitely in the vast space and time. The camera gradually zooms in. On one side of this hyperspace membrane, there are large or small vacuole-like structures attached. No, not just on the hyperspace brain. Even outside the membrane, there are a large number of small vacuole structures. The camera continued to zoom in and positioned itself on a large cavitation structure on the hyperspace membrane. This is a very large vacuole much larger than the surrounding vacuoles. Surrounding this super large vacuole, there are a large number of free small vacuoles. Among them, there is a thread constructed by gravity between some free small vacuole structures and the large vacuole structure. This gravitational thread is the only link that maintains the two large and small vacuole structures. The distance between the threads varies from near to far, and the size of the small cavitations varies from large to small. The camera continues to zoom in. In an inconspicuous corner of this super large bubble, a thread formed by gravity is spreading at the speed of light. In the bottom area of the super large cavitation bubble, which is inside the hyperspace membrane, an unknown existence slowly opened its eyes. He noticed this new kite string. His eyes looked along the direction of the kite string. What a small kite! He sighed subconsciously in his heart. At the same time, he also noticed a problem. This miniature kite was slowly escaping at the current escape speed. It won't take long for this miniature, Kite, to completely disappear from his sight. He didn't care. He has seen this kind of scene many times. Once upon a time, he had seen hundreds of millions of kites of different sizes scrambling to escape from the large cavitation structure. He yawned and continued to cast his gaze on the slowly extending gravitational thread. Under his gaze, this silk thread accurately locked onto the miniature, Kite. It worked. Nice technique. He praised him calmly and casually. The miniature, Kite, sank slightly and stopped escaping. Looking at the scene in front of him, he couldn't help but sigh in his heart. So small and so close. This is the smallest, Kite, he has ever seen. And it is also the Kite, closest to the large cavitation bubble he has ever seen. That's normal. The longer the Kite string is, the larger the Kite will be. This is the most basic rule. He turned his gaze and looked toward infinity. Over there. There are countless large and small vacuole structures. Compared with those empty bubbles, the empty bubble he was in was actually not that big. There was a hint of longing in his eyes. So envious. But, there's no point in being envious. Like those small vacuoles, he also depends on this big vacuole for existence. Although he lives inside the hyperspace membrane, he cannot break free from the constraints of the large void. In other words, he cannot leave this area. He slowly closed his eyes, and listened quietly to the various chaotic sounds coming from the big bubble. Death Star Realm. A looming spherical structure appeared directly above Kwafu. The spherical structure is small. Only a hundred kilometers long. That is the entrance to the small universe that has not completely disappeared. And it is also a trace of the close connection between the small universe and the big universe. 1,800 light years away. Inside the Central Research Institute of the Chinese Academy of Sciences. A burst of applause erupted like a roaring tsunami. Successfully captured, Lu Yongchang exhaled slightly, and his tense body relaxed a little. With a faint smile in his eyes, he stared at the data gradually stabilizing in the holographic projection. Today, human civilization finally has a small world of its own. The applause gradually died down. Lu Yongchang gave the second order in a slightly brisk voice. 
The dragging experiment of the small universe begins now. Small universe drag experiment. As the name suggests, it uses the movement of Quafu to drag the small universe that is outside the big universe to move. This is a necessary technology for carrying small universes on interstellar voyages. With the support of high-dimensional space-time theory, the difficulty of this technology is not too high. The small universe drag experiment officially begins. Quafu maintained the original gravitational field strength and at the same time activated the specially modified curvature engine in order to prevent space-time fluctuations from affecting the small universe. The curvature bubble wrapped the looming Klein bottle and trance and Quafu together. Then, driven by the curvature engine, Quafu began to move forward slowly. 0.01c, 0.1c, 0.5c. Quafu, as forward speed continued to increase, and the atmosphere in the research center also changed from cheerful to solemn. All the academicians were staring intently at the fluctuating data in front of them. For fear of any surprises. 1c, 1.01c. At the moment it exceeded the speed of light. The huge Quafu disappeared into the visible universe. Seeing that the data of the small universe was still stable, Liu Yongchan put down his high heart and gave the order to continue accelerating. The breakthrough in basic theory allowed the curvature speed to break through the limit of level 6 civilization. Theoretically, the starship's maximum flight speed can be close to 2000 c. Quafu is limited by its size and mass, and its maximum sailing speed is 800 c. This is also the final test target of this experiment the small universe, with too slow speed, is actually not of much help to the expedition plan of human civilization. In the holographic projection, Quafu, S speed is constantly increasing. 100 C, 500 C, 800 C. The data is still stable. The gravity cast, kite string, has withstood the test. Looking at the still stable and looming sphere wrapped in the curvature bubble, Liu Yongchang relaxed his body and sat back on the chair behind him. The success rate of the expedition plan has improved a lot. Chapter 840 Star Capture Plan Earth Calendar Year 4460 The territory of the Panhuman Federation is 29.7 light years away from the Kepler 452 star system. It is a single star star system whose main star is a small red dwarf star. It is said to be a star system. But in fact, except for some small celestial bodies such as asteroids, there is no planet at all in the entire star system. He can be called a loner. There are actually many such galaxies in the universe. Normally, these star systems are not visited by civilizations. Just like it. Although it is located near the Kepler 452 star system and can be regarded as the capital area of the Panhuman Federation, no battleship has ever entered its stellar wind range for thousands of years. Even due to its small size, the People's Federation of Giant Structure Engineering Department skipped it when laying the Dyson Sphere. But on this day, the arrival of a fleet broke the original tranquility of this star system. It was a huge fleet composed entirely of giant structures. More than 500 star reachers. And one, Quafu. Academia Seneca. Central Research Institute. An academician was looking at the picture in the holographic projection with excitement and anxiety. In the picture, it is the red dwarf star surrounded by hundreds of giant structures. This is the People's Federation's first star capture experiment. Previously, the Academy of Sciences worked together with Star Reacher and Quafu to stuff more than a hundred planets of different sizes into the small universe. The entrance to the Klein bottle doesn't look very big, just over a hundred kilometers away. But that is, after all, the projection of a four-dimensional structure into a three-dimensional space. The sheer size of its true structure cannot be observed with the naked eye. According to the calculations of the Academy of Sciences, not to mention stars, even stars can be easily swallowed. Normally, the star, selected, for a valuable seat in the small universe should at least be a G-type yellow dwarf. A small man like Red Dwarf cannot yet catch the eye of the Academy of Sciences. But this is the first time a star capture experiment has been carried out. To be on the safe side, the Academy of Sciences specifically chose the smallest Red Dwarf star. Of course, after the capture is successful, it will be thrown back to its original position there is no way. The space in the small universe is too tight. According to the plan of the Academy of Sciences, at least five medium-sized stars with a mass greater than or equal to the sun need to be crammed into the small universe. In other words, in a one light year area, a total of five medium-sized stars and more than a hundred planets of varying sizes must be packed. This density of matter is such that when you come to the center of the Milky Way, you have to call out, Big Brother, can you imagine a five-star system that operates stably? Can you imagine dozens of planets orbiting the same planet? 
yes, in the crazy plan proposed by the Academy of Sciences. These more than 100 celestial bodies will form a stable five-star system under human intervention. At the same time, the more than 100 stars will also orbit these stars smoothly. The proposer of the plan. There is no doubt that it is Academician Yevgeny. That makes sense, doesn't it? In the holographic screen, huge structures, star reachers, flew towards the selected red dwarf star. This is the latest technology from the Academy of Sciences. Through the mutual cooperation of star reachers, it is enough to transport most small and medium-sized stars. Human civilization has finally realized the request to move stars that was originally proposed by 10. More than 500 star reachers unfolded their structures under Zero's control and were connected to each other through the Grand Unified Field. Star Reacher power gradually increases. This red dwarf star with a reddish-brown surface gradually began to waver. At the same time, Kwafu also started running at full power. After reinforcement and modification by the Academy of Sciences, the structure of the Klein bottle gradually became clear. Gradually, it turned into a standard sphere with dots of light on its surface. That is the bright light produced by various large-scale man-made facilities in the small universe. Under Zero's precise control, Kwafu and Star Reachers walked toward each other. When the spherical structure symbolizing the entrance to the Klein bottle came into contact with the Red Dwarf Star, a magical phenomenon occurred. The Red Dwarf Star, which is a standard sphere, is severely distorted at this moment. As the two continue to get closer, the size of the Red Dwarf Star also begins to shrink at a speed visible to the naked eye. More than 10 minutes later, this red dwarf star completely disappeared into the vast universe. And the spherical structure, which was originally mostly black, is now emitting a faint reddish-brown light that is the light of the red dwarf star from the small universe. Successfully captured the target star! A calm electronic synthesizer sounded. Release experiments are in progress. After the words fell, Kwafu changed the sailing direction and slowly retreated. Not only Kwafu, but the star pickers, located in the small universe also dragged the stars back in the opposite direction. Another extremely distorted picture. A reddish-brown planet grew from small to large, from distorted to normal, and finally reappeared in the universe. Successfully released the target star. Kwafu is in normal condition. Star Reacher is in normal condition. The target star is in normal condition. The experiment was successful. Looking at the red dwarf star in the holographic projection that was still slowly releasing light and heat, Lu Yongchang stood up from his chair while applauding. Start the star capture program immediately. Correct. He seemed to have thought of something. Turned around and said, First send these star reachers to the Imperial Fortress. Find a star from its vicinity and bring it there. It's time for the deal we agreed to come to an end. Roger. The moment the electronic synthesizer sounded, more than 500 star reachers left the vicinity of the red dwarf star one after another, forming a neat queue and sailing into deep space. Chapter 841, question mark. 20 years later. Earth calendar year 4480. Following a wave of space-time fluctuations, a starship appeared in the sparse nebula material. In the center of the nebula is a small, bright white star point with a faint light. That's a neutron star. It rotates at an astonishing speed and accurately emits electromagnetic pulses at the same time intervals to the surroundings. These electromagnetic pulses are like a broom, sweeping rapidly through this purple-red nebula. The medium-sized starship, which was not that big, quickly determined its target deep in the purple-red nebula, a giant planet whose surface was covered with thick armor. The giant planet silently moves in a regular circle around the neutron star. Powerful electromagnetic pulses sweep intermittently on its extremely smooth surface, like a breeze blowing over the hills, without causing any substantial impact on it. Tenth Empire. Mother Star Fortress. Under Zero's remote control. The starship slowly approached the planet fortress. When the starship successfully entered the synchronous orbit of the planet fortress, an electromagnetic wave message with a frequency of 1420 MHz was transmitted from inside the fortress. At the same time, not far from the starship, the huge crack across the surface of the fortress also emitted some faint orange light. The detection equipment then detected a strong unified field. The electromagnetic wave information from inside the fortress was quickly translated into human words by zero and presented on a huge holographic projection at the Central Research Institute of the People's Academy of Sciences more than a thousand light years away. Energet Civilization. The Empire Homestar Fortress welcomes you. Looking at the clear white text in the blue holographic projection, Lu Yongchang couldn't help but fall into silence. Hundreds of years have passed, and this incident has almost been forgotten. 
Human civilization has even opened a vest account at the Tenth Empire Fortress. He pondered for a moment and entered a line of information in response to Ten. My highest respect to you. The energy civilization came to fulfill the contract of the year. The 1420 MHz electromagnetic wave carried the compiled information and transmitted it to the Imperial Fortress ahead. At the same time, the medium sized starship slowly sailed towards the straight and neat big gap, which was the giant port entering the Imperial Fortress. After the starship was detected, the orange light in the fortress port became brighter and brighter. As the traction gradually increased, Zero also released control of the starship. Greeted by the orange light, the starship quickly fell into this huge planetary fortress like a sesame seed. It didn't take long for the starship to pass through the thick protective layer and enter the outer area of the planetary fortress. There is no difference from 700 years ago. It was still the thick fog. And it was still the huge empty cabin as if it had been ransacked by robbers. The side hatch of the starship opened, and a scientific research robot slowly walked out of it. At the same time, a clear projection appeared in the rich orange-yellow fog. It is a complex structure constructed of countless materialized light paths, perhaps as a courtesy from the Tenth Empire, or perhaps to show respect for the energy civilization. Tin projected his image in front of the scientific research robot. The scientific research robot slowly raised its head and looked up at the flickering optical brain structure. An electromagnetic wave communication came. Have you completed the collection and transportation of gas giant planets? In such a short period of time, the task of collecting and transporting 1,000 gas giant planets was completed. Article 17 of the Empire Supreme Act and Article 3 of the Silicon Alliance's Supreme Act. Those who engage in fraud and breach of contracts will face extremely severe punishments. Along with this information came two complete documents. Needless to say, the content of the document is naturally the so-called Empire Supreme Act and the Silicon Alliance Supreme Act. Obviously, Tin did not believe that the energy civilization could complete this arduous task in such a short period of time. Lu Yongchang, who was in the Kepler 452 star system, looked at the contents of the two bills and had some enlightenment in his heart. Most of the contents of the highest act of the empire are related to this civilization. The highest bill of the Silicon Alliance mainly targets other civilizations. From these two bills, we can see what kind of changes the Tenth Empire has experienced from fighting alone at the beginning to finally establishing the Silicon Alliance and becoming a powerful force. Under Liu Yongchang's order, the scientific research robot responded to Ten S words. No, we have not completed the collection and transportation of 1,000 gas giant planets. The orange-yellow light inside the fortress became visibly dim to the naked eye, coupled with a thick and constantly rolling fog. It created an inexplicable sense of oppression. After a brief silence, Tin quickly questioned and gave a suggestion. Then how are you going to fulfill the contract back then? The energy reserves of the Imperial Fortress can still last for a long time. And you can pay them back slowly. After a few seconds, the scientific research robot of human civilization sent a new message. We transported a G-type yellow dwarf star. This should also comply with the original contract requirements. Right? The dim lights inside the fortress suddenly brightened. And then returned to normal. The orange-yellow mist continued to billow, and an inexplicable atmosphere of silence fell into the Imperial Fortress. The light brain in the projection flickers on and off, and the flickering frequency of each materialized light path is much higher than before. Obviously, Ten is doing its best to analyze the meaning behind the words, energy civilization. After a long silence, it sent a brief message. Question mark. Kepler 452 star system. Inside the Central Research Institute looking at the big question mark in the holographic projection. The atmosphere in the institute became weird, visible to the naked eye. There was a hint of cheerful smile on the faces of all the scientific researchers. Ahem! Lu Yongchang coughed twice and suppressed the occasional chuckles in the institute. Normal. Normal situation. Don't forget. Human civilization at that time was only a fifth-level civilization. It's normal for it to have such doubts. Even though he said this, Lu Yongchan couldn't help but raise the corners of his mouth a little. Do you already have the technology to move stars? Ten questioned again. Also, the G-type yellow dwarf you mentioned. Where is it now? According to my preliminary detection, there are no yellow dwarfs moving towards the fortress within a thousand light years. Nor are there any gas giant planets moving towards the fortress. Obviously, Ten does not believe the words of energy civilization. Faced with such doubts, Lu Yongchang just glanced at the holographic projection on the side and confirmed the specific coordinates of Kwafu. Then, 
The coordinates were sent to the Fortress Mastermind 10, Chapter 842 Gravity Shield. Inside the Imperial Fortress, the flashing frequency of the optical brain increased again. 800 C? According to my investigation, the flying object should be a large-scale starship. Not the G-type yellow dwarf you mentioned. Energet civilization. I hope you can explain this. The orange light dimmed again. In this regard, Liu Yongcheng's response was simple. Please wait patiently for a while. A week later, the small universe traction platform, Kwafu, successfully arrived in the Imperial Fortress area. Kwafu, with an outer diameter of 15,000 kilometers, looks as many as a large bracelet in front of the huge Imperial Fortress. The moment Kwafu appeared, the orange light inside the Imperial Fortress dimmed a bit again. Obviously, Kwafu, who had not yet opened the entrance to the small universe, was regarded by Tin as an ordinary starship. Zero, open the entrance to the small universe. Before Tin could ask again, Lu Yongchan gave the order straightforwardly. Buzz, the majestic energy of the antimatter reactor rushes into the grand unified field generating device crazily. Kwafu, as output power is soaring at an alarming rate. At the same time, a spherical structure flashing with patchy light slowly emerged directly above Kwafu. Sudden changes occur. Inside the Imperial Fortress, the original orange light instantly turned into a pale white. At the same time, the brightness of the light also increased several times and flickered at a strange frequency. Warn! Unknown Klein bottle structure discovered. Preliminary judgment is that it is the entrance to an unknown small universe. Suspected to be a creation of an unknown 7th level civilization. The distance is too close. The defense system is being activated. Dense electromagnetic waves echoed inside the fortress. For individuals of the 10th Empire, who used electromagnetic waves as a means of communication. This was actually similar to the warning message sent by Zero. Lu Yongchang was startled when he saw the alert flashing across the screen in front of him. Especially when he saw the smooth surface of the fortress slowly crack open and revealed an absurdly large turret. He suddenly felt his scalp tingling. Damn it. It's too big. He hurriedly asked Kwafu to send identification information to the Imperial Fortress and revealed his identity as small universe traction platform affiliated with Energet Civilization. After the identification information is sent, the pale white light flashing inside the fortress paused visibly to the naked eye and then quickly switched to the original warm orange light. At this moment, the optical brain in the projection is flashing at a frequency that humans have never seen before. Lu Yongchang frowned slightly. Looking at the picture in the holographic projection, an idea came to his mind. This is the mastermind of the fortress. It shouldn't crash. Right? One minute. Two minutes. Finally, the frequency of the flashing light of the fortress master brain began to gradually slow down. And Tin also sent out electromagnetic wave information again. Energet civilization. Have you mastered small universe technology? Luck. Just luck. Not worth mentioning. Lu Yongchang responded. Tin, colon. Six. After a brief silence, Tin chose to skip the topic. Civilization information is being updated. Level 7 silicon based civilization. Energet civilization. Development potential, unable to assess. History of civilization. This civilization passed the assessment 700 years ago and applied to join the Silicon Alliance. The Empire is requested to approve it as soon as possible. Wide Area Tachyon Broadcast is starting. The information has been encrypted and the Wide Area Tachyon Broadcast has been successfully started. Estimated broadcast frequency, 1 billion times. Broadcast begins. Looking at the information that flashed across the screen again, Lu Yongchan couldn't help but froze on the spot. His. He took a deep breath. His eyes widened suddenly, and he could not utter a single word from his slightly open mouth. 6. Not a big problem. What does, Energet Civilization, do have anything to do with me as a human being? Lu Yongchan could only comfort himself in his heart. Sure enough, vests and trumpets are essential when going out. At this moment, he deeply realized this truth. Ten, who completed the wide area tachyon broadcast, sent the corresponding docking program to the Energet Civilization, as if nothing was wrong. Simply put, since some functions of the Imperial Fortress are missing and the small universe cannot be moved, human civilization needs to release the G-type yellow dwarf star in a designated area. Then, Ten opens the small universe of the Tenth Empire and swallows the G-type yellow dwarf star into the small universe. Practice makes perfect. For today's human civilization. Operating, Kwafu, 
to release and swallow stars has become an extremely simple operation. Zero's controllability makes the cooperation between Quafu and Star Reacher extremely coordinated. In just over 10 minutes, a warm light from a G-type yellow dwarf star appeared in the originally dim star field. This light continued to intensify and slowly expanded into a huge fireball. The fireball burned blazingly in the dim universe, showing its full energy to the surroundings. This should have been a commonplace thing. But Lu Yongchang stood up from his chair with a look of surprise. What? What's going on? Not only Lu Yongchang, but everyone in the research center also let out horrified cries. No gravity. The moment this yellow dwarf star appeared in the universe, its originally strong gravity disappeared instantly like an extinguished flame. It hovered quietly near the Imperial Fortress. The closest distance between the two celestial bodies is even less than 10 million kilometers. But there was no disturbance between the two. Such a miraculous phenomenon immediately caused a gasp of air in the Institute. In order to maintain the character of the Enrigid civilization, Lu Yongchan did not ask Tin, but made simple speculations based on various observation data. Gravity shielding? Lu Yongchan murmured in a low voice. An abnormal space-time structure appeared near the star which shielded the star's gravity. He quickly thought of the application side of this technology the small universe. If the gravitational effect between stars is not considered, the materials contained in the small universe will increase geometrically. Various high-precision detectors on Quafu and Star Reacher began to operate at full power, under Zero's control. They are working hard to record all the anomalies in this space and time. Human civilization does not have a long observation time. After a few seconds, a spherical structure with flashing light spots on its surface slowly emerged, swallowing the yellow dwarf star easily and quickly. Compared with the small universe picked up by human civilization, the entrance to the small universe opened by the Empire Fortress is obviously several times larger. Even if projected in three-dimensional space, the entrance size of this small universe exceeds 100 million kilometers, let alone its true size in four-dimensional space. It's hard to imagine what a huge little universe this is. Chapter 843 Amazing Move Yellow dwarfs glowing with warm light slowly appeared in this universe, and then disappeared into this universe at extremely fast speeds. The rapid appearance and disappearance of such a behemoth did not have any impact on this space, not to mention the nearby starships and imperial fortresses. Even the interstellar dust still stayed in its original position without any change. Such a magical scene plunged the People's Federation Central Research Institute, more than 1,000 light years away, into an atmosphere of deathly silence. Lu Yongchan swallowed. His Adam's apple moved up and down slightly. And he sighed in a difficult tone. This, is this the strength of a seventh level civilization? The answer is yes. Even though human civilization already possesses some technologies that exceed the sixth level civilization, it is still shocked by the technology displayed casually by the Imperial Fortress. It is also a small universe technology. And the gap between the two is too large to be accepted. The contract is completed. Energet civilization. Thank you for your help to the Empire. 10. The message sent interrupted Lu Yongchang's thoughts. He looked at the calm universe in the holographic projection and the interior space of the fortress glowing with orange light and remembered his other purpose. Lu Yongchang moved his fingers slightly and controlled the scientific research robot to send a complex message to 10. The information contained part of the expedition plan of human civilization and marked the specific time when the expedition would begin. 70 years later, that is, in the year 4550 of the Earth calendar, the human fleet will officially set off from the Kepler 452 star system and launch an expedition to the distant Andromeda galaxy. There are two main reasons for telling Tin this plan. The first and most important reason. Lu Yongchan hopes to take this opportunity to conduct some equal transactions with Tin again. The development of Tin descendants and the normal operation of the Imperial Fortress require a large amount of materials. Human civilization is about to leave the Milky Way but the Imperial Fortress can only stay in this remote place with no ability to act externally. As for waiting for the next, destined, civilization, the next discovery of the civilized nature of the Imperial Fortress is a complete unknown. Mr. Mastermind of the Fortress, you probably don't want to see, ten descendants, fall into a life-and-death crisis one day in the future. Right? Second, naturally, we should try our best to build relationships and lean human civilization on the big ship of the Tenth Empire and the Silicon Alliance. It doesn't matter whether the other party agrees or disagrees. The main thing is to pull the flag. This is also the reason why Lu Yongchan did not take action against the Imperial Fortress. Having a possible 8th level civilization as a backer will only be a thing of great benefit 
and no harm to the current human civilization. This idea became even more intense after 10 sent out the so-called wide area tachyon broadcast. In the event that human civilization really encounters the 10th empire and silicon alliance in the future, it will be easier to negotiate with the 10 descendants and the empire's home star fortress. What? Possible rivals of the 10th Reich and the silicon alliance? That is what the energy civilization did. What does it have to do with my human civilization? I have to say that he knows how to distance himself from others. Really? After the scientific research robot sent this message, Tin fell into silence. It is obvious that this message of human civilization far exceeds Tin's expectations. This can be seen from the flickering frequency of the light brain projection inside the fortress. After a long time, an electromagnetic wave communication was transmitted from inside the fortress. Expedition? Andromeda Galaxy? Have you completed the material reserve work? The past history of the Empire shows that a river system level expedition requires a lot of preparation work, including but not limited to energy, individual civilization survival resources, weapons and ammunition, energy civilization. Please be sure to consider this decision carefully. Carrying out a river system level expedition rashly is not a good thing for the development of civilization. Seeing the bright white text appearing on the holographic projection, a faint smile suddenly appeared on Lu Yongcheng's face. Obviously, Tin does not want human civilization to leave the galaxy considering the standpoint of the Imperial Fortress and Tin. This is an unquestionable choice. Lu Yongchang responded quickly. Material reserve work has been completed. An internal vote within the civilization has determined the expedition plan. As allies, we are here to say goodbye to you this time. As he spoke, Lu Yongchang had unknowingly placed himself in the position of an ally of the Empire. There was another long silence. Lu Yongchan didn't care about the increasingly long waiting time. Or in other words, this was a foreseeable situation. Compared with first-level civilization, the computing power of human civilization has increased countless times. But 1's permissions are still the same as before. It can only be responsible for the most basic calculations and auxiliary work. This is the biggest reason. Level 1 AI has a hard time handling such emergencies. According to Lu Yongchang's experience, Level 1 artificial intelligence that only thinks rigidly according to the program will often come to a conclusion that is far contrary to common sense. But unfortunately, this conclusion is consistent with all basic settings. For example, in order to prevent human civilization from being exterminated by alien civilization, artificial intelligence chooses to prioritize the extermination of human civilization. Of course, this is just an example. Under normal circumstances, such outrageous operations will not occur under the restrictions of the underlying protocol. But this is exactly what Lu Yongchang wants. 10. His own logical errors have nothing to do with human civilization. Time passes minute by minute. Finally, a new electromagnetic wave message came from inside the Imperial Fortress. The information content is not complex. To put it simply, 10 came to an incredible conclusion after comprehensively considering the security of the Empire's home star fortress. The future development of the 10 descendants, civilization, and the comprehensive performance of the Energit civilization. It hopes that the Energit civilization will take the Empire's home star fortress to the Andromeda galaxy. Let's not talk about what other academicians think. At least when Lu Yongchang saw this message, he just felt, trembled, and couldn't help but sigh in his heart. 6. I just want to get as much benefit as possible. Who knew you directly sold me your entire fortune? But look back and think about it. 10. This decision indeed followed all the tasks assigned to it by the Empire. Lu Yongchang looked at the white text in the holographic projection and didn't know what to say for a moment. At this moment, there was only one thought in his mind. After solving this matter, he must lower 1's authority to another level. Chapter 844 Set Sail No doubt. 10. The proposed plan caused shock in the Central Research Institute. Regarding the decision made by this level 1 artificial intelligence, the academicians expressed shock and only had a unified attitude. Accept it. You must accept it. After all, what could be more powerful than pulling out a seven-level pinnacle civilization's home star fortress to use the tiger's skin as a banner? What's more, there are all kinds of high-end and advanced technologies in this big flag. Not to mention anything else. The gravity shielding technology and the perfect small universe technology alone are enough to tug at the heartstrings of the academicians. Then, after deliberately waiting for a period of time, Lu Yongchang sent a response message to Tin. As an ally of the Tenth Empire, the energy civilization is bound to undertake this arduous escort mission, with one willing to fight and the other willing to suffer. Tin 
quickly signed a brand new agreement with the Energet Civilization. The agreement stipulates that the Energet Civilization needs to take the Empire's home star fortress to search for traces of the Tenth Empire. During this period, the Energet Civilization needs to provide various necessary resources for the Imperial Fortress. As for the Imperial Fortress, it must provide necessary assistance to the Energet Civilization during the expedition. At first glance, human civilization seems to be at a disadvantage in this agreement. But it's not. The so-called necessary help is a very broad requirement. For example, issues with usage rights of the Imperial Universe. In order to ensure the success rate of the expedition, the small universe left behind by the Tenth Empire must be open to human civilization. Right? Inside the Central Research Institute. With this idea in mind, Liu Yongchang and a group of academicians signed the name Energet Civilization on the agreement. Then, at the moment the agreement came into effect, Liu Yongchang made this request to Tin unabashedly. Under the expectant eyes of the academicians, Tin gave a heartbreaking answer. The Imperial Fortress cannot leave its current orbit while retaining its small universe. Considering that the opponent is also a 7th level civilization, Tin also gave a very detailed explanation. Slightly different from the previous explanation, Tin, there are two main reasons why the Empire's home star fortress cannot be moved. On the one hand, there was a problem with the curvature engine, which Liu Yongchang had known for a long time. The other reason was far beyond Liu Yongchang's expectation. The fortress's small universe traction device suffered a huge malfunction. Today, it can only guarantee the basic equilibrium state of the small universe and the large universe. In the simplest terms, Today's Empire Homestar Fortress is like a child pulling an oversized kite. The lift of the kite was so great that it restrained the kite flyer. Unless the kite string is cut, that is, even if the curvature engine is repaired, the Empire's Homestar Fortress cannot break away from its current orbit. In other words, taking away the Empire's Homestar Fortress will inevitably lead to the loss of the small universe. Of course, considering the level of energy civilization, Ten also proposed corresponding solutions. It was a relatively complete set of repair methods, in which the size and strength of various key components were indicated. But, only the manufacturing method is not specified. The problem is out. Humanity has not yet become a true seventh level civilization. The small universe we have now is still picked up from ranks, without blueprints and manufacturing methods. Build the core device components needed for a seventh level peak civilization. Even Lu Yongchan could only smile bitterly in response. One month later, the scientific research robots and engineering ships that came from the original route were equipped with the curvature engines of human civilization for the Empire's home star fortress. Due to its large size and mass, its maximum sailing speed can only reach 100 C. But after all, he has the basic ability to act. Under the control of Tin, the power of the small universe traction device that had been operating inside the fortress for more than 200,000 years gradually weakened. The kite string that spanned dimensions and was created by gravity was completely broken at this moment. This moment, on the boundless hyperspace membrane of five-dimensional space and time. A small cavitation bubble is like a kite with a broken string, slowly breaking away from the edge area of the large cavitation bubble and floating towards the boundless and bizarre five-dimensional space and time. The civilized microcosm of the Tenth Empire was completely freed from the shackles of the macrocosm at this moment. If nothing else happens, it will be lost forever in the vast five-dimensional space and time. One day, it may fall back onto the hyperspace membrane again and merge with other bubbles to form a new universe. By then, life in that universe may discover the traces left by the Tenth Empire. After completing the work of cutting up the small universe, sure, somewhat unfamiliarly controlled the Loen engine from human civilization and entered the small universe of human civilization. Seventy years later, it will be 4,550 years in the Earth calendar. Outside the Kepler 452 star system, a small fleet of 500 starships formed in neat formation. The periphery of the fleet is mainly composed of star class frigates, Xuanwu, and star class battleships, Golden Crow. In the center of the fleet is a stellar class, Chiyu, planetary fortress. It is different from the ordinary Chiyu, planetary fortress. This Chiyu is much smaller in size, and at the same time, there is an unattractive artificial, planetary ring, structure in its equatorial region. This is the value of this fleet. Protecting this, planetary ring, structure is the highest priority task of this fleet. And this, planetary ring, is the small universe traction platform, Kwafu. Almost all the supplies and starships of human civilization exist in this small universe. 
In the star field directly above, Quafu, disguised as a planetary ring. There is a vague space-time distortion structure. That is the entrance to the small universe. Under normal circumstances, the small universe does not close, but always opens a half-covered little door. Tachyon communication is also transmitted from this small door. There is no way. Before mastering cross-universe communication technology, human civilization can only use such stupid methods to control fleets outside the small universe. Inside the small universe, five G-type yellow dwarfs and more than a hundred planets are running stably in their respective orbits with the assistance of the Grand Unified Field Device. Dyson Sphere tightly wraps these five G-type yellow dwarf stars. They convert the energy emitted by these stars into antimatter and store it all the time. There are holes and gaps on the surface of these Dyson spheres that contain certain patterns the light and heat generated by the star can accurately pass through these holes and shine on the more than a hundred surrounding planets. Various star ships and automated space factories orbit the planet in an orderly manner under Zero's control. Among them, a particularly large starship was docked quietly near a G-type yellow dwarf star. Flagship. Earth. A tachyon message was sent out from it, passed through the looming entrance to the small universe, and transmitted to the fleet revealed in the outside world. Human civilization. Set sail. Chapter 845. The Empire's Expedition. Inside the small universe of the People's Union. Home Fortress Number 2. Capital City Central Square. Crowds of people. This central square which was designed to accommodate up to 1 million people, was now crowded with at least 10 million people. A large number of security robots maintained order at the scene. A hint of cool air was coming out of those well-hidden gaps on the ground even though more than 10 million people gathered in this square. It didn't feel stuffy at all. Chi Mingxu arrived at the central square two days in advance and occupied a good viewing area in the central area of the square. Blue sky. White clouds and warm sunshine. She could even feel the warmth of the sun shining on her body. The senses always trick the brain. She raised her head and looked at the scene in front of her, feeling a little dazed in her heart. It seems that he is still living on the original habitable planet. Reality is not what the eyes convey. As the technical backbone of People's Federation's largest holographic film and television production company, she knows the principles behind these heartwarming scenes very well. The artificial SH. L that wraps the entire home fortress has the function of a virtual canopy. Blue sky and white clouds. These are just illusions created by high-power holographic projections. As for the warm and warm sunshine, that's the light produced by massive stellar spectral lights. While she was thinking about it, the crowded crowd around her let out a low exclamation. Chi Mengshu subconsciously raised his head and looked into the sky. In the virtual canopy, a huge clock projection appeared at some point. In the projection, the 30-minute countdown is slowly passing by bit by bit, looking at the numbers jumping up and down. Chi Mengshu's eyes revealed a touch of excitement and expectation. The clock projection is not always hung on the C position of the virtual sky screen. It quickly shrank into the corner of the virtual canopy and freed up a large projection area. The virtual skylight slowly dimmed. The original blue sky. White clouds and sunshine quickly disappeared in just one minute. Instead, there was a beautiful starry night sky. A huge holographic projection slowly unfolded. And a figure in formal clothes gradually became clear. Qi Mingxu's eyes moved slightly as he looked at the sky. Lin Xu Wang, the current chairman of the People's League of Nations. A picture buried deep in her memory emerged inexplicably in her mind as the first batch of new generation humans born in the public care system. After leaving the social care center, they looked for jobs together on the Dawn Star. In the holographic projection, Lin Xu Wang has already begun to give his final mobilization speech. Qi Mingxu, who was immersed in his own memories, had a faint smile on his lips. The raw Lin Xu Wang, who had just walked out of the social care center, slowly overlapped with the impassioned Lin Xu Wang in front of him, delivering a mobilization speech. There were excited calls from all around. The shouts gradually became uniform, and it was a simple word. Expedition! Expedition! On the inconspicuous clock projection on the side of the virtual canopy, the countdown quietly reached the last five minutes. Home Fortress Number 4. The virtual sky slowly darkened, and the moment night fell, the giant projection slowly unfolded, and Lin Shi Wang's figure also appeared in the sky of Home Fortress Number 4. Unlike the first three Home Fortresses, the surface of Home Fortress Number 4 is covered by lush forests. In these forests, there are buildings that are cleverly integrated into the forest. At this moment, black and white dumplings poke their heads out of these buildings, looking up at the holographic projection in the sky. After thousands of years of learning and adaptation, 
Today's Taladin civilization has completely mastered the language system of human civilization while retaining its own language system and culture. At the same time, thousands of years of hard work have allowed the Taladin civilization to accumulate sufficient contribution values and credit points. They also successfully became a level 4 civilization and mastered the preliminary applications of antimatter and gravitons. But driven by their nature, they still like to live on the surface of planets with lush vegetation. Lin Shi Wang's speech gradually reached its climax. These black and white taladins also excitedly raised their somewhat short and rounded forelimbs, raised their arms, and shouted the internal language of civilization. Their expectations for the expedition mainly come from the generous contribution value and credit point rewards. The grand unified theory of the fifth level civilization still piques the appetite of these taladin dumplings. In the synchronous orbit of home fortress number four and in the nearby space, there are small and powerful warships parked one after another. Holographic projections are also presented in the spaces inside these battleships. But it is different from the lively atmosphere of Home Fortress. The atmosphere inside these battleships is full of iron blood and seriousness. A lizard man named Eugene looked respectfully at the holographic projection in front of him. With a bit of bloodthirsty and deep-seated admiration in his slender vertical pupils, this was the effect of ideological seal. As Lin Shiguang's speech gradually came to an end, these lizard people opened their mouths full of sharp teeth and made low calls in hoarse and unpleasant voices. Long live the emperor! Expedition! Farther away is a pocket-sized version of the home fortress. Its size is far smaller than other home fortresses. Its diameter is only 1,000 kilometers. Inside this home fortress is a complete primeval forest composed of towering trees. Stellar spectrum lights are incredibly bright. The tide of gamma rays drawn from the antimatter reactor surged inside the home fortress like a tidal wave. Holographic projection appears in the air. The forsaken giant insects do not understand these pictures. They are busy with their own lives. Reproduction is a major matter for the race. News gently shook his tree roots exposed above the ground, as if he was celebrating something. The frightened forsaken giant insects quickly put aside their unfinished racial affairs and fled in a hurry. Time passes bit by bit. The countdown has also come to the last few seconds. There was silence. There was no sound in the central square and everyone subconsciously held their breath. Under the influence of the tense atmosphere around him, Qi Mengshu felt his heart beating violently. With tears of excitement in her eyes, she stared at the small fleet of 500 starships in the giant holographic projection. The moment Li Yongcheng's voice sounded, deafening cheers suddenly erupted in the home fortress. Tachyon information successfully passed through the entrance structure of the small universe. The output power of the antimatter reactor began to increase steadily. And at the same time, Stable curvature bubbles appeared around each starship. Next moment, bizarre pictures appeared in the holographic projection. The fleet entered a state of super light curvature. The cheers around him became louder and louder. And Qi Mengshu felt inspiration bursting in his mind. A new hologram promotional video has been conceived. As for naming, she took a deep breath, raised her hand to wipe the tears from the corners of her eyes due to excitement, and then wrote a few words on her personal termo. Imperial Crusade? Chapter 846 Return to the road of escape from the stars. After entering the super light curvature state, the human fleet did not sail directly towards the Milky Way Andromeda Galaxy Bridge. Instead, he slightly turned an angle and sped towards the direction of the dead star territory. Retake the escape route of the past. This is a proposal put forward by Lu Yong Chang and approved by the Academy of Sciences and the Parliament. The first stop of the fleet was the small black hole. That is not only the place where human civilization was promoted to the fifth level civilization but also the home of the news civilization. Of course, according to the sailing plan, the fleet will not stop there. The next stops they pass were the Gliese 555 and Ross 154 star systems that had long been reduced to ashes in the war between the sweepers and the pastoralists. Finally, the fleet will stop near Proxima Centauri and head to the solar system, the birthplace of human civilization. After the fleet set off, the hustle and bustle in the small universe slowly disappeared. In order to save supplies, the humans on the home fortress have entered hibernation. They will wake up one day in the future and watch this documentary promotional video about escape. As the producer of this film, Qi Mengshu did not enter hibernation. She followed the fleet and completely passed through star systems that were dilapidated and even completely disappeared in the universe. Navigating at a high speed of 800 C, the journey that humans have taken to escape to the stars for thousands of years seems extremely short. But no one can deny the rich history contained in this short journey to the stars Qi Meng Shu recorded this. Three years later, Earth calendar year 4453, 
a dilapidated star system is quietly running in a corner of the Milky Way. Sparse stellar matter is dispersed within the star system, forming a beautiful planetary nebula. Inside the nebula, except for a reddish-brown giant star that has expanded several times in size, there are only a few relatively large planets left, accompanied by strong fluctuations in space and time. A fleet of large battleships appeared outside this dilapidated star system. The solar system has arrived. Inside Earth, Lu Yongchang sat in a seat, looking at the terminal solar system in the holographic projection, his face full of emotion. Not only him, but all the older generation of scientific researchers from the Earth era in Earth have been staring at this gloomy galaxy for a long time. Tachyon signal is emitted. The fleet started the curvature engine again and sailed into the solar system at a speed of 0.5 c. Kuiper Belt, Pluto, the dwarf planet that was kicked out of the eight major planets as the outermost planet in the solar system, has not been greatly affected. It is still running smoothly on its own orbit and has sent its first greeting to human civilization after an absence of more than 2,000 years. The fleet slowly passed near Pluto and continued towards the inner solar system. In the picture returned by the high-definition camera, a silver-white object suddenly flashed across. What? Lu Yongchang quickly stood up from his seat and issued an order to Zero. Zero! Capture it! A small detector was released and quickly approached the object reflecting silvery white light. The moment its true appearance appeared in the holographic projection, Lu Yongchang's face suddenly became serious. Not only Lu Yongchang, but also the most senior academicians subconsciously stood up from their chairs and stared at the technological creation in the holographic projection. Such a gesture made the already not very light atmosphere in Earth become even heavier. It was a technological creation with a dilapidated surface and full of traces of time. The original circuit board was exposed to space and covered with a thick layer of interstellar dust. No signal of any kind came through. There is no doubt that it is damaged. What's this? Chi Mengshu, who was allowed to enter the Earth Command Center because he was filming a promotional video, lowered his voice and cautiously asked the young researcher on the side. The researcher shook his head in confusion. Obviously, he, who was born in Kepler's time, did not know this old antique. This is a detector. Just when Chi Mengshu and most of the scientific researchers were confused, a gentle voice came from the front. Chief Lu! Chief Lu! Chi Mengshu looked at the figure in front of him in surprise and exclaimed in a low voice. Lu Yongchang nodded to Chi Mengshu and continued to explain. According to the number above, it should be a detector manufactured in 2035. Humanity at that time was in the age of Mars. The purpose of this detector should be to explore the mineral resources in the asteroid belt. I didn't expect it to be preserved until now. Chi Mengshu stared blankly at the original creation in the holographic projection, with shock written all over his face. This is the history of human civilization. Chief Lu, it should be kept in the Museum of Human Civilization. Lu Yongchang nodded lightly. Certainly, in the holographic projection, the small detector had carefully put the dilapidated detector into the cabin. The fleet moved on. Neptune, Uranus, when the fleet arrived near Saturn, the wreckage of various technological creations instantly increased several times. Titan Outpost Project. Lu Yongchang moved his lips slightly and spit out a plan that caused a lot of shock more than 2,000 years ago. I remember. It seemed that a special kind of life form was discovered on Titan. Not far away. Zhao Zijia sighed. It's been so long. And I don't know if they still exist. When it comes to the past events of the Earth era, only the voices of some old guys are left in the command center. Probably gone. The elderly Chao Liankai responded sadly. Under the helium flash explosion. How could these beings that have not evolved advanced intelligence survive? What's more? We carried out extermination fishing before leaving. Not always. This time, it was Gao Yang's voice. I remember that Professor Lu asked Ling to do the simplest deduction. Titan seems to be able to avoid helium flash explosions by relying on the barrier of Saturn. As for fishing, Gao Yang looked at Chao Liankai reluctantly. Maybe there are some survivors? Don't forget the war between the sweepers and the pastoralists. Fong Su poured cold water on him. Although the solar system is far away from the battlefield, the power of gamma ray bursts. What if the natural barrier of Saturn works again? Gao Yang continued to retort. Fong Su was stunned and said with a gloomy expression. Or, maybe. The command center fell silent again. There is no doubt that at this moment, no one wants those jellyfish living in the methane ocean to die. Zero. Find the location of Titan. Lu Yongchang's voice rang out. Chapter 847 Re-Entering Titan 
with the observation technology of today's human civilization. Finding the satellites of a planet is really an extremely easy task. The moment Li Yongchang finished speaking, a conspicuous yellow logo appeared on the giant holographic projection in front of him. In the yellow logo, there is a small, dim dot that is difficult to detect with the naked eye. That's Titan. Next to the huge Saturn, Titan is as inconspicuous as a grain of dust. Under the gaze of a group of academicians, the picture in the holographic projection quickly enlarged. After more than 2,000 years, the true face of Titan once again appeared in front of Li Yongchang, looking at the orange planet that was just like in their memory due to a small amount of dolan substance. Everyone subconsciously breathed a sigh of relief. The appearance hasn't changed much. This at least proves that there was no problem with the original deduction. This lucky planet successfully escaped the solar helium flash. Maybe. Gao Yang's words suddenly appeared in Li Yongchang's mind, and a hint of hope flashed in his eyes. Is there really a surviving jellyfish on Titan? From the age of the Earth to the present, he has seen various forms of life and witnessed the belief of these life forms struggling to survive in various harsh and harsh environments. Therefore, he has always believed in the miracle of life. When he thought that there might still be a fellow fellow in the solar system after more than 2,000 years of separation, Lu Yongchan couldn't sit still. He stood up from his seat and gave the order in a quick, expectant tone. Zero. Send a small detection ship. No. Send three small detection ships to Titan to conduct a comprehensive search. According to common sense, for the exploration of small satellites like Titan, a spherical detector is more than enough. However, in order to complete the detection work as soon as possible and to avoid detection blind spots, Lu Yongchang increased the intensity of the detection several times. After the order was issued, Lu Yongchang let out a long sigh and once again focused all his attention on the planet that glowed faintly orange under the light of the red giant star. At this moment, he suddenly understood the significance of the civilization, ten descendants, to the tenth empire. To say they are descendants is actually not an exaggeration at all. The moment civilization sets its sights beyond the river system, let alone civilization and life born on the same planet, even life born in the same star system, in Lu Yongchang's view, has an inexplicable sense of intimacy. The side port of a Golden Crow battleship located outside the fleet quietly opened. At the same time, three small detection ships with a size of less than 100 meters slowly flew out from the huge port gate and drove their curvature engines to fly quickly towards Titan in the distance. In the command center, as a producer of promotional videos, Chi Mengshu looked nervously at the holographic projection in front of him. In the picture, the little orange planet is getting closer and closer. Chi Mengshu's heart beating frequency also gradually accelerated. Although she had never seen the so-called Titan jellyfish with her own eyes, and she had no idea what happened at that time in the more than 2,000 years of the history of the People's Union. What happened on Titan has been recorded in history books for the public. In fact, only a few lines of text are used to describe it. Titan Outpost Project to Discover Unknown Life Forms Living in Methane Oceans. And, in order to obtain lubricants with excellent performance, the People's Federation carried out extinction fishing behavior on this nascent civilization at Li Yongchang's request. This is the history that every Awami League citizen who has undertaken compulsory education must understand. But the time span of more than 2,000 years is still too long. So this tragic history is difficult to resonate with the new generation, including Qi Mengshu. The orange planet has occupied the entire holographic projection. Three probe ships have successfully entered Titan's synchronous orbit. Looking at the dilapidated technological creations on the synchronous orbit, a heavy historical aura rushed towards Qi Mengshu. Her heart was beating violently. She held her breath subconsciously and pressed the recording button on her personal terminal. The probe did not stay in Titan's geosynchronous orbit for long. After a brief glance, they plunged into the thick atmosphere. An orange atmosphere spread around the detector, blocking the view of high-definition cameras. The atmosphere in the command center became increasingly solemn. Even Lu Yongchang changed his previous calmness and pursed his lips tightly, staring intently at the holographic projection interface. Detectors using warp engines descend very quickly. Since space itself is moving, the friction between the atmosphere and the detector is also close to zero. At first it was narrow, but then it became clear. After walking dozens of steps, it suddenly became enlightened. After a short wait, the detector broke through the upper atmosphere filled with dolan material, and the picture in the holographic projection became clear instantly. A large flat landmass and a medium-sized, sparkling ocean. In addition, there is a faint orange atmosphere and an orange-red sundae. With just one glance, Qi Mengshu was deeply attracted by this fantasy scene. 
But unlike Chi Mingxu, the moment the clear picture appeared, there was an uncoordinated sound in the command center. Chi Mingxu heard it clearly. It was a sigh full of helplessness. The surface temperature has gone up a bit. Liu Yongchang shook his head with disappointment. Turn to Chi Mengshu and explain. The originally huge methane ocean has evaporated a lot. Even with Saturn as a barrier, the solar helium flash still had a considerable impact on it. He glanced at the statistics on the side. This should be the original crack in Mare Sea, and its area has shrunk by nearly 50%. Now, I'm afraid it can only be called Kraken Mare Lake, not to mention the lakes and small oceans that were there. They're almost gone. This is a huge blow to those jellyfish. For now, Lu Yongchang sighed deeply. There is little hope. Professor, have you forgotten that there is an inland sea? Gao Yang's voice sounded again. There is an inland sea under the Kraken Mare Sea. If those jellyfish hide in the inland sea, Lu Yongchang was slightly stunned, and dusty memories emerged in his mind. Like, is that what happened? He turned to look at Gao Yang, seeing Gao Yang's unwilling expression. Lu Yongchang could only smile bitterly in return. He raised his hand, and clicked a few times on the operating interface beside him. The height of the three detection ships dropped rapidly and rushed straight towards Kraken Lake Mare. Chapter 848 Signs of Life Found The probe ship did not get too close to Kraken Lake Mare. The reason is simple. Although this is already the smallest detection ship in the People's Alliance fleet, its 100-meter-long hull is destined to be unsuitable for entering this small lake. What's more? The heat emitted by the detection ship without special treatment is simply a nightmare for this methane ocean. When the detection ship was 1,000 meters away from the lake, the belly hatch of the detection ship quietly opened. Dozens of spherical detectors with a diameter of less than one meter ejected from the hatch and fell into Lake Kraken Mare. Looking at the waves splashing on the lake, the command center fell into silence again. The view is switched to the spherical detector. These detectors are conducting search missions at extremely fast speeds. The surface ocean within Lake Kraken Marae, shows no signs of any large-scale biological activity. Under Zero's control, the spherical detector quickly dived deep. According to the map in the database, they found several ice volcanoes connecting the inland sea and the outer sea. Through these ice volcanoes, which are constantly spewing nutrients, the spherical probe entered the inland sea under Lake Kraken Mail. The evaporation of the outer sea did not affect the inland sea, as the detector continues to penetrate deeper. The signs of life gradually become more intense, they are basically single-celled organisms of various shapes. This also gave everyone in the command center some hope. Seem. The seeds of life are not completely cut off. But as time went by, this hope gradually dissipated the detector searched every corner of the inland sea and still found no trace of the group of jellyfish. Perhaps, Zhao Zijia pursed his lips and said with an ugly expression, The original extermination fishing completely eliminated this population. Lu Yongchang said nothing, but there was a rare trace of regret on his face. Of course, regret is regret, and if he had to face the original situation again, he would still issue the fishing order without hesitation. When human civilization is facing a life and death crisis, all the virgin's actions are irresponsible to the entire civilization. Pity, he said softly. Zero, let the probe ship come back. Hold on. Lu Yongchang looked at the speaker helplessly. Gao Yang, I know what you are thinking. But, Professor, let the detection ship search on land again. Gao Yong clasped his hands together and made a request to Lu Yong Chong. We haven't fully explored the land yet. You? Lu Yong Chong looked at Gao Yang's somewhat determined look in his prayers. And a wry smile appeared on his face again. Okay, I'll do as you say. Zero, conduct a comprehensive search of Titan's land area. Release an artificial heat source to try to lure the jellyfish to emerge. After speaking, Lu Yong Chong sighed softly turn around and sat back in his chair. There are no groups of jellyfish in the inland sea. So how could there be any on land? Chi Mengshu silently felt the atmosphere in the command center and looked up again at the rapidly changing pictures in the holographic projection. The probe floated silently and rapidly in the low-altitude area of Titan. Every detail of the Earth's surface is clearly displayed before everyone's eyes. Gravel and gravel cover the flat land. Suddenly, an out-of-place object fell into everyone's eyes. Before Lu Yongchang shouted to stop, the detector automatically stopped flying and pointed the high-definition camera at the object. That's a starship. A starship with a strong manufacturing style of human civilization. That's the Luan bird that was abandoned on Titan. Perhaps because Titan did not suffer a direct solar helium flash. Coupled with the unique methane atmosphere inside Titan, Luan bird is relatively well-preserved. 
Even Lu Yongchan could see various clear lines and marks on the surface of the Luanio starship. But one bird did not attract the attention of the residents. Everyone's eyes were turned to the thing next to one bird. When he saw clearly the true identity of those things, Lu Yongchan stood up with excitement on his face. Not only Lu Yongchang, but everyone in the command center stood up. All rise. One after another. Exclamation sounded in the command center. At the same time, Zero's reminder also reached everyone's ears. Warning! Signs of life found. Signal level, strong. The scale statistics have been completed. The number of individuals, 1,032,467. They were a group of light yellow, round creatures that looked like jelly. In the picture, these round creatures are forming a huge circular array around the one bird. Light orange atmosphere. Huge orange sun. They're elastic. Light yellow bodies are swaying back and forth in a unique posture. Like a... Gao Yang stared blankly at the huge holographic projection in front of him and murmured in a low voice. Sacrificial ceremony. Qi Mengshu on the side looked at the scene in front of him in trance and added. Lu Yongchang muttered to himself in disbelief. These jellyfish not only survived. They even evolved consciousness? This. How the H. L. did you do this? It's only been 2,000 years. Even Lu Yongchang couldn't help but use foul language. Compared with the evolution of humans, the evolution speed of this group of jellyfish is as fast as a rocket. Good. Although the appearance has changed and the individual body size has become much smaller, Lu Yongchang can still see that these light yellow and round creatures are jellyfish from more than 2,000 years ago. Suddenly, they stop their movements and raise their heads to look at the sky one after another. Discovered? Lu Yongchang couldn't help but feel a little thumped in his heart. For such a low intelligent civilization, Witnessing the creations of higher civilizations is likely to lead to widespread panic and riots within its civilization. For an inferior civilization, this was a devastating blow. But the next moment, an unexpected scene occurred. Not only did this group of jellyfish not show the panic in Lu Yongchang's heart, they even swung their elastic bodies to a greater extent. This? How is this going? Lu Yongchang asked Fang Su beside him with a confused look. I have no idea. Facing Lu Yongchang's question, Fang Su also showed the same confusion. Then, what should we do now? Lu Yongchan continued to ask. I really do not know. In the command center, the academicians looked at each other with big eyes and small eyes. Finally, Lu Yongchan's somewhat rigid thinking turned a corner with difficulty. Lin Zile. Where did Lin Zile go? Ask academician Lin Zile to come to the command center immediately. Tell him to bring some academicians who understand theology and religious studies. Chapter 849 The Punishment of Destruction The orange-red sun hangs in a corner of the sky. A new standard day has arrived. Light and heat penetrate the thick atmosphere and fall onto the sparkling sea of methane. The surrounding temperature began to rise slowly. And a little fog gradually rose on the sea. A creature with a light yellow body and a shape resembling the umbrella body of a jellyfish slowly emerged from the sea. After briefly looking up at the huge fireball that spread light and heat around it, it turned its attention to the behemoth hanging on the horizon and occupying a small half of the sky. This behemoth has occupied a corner of the sky since the birth of their civilization. It was a huge orange ball. There is a huge ring around the sphere. If you look closely, you will see that there are circles of dark or light striped ribbons on this huge ball. It floats on the sea, staring at this behemoth and follows the surrounding waves, slowly swinging its elastic body. This is a dance that pays respect to the gods and makes supplications. In their culture, this behemoth that has been hanging high in the corner of the sky is the temple where the gods live. The dance lasted for a long time. When the whole dance ended, it hurriedly dived into the seawater although it was not life-threatening. The temperature on the sea surface still made it feel some uncomfortable feelings of bulging body, feeling the cool seawater around it and the gradually disappearing bulging feeling. It couldn't help but breathe a sigh of relief. The routine prayer rituals of every standard day and standard night are the times most likely to cause accidents, especially the standard day prayer service. Once the optimal time to float is missed, life may be in danger it once saw a member of its own race whose body continued to expand while praying until it exploded. Light yellow body fluids and body debris evenly covered the sea surface. What a horrific scene that was. Therefore, every time it is its turn to perform a routine prayer ritual, it will float up in advance to avoid accidents. Fine. The prayer service on the next standard day will be changed. 
It muttered in its heart as it dived deeper into the ocean. Through that not-so-white passage, it successfully reached the area where the ethnic groups gathered and lit the inland sea. A slightly larger sibling slowly floated toward it and asked it. That's the leader of the tribe. There is no need to think too much about the content of the inquiry. It is naturally about the details of this prayer ceremony. It vibrated its vocal organs and truthfully reported to the patriarch what it saw and heard during the prayer ceremony. Halfway through the reporting work, it suddenly hesitated. There was a discovery that he didn't know whether to report. The patriarch made an urging sound to it. In desperation, it could only tell the truth about its findings. The temperature on the standard day seems to be higher than before. The moment the words fell, the clan leader fell into silence. Not only the clan leader, but also the surrounding clansmen fell into silence. After a long time, the clan leader responded. Are you sure this is not an illusion? Just when it was about to continue talking, the tribesmen on the side made voices of agreement. It should be true. I felt something was wrong the last time I prayed regularly. That being said, I seem to have a similar feeling. Patriarch, I suggest that the standard day prayer ceremony be cancelled, and only the standard night prayer be retained. For a time, the ocean was filled with the chirping, sounds of jellyfish. Every sound made the clan leader feel a little worse. Everyone, be quiet. The patriarch made a restraining voice in annoyance. It's just a feeling. The prayer ceremony must not be cancelled. Have you forgotten the punishment of annihilation sent down by the gods? The words fell. The noisy, gurgling, sounds around him suddenly stopped. Each clan member's body shrank to varying degrees a symbol of fear and horror. The gods are destroyed. It was a major event recorded in the history of civilization. In ancient times, the gods became angry because they lacked the necessary respect for them. The gods left the temple, descended into the world where they lived, and launched a campaign of annihilation that lasted several standard days and nights. The gods used high temperature as a weapon to kill more than 99% of all life, although most of them are individuals who have not yet fully evolved and have low intelligence. They still have a great impact on the development of civilization. After the death of the world, almost only the more intelligent jellyfish remained in the ocean. The population also plummeted to 3,000. Since then, the jellyfish have begun to pray to the gods in an organized way to ask for forgiveness and protection from the gods. Don't even say it. Ever since they started praying day after day, the gods living in the temple have never sent down the punishment of annihilation. At the moment when the jellyfish were immersed in panic and fear, a slightly larger jellyfish slowly swam from a distance. Clan chief. In recent times, the prayer ceremony on standard day has caused the death of three clan members. Upon hearing these words, the patriarch's expression suddenly became ugly. Prayer is inherently dangerous. However, three tribesmen died in a short period of time and the death rate was significantly higher than the normal level. This is a bad sign. Its body swayed slowly in the cold water, and its vocal organs made a low, chirp, sound. Have the stargazer come to me. It dropped an order and swung its body slowly towards the depths of the ocean. Clan leader, are you looking for me? A small jellyfish with some cracks on the surface of its body swam slowly from a distance, and a unique gurgling sound sounded in the seawater. Its original body was not like this. Like other jellyfish, it originally had a full, smooth, and elastic body. But, prayer is a dangerous act. Not to mention stargazing. It has been in critical moments, when its body exploded several times its thin body, and the cracks all over its body are the best proof. It is precisely for this reason, that the stargazer's status in the clan is second only to the clan leader. The patriarch twisted his round body, and faced the stargazer. At the same time, it vibrated its vocal organs, and told the stargazer about the abnormal discoveries made by the tribesmen during their prayers. Finished speaking, the stargazer fell into silence, and his thin and shriveled body hovered quietly in the sea water without any movement. Time passes bit by bit. When the patriarch couldn't hold his breath, the stargazer finally vibrated its vocal organ again. God, the punishment of annihilation will be imposed again.